Moondog Brothers. They just they just left everything in ruin. So well, many. No, I think it was actually Raxan's bomb. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> we, we they ain't got to know that. Okay, okay. Hello. <laughs> but you know the orcs the orcs are dying out. They're dying out. What we need to do is do some breeding. You know they're lo- they they're losing their people. They don't have any more young men to fight. We gotta you know maybe uh maybe some little interbreeding is throw what a uh, throw a sock <laughs> hop like we did in the Jaya. Yeah, we should have a have a sock hop for the orcs and the humans and the dwarves and the. <laughs> Thank you. You've been of no help. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Twits and Crits. Nice. Uh, we are Funhouse. We're playing some D and D, sort of. Yeah, I mean it kind of is uh, role playing. Yeah, we're role. Yeah, playing. we are role playing. Um, who wants to catch us up on what happened? A couple oh minutes gosh, ago? last week so much happened. Yeah, there we was met the Frog King. Turmoil across the animal kingdom. We met the Trout yeah. King. Sean say oh Frogatone, right? The squirrel yeah. King. Chon K, the Squirrel King, the yeah. now deceased. We're and dead. Trout King, the Trout, Trout King, King. Didn't have a name. Trout King's dead. Sean <laughs> K sounds name? like an R&D Trout King. singer. <laughs> yeah, and Chauncey One rejoined the party. <laughs> Chauncey One rejoined the party of the wolf. Yeah, uh, right now. Chauncey's dead. Oh, that's what we heard him talk. Chauncey's dead, the hawk. Main word yeah. that Chauncey is dead. And, and uh, Derek came up with a, a good uh, solution. All on his own. Yep, uh, to a, a to problem. The, to satisfy the bloodlust. Of his orc people, yeah. he has decided to throw a sock hop. <laughs> <laughs> sock hop slash yeah. battle, like battle royale. Royale. Yeah. Yeah. battle royale. Yes, where all, any members, any people are welcome to enter to fight for a grand prize that Derek will bestow upon the winner. Ooh. Yeah, but I mean, the dance is the more important part of it, which is why I would disagree. I, I would say the battle tournament thing. Mm, is I, I would disagree to dis- disagree, <laughs> but uh, dancing is a form of That's combat. why Grimo really needed a date, and luckily Shattercock Sexual obliged, combat. but not to, you know, Decker's chagrin. Yeah, yeah, yet again, Decker uh, getting shit on by the women that he is owed attention from. Absolutely. So uh, <laughs> his only confidant became Chansey 2. Yeah, uh, Chauncey. Chauncey. <laughs> uh, Chauncey 2 hasn't been introduced there's yet. There's you in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Wait. We don't have a Chauncey oh, 2. so we have Chauncey, Chauncey 2. Chauncey 2. Chauncey 2. We don't have a Chauncey, Chauncey 2. We don't have a Chauncey 2. We have a, we have a Chauncey 1. And, and, and only one number. Chauncey. And Mark, and Mark, had, Mark Amayer, whatever. Well, Mark Amayas? Mark Amayas. I think it was Mark Amayas. He is the, the brother of Chauncey. The evil brother the of evil brother Chauncey. Getting into deep war. Chauncey 1. Chauncey 1, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, it's okay. I And just... The family tree is getting very complicated. <laughs> but we're going stag to the That's dance. That's true. Literally. Yeah, That's I know. why I said it. <laughs> Chauncey too saw in Decker a, a potentially suggestible person that might help her, him. It's getting messy. <laughs> Genders are getting messed up uh, in, in their quest to remove Grimo from the picture entirely. Uh, Decker in his emotionally wounded state saw a chance to strike vengeance back at the uh, his former friend and his paramour. That have both deserted him. Wait, Shattercock is his paramour? Oh, yes. Oh, that <laughs> In his mind, right? Yeah. And Miri has an unlikely well, I alliance, got a, I guess. I got a, uh, I'm just a, I have a long piggyback ride from a <laughs> cheerful orc. A sexy. Or talkative a cheerful, orc. cheerful, sexy female orc. Is she sexy? Yeah. Her name is Rash. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> What's her name like Rash? Rash. Her name I'm not sure. That's what appears on yeah. her right. on her sides mm-hmm. from uh, Miri's rubbing oh, thighs. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 yeah, dwarf dwarf inner thigh hair is very coarse. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's mm-hmm. basically she, she lives up to the no, name. It's from my armor. I still have all my oh, armor. Oh, sure around. it is. Does she have a saddle? That's where the scales come from. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, so there we are. Yeah. All right. Any, show qu- any other questions? Or something? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Raxon's gonna be the DJ. Yeah. Right? Raxon's uh, busting out his I'm, vinyls. I'm, oh no, actually. So we hired a DJ. Oh. Okay. Um. We'll figure out who he is later. Okay, it's right. a surprise. Yeah, I'm looking all forward right. to it. Um. But uh, I'm working the door. Not. I guess not with Grimo because Grimo's. Well, Grimo and I are, are doing ticket sales. Yeah. And we, we have raffle tickets. Sales. So we're There's we're, a raffle? There's a surprise. Well, yeah. <laughs> we we're we're letting everyone in one at a time, but then once the line's on, then we're going inside. Yeah, yeah. and uh Decker's taking like we all kind of have to help with the initial setup of the dance. Sure. Yeah. Uh, because then we can go enjoy it after once everybody's in. Well, the tiki torches are lit. 
the the horde de are uh, out. Yeah, Decker's it. hooking up the AV. Um, and anytime <laughs> anyone else tries to do anything, he tells them they're doing it wrong. Nice. Yeah. So we have a PA system. So it's going, <laughs> yeah, it's going very slowly. We have electronics and, and stuff? It sounds really well, bad, but he insists everything is leveled. It's all running perfect. off. Grimo's taking yeah. uh, charcoal etchings of all the couples as they come oh. in. Oh. So they have like. Is there a stack pictures. of silly sunglasses and dumb hats? Yeah, um, there's like a bunch of weird cool Derek stuff. Derek is napping. Okay. <laughs> we have a uh, it's not like a photographer it's a, it's like a magical version of a photographer where you can uh but it's still a green screen so <laughs> it's, like harry, it's, yeah, yeah. it's like harry potter you know well no it's like, like your prom photo so you go there but it, it's all very it's very classy very yeah. hawaiian yeah. thing shattercock's laying everyone when they come in having you sex with them yeah, yeah, yeah you bet oh yeah no oh, well no, yeah. no, no she's, she's been, not a slut she's been lays on shattercock's them. not a slut she just gets oh, a yeah. finger in there just mm -hmm. she's like here you go yeah, yeah, you're yeah, good. And have fun. Yeah, have a good, have a good yeah. time there. It's kind oh. of molestation, really. And then I believe there's also a fermented trout punch. That's right. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Duck yeah. was working on that. Yeah. Really. Oh, I think I think Raxan right, was the one. Oh, was it Raxan? Yeah. I mean, oh, it, yeah. it came ready made. So oh, okay. I just keep adding more fish. <laughs> there's so much pork here, though. Well, we couldn't like, find a pig. Yeah, unfortunately. It's imitation. Imitation pork? It's imitation. So beef? Well, <laughs> it's old sick cow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, yeah. yeah, but it's. You, I put some salt in there, so you, you can't tell the enough. difference. It's going to fry up the same way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't tell. Yeah, but like, Derek, I noticed he's been eating a little bit, and I hope it doesn't get to his brain. Doesn't, you know, mad cow him oh, at oh, all. Yeah. Maybe. Don't Maybe he's already there. We've set the stage so there you go. expertly. Yeah. Yeah. And there is a stage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but is, it, on is, it, is it on the boat, or Sock is it on the coast? Queen. Well, uh, so Koja, Koja approaches Derek. <clears throat> So how how do we go about this sock hop? <laughs> ah. oh. Yeah, uh, this is a, a strange ritual from wherever it is. I, I run in you're, from. you're ruining my vision. <laughs> <laughs> I I have expertly laid out the perfect party, and you're ruining it. <laughs> oh, ap apologies, Master Raxon. No, no, it's fine. I will speak when spoken to. <laughs> step I, step I have, forward and tell us about your sock. Well, hop. I have my witch girlfriend with me. I found her in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? You have a witch? <laughs> well... I mean, like, she's just my date. Is this DJ like, Witch Girl? Oh. No, she's not. A, oh. No, yeah, yeah. I just found, like, an old hermit. So, yeah, who's who's the lovely lady? Uh, This is, what, what's your name? Uh, What's your what's your name? Do you want do you want to play the witch girlfriend? I can do I can do it. It's you fine. Lawrence, you want to play the witch? Do you want to play the witch sure. girlfriend? You're not okay. doubling down on anything okay. yet. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, what what's your name? We just Hi. met. My name is Heather. Heather? He Heather? <laughs> Heather. Hey, this is Heather. Hey. She's, um, Hello, don't Heather. worry. She's not involved with the creative process. This party looks but, lame. Uh, <laughs> hey, why'd you drag me? Oh, no, wait over there. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> anyway, she's helping. Uh, are you guys ready to have the night of your life? She casts a spell on a tree and all the leaves turn into frogs. <laughs> One of the other orc <gasps> women walks up to her and he says, she says, I love your tattered rags. Oh yeah, it took me a while to find these. Is that bird's nest? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's the twigs. It's all my friends. They they live up here. Uh, oh. Also, it's very, I wanted to note, it's very important. She has a mustache. Turns <laughs> yeah, not a thick one. It's kind of Puerto Rican. She's kind of homeless, it yeah. sounds like. Hey, I think she's the real keeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's that? She puts her ear to a tree. Not tonight, no. <laughs> okay, sorry, going back. Questions? Yeah, let's let's get the sock hop going. Yeah, he'll be handling all this sock yeah. hopping. Okay. And uh not it's not like oh, that. It's not, like it's not like that. What does like one that. do at a sock hop? You know how fighting is like people going in circles around each other and then cutting each other? Yeah. Get rid of the cutting part. Mm, that's, that's the, the sock part. hop. But it's okay because because of battle royale, we're gonna have the cutting back in. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So if you follow me, I will show you the layout. Of the party of all parties over here in the clearing. What's a party? Shut up. <laughs> First, you will enter through this area where Grimo, myself, Grimo. That's me, the Grimo. It's Gertie, it's Gertie. <laughs> the lovely couples will enter through here, and you will receive a raffle ticket for a party at the end. Uh, over here for the clearing, we have uh, we have refreshments. You guys have food. We have a photo area. What do we call this? A um, a mystical photo jam, uh, as presented by my girlfriend Heather. I was told there would be food. And she'll be handling all of that. And then over here on the boat, we have a little special thing for couples called the love boat. Next to it is also the fighting, the brawl. We, we need some dump buckets over here. Let's get some dump buckets over here. Don't worry, Roxanne, we got it under control. Thank you, Grimo. What are dump buckets? Okay. <laughs> Take a dump it. <laughs> oh, oh. So there you go. You got your party, got your dance, you got your fight. Got the dump buckets. Got dump buckets. Are there any questions? I feel like I have to make you aware of something. I am busy. I must leave now. <laughs> <laughs> I walk away. What do you have to make us aware of? Maybe it'll come up later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
She has I, a particular I, curse. I push uh, Header aside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The dance calls. Okay, so Grimo's. There you have it. All right. Grimo's in his tent and he's getting ready for the big dance tonight. He's combing back his hair, uh, putting. He's got. He's got an extra nice jacket mm -hmm. just for the night. Uh, nice. Looks a lot like his regular jacket, but mm -hmm. he puts some cigarettes in the pocket because he doesn't. Want, he wants to make sure if, if Shattercock wants to smoke, she's got one ready. It's like a pocket square, like yeah. they're all even. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, he uh, he gets ready. He's ready for the party. Yeah. Are you getting ready for the party? Well, yeah, I was going to say, so Shattercock, she's kind of off in the woods getting ready by herself, like, you know, humming and uh, and doing her makeup. She doesn't wear very much makeup. She's typically pretty natural. Uh, but she has a beautiful, beautiful ball gown that actually covers her, like, oh, actually covers herself. Do the bluebirds put it on her? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they, they bring the ball gown onto, onto her and they kind of like drape it onto her shoulders. And she looks very classy, very nice. Uh, mm. She's not revealing or anything. It's just a... It's a very curvy, uh, nice dress. Yeah. Uh, I have. I'm just wearing a simple, like, uh, gentleman's dress shirt with a bow tie, and then also Scooch has a bow tie on his, <laughs> his neck as well. Wow, I look like a wheeled denimin. You sure do. <laughs> we are going to kill it. Are you getting ready? Why are you doing? Uh, right. uh, no, I'm in. I'm over. Dear dwarf god, please don't let me be tempted tonight. Yeah, that. No, I'm over in like the back of the boat. Someone can walk me over there. Oh, yeah. I feel like for some reason this is like no, no, like in the in the the. The stern. Oh, Mary's seasick. I was gonna say no, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm like no, I'm behind it on the land. Oh, oh. And like I'm, I'm like walking. I feel like this is a good spot to bathe because I haven't taken off my armor right. this whole Ugh. adventure. There we go. So I kind of like you clear can, my throat and say my for like eight years. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and say my thing for the day, which is like, <clears throat> I'm a hairy dwarf, and if you want to stare, it's your prerogative. And then so I start. <laughs> I nice. started taking off my armor. Well, affirmation, good for you. So yeah. Rash is actually right there. She goes, "Oh, I, I'll, I'll help you with that, sir." And she starts, you know, squire. Oh, Whoa. Whoa! All right, but taking I'm like, I came over here because it's gonna smell. <laughs> just so you know. So can I like knock? <laughs> yeah, the, the rougher the better. Can I? Can I like knock her and whatever orcs are around like off their feet with like how bad it smells oh, once yeah, that yeah. armor comes off? Roll, roll a twenty. Roll there to see stink. how many of them we get. Roll, roll for stink. stink. 17. Oh, is that good or bad? No, they all fell over. Oh, oh you stunk them. I told you. <laughs> and so I just kind of wade into the water and start cleaning myself up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. What does Rash, what does Rash have to say about it? Uh, Rash has, has got your armor and has got it in the she's, sand and she's, she's kind of scrubbing it clean, but she does not really take her eyes off of you very oh, much. Oh, yeah, you bet. Well, I'm like, so, oh. go ahead. Tell me about yourself, Miri. Uh, I'm like surprised at this that she hasn't like fainted and that she's like scouring my armor because that's what I was going to do next, but now I don't have to. So I'm kind of like, like, Intellectually, I know this is good, but emotionally, I'm kind of in a weird spot. Oh. So I'm like, um, I, uh, well, I'm a mount, mountain, mountain dwarf. <laughs> what else you want to know? <laughs> and you, oh, you don't have ooh. to do that. I, I'm kind of like, no, I, I got, I got, I got it. Happy to help. The place. You really <laughs> help. I'm, I'm here to be his assistance. Um, plus, you know, kind of good looking. It's not, not a bad sight. Uh, no. Nah, he's like really freaked out. He doesn't. Well, what what like, is it that you have against orcs? Uh, I didn't. What did I? I didn't say I had anything against orcs. I don't know. You didn't say it, but it's pretty obvious. We've, you know, the past you, day done nothing but stare at us and and kind of whisper and mutter to yourself. And, is it? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> can you? Uh, can you orcs read my mind? Can you roll to see how big your dong is? <laughs> oh, do uh, it. <laughs> sure, twenty. Yeah, each one's an inch. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh no! What is it? What do you get? How'd you be inspiration? It's well, a dwarf though. It's well. A dwarf though. Yeah, that's, that's, you like, got to at least tall. double that. It's well hidden by all my hair. It looks like it's oh, just it's oh, it's a grower. It's a you can't see the base. It's a yeah. grower. Yeah. Okay, it's cold like water. Oh, the river's probably pretty yeah, cold. Yeah, so cold too. Yeah. What else? Oh, that rash? river's got to be frigid. Keep yeah. it up. Keep it up, oh, rash. Yeah, rash. Um, it's it's okay. You know, I I understand some people have prejudice against the orcs. Um, you all grow on you. Hopefully, scouring your armor and, and carrying you around the countryside and and generally being friendly, maybe you will turn turn your uh, dislike into mild dislike. We'll see. And then he goes underwater and starts like <laughs> rubbing his like scrubbing his hair. Uh, Grimo comes over. He goes, "Oh, hey, Mir, I forgot to give you. Here's a uh, two free tickets to the dance tonight for you. And if if you want to bring somebody, there's an extra ticket there." 
I guess that we away. wouldn't let some of the orcs. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> well, actually, there are a limited amount of tickets. Yeah, so oh, we right. only have a certain number of tickets, so yeah, yeah. Grimo gives these some of the... guys might. So now he's holding the tickets and rash. rash <laughs> Ma Master Miri, Master Miri, who who are you gonna take? I see you have two tickets there. Who are you gonna yeah. escort to the dance this evening? Do you have a uh, date I'm, already? I'm, um, I'm like holding them above the water. Um, <laughs> Derek, Derek walks over, <laughs> and he goes, oh, "Hey, Miri, what's up?" Hey, Rash, you're doing a great job with Miri here. Thank you, my lord. So, I just heard from Raxan, though, that Sock Hop sold out. So, so if you don't already have a ticket, you're just not going. Oh, sorry. No, yeah. no, and, no. Hey, I, I know what you're thinking. I, I make the rules, but sometimes I actually don't. No? And uh, You, you know, can't just make more tickets. You know, I wish I could. But <laughs> so if someone's going to get left out. Yeah, yeah, if you don't have a ticket if there's no or no one there to bring you, then I guess you can't go. Right. Anyway, I got to go make fake medals to wear tonight. So I'm, I'm, in the, <laughs> I'm in the background with like a seer stone, but I'm using it like a cell phone. And I'm like, no, no, you can't go. <laughs> no. I, I can't even get in. <laughs> three. I can't get three. How many? No, okay, there's, maybe. There's no, no. More, there's more, there's no I'm more. being told no. No. Oh, I'm losing your signal. Hello? <laughs> Hello? The astral projection plane is not working. I lost him. Heather's behind him. Yeah. On all fours, chewing on a root. <laughs> <laughs> Great food. So, Rash and Mary? Well, we're still on this? Oh, you bet you are. <laughs> you bet you are. It's got an, you got 40 minutes left, Matt. Um, make it, make yeah, it so yeah. You never actually got to the root of uh, maybe our issues. Oh, also, you know, we, we could set that aside and we could just talk about this evening's dance and, and who's going with who. And Derek comes over. You know, you've got the hey, one. Hey, knock, knock again. Hey, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can bring. Hey, Mary, two tickets. Those are for you. You can bring anyone you want. I didn't know there was. I don't do. You think got these two. tickets are real, uh, but anyone. yeah, yeah let's go. Yeah, anyway. I'm, I'm looking it's, at the <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't really want to talk about it, but I'm like, I, I kind of like. All right, well, it's it's. I'm I'm kind of feeling gratitude for her to scouring my armor. So I'm like, well, it's clear you want to go. So I'm kind of getting out and like I'm clean now and I'm putting on my my regular clothes. I'm like, she's drying you off. So I'm like, yeah, you really don't have to, but yeah, my I, pleasure, my pleasure. All right, well, <laughs> thanks. Really, you want to go to this dance? And uh, yeah, sure, let's go. Never been to a dance. Me either. Do you go together? I think I think Mary Wait. said let's go, but I couldn't you, tell. I couldn't um, yeah, I'm him. sorry I didn't hear you though. The river is very loud. Is it? Yes. Oh, uh, Grimacle. Uh, so yes, hey, Mary, we can... sorry to interrupt, but uh, are you going to use both of those tickets? Because I, I, if you have any extras, I could take one no, back. No, here you go, and I give them to, I give them to Grimo. Oh, oh Grimo blew no, it. Oh, Grimo. Uh, and, and then Derek comes up and he goes. Hey, sorry. Uh, yeah, knock knock. Um, <laughs> Can they be all soggy? Yeah, non you still... can't just give them give them away there, Miri. They, oh, not kind of and, and you gotta really, if you want to give, if you you have two, but if that second one's going to someone else, you gotta specifically state <laughs> who it's going to and kind of why. These so aren't I, even I, real. Anyway, I'll, have a great night. Uh, uh, you know, thanks yeah, for yeah, everything. Just She's just scouring your armor even louder. They're not even real tickets. <laughs> <laughs> it, look, it looks They're real to me. Big leaves. Uh, real, real quick. <laughs> off in the distance in the water here. A small sandcastle rises from the water. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh, uh, a trout fish. <laughs> and oh, he goes, the trout prince. Goes, yeah. I came the trout prince. My father had died spreading the message of prayer and love. Can you send help? But we can't hear it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just flopping. <laughs> anyway, party continues. Okay. Are you going to ask anybody, Matt? What? No. I, I know, but I'm talking to Matt, the person, though. No, I'm just going to go with. Uh, uh, what's her name? <laughs> Rash. What's her name? Rash. My name is Rash. So I thought we were. No, it was at least ask whatever. Yeah, it was me asking that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of give in to Rash and go with okay. Rash. Give in to the Rash. All right. So, so we're <sighs> going like to the so dance. Man. Yeah, let's go. Oh, Master Mary, and she kind of jumps up and gives him a big hug. <laughs> I've just never been so excited. I've never been to a dance before. Do you like pick me up because she's a lot bigger <laughs> yeah, than yeah. I am? Like, uh, all right, episode, all right. That was so nice. I actually don't even know how to dance. Hopefully, you could lead this evening. We'll figure it out. Uh, what a great team we make. You actually don't smell that bad for an orc. Oh, well, thank you. You smell pretty good yourself. Well, I hope. I mean, I finally had a bath and like. <laughs> Eight months. Eight remember. months. I don't know. The trout prince sees all this and he's worried that his message isn't being it's heard. Definitely not being heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the orcs on the river actually spears the fish and runs. Oh! Oh! Uh, yeah, more punch. The younger brother sees this. Oh and, no! And vows vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Chauncey two is getting ready for the dance tonight. Of he is. Nice. Uh, I was thinking about Chauncey two. He puts on a leather jacket that says. Uh, uh, buckle up on the back, and then it has a picture of a buck, like a male horse. How did this horse put on the jacket? 
With help. He's the king one of the four swords. Bruce. Comb over its mane. Um, but yeah, he wants Grima to be jealous of his leather jacket. It's cool. They're buckle up, buck jacket. So Decker mm. finds like a couple of rocks that look like horns and tries to stick them, like just cram them in the ears. And then he fashions Chauncey Two's mane to look like Shattercock's hair. Oh, except oh. clumps of it yeah. fall out while he's trying oh. to like he's just trying to do it with his hand and. Just, Ugh, oh. comes off with patches of skin and everything. So all... He's making the horse look like Shattercock. Yeah, okay. he's trying to. Wow, is he make? Wait, is he making <laughs> Chauncey try to stand? Uh, he gave up on that. Okay, so it's, 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 on, a, it's on its hind legs. The curvature of Chauncey Two's spine just doesn't. <laughs> okay, allow so for it. are we all? I think we're all ready. Okay, at the very least. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So does so. the sun set, and we're now ready in sure, party yeah, time? Yeah, the, the sun's going <laughs> down. The you know your torches and tiki torches are going. Okay. Do you remember? Wait, where's the entrance? Where's the entrance <laughs> to the party, Raxan? Uh, the entrance is there's there's like a clear we we cleared these trees earlier to make room for wow. the uh, the dance. No, it's it's like in like a forest area, but yeah, there's like an entrance. So Grimo and I are working yeah, the table. Working there's a long line. Yeah, there's a very long line, and we're just letting it build up. We're not letting anyone in. We're just sitting, staring. I'm like, this is good. This is good. Yeah, this is what we, we want. want. Yeah, yeah. Create buzz, buzz, yeah. buzz, <laughs> buzz. <laughs> Literally, someone knocked over a beehive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I guess it's on the boat now. And okay. People are coming in and giving That's us fine. tickets. I guess. Okay. Yep. Everyone's coming in. I guess some time passes. Tickets. Bit, I'm uh, doing like charcoal, like charcoal etchings mm-hmm. for the orc couples and stuff. Yep. Uh-huh. Giving them their. Shattercock walks up to the table. Cremo, you ready to go inside? <laughs> Shattercock, you you look beautiful tonight. Oh, well, thank you very yeah. much. So, are, what? Can I have the first dance with you? Uh, sure. I just, I gotta finish the ticket booth here, but uh, your rain check. Well, how much longer? Uh, well, you know, we gotta do f- before everybody gets on the boat. Well, are you I, kidding? I thought, I thought you knew that. You're Shatt- not gonna go with the dance with me? Wait, wait, uh, Shadowcock. I think I, I have something for you. Uh, he gives her a <laughs> a, a corsage. They p- pins on her. This is all I get. Are we not gonna go together? Oh, uh, uh. uh <laughs> 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 so Koja, Koja walks up and he goes, You can you can go with me, Shadowcock. But but Shadowcock, it's just what is it me? Koja or you? Roxanne, you Grimo, can I... the lion is building up. Please! Wait, what do you think? <laughs> Roxanne, maybe I could get out of here early so I could get to... Can't hear what is what is that? And I go over. <laughs> <laughs> so Koja walks up yeah. the little gangplank onto the ship. She goes, Shadowcock, I'll, I'll be happy to I dance with you. I'm oh, going with uh, Koja. That's it. Oh, Bye, Grimo. Yeah. Heather walks up. Shattercock wipes that corsage off, by the way. Heather walks up and just drops a pile of dead leaves right on the table and then walks away. Who does that? Heather. Heather. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm arguing with the, the, the cow meat guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's Raxon arguing? Oh, I'm off to the side arguing with the cow meat guy going like, oh. like you said 7 o'clock. It is now 8 o'clock. <laughs> That's Koja, right? Oh yeah, the so, tall one. So Koja's on the boat. Oh, oh, yeah. Koja's on the boat with Dirk, Shattercock. Derek is sitting on a makeshift throne, <laughs> okay, the, overseeing yeah. the the dance, and he's wearing a bunch of fake medals. Yeah, fake medals that he fashioned. Rocks and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Decker and Chauncey Two strut up. Hey, Grimo. I throw my arm around Chauncey Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're having a great time. And they look like to- they're total stag. They're yeah. growing out. I look at Chauncey and like you can see the grimace on my face, but then I pretend like I like it. Oh, yeah. Decker, uh, Ch- Chauncey Two. Yeah, I see you guys are kind of like yeah, we're know. best friends now. Oh, that's cool. We uh, talk to each other about all sorts of stuff and we get each other and it's great. You guys like talk about girls or stuff? Yeah, we we see eye to eye on girls and it's awesome. Well, I, I see. I I hate I hate girls too. I hate girls too. Psh, so. Whatever. You have a date. I, I'm. We're lonely together. Yeah. Well, like I mean, I you know what? I told Shattercock it didn't want to come to the dance with her anymore. So, yeah, like I'm flying stag too. I'm just you know growing out. Becker doesn't know how to handle this information. Do you guys want a cigarette? So just just you know the internal machinations of Decker's very complicated mind. He's already dedicated very hard to hating Grimo this entire night, and he doesn't know how to switch. So okay, like no, Ugh. it's just he's just confused now. <laughs> Chauncey two does take a cigarette, and he <laughs> when he takes sees Chauncey two take one, he takes one too. But then he flicks it back into Grimo and, then he and hits happened. Grimo in the chest. <sighs> Grimo well, throws it's, it on the ground hard. It's cool that you guys are best friends now. Uh, I guess enjoy the dance together. We will. He grabs a pile of the leaves. These are my leaves now. All so right. does this party, uh, this sock hop, have music? It's it's hard to dance without any music. Ask Raxon. Yes. Yeah. Master well, Raxon. Here they come. The it's, tunes. It's the uh, giant boys uh, oh. who come in. 
Uh, the they're finally Diane. here. I'm <laughs> final. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm out currently 200 gold on this. Oh, oh my god! You um, it on the sheet. That's yeah. Expensive. Oh no, I marked it, and I'm I'm uh I am just like at my wits end. Like I can I can barely handle this, and they're late. <laughs> So I'm already trying to like work out my cancellation fee and like, you got to work out a deal here with me. Come on, come on. I know you're the giant boys and you're so great. They're basically just like, was it Frankie, the Jersey boys or whatever? The, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like kind of a, anyone want to do like kind of a. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's basically that. Yeah. So I just go, just go, just go, please just go. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm pushing them like, move, everyone move. <laughs> and I'm pushing them on the boat to get on the stage to perform. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a good dance. Go yeah. All right, so All right. so Koja grabs Shattercock's hand and runs it to the whatever part of the boat is officially um, the dance floor. All right, I'm, this part. Yeah. I'm I'm frantically running around to all the people just standing around not doing anything. Go, dance, dance! <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> costing money. <laughs> Has Miri shown up yet? With no, nope, Miri hasn't gotten here yet. No, not yet. Is Grimo still that. watching? Is Grimo still watching the table? <laughs> he has, yeah, to, he has to let his uh, team try out. Roxanne's not helping Grimo, even though he's supposed to. Roxanne's I am doing, running a party. All he's doing is screaming, and Grimo's like, like people are just coming in, not even oh. getting tickets now. He doesn't have time for all, right, all the extras. I'm not upset. I'll You're upset. Really Master Mirror, we're going to be we're gonna be late in. for the sock hop. Yeah, yeah. I can hear the music going now. All the right. Giant Boys. The boat's sitting lower and lower in the yeah. water. Why don't, yeah, and I, I turn to Rash, I'm like, why don't you go get me a drink, and I'll be right there. I'm going to help Grimo out with these tickets. I've heard about the delicious fish punch. Sure. She runs off. <laughs> it should be noted that as Chauncey T was boarding, he did notice the rising water levels that the Trout King mm. had mentioned. Oh, sure. Uh, okay. Well, Trout Prince. No, the, yeah. ki well, the, oh, the king. Oh, the king. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, Just want to make that right, <laughs> known. Like, well, you got to roll for that. Most of these, most of these guys can get on the boat. Yeah. Tickets, tickets have fallen. Yeah, apart. these guys cannot. How is that rounded. It sounds oh, rounded. Okay, yeah. Good or bad? Sure, you die always. Oh, all right, right, so everyone's everyone's dancing. Everyone's yeah. dancing. Yeah. They're all dancing. Well, so Miri's helping me with the tickets. Well, or? I, I yeah, I wanted to say like, hey, Grimo, why don't you go on in there? I'll handle the rest of the tickets. <laughs> Miri, you. I saw what that piece you came in here with. You got <laughs> you got a hot date tonight. I know, but I can tell you want to go in the party. I'm going to join her in just a few minutes. So no, if, man, if you're like, willing, no, I will take. The rest, handle the rest of the tickets. Miri, I screwed Please. up. I, I screwed up big. I screwed up with my girl. I screwed up with my best friends. Like, I don't deserve to enjoy this party. Derek, that's Derek comes. He goes. He comes over here and he goes. Your king captain has had a change of heart. The tickets are gone. Everyone's allowed in right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> For free. <laughs> you are kidding me. Grima throws his arm around Miri. Well, I, I wanted I really wanted to destroy that ticket booth. Oh, uh, oh okay. So I, I'm like, yeah, I'll be right there. So I take the ticket booth and I put it down there by the water and I pick up my sword that's down there and I try and cast thunderous smite on it. Oh, why do you want it's to destroy the ticket out. booth? Just because I haven't used thunderous smite yet. No, <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Uh so yeah, do I roll for that? Or what do you, how does Thunderous Smite casting? work? Thunderous Smite, page 277. Some action. Here we go. <laughs> Everyone roll for initiative. I don't have yeah. that against the raffle on ticket. Yeah, against, yeah. against the yeah. raffle booth. Well, now I, is, has Miri's girlfriend showed up yet? She's she went ahead of went in. She went in, right? Yeah. Yes, because she, she like went to fish, get fish punch. punch so she, she, yeah, she actually yeah. came back to the back of the boat where she last left him and doesn't seem to be able to find him. Uh -oh. So she's holding the two fish punt. Fish punch? Fish punch. Fish trout punch. punch. Uh, trout, trout punch yeah. glasses, mm. and she just downs them both. First time you, it's 282. First time you hit with a melee weapon attack during the spell's duration, your weapon rings with thunder that is audible within 300 feet of you, and the damage wow. deals extra 2d6 thunder damage. <laughs> Additionally, if the target is a creature, it's not. It must succeed on a strength throw or whatever. So I just wanted a blur right. So yeah, thing. you you vaporize the thing and everyone hears this thunder and, <laughs> and turns and looks right at you. The the Jayen boys stop playing. Does it create like almost pseudo fireworks? Oh, but like, yeah, so, yeah. so like a light show that all the pieces oh, of the yeah. of the ticket. The little move. the tickets are fl fl yeah. flickering through the air on fire. Raxon, I didn't know we had fireworks. I'm on the phone with the or I'm on the astral stone with the guy right now. Hold on. <laughs> I can't tell if he's doing the bit or yeah. actually no, I think on he's his actually phone. on his phone. <laughs> it's a little bit of both, yeah. <laughs> um so actually I see Grimo right now and I, I see Gr Grimo? Grimo, come here, come here. Come here but, but, but maybe I can go enjoy the party now. No. <sighs> Something happened. What? I need your help. What? Come, come with me. Tell come me anything. Me. You're my new best friend. Come with me. So we leave the boat, and there's a um, there's like a trash can receptacle error over here, and there's a uh, baby orc in the dumpster. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
What? <laughs> what are the teenage orcs? What? Is that a baby? Yeah, I know. It's babies having babies. <laughs> Heather rolls up and says, Hey there, lover. Yeah. You're going to enjoy the party. I am busy. Get on the boat. <laughs> We go, Grimo, take she care just, of this. She just turns around but doesn't leave. And I run, and I go, one of the giant boys is out of water. We <laughs> 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 was not prepared to be a father. Need to name it. <laughs> Heather walks up. Oh, that's what they look like when they're small. <laughs> <laughs> she just starts poking it in the eye. Oh, my God. I guess I'll call you Porpy. She picks it up by the head. Careful with Poppy. What's inside this thing? Grandma grabs it from her. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I better let, not let Shadowcock see this. <laughs> Just think I'm having a, a baby with another woman. Yep. She yep. reaches into the trash and like starts smelling it. Oh, yeah. Is anyone dancing? So Grimo yeah, hides, yeah, Grimo hides the baby Koja. under his jacket. Okay. Kinda. Yeah, giant boys are rocking out. Well, Shadowcock yeah. and Koja have been dancing the entire oh, yeah. time. Basically, they're, they're the center of the circle. Dirk's kind of fallen asleep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. a lot of the young uh, orcs are actually just sitting, staring at you two. Oh, guys. absolutely, because we're rising. It's amazing. And like, right. like, okay. It's basically the sexiest dance you've ever seen. Like with, from with, True Lies? With Shadowcock. <laughs> yeah. Yes, like from True Lies. <laughs> are you going to join now that you've destroyed that? Yeah, I, I mean, I ran up there. It's oh. kind of Soon after I destroyed it, and it's like, hey, um, <laughs> something like that. Uh, you actually see jacket. Rash uh, talking with Decker. Ooh. That's great. I'm just How? like, How? I'm just trying to stay on like the edges no, no. of the well, boat. Trying. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to stay on the edges of the boat, kind of like trying to avoid Rash. I like Rash, but I'm not really interested. Can he so. hear the conversation Dang. though? Just over here, what sure. they're talking about? Sure. Well, uh, uh, hide behind the barrel. My um, my date, Master Miri, seems to have disappeared. Um. This is my first time at a dance, and I've never actually danced before, so I was hoping you might get us warmed up. Or, or I bet you've been to a lot of dances. No, this is the first one. <laughs> yeah, right. Look at you. You've been to a lot of dances, I could tell. No, no, this is the first one. Um, but do, do you know anything about dancing? Could you show me? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. What's your favorite dance? Uh, Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Yeah, it's pretty exotic. <laughs> I'm not here for dancing, though. I have... I have revenge to take out. Oh boy, the <laughs> Macarena then after your revenge. Why? Well, it's your favorite dance, I'd like to learn it. I know no dances. You probably know plenty, it's okay. Don't worry about it, don't worry about me. Okay. And she sees Miri and runs back over to him. <laughs> Dang it, I was trying to hide That's... behind a barrel. I've heard, <laughs> do you know of this Macarena? I don't think so, I mean, it, it may have, it sounds familiar, is that like a Decker thing? It's a definitely a Decker thing. Yeah, I've heard it from his weird deployable shield once or twice. I so know, you see him over what in the it corner, is, like trying to do it a little bit. <laughs> he's trying to make sure nobody sees him. That'd be very wrong. Yeah, he's also getting it rolling. <laughs> why don't uh, Rash? Why don't you go learn a little bit more from him? Let's go dance. Cuck. Let's hit the floor. You're here now. You've Cuck taken it. care of all, all your right. business. Let's let's. The do giant this. boys ain't cheap. Please stop wasting my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is the is the the macarena has doesn't go to the rhythm not at all. At all the no. giant boys. It, it's no. very like ooh, like a lot of that. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <has> it. <laughs> so we get out there and I'm awkwardly dwarf dancing, nice, trying to edge us towards uh, Decker, <laughs> little Sweet. by little. Um, Creamy goes up to to Derek, and uh, he says, "Oh, <laughs> uh, great dog king, I have a gift for you." I uh, present to you this fine young orc warrior to shape in your image. That's a whining baby. <laughs> yeah. Derek's like, uh, where did you find this? The royal dumpster, my liege. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he kind of like takes it reluctantly. Where's Koja? <laughs> I gotta find Koja. Shattercock and Koja are like They're basically just yeah. forbidden dance all over the dance floor, Ugh. pumping I, each other. Yeah. Rax and uh, taps Grimo on the, on the shoulder and he goes, Grimo, what are you doing right now? Uh, uh, well, I was just. Gonna I need you. Come with me. Oh. <laughs> so, Back to the same so we, we know he'll blow deck. Oh, and there's a. Uh, well, no, there there's an orc convulsing on the floor, oh, and there's God. a group of other orcs with like cool shades looking around, being like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and I'm going, Grimo, take care of this. Oh, God. And I just I leave Grimo with the orc who OD'd on something. Grimo, Grimo takes the adrenaline potion out of his bag, and. Uh, Hits him with, with it. Does he have a roll for that, or uh, do I need to roll to save this yeah. this life? I can't. I'm, I'm currently right now in the front of the party talking to two cops. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I I don't know who called. I, We've just had a few complaints, sir. I, I don't know. Okay. I mean, it's, did you try the boat 
down the dock. Why <laughs> is this a race thing? I don't know why you're coming down on us. I mean, goddamn trout prince. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you sassing back at us, sir? No, sir. No, sir. I'm cool. Is there any way we could uh, make this problem go away? Yeah. Um, what you thinking? Oh, I don't know how many how many problems you have in a, a dozen, maybe two dozen problems. Two dozen problems. Two dozen problems. Sounds okay. pretty sweet. Grimo! Oh, coming! <laughs> uh, so yeah, that the OD dort popped awake. Oh, okay. oh, he's awake. Okay, good. Yeah. So, there you go. Mm-hmm. Grim, Grimo, I need twenty four gold. But, what, but okay, t- can you give him some? Grimo, take care of these guys. Guys, this is my friend Grimo. He will take care of everything that you need. And I go back to go check on the orc who OD'd. Uh, yeah, your your boy promised us a little uh, little something. Yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> you don't want us uh, to shut down your rager, do you? Grimo, he kind of he thinks of it for a moment because he he kind of he's really tired of how Raxan is treating him like his bitch boy. So he's he's kind of like maybe he wouldn't mind if it got shut down. But then he still really wants to dance with Shattercock tonight mm-hmm. and to make Decker and and Chauncey two like him again. So he he begrudgingly hands over the twenty four pieces of gold. Well, that was twenty four each. The forty eight pieces of gold. <laughs> <laughs> While he's doing that, Decker rolls up with two glasses of trout punch. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Grimo, I got you some punch. Let's let's let bygones be bygones, huh? Here you go. And is it Ruby? <laughs> no, not nearly that clever. So he hands it, and then he goes at you, and then just throws it on you. Oh! And go, oops, it was an accident. That's what happens to you. Betray your friends, you liar. <laughs> <laughs> and then he scuttles away again. Grimo's his night can't not go any worse. I was gonna say Grimo glances over to the dance floor, and they're uh, Koja and Chattercock just freaking. Just like <laughs> basically scissoring on the dance floor as everybody else is watching. Them. I, I quickly tap on Grimo's shoulder. Hey, that orc died. I need you to throw him overboard. <laughs> Grimo goes below deck. <laughs> and he, he gets the orc corpse. And then he, he brings him down and drags and him real drags slowly. him down. And then he, he puts him in the water, which uh. the water levels are at an abnormally high level, yeah. by the way. The it's, trout king is our trout. Prince is yelling at things okay. too, by the way. Uh, but then Grimo just kind of he kind of sits sadly on the bank here, oh. and, he kinda... <laughs> and then and then and then the corpse goes. <laughs> you were trying to drown me. <laughs> no, no, I swear. You were trying to kill me. I swear. I was. I'll tell everybody. Oh, officers, no. officers. <laughs> Grimo pays the officers another forty-eight. Oh pieces no. Pieces of gold. Well, these are different ones. Oh man. We'll like, take care of that for you, and they. Eat. Jab the oh, knife no, right into the work him. and oh, uh, God. Oh, kick, yeah. him, out, <laughs> kick him out into the water. <laughs> the river and then he, carries and then it away. He resumes his yeah. his sitting. <laughs> Can the the corpse floats down? It's hitting the trout kingdom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. Sand, the sand castle. <laughs> Heather walks up behind Grimo and it's like, "Hey, how's it going, buddy?" Hey, Heather. Wh- While you're what? Talking, she just reach up and starts cutting off your hair. <laughs> oh. Oh my oh, that's, god. That's that's cool. Uh, why aren't you why aren't you with Raxan? Who? <laughs> I thought you guys were like hot pretty hot and heavy date tonight. Oh yeah, we are definitely that. That's what we are, sure. But where is he then? Oh, I don't know. He's a busy guy. Hey, have you ever slept in mud? I guess I haven't. You wanna try? Uh, yeah. I <laughs> cool. mean, are you worried? Okay, yeah, what... that's enough. Let's go. Are you worried what Raxan might think? Oh, he's busy. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So Grima goes off with Heather. Oh, oh wow. So Heather takes you. <laughs> takes you Why are we in a fight? There's like a this hole fight. pre-dug ready for you. Oh no. Oh, like the size of a body? Yeah. Like, hey Grimo, thank you for coming to my dance. Get in the hole. Oh, uh, but, but are yeah, you, get in the hole. Are you coming in the hole too? Oh, uh, whatever. Get in the hole though. Okay, uh, um, yeah. Raxan runs up behind Grima. Grima, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> well, I was just climbing in this hole. I, I went over holes. Nothing was happening between us. I swear, what Raxan. Doing? The, the giant boys, I, they're, they're in their green room. They won't come out. Please take care of it. Are you, what do you want me to do about it? I'm, do what you do best. Fix it. We, Grimo goes to the giant boys dressing room and he blows all the giant Oh, <laughs> no. To get them, to, get them no. to go on stage. Oh. <laughs> Just in sequence. <laughs> Jesus. There's six of them. Oh, that's silly. Look at, look at Elise. Some of them aren't even members of the yeah. actual band. They're oh, just they're backup. There's, there's, backup, there's backup dancers. People yeah. start getting in line. Decker's, oh. Decker's just there, like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's oh, what man. it looks like. All right, okay. Enough dancing. I don't know where the music went, but it's time to get to the real heart of this night. 
And it's time for the battle. What about the raffle? Oh, That's right. We need to do the raffle. <laughs> I, I stare blankly. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the raffle. Who has the raffle box? What was, what was the prize? Who, ha- of course, has the raffle box? Yeah. <laughs> get, the, get the fight going. I'll be right back. Okay. We will do the fighting. All right. And then the raffle will happen afterwards. Grimo's sobbing. His like, clothes are kind of torn. He's like trying to pull them oh, back up. <laughs> you get all those bald patches Grimo. on your head, too. <laughs> Take this baby back. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Poor Pete. baby. Poor Pete, yeah. All Poor those me. who wish to participate in this first annual uh, Derek Benslord uh, Battle Royale. He named it himself. <laughs> uh, s- step forward. I'm in. Shattercock, you're going to be in this Battle Royale? You bet I am. I was not expecting that, but okay. (laughs) (laughs) Decker sees the opportunity to show off in front of Shattercock, so he steps forward silently and just does like a little fist pump because he thinks that looks cool. All right. Anyone else? A few orcs uh, step next to Decker and pop his fist. (laughs) See, I'd say a good half of the orcs are probably interested. Yes. I'll walk over there and be like, yeah, I'm in. Mary, you as well. But we were dancing. Uh, yeah, we we'll, we'll dance later. Is Rash <laughs> entering? We'll dance later more. If Miri's gonna enter, I'll, I'll enter too. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, Uh-oh. quite a conundrum. <laughs> um, what's happening with the raffle? So I ran out to the forest to go find Heather, and I'm like asking for like I, I need a prize. Do you have anything? She's putting Grimo's hair on her uh, hair. Well, I I look back at her shack and I I see an object and go, I'm gonna borrow this. Oh yeah, be yeah. careful with you, that. You you got it. And so I run back. Uh, you want to do the raffle now or after the fight? After the fight. Okay. No. I have the prize. It's like in a box, but the box is shaking a little bit. Okay. There's All something right. in there. I will keep that <laughs> here right next to me, yeah. the king captain. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we have the, the participants, let the battle begin. <laughs> By having some orcs fight. Okay. Grimo comes out. He's so got a... This- a referee shirt on, and the baby has a matching referee shirt because he's gonna <laughs> call the royale. So how how does the sock hop battle royale work? Is this to the death? Or are we just wrestling? You know, do we use blades or no? We no magic weapons. Involved? It is merely a show of strength and and power. Um, if you are able to pin your opponent, then you move on to the next round. I'm I'm currently taking bets from the audience, but quietly, like, hey, I got four, I got four here, I got four here. What's the spread? All right. <laughs> yeah, there's a few a uh, few of the orcs that are really into gambling that are oh, super, yeah. super hype with you. Oh, I know. They're taking all of your bets. I'm taking all sorts of advantage. Yeah. Um, so I have to one on Gorbon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good bet. So we may proceed. Some of the orcs will probably battle each other, I assume, because yes. of how the bracketing works. Yeah, we got a we got a tournament bracket. <laughs> yeah. Decided. No, uh, only Decker and Shattercock and Miri, they their first round should probably be against other orcs. Should you just like roll? Like for pin? Yeah, well, yeah, we'll say work. um the first couple of rounds go through mm-hmm. um and eliminate a bunch of the orcs. Okay, so this is Koja didn't enter. Yeah, she's not there. Oh, she didn't enter. Um okay. this real tough guy is still in. Small arrow guy's out. So yeah, the the guy that actually the orc that looks the most impressive at this point because you're scouting, you're, obviously, you know, um, is is Scrump, and he is he's maybe the scrawniest orc you've got, but mm-hmm. he is just wily, Which one is and he's, he's, he's just been pinning down. everybody left and right. Look at that. right. That's a fighter. So Shattercox won two of her matches. Okay, um, and the third match is against Scrump. Sweet, uh, and she's kind of seen what Scrump can do, uh, so she's uh, she's a little worried, but she's really really tall. She's big. She's got a lot of strength. Behind okay. all of her movements, and also she knows that Scrump, uh, really, really loves women. Oh. So he's kind of intimidated by a woman. He's certainly, he's especially intimidated by a strong woman. He doesn't exactly like when you guys approach each other. He doesn't know how to start grabbing you without mm. making it super absolutely. Offensive. Yeah, and and so he doesn't want to like you know do something disrespectful or anything like that. Uh, Shattercock uses all that to her advantage. All right, still in her evening gown. Oh, but absolutely okay. still in her evening gown. Yeah, she just rolls up the. Pant legs a little yeah, well, bit. She, well, she, no, she rips sorry, it. She rips oh, the oh, yes, yes, yes. it goes up, it goes up to here. Yeah. Nice. Some, wanna... some of the orcs actually run and grab the little extra cloth that you ripped off your dress. Oh, okay. They're perverts. But yeah, we'll do, uh, <laughs> we'll do strength check. Okay. No. Six. Six. Ooh. Yes. So after fumbling a few times, accidentally grabbing your boob and then re- getting another oh. another hand, oh. maybe an ant, like he doesn't know where to go, but he'll he pins you down, flips okay. you over. And it's you know pounced right on top of you okay. and uh, count Shattercock out. Okay, all right, that's st- it for me. Stands up with his hands above right. his head in your face, Shattercock. <laughs> wow, I hate you, Scrump. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It, you know, but we're okay. 
right? No, no, no? we're not okay. Let's this go again. Again? Yeah. Can we do it, King Captain King? Let's go again. I'm okay with it. Ah! All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have inspiration. Do you want inspiration? Yes. Shattercock, I really think you can do it. I think I can too. Thanks, Derek. Jeez. Well, oh my what God. Was that? that was a terrible nine. Oh, that one was. No, oh boy, 19. Oh, oh boy. Boy. Never All right. You're so out. Scrump wins. All right. Go again. No. I love Double or nothing? You. All right, one more time. <laughs> oh. Fuck. I'm taking all sorts of bets and making no. lots of money right now. I'm getting my gold back. Yeah, the cops 11. are betting. Oh God, no, <laughs> You're getting your wow. gold back. Sing those gold. I'm, I'm sorry, Shatter. I mean boys. nothing by it. You know, yeah. I just really into the wrestling. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Who's next? Very surprising. Um, I guess he'll go move to the next round. Yeah. And then Miri. Sure. You want to go against the biggest person we could find? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. <laughs> this one can be Lamute. Lamoot, uh -oh. um, looks a lot like Rash, you know, female orc, but she's oh, probably, um, how tall are you? Uh, four, four, eight, I think. Okay. I she's good, like two feet taller than you. Oh, wow. boy. Oh, jeez. David <laughs> and Goliath. <time laughs> yeah. She's looking now. straight up. Let's do it, dwarf man. All right. So I roll. Battle. 20. Yeah, yeah. And then add, add your strength. Yeah, 11. Oh, tie. Ooh. Oh, tie. So kinda, stalemate. Like, yeah. Yeah. Stalemate. You, you both stand back up. Get back in the clinch. Do it again. All right. Uh, 13. 17. Oh, so, these orcs are good. Man. Damn. Yeah, so Lamut flips you over, pins ah. you, counts you out. All right. Man, it's just going to be orc fight. I yeah. know. Was, was there anyone else in the fight? Yeah. I'm still there. Decker's still in. And Rash right. is in there. Decker versus Rash? Decker versus Rash? Are the orcs loving this? Like, Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're extremely happy that they're beating up. They're on drunk. Their, they're high. Their chosen leader. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, and the trout punch has everyone super fucked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And everybody's got fish breath, too. Is there, like, <laughs> uh, burps. is there, like, a similar thing happening at the Trout Kingdom? Like, they're doing their own little, like, party and... <laughs> I thought they're just watching. They made stew out of the orc that floated out. <laughs> <laughs> they're still desperately trying to get your attention yeah. and hey! to warn you. Hey, you murder him! Water's <laughs> 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 rising. Yeah, we're just dumping trash over the side, blowing <laughs> 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 up the yeah. Trump kingdom. Fuck whatever kingdom this fucks with. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. So, so I lean into Rash and I say, "You let me win, I'll teach you how to dance." Agreed. We'll make it look good. Yeah. No, I step back and I trip on my jacket a little bit. Well, <laughs> oh, God. Should I roll? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, six. All right, three. Ooh. Hey. Wow. So Decker wins? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you guys are, wow. you know, wrestling around, twirling around. She's got you in a headlock. Um, <coughs> I'm not sure how you reverse that. Tap. Uh, tap. I just, like, kind of limp-wristed slap all over her, and she, like, <sighs> lets, lets, lets her arm go. It's pretty visible. I just kind of yank on it without any technique, and she just falls to the ground. I kind of look around, and then I flop on her. <laughs> Are you watching this? Like, all happen? Yeah. What's going through your head? You yeah, Decker flops on top of your lady. She's he's not my lady. I'm there. not. Yeah. She's not my lady. I'm not interested in her in that way. I think she's cool, and I I wish her the best. But I kind of I'm kind of <laughs> hoping like I'm kind of hoping like they're able to bond over this somehow because I'm starting to I'm starting to like her and respect her as an orc but I'm not I'm not I'm not attracted to her not yet so I'm hoping something comes from this maybe with those two because I, I can tell I think right. Decker likes her yeah I smell yeah. terrible and I'm smothering her with my my gross body <laughs> fish breath yeah. right you, you, you haven't had any of the punch no I, I was just okay. there sorry real quick can I be over there and like I actually haven't tried this fish punch yet and I take a swig and then I Instantly spit take it into Grimo's face. Oh, <laughs> oh no! This might not go worse for Grimo. Like, oh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't see there, Grimo. This is supposed to be the, the best night. Do you life. want the rest of this punch? Yeah, I guess I do. You're also so, holding that baby. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. right, right in baby's mouth. Oh wait, aren't you refereeing too? I forgot. Oh yeah. <laughs> So I think that uh, there, there's a little match, uh, Scrump and Le Le and someone else fought. Yeah. So now it's well, it would be the two winners, right? So Scrump and Lamute, 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 right? And they have to battle. I'll roll okay. for Scrump. Ready? Uh, one. Oof. Oh, Scrump wins because right. he was too busy looking at Shattercock. So now yeah, is, it, is the final match, Derek and? It's, it's no, no. Should be Decker and Scrump now. Lamute lost. Wait, did All you? Right. Did you you I'm haven't just, you, no, I, you're just no, watching. He didn't, he didn't enter. Yeah, he you're didn't not enter. entering. No, the king doesn't enter. Don't need to. All right, so now, now Grimo comes in for the uh, to referee the final match since it's the big final in his ref shirt. He's got the baby and a baby Bjorn like hanging oh, yeah. from him, 
and he's like, all right, guys, let's just keep it clean here. Keep it, you know, above the belt. Uh, and, you know, yeah, I, I, can't, uh, I can't decide who wins. It's not like I wouldn't want my former best friend to win, you know, or anything like that. Can uh, we change the ref? I don't think Grimo's going to be fair. What are you talking about? Grimo's the fairest guy here. Grimo's a liar. If you are second guessing your king captain's judgment when it comes to referees in a battle royale <laughs> named after him, <laughs> then you might as well walk away right now. <laughs> All right, well, uh, good luck, Decker. Flick my coat. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Are you being the heel? <laughs> good luck. Oh, wow. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. They might be the exact same character. So this one, this one, I think should be best out of three. Okay. Uh oh. Yes. Scrump points at uh, Derek. He goes, "This is for you, Captain King." And but he's all wild. He's kind of hopping around. He's nice. all greased up. He's staring at Decker right in the eyes. I'm wheezing. <laughs> so I pull out a little like c coconut uh, inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> is he cheating? Is he using magic? <coughs> no, he's definitely not cheating. <laughs> I'll take him anyway. And he makes at you. Uh -oh. All right. Let's go. I freeze up. Let's go. <laughs> uh, oh, 15. Ooh. Three. Yeah. Nice. Whoa. All right. All right. So uh, okay. Scrump three, wasn't wearing any shoes, I guess, and his feet are so sweaty that he took a, yeah. a, a slip, landed right on his face. And I guess uh, <laughs> Decker just fell on him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I panic and then I, yeah, just just okay. like, like a plank of wood. One, <laughs> two, three. Yeah. Ref. That one goes to Decker. Goddamn right it does. <laughs> the baby has a cigarette too. <laughs> so Scrum's like, little pompadour. like act, working up his anger. He's like really pissed off at himself, hitting yeah. himself on the head. Yeah. All right, round two. Decker's just smug as shit. Yeah. Roll again. Let's go. But round he's like two. nervously picking at his fingernails real hard. Yeah. They're like, they're kind of getting bloody because he's been picking at them so much. 12? 12. Uh-oh. Oh, oh draw. draw. We got a tie here. Let's <laughs> how, did, uh, how did they draw, though? I So he was charging at me, and I decided, no, this is your time. So I took one step forward, which he wasn't expecting, and we just collide oh. as physical bodies and mm -hmm. both fall down. Fair is fair. Right. Like, <laughs> so the, the, the ref sets us up again. Rematch. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Any words of inspiration, Captain King? You're doing great, Scrum. You're doing absolutely great. I was oh, talking oh, to the king. Oh, oh uh, <laughs> you're looking at me. So I, um, I really hope the best man wins. And he's like, kind of like looking side eye. <gasps> over Decker. You got it. Up oh, 11, 14. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Round two goes to scrum. Scrum wins. <laughs> so it worked before. So I try to do it again, except it's not no longer a surprise move. So he stopped short and just palms me in the chest real hard and I just collapse immediately. Okay. And he ta he, he uh, pins me. Real slow he walks up and pins you. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> it's just, you know, his asthma is acting up. It's all the it's all the fish. How's the how does the orc crowd feel about the fact that it's culminating in such a climactic battle? Oh, the, the orcs are totally into it. Yeah. They right. really do love the fact that they're whooping up on you guys. They're supposed like heroes. Mm -hmm. But uh, and, and Scrump's actually like really loving Decker. He thinks they have a little connection oh, going yeah, on because their wrestling is getting pretty epic here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a match for the ages. It's one to one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One to one. So may the best man win. <laughs> De Decker like try spits hair out of his mouth. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's long and it's not mm -hmm. combed at all, so it just keeps getting in his mouth every yep. time he tries yep. to move. Jesus. Like, I'm down. Round three. All right. Uh oh, eight two. Oh, <laughs> oh so, wow. So Jeez. Scrump makes towards Decker and. You do kind of a sweet sidestep yeah, where, you're, where your, him. your trench coat comes Except up. Except it was more of a cough. I doubled over <laughs> and my <laughs> coat blew up. And his head kind of gets stuck up into the trench coat and, and, like, and tangled around. Shit. And so, yeah, you're kind of wailing around and actually just kind of trip and fall and land on him. And yeah, him. land on him and I'm on my back. Like, <laughs> the, win. the worst way to win. <laughs> the winner is Decker. <laughs> <laughs> now, Grimo, Grimo saw... At one point, Decker's foot crossed over the circle oh, yeah. around the ring, uh -huh, uh -huh. but he didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. But he says, "Duck!" He walks up to walks up to me. Congrats. Derek. Derek goes, "Grimo, you were the referee. Did you see anything strange? <laughs> I mean, I have a hard time believing that no. Decker won this fight. Decker is the rightful winner. Congratulations, <sighs> Decker. Boo, Decker! I did it! Oh. Boo!" Boo. Boo. Uh, I'm, like, I'm looking around for every female I can see to see if any of them are like 
or bone ready. I'm trying rash, to like rash is yeah. Just love. I'm She's trying like really happy yeah, putting a forearm in uh, Rash's back. But she, <laughs> edging, rash edging. puts her arm around Miri's. Aren't you excited for your friend? He won the grand yeah. tournament. Yeah. Goes, go <laughs> congratulate him. Look wanna, at him. He looks so pitiful. Do you want to call the raffle now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, time for the raffle. It's like, also time for the raffle. And I'm going. Oh shit. Because <laughs> I don't know what's in the box. Uh -huh. so the orcs were pretty yeah. stoked about that tournament, but this raffle, they're just silent, stunned, yeah. mm -hmm. hold like just holding onto their. Tickets okay, so it's, it's their it's, leaves. It's, Heather rolls up. Hey, lover. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. Remember that thing I needed to tell you about? No, what? Hmm. Well, you'll figure it out. Okay, fine. Mm. She looks down at her feet really worriedly. Uh oh. And if anyone has noticed, feet are really strange. Her feet are strange. Yeah. Strangely well, shaped. Derek Mark. takes the box. Yeah. He goes, now it's for the prize. There's, there's like moving. purple dark energy yeah, swirling yeah. around. So, okay, everyone roll a d20. Uh, so, let's see. Did anyone get a 10? I got a no. no, I got a 15. 18. 16. Closest. Okay. No, well, you got it? Okay, got so one of the orcs won the raffle. Well, he got a 12 too. Wait, you did? Oh, I got a 12. Roll again then. We got to roll oh, okay. again. Okay. Five. I got a 10. 18. Uh -oh. 12. Who got the lowest? I mean, I didn't roll again, so. Oh. 14. I got a five. Whoever got closest to one wins the raffle. So Decker wins? Decker. Decker wins. Okay, so Decker <laughs> gets the box. Decker wins wow, double is, prize. Yeah. Well, it was Cinderella's story right. tonight for Decker. We'll see. So. Well, not even your king captain could have predicted this, that Decker would win the test of strength at the first <laughs> annual Derek Benz Lord Battle Royale. <laughs> Our champion. Yeah. Uh, but congratulations hey. to all the competitors. You've shown great promise. Um, he also won the raffle. Yeah. <laughs> So Rigged. this prize is Finally. yours. Right. Finally getting what I deserve. <laughs> now it grabs a box. Do you open it? Yeah, it opens right. it. There's like a, I guess, a evil purple orb inside. Well, it's like a, so what it is is it's a purple beating heart with like thorns around it, but like, cool. like black thorns. Cool. As soon as you open it, like right here, a dark portal opens up and a giant creature comes out with tendrils and like a black sort of like uh, corruption like takes over the boat. And this like creature with, looks like kind of like a, Sort of a horse head, but like its skull is like jutting out of its head. And like it's just, it's nothing but teeth and tendrils. And I think we go out there. Wow, what a cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah. Now you have to design this boss. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Well, that was, that was a really weird uh, episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Grits. So, uh, yeah, thanks, uh, Firsters, for tuning hey. in. Check out some of the other material Rooster Teeth has on First. There's good stuff up there. Uh, does anyone else have? Something wonderful to say. We'll play D and D next time. We'll do it next <laughs> week. We <laughs> promise. <laughs> There's going to be a RT Doc about wrestling coming out soon. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. other first yeah. member content. Yeah. Yep. So okay. if you want a real life recreation of the amazing spectacle of wrestling <laughs> acumen you saw here, stay tuned. We did not do that on purpose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, thanks everybody. All right. Thank bye. You. Bye. bye. Grima, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> well, I was just climbing in this hole. <laughs> the giant boys. I, they're they're in their green room. They won't come out. Please take care of it. Grimo goes to the giant boys' dressing room and he blows all the giant. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! It's like, also time for the raffle. And I'm going. Oh shit! Because I don't know what's in the box. Five. I got a ten. Fourteen. I got a five. Whoever got closest to one wins the raffle. So Decker wins. Decker. Decker wins. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Finally getting what I deserve. <laughs> now it grabs a box. Do you open it? Yeah. It opens right. it. As soon as you open it, like right here, a dark portal opens up. And a giant creature comes out with tendrils and like a black sort of like uh, corruption like takes over the boat. So. <laughs> <laughs>Decker yeah. won. Come on. However, Remember? that was Grimo, the referee, fudging the details a really? little yes. bit. Oh, you was? cheated? Well, a bit. A bit. Grimo, Grimo had a bad Decker's night. Decker's foot went over the line. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, and, then, right. and then Grimo, even though he and Decker are at odds right yeah. now, mm -hmm. he still has you know, a bit love of a love triangle at play. Mm -hmm. um, Except that the top of the triangle doesn't care. Yeah, no, I don't <laughs> either yeah. of the other parts of the triangle. Cock is looking for Koja, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And Grima had just come off of filleting the six members of the Giant Boys. Oh boy! And so quite a, his, wow. a couple of that's other cannons. cannons as his well. self esteem was <laughs> pretty low cannons. at the time. That is unfortunately canon. Wow, I didn't but realize that. I mean, nobody Part, knows. Chunks of your hair have been removed for a, some, yeah. arguably satanic ritual. Uh, oh, that's right. Oh yeah. You've also had, I think, with spum in it. Two, yeah, two cups of fish 
fish fin punch thrown in your face? Mm-hmm. Yeah, was a spit take. I, I, I spit took oh, it in her one face. One was thrown, the other one was <laughs> I, came directly I suffered out of his mouth. A lot at the hands yeah, of being Roxanne's well. executive assistant because <laughs> he was throwing the best sock hop it in the world. That was a really good party. But the prize, the winning prize from the raffle was which I believe Decker also won. Yeah. Yeah. He won both. It's also mine. Uh <laughs> oh, yeah, no. was a very strange object mm. which opened mm. up what appeared to be a portal. To I, I leave place. it to Dan to fill in the blanks. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of rift. I just throw him a very detailed curveball, yeah. and then he just he makes magic happen. Yep, I, I go home. So yeah, we're gonna need a complete list of the stats on that <laughs> demon entity that crawled out of that yeah, portal. That mm. also we should Adam have made up. We should have long rested at some point during all of this yeah, yeah. enthusiastic sock hopping, but. No. You guys haven't slept in days, actually. We have, and it feels like it. <laughs> and Miri, like, you had some attentions from a female or That's true. Who oh, was, right. She I was did. your, and kept your Rash. Them. Yeah, Rash was your dedicated Shoving helper. Shoving her away. I did, yeah. She's pretty cool, but yeah, I'm not, uh, That's what he I'm not, said. I'm not attracted cool, to her. But I'm not attracted to her yeah. every time. Every single I think time. Matt's afraid it's of my, intimacy. It's my, Excuse me, Miri. Bang that orc. If you want to bang that orc, you go right ahead. I don't. This is what oh, D&D's oh, all about, oh, Matt. Oh, so we can get laid finally. Yeah, just tickle finger <laughs> those lips. Quick bookkeeping, uh, some experience from last time. <gasps> I'm going to give everybody 500. Yeah, but 500. Oh, for that sock hop? Yeah, for the sock hop. It was Sweet. fucking awesome. What, how much experience yeah, do you have, Bruce? 40. Hang on. Well, you have like so seven more. 36, 14. Than everyone else? Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, I know you have seven more. Who have one twenty one? There it is. Oh, okay. oh, you have seven more. Yep. Uh, I, Decker actually gets seventy seven extra experience for winning the championship. That's bullshit. Oh, I beat a one on one battle and I got oh, seven. Oh, dang. Oh, that's he, dang. He rolled three times that's and accidentally good. won a battle royale. And dang. You seven. That's he dang. <laughs> That sucks. I'm gonna walk Dude, out on this fucking dang. shit show. <laughs> dang. So that makes me uh that makes me the highest level here. Primo blue Weird. six dudes. <laughs> Poorly. Six yeah. XP. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. One That's XP. Good. I forgot about the blow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wait, so if we blow three hundred dudes. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the fastest way to farm XP. <laughs> he <laughs> sucked <laughs> his way to level seventeen. Nice. I'm the great knight. It's like, hey, that guy blew me. Also give everybody gets a hundred extra experience for finally leaving that fort. Yeah. Um yeah. For finally leaving. <laughs> And uh, inspiration, just because I think oh. the last couple episodes were oh, so right. fucking great. I don't, I don't think I got inspiration last season. Oh. We should have our well, experience gain tied, tied directly to I'm how many first memberships we sell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Good we'll job, level boys. Up level up. We're yeah. going to multiply her if people sign up to watch the show. You guys are on the northern bank of the Moraga River around 9.30 p.m. Uh, the night air is crisp and refreshing. <laughs> There we go. There we, are. Here's your, there we are. So yeah, the, your sock hop was ripping and roaring and, and awesome. And kind of the evening was starting to climax. Uh, Decker won the contest of champions and the raffle. And the raffle prize <laughs> was a little box um, that you found in Heather's house. Heather. Heather yeah. Heather, Heather brought what was it. Your girlfriend's name. Heather. That was Heather. Okay. I thought it was Heather. Well, you said Heather. I said Heather. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Starts with an H. She's got an, she's got an Speech accent. Speech impediment, right? Yeah, yeah. Header. <laughs> so yeah, I think you, um, you, you got your raffle prize. You opened it up, and uh, as Adam let us know last time, there's a purple, thorny beating heart inside that box. Ooh, a beating heart. Um, oh yeah, it's that, like a demon heart. <laughs> <laughs> so it opened up a portal, and this giant tendrilled monster with a skull horse head. Oh, that's right. Started to come out. That's mm-hmm. what I remember from the yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, it was Let's like look a... at that art from Napoleon. Oh, mm. uh, no, no. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. the ball, Napoleon. Uh, <laughs> I wrote, there it horse head tendrils creature. There it is. Nice it's right job. there. Oh. <laughs> That's my wolf. That's Chansey oh. 1. Chauncey 1. Whatever. <laughs> How does Chansey's voice go again? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he never knows anything. Yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> so uh, this, cr- this creature starts to come out of the portal. And he goes, ooh, what a party! Yeah. 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 Back to back parties. Party monster Macaulay Culkin, <laughs> 2001. So yeah, you guys can actually kind of <laughs> glimpse into the portal he's coming out of, and it looks like a party is kind of winding oh, down shit. there. Party dimension? Whoa. Yeah, so he's, he's popping out. He's, he's starting to go grab some beers, wandering up. You guys mind if I join? Party monster. What's cool. going on here? Is Roxanne okay with this? Uh, this is his party. I'm indifferent at this point because, I, I mean, the whole thing's a disaster. <laughs> Uh, the giant boys are just not happy with that. Uh, there was a fluffer, someone who went backstage, and uh, they apparently weren't as happy as they could have <laughs> he been. Wasn't, uh, he wasn't good enough? They said it was uh, dry and unpleasant. He, uh, yeah. yeah. Obligatory. So I'm, I'm dealing Grimo with that let, right now. Grimo let 10 bees sting his lips yeah. before he did that. 
<laughs> I'm with the giant boys. So, I'm trying to. We're trying to figure yeah. out like a solution to this. I'm like, maybe Grimo will blow you. I don't know. We can. Grimo has to. Do I believe. Don't it skies. Yeah. <laughs> Lacked enthusiasm was the no. major oh. note. I'm I'm wow. unaware that it was actually Grimo who blew the giant boys. It, uh, from what I thought, it was just a, a random hooker I hired mm -hmm. who has yet to show up. Yeah. Party monsters moving through the party. <laughs> oh, there's some fly honeys up in here. Hey, baby. And he kind of goes and starts chatting hey, up. Party Hey, and he's kind of. Santa Cock knows his name right away, by the way. His name's Party Monster. Well, I'm, that's what she calls him. All right. You can call me Lewa, baby. I'm calling you Party Monster the whole time. <laughs> Whatever you want. All right. So he's got all those tendrils that are kind of moving to the beat. Ooh, yeah. yeah. You want, sweet. You want dance? Let's go, baby. That's going to be hot. Shattercock and Party Monster yeah, dance. Yeah. All those tentacles everywhere. Yeah, his little skull heads oh, kind of God. bobbing oh, back and forth. You're just giving him the fan art now. The Decker sees that Party Monster is now the life of the party uh -oh. and is. His complicated social machinations are starting to turn. Is it? Do I control Party Monster since I have the beating heart of whatever the fuck? Um, you could like close him out and make him go away, I suppose. Okay. Um, but you don't like control his. Movements Nobody controls or, Party yeah. Monster. <laughs> Interesting. You kind of unleash a party, and then you can shut down the party should you need to. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So anyways, <laughs> while while Decker's doing that, uh, <laughs> so yeah, Party Party Monster is like. Fuck yeah, shots of trout, animal, spirit, liquor. Let's do this. Y'all know how to party. Ooh, yeah. And then Shattercock will be taking shots with, with Party Monster. But I think it's only Shattercock and, and Party Monster. Yeah. Unless anybody I think, else I think everyone's just in total We're fear like, right uh, now. Uh, oh, yeah. come on. You guys don't want to dance with Party Monster? Yeah, he's getting down. Yeah, yeah and we're, we're he's, noticing. He's immediately disarming. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll up to Party Monster. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm going to lean in real close and be like, Party Monster, I need your help. And you better help me. I'm like holding the box with a heart in it. Let's go, dude. What's up? I need you to make me popular. Hmm. <laughs> his popular. voice changed. <laughs> yeah, no, I like, I like his voice changes to that. Have you had any of the trout liquor? No, I don't drink. Oh, boy. <laughs> Burns um, my throat. Well, uh, do you dance, little buddy? Oh, yeah. Good dancer. Well, just hit the dance floor. Shattercock's partying. Woo! Let's do this, Woo! man. Just let loose. I don't know, that party makes you monster. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, little dude? You gotta, you gotta help me, party monster. Make, make everyone think I'm cool. So, you, do you want to hit the dance floor or not? If you make me cool, I'll do anything. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. Puts so, the, they kind of, party monster pulls out some sunglasses as well and puts it on his Whoa. horse skull. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so then Shattercock basically ends up getting sandwiched between Decker and Party Monster. Oh, wow. That's right. a lot of so tentacles. They're both freaking oh, on uh, on Shattercock as she's oh, ice tower and Shattercock. You bet. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be real nice. So uh, with one of his little tendrils, he reaches out to the Jayen boys and hands them a little something and goes, "Turn up the heat, boys." Oh shit! Oh yeah. Oh. Party Monster's taking this to a new level. Party Monster has ecstasy. <laughs> 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 yeah. He's dropping yeah. tablets. Uh, hey, you want a party, party don't you? Down. <laughs> well, this was a party. <laughs> it's okay. like doing coke. Party Monster. I uh, okay. I roll up the Party Monster. I go. Uh, excuse Excuse me, there is only one minstrel of party here. Or sorry, uh, minstrel. Minstrel. Not what am I trying to say? Uh, Menstrual is what you Menstrel. Yeah. Menstrual party now. <laughs> That's uh, party master, monster of party. Yeah, master 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 of party. Yeah, there's only one master of party here. Oh, master. Servant. And you're talking to him. Who do you think oh. you are? Who do you think you are? What's up, little dude? Handsome guy. How's it going? What have I done to offend you? Well, uh, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> uh, my name is Raxa. Nice to meet you. Where do you Where do you come from, good good friend? Oh, you know, it's a it's a cool hip town called uh, Lorida. We we party pretty hard. Um, yeah, where am I now? What right. is this place? Does anyone know which way is north? I always like to <laughs> adjust myself when I reach a new dimension. It kind of calms me. And, uh, and someone and someone like slides in between you guys, but stumbles a little yeah. bit. It's that way. Look at this cool dude. He knows exactly which way north is. <laughs> that's me. Not the adjective I would describe him, but hey, that's pretty. That's pretty cool of you, Party Monster. Anything I can get you to, to get you going here? I mean, looks like looks like this place is finally, finally, kicking up. Yeah, he kind of he puts his arm around your shoulder a little yeah. bit and walks you over the side. And okay. He goes, "You look like you're down, man. Where's uh, well, where's the good stuff? The good stuff." Well, the giant boys just sniffed it off some dude's cock. Uh, oh, boy. I could run to the forest real quick and hit up my guy. If I mean, I don't want to be a lot of trouble, but, you know, if you're willing to do it. You know. uh, what, are you, what are you holding? What do you got? You got any? No, no, I'm asking you. I'm, no, well, no. I mean, I, I, I need... used it all up at the last party. Okay. <laughs> well, how much How much are you looking to spend? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hundo, two hundo. What do you guys use for currency here? I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just a dumb witch in the forest. <laughs> All right, we'll give her these rocks. Rocks, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They just look like They're rocks. magic rocks. Okay, give me 20. All right, cool. So I head out to the forest. <laughs> I do a backflip off the boat. 
<laughs> Sweet wolf for that. Oh, he's gonna be gonna drop those rocks. Oh, oh. Yeah, triple back. Wow. Lands it perfect. Four hundred feet away. Wow. <laughs> Into the forest. Uh, Derek walks up to Party Monster and he goes, "Yo, yo, dog man, hold your partying at this instant." Do you understand whose kingdom you just entered? Oh uh, no, no, no. This Party is the kingdom, kingdom of right? the orc people, as led by me, a dogman. No, listen to him. He's just our king. It's no big deal. King yeah. Captain. No, nice to king. meet you, King Captain. Nice, nice to meet you. He does like his tendrils yeah, all like trying he's to cook on me. Yeah. 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 And then Derek goes, <laughs> that <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> what brings you here? You're a cool king. Oh, slobbering it up. Uh, I'm here to party. You guys brought me here to party. Let's <laughs> do it. Let's how, do it. How, how did you arrive here? Who let the orkies out? Who? 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 that song? How did you arrive here? And in terms of partying scale, how good is this party that is being oh. thrown by my people as compared to other parties you may have seen? Well, you you know, I just got here, so I don't want to judge harshly. I just met you people, but it seems pretty righteous. Well, I think a... it's only fair that you pay tribute to myself and my people. Yeah. Because if you are going to enjoy our party, Let's um, do it. You have to pay the pay the price. Oh, what's the price? A sweet dance move right on the middle of the dance floor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he grabs Shattercock's hand and they just start kind of spinning and twirling yeah. and, and it's a little um it's a little like swing dancing. Oh, you know, okay. where you're kind of hopping around All right, and, and Except his tentacles between your legs. Oh, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and some of those balance. tentacles are slipping in places. The party wants you to get a little fresh there. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I get a little oh, out of control well. when I get excited. Wow. The party, you know, I'm just going. Well, that's okay. I don't think, I just move. That's all right. Let's, let's keep doing that. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm writhing on the dance floor, tentacles everywhere. Oof. Ooh, so, so many slime. So yeah. hot. So, so many uh, mixed messages from chat. Oh, like yeah, chicken absolutely. soup. <laughs> <laughs> One message. It's pretty clear. I don't know. <laughs> She's never had sex. Don't, what a don't mystery. Forget. What don't a forget. mysterious woman. She's never had sex in the series. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Before and after, as soon as the cameras stop rolling, she's oh, yeah. no, basically she's filled. Super dirty. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Party Monster <laughs> kind of floats over towards Grimo, who's sitting by himself in the back of the boat. Yeah, well, he's, he's hurry, hurriedly tidying up cups. There are cups everywhere. Like, why are there so many? <laughs> cups everywhere like he's picked up a hundred cups what's wrong little dude there's just cups everywhere i've picked up like a hundred cups <laughs> well that's a lot of cups but we got a party out there Tell what you doing it. back here well like i said i'm cleaning i'm cleaning i got my boss he's breathing down my neck all the time you might see him he's the, the guy with the dumb orc head on his head oh yeah that guy was pretty cool yeah wait a second you got like 20 hands i bet you could pick up a ton of cups oh yeah i could if you help me pick up cups there might be a little something in it for you. Ooh. And Grima does like universal blowjob. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Symbol. gosh. I'm sorry, bro. I like to party, but I don't party that way. And he kind of just floats back to the, oh. or starts to go back to the, the rest of the group. Yeah. lips are still like huge and bee stung. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Meanwhile, though, uh, Chauncey 2, he has picked up one of the little white tablets that kind of like, oozed out of party, out of party monster's monster. tentacle <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he, can, he identifies it as a as a quaalude chauncey too knows that <laughs> he knows he knows what ludes look like <laughs> and uh so he uh he approaches derek mm -hmm. and uh perhaps i may have an audience with you derek I don't know how this keeps happening because I don't keep casting the <laughs> ritual spell that causes I wish, wish I had really never unlocked this part of my brain. But go well, on. It's simple. I am the king of the horse horde, and you are also a great king. <laughs> so it is only right that kings should parlay. <laughs> uh, well, if you're their king, it makes me feel a lot more diminished about my role, but go on. <laughs> no, you are in fact king of the dogs, are you not? No. No, that's offensive. I'm king of the orcs. Oh, that is right. My cousin Rufus is king of the dogs. I have forgotten that. <laughs> and then Chauncey One runs up. Who's Rufus? <laughs> well, oh, Ed, it, it has been a pleasure parlaying with you. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, please do not let the great Chauncey One inter uh, interrupt our... our what, what do you have in your hand there, Chauncey Two? Oh, uh, do not consider yourself with such mere metals for mortals, Chauncey Why One. Why can I hear all of this? <laughs> Chauncey One's hand reaches out and immediately takes the pill. Oh, there it is. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. We gotta give it a sec. Try to stay awake. Oh, no. I yeah. will. That was for the usurper Grimo. Usurper. <laughs> <laughs> but, but does anybody have any water? I'm really hot. <laughs> Derek has walked away by this point. Uh, I return from the forest to Grimo, oh, no. the party monster, and I'm holding a box full of cups. 
And I go, Grimo, there you are. I throw the cups on the ground. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a guy outside. Uh, I paid him in these uh, rocks. Thank you, Party Monster. Hey. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, but the rest of the stuff is in the stagecoach. I need you to go pick it up. But I got so many, I'm on a cup duty right now, Roxanne. I, I, the cups will be here when you come back. <laughs> Don't worry. I need you to go pick up the stuff because there's people watching, they need someone who looks like a child. Get out there. I like hearing come at on. least try and transition back and forth from Grebo yeah. to the <laughs> That is hard. Grebo <laughs> 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 Come on, little bro. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go handle okay. it. And there's, a, there's, a, there's like a elf lord who's like sitting in the stagecoach. <laughs> what? Goes, you, young boy. There you are. Come. I'm not, not going to blow this. Come head here. Head <laughs> is this in your notes, Dan? An elf uh, lord. I'm gonna blow yes. This out, elf. Oh my gosh! <laughs> You're at the perfect height. <laughs> Who else is gonna do it? At least, come on. <laughs> so what happened? He I called you. I what are you gonna do? Can I roll to see whether I have to blow this elf? Well, not yet. Well, or, or, approach you, the carriage. You, you don't know what he wants. Yeah, come, I get come into my carriage. It's safe. Lock the door behind yeah. you, won't you? Yeah. So Grimo gets in the carriage. Oh, uh, I've never met a real life elf before. I've never seen such a young boy with so much facial hair. <laughs> young boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, thank you. I'm not as young as you might think, though. Oh, let's not spoil the surprise. Oh, cigarette? Are you rolling for something? What's happening? I don't know. No, I'm, you I'm haven't saying the blow what is Oh, no, no. Oh, are you for? in the carriage? Yeah. 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 If you want the special item, please hop on board. Special item? What, what are we talking here? Uh, your friend with the orc head said I could give you something special, but you have to do something for me. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have to do? Uh, let's find out. Maybe oh. we just... Listen to some giant voice in what my are magic car. What you rolling for? <laughs> All right, well, He's tell, he tells waiting. you when to roll. You want to say over 10 They've done this for three blowjob. seasons. So he, well, the he's elf trying to pressure you. Yeah, the <laughs> elf won't get to it. I yeah. know. You have to set up a scenario, <laughs> and then the, yeah, and then well, the DM has to decide whether or not it's worth rolling for. We're getting there. We're getting there. just say, blow me. We have to talk around it. Everyone's just... All ready for the hand job. Young, young giant boy, answer me this riddle. Oh, I love riddles. Yeah. Are you the cops? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, don't believe me. Because you have to tell me. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not, okay, let's say over 10, I give him the blowjob. Is that okay? Please. <laughs> no, 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 you can't. You just want to skip to it. All right. So uh, no blowjob. Okay. No blowjob. Or no, well, it's just no, not a good blowjob. Yeah. No, no, eight would be blowjob. Yeah. No, oh. I just she said, said over 10. 10 okay. So I, I have. Your, if you want, we can change it. So then I'll give him a blowjob. I have the magic powder. It's under thine robe. Come find it if you can. Okay. So Grimo does this, and then he kind of like dives in. in. Driver, take us around the block. <laughs> He's the driver. Grimo. It's a carriage. He's in a carriage. He's in the back. Where's who? Who's the driver? I don't know. Servant Lord. Another elf. Uh, driver just. <laughs> well, the elf just goes, dash me, Lord. Because <laughs> he's like a hunchback. And so <laughs> Adam okay. would become the DM. I, I, I know. I like this one man show that Adam does with the six of us sitting anyway, here. I think it's pretty great. <laughs> so is Grimo. Great Grimo, if you want to resist the blowjob, roll a, roll a 20. Okay. And if you roll over 10, you can resist the blowjob. Okay. So, I mean, I, <laughs> why would you want to? We did change it so under 10 is for the blowjob. So yeah. now he's he sees so what's just, happening. Now he's trying to well, resist. So the bag of whatever is just sitting next to his crotch and there is a flaccid penis. Now you Oh, I thought it was like popcorn in the whole trick. <laughs> All right. Like, kind of. That's seven. What okay. does that mean? Does uh, that mean there's a blowjob? Means that yes. resistance okay. failure. <laughs> Unless, our, like, wait, I wait. So Grimo's blowing the elf. Sounds like it. Get out of here, pervert! <laughs> 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 I knew there was gonna be some dumb bullshit you were gonna do. <laughs> the elf looks at goes, "You have freaky friends." <laughs> <laughs> did I get the thing? No, there's no the drugs. Thing oh, no drugs. So Rax and he goes, uh, "Grimo, <laughs> did you get the stuff?" No, he resisted my advances. <laughs> <laughs> you were just supposed to give him money. What did you? I thought you wanted me to, you know. I throw the other box of cups and I walk away. Oh. So Party Bro uh, comes up to Rex and he goes, Hey, buddy, did you find the... You know, no, the, the little guy screwed it up, but... Um, little dude. I got some I got some backup stuff in my in the bunk downstairs. It's you all want, right. We can we can, you, we can. You okay that. with that? I mean, it's for emergencies, but you seem pretty cool. Yeah, you know, if you're down, but okay. we can keep partying without it. We don't need help. We can have fun without uh, whatever weird shit you're going to bring me. I'll get the magic dust. I'll be right back. Cool. Chauncey you see, one tripping balls. I was say, you, see, you, you see Chauncey one uh, running by all sweaty. Naked and, and, and like looking around, and it, uh, party monster has lights on the ends of his tentacles. Okay, and oh, so, and sweet. So immediately, Chauncey one really gets hypnotized by party One monster. Prelude. Just stay, I just it's sitting right there, staring at the lights off his tentacles. But he's really, really sweaty. Cool. Don't know why we water, but so do you we water? <laughs> uh, somebody want to get that uh, 
that wolf guy some water? He Please. looks like he's struggling. I'm, 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 I'm real, I was on some heavy duty shit again. <laughs> Ding dong, doorbell rings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Grimo, it's a it's a it's a guy. He's got a bunch of uh, crates that all have these these flat. Uh, like risen yeast with with cheese and fine <laughs> sauces and on them and meats. They're fantasy pizzas. Oh, uh, oh the pi- someone ordered pizza. Oh, who ordered the pizza? Roxanne's <laughs> gonna kill me. Then <laughs> <laughs> Grimo runs over to Mary. He says, "Mary, do you have any cash? I got somebody ordered these pizzas. I gotta pay for these pizzas." <laughs> I'm so I'm just confused at everything that's going on. Uh, yeah, how much do you need? That'll be 35 gold pieces for the pizzas. 50 gold pieces. 50. He just said 35. (laughs) Who said that? I never said that. The pizza, whoever, whatever pizza is, the man said it. Mm, Okay, yeah, 35. Uh, 40 for tip. Sure. He gives Grimo 40. Gold has no meaning in our world. No, (laughs) really. I I mean, I got like 10,000 of them. So Grimo, thanks, thanks, Mira. I owe you, man. By the way, your girlfriend's super hot. Uh, With everything that's happening, yeah, she's starting to look better. (laughs) Oh, wow. Is is he on the too? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm like repulsed, not repulsed, but okay. sort of uncomfortable with everything going around, and I don't trust party tentacle monster. <laughs> no, you don't. No, oh, man. the orcs have also been kind of losing clothes as the evening goes on, and oh, the party yeah. 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 dance floors yeah. getting swinging up. Grima's yeah. st- struggling to carry all the pizza, and he like dumps it off, and then he like kind of like thrusts one at Decker. Here, you must be hungry. Decker like swipes it, eats it, and then throws the crust over his back. Hopefully hitting Grimo in the face with it. Walks oh, away. Hit in the face with a crust. That's oh, right. Poor Grimo. And then there's just a trail of crusts leading to the other side of the boat. Where Decker just turns around, <laughs> stares at Grimo, and keeps eating. All right. So uh, we'll, we'll say the party keeps going on, unless anyone's got some wonderful th- things going. Uh, party monster is getting a little lit and then starts just kind of projectile vomiting just <sighs> all, over all the, the hot orc chicks. What does, oh, what does nice. every, everywhere. What does oh, he vomit? Vomit? Uh, the trout liquor. Yeah. Oh. Uh, glitter. Like some... Is there glitter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely shiny. It's beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Chauncey one vomiting too. It's well, well he, just... he's vomiting out in the woods somewhere. Oh. You, don't, you don't know where he ran away. <laughs> he's somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. He's long gone. <laughs> so he's just he's got his his tentacles over Shattercock's shoulders. I'm sorry. Oh, it's I'm okay. Sorry. That's all right. That's all right. It's, it smells terrible, and you smell terrible, but. I like your style, party monster. Oh, I like you too, Shattersack. What'd you just call me? You're a Shattersack. No, this is huh. a shatter, Shattercock. Oh. It's a Shattercock. Oh. Oh. Um, Where'd you get that name? Oh, it was given to me by my grandmother a long time ago. It's a beautiful family. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. no, not again. <clears throat> All right, so so Koja walks up to Derek. He goes, I, I do think we should have everyone rest before taking to the oars tomorrow. We have, we've been up for days. The dogs are strong and resilient. <laughs> But we are mortals. Then Derek turns in his chair and his, he's already out. He's been asleep for <laughs> several good. hours and just snoring. Oh, no. So but she kind of gives him a little scratch on the head. Ah, he kicks He mm. kicks a couple times uh, as he's getting scratched. Well, what's up? What's going on? He's trying to sleep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, Captain King. You just rest your pretty little face. Okay. Um, and then he curls up twice. And then he sits down. He goes to sleep. The, uh, the DJ... For the giant boys, because if it goes, all right, the party's getting a little, uh, getting a little tired out there. It's time for a couple's limbo, (laughs) and we can tell you wrap up every party. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's time for limbo. Everyone, grab your sweetheart and grab a stick. It's time for limbo. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'll go first. (laughs) All right. (laughs) 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 Roll a 20 and add your decks. The deck is all barf oh, yeah. slick. See if you get under 18. Whoa. Nice. Plus zero. zero. <laughs> Man. Say so you made it under that one. How? Yeah, all right. Well, so yeah. uh, as she's going under. Does she like tuck her boobs into her armpits? As she's going, well, she has huge boobs, so they, yeah. they kind of fall to the side because they're natural. Yeah. And uh, they, they fall to the side a little bit. So she just barely scrapes under because the boobs go like that, right, yeah. right underneath the limbo. Does her nipple just like? Oh, just <laughs> like it yeah, looks yeah, like just the, pops it a little bit, yeah. but the bar doesn't Wheel pop of out. <laughs> or they <laughs> take the bar and they slide. Oh like, yeah. yeah, they are a little wet from party. Yeah, monster, yeah exactly. So party monster. Yeah. Yeah. So the well, no, Shattercock did the limbo first. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think you're the only one. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone's <laughs> passed out. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, could I? Rash is like a big orc, right? Yeah, yeah. So She's like twice your size. Yeah. So can we do the limbo and I and I just I can roll for it, but yeah. I just I just like walk under the bar. <laughs> <laughs> She's so it. much taller. Do it. Uh all right. 
So I grab Rash. And I'm like, come on, let's go, knowing this will be like easy for him. 19. Oh, <laughs> minus wow. one. The minus one for dexterity. Oh, 18. Yeah, now you missed out. <laughs> no, no. So, yeah, you you walk under perfectly, and then she tries to do it um, and then knocks the pole over, but Aww. is m horribly embarrassed that she's uh, ruined her time with you and didn't look cool in when front of you. When she falls, does he catch her? Oh. Like that? Because he was so balanced. Maybe, maybe that's her? his role, right? <laughs> yeah. He can't really roll the limbo if he's just walking under. Yeah, him. I was, yeah. He was would, trying. Did you try and catch Rash? Yeah, at this point, like, I was trying to get her away from me earlier, but now I feel bad that she's knocked this thing over. So, yeah, I try and catch her. All right. Aww. Roll for that. Yeah. What a, what a rom oh. romantic. Let's I look see. back and this see her falling. I go, <gasps> this could be it. Two. Oh, no. <laughs> Minus one. Uh, I give uh, Miri my inspiration because uh. Primo sees this. He's like such a hopeless romantic because he wants this love in his life. That's the only inspiration you get all season. <laughs> I know. So uh, I'm just like, no, no. So he uh, inspires, she's the ground. inspires Miri. All right. He says, Miri, you got her. You could do it. You're saying this as, as she's, as as she's falling. falling. Her neck is snapping in half. All right. Roll well, again. Done. Three. Oh, no. No. That wasn't really a roll. That was more of a it just fell. So yeah, a rash crashes into the oh. ground and uh, actually ends up breaking the limbo device. Oh, and, um, oh that's over. Yeah, she's turning red. She's looking at Miri and maybe almost tearing up, but you could have uh, prevented maybe more this. lip quivering. But Miri, you didn't even catch me. What happened? Are you trying to embarrass me in front of all of my friends? I tried to catch you. You're like <laughs> twice my size. Oh shit! You tried. Oh, oh, oh now he's coming oh, back. Not wow. to say that. Victim Mouth. blaming here. Yeah, her fault. Wow. Jeez. Was she too fat? Yes. Yeah, is, is my weight a problem for you, Miri? No, you're just taller than me and a different race, so therefore oh, mm. larger. Oh, he's racist. I know. Larger. Oh, he's saying think I'm, I'm stating facts. Oh, oh we don't call him that. Yeah, you don't want Miri's to now he's mansplaining. I'm oh, sorry, uh, paladin splaining. <laughs> so yeah, Miri's getting really like uh, irritated with everybody because he feels he didn't do anything wrong. Oh. Uh, and then what do I say? The right approach. Yeah. yeah. Get I defensive. Just, this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> You're too fat and tall. Just, make sure you point as many <laughs> fingers as you race. got. <laughs> I know. And I hate your race. <laughs> 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 Maybe if you didn't make me meet your parents, this wouldn't happen. <laughs> it's always like this. It's How always you, you, you. <laughs> How does Miri react? I did my best to catch you. I'm sorry. Um, I went under the bar just fine. Sorry you couldn't do it. Well, I, I tried my best, Miri. I, I really just wanted to impress you. And she kind of turns and runs away. Oh, I'm rat. just going to go to bed. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of like kind of like choking a little tear. Rest up against the ship, and I'm like, nice. Well, Curmudgeonly well, looking at everybody. Bitch. Nice. Yeah. Showed her. I look real cool. No, I'm right. <laughs> I hope everyone saw that. <laughs> Those are facts. All, All right. right, we'll say the party's nine down. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone have anything else they're trying to do? Uh, the sock hop. Decker's gonna roll up to party monster. Mm. Be like, hey, party monster. No yeah, one at this party thinks I'm popular yet. It takes time. Bullshit, it takes time. I tried to get you out on the dance floor and you know, you just wandered away. You're a shitty party monster and I hate you. Dude, you don't fuck with me, buddy. I'm a party monster. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck with you when I want to. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Throws up all over Decker. <laughs> you know, like, punch the heart. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Ooh, That's he... right. Oh, yeah. oh, what was that? Oh, I really it's... don't feel so well. Yeah, if you want another one of those. <laughs> now he's like a slimy, like, ah, you I want know, one of those? <laughs> kind of, it's getting there. Let me, let me go home. Let me go back in the box. Right, but let's get this straight. You exist to make me popular. You understand? <laughs> sure. I'll, you know, we'll come up with a plan or something to, you know, get the loser kid cool again or whatever. Give it another punch. <laughs> That's right. Get back in your stupid box. All right, I so you shut the box. It? Oh, okay. All right, so yeah, it, as you shut the box, the the dimensional portal uh, starts to shimmer and just kind of sucks them right in. It's <laughs> like a awesome. genie. Cool. Yeah. Party genie. Yeah. Okay. That's right all down. of your party wishes <laughs> for See, himself. I was gonna say he seems <laughs> to just get high and yeah. throw up on <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're saying everyone crashed out. Oh yeah, right. sure. We'll so, do yeah. we'll do a long rest so everyone can. I mean, if unless someone wants to really hit the. Um, I would like Grimo to still be cleaning. Yeah, if that's okay. <laughs> if, I don't think Grimo. Grimo's yeah. got way too much work to do to get a rest in. I'm, I think he's I'm, at full HP, so he'll just keep cleaning while everybody else is asleep. I'm talking to two constables right now. I'm like, like I don't know anything about any midget pervert. I don't. I can't help you. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I mean, Grimo there's, there's a guy on deck who will blow you. That's what Grimo's you're into. lips are so swollen. <laughs> oh. She's so swollen. Oh. He's kind of like, his eyes are kind of like 
glossy because they're filled with tears and he's like picking up and cleaning up after everybody. He's some crust in his face. say, and a lot of cum. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got a lot of cum on his face. <laughs> There's a lot of puke and, uh, all over the boat. Yeah. Like, vomit yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, off. he's wiping up all the vomit. Fecal matter. Is this what you imagine for Grimo? <laughs> this is what he. This this is what, is when I imagine Grimo, you know, reuniting with his father and mother, <laughs> what and this to, is what I imagine. What, what's Chauncey doing? Oh, the Chauncey Lutes? won as lo- again, yeah, like, he's the only he's still in the woods. He's on the lamb. Yeah, he'll come back, but I don't know. Can we see the world map? Where is he? out there somewhere going like lost in the woods and then here's there. a wolf howl and goes what's that <laughs> <laughs> wait so where where are we in the map right now uh, oh, like right there okay so where's uh chauncey Cha- uh, chauncey one's like kind of in this area, oh okay right gotcha I was, hoping, too far. I was hoping over here. No, 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 no no chauncey too is going to get some sleep but he has like little glasses on and he's looking at like correspondence from <laughs> the kingdom and drawing up some plans all just hoof prints little green visor <laughs> yeah he melts cigarette. some wax and then he like puts a seal oh, the seal with his hoof and yeah. And he sends out another letter oh. by uh, by Sparrow. Who's this letter going to? Uh, we'll we'll have to find out. Ooh, okay. Cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one. I'll forget. I'm afraid right away. It's morning. You guys wake up from a Ooh. shitty night of. Are we all hung over? Hungover Absolutely. sleep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So not rested. <laughs> Somehow worse than we were before. Yeah. Lost Grimo's more than points. So bloodshot. <laughs> Shattercock. She feels. Totally rested. She's totally yeah. fine. She wakes she up covered, just fresh and clean. Like, really feels great. Mm-hmm. I don't know. She's oh, perfect. Yeah. I, just, I mean, Shattercock, she has trouble waking up some mornings, but this morning, for some reason, she's she's up like that. She's self great. cleaning dragon skin. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, uh, the dragon scales, they self clean themselves. He shed like yeah, a snake. She sheds all <laughs> <laughs> Where's Party Monster? Is it, what happened to Party Monster? Pecker. What? Where'd he go? I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he didn't like the party and left. That's impossible. We threw the best party ever last yeah, night. Yeah, I don't understand why would he leave. Yes. His party if he's him. not here, something must have happened to him. Oh, Shadowcock, it doesn't feel too good when you date ditches you, does it? No, Grimo, it doesn't. A lesson has been learned. Did you enjoy blowing all those dudes? <laughs> well, I have some good contacts in the music industry now. <laughs> Oh, but no, I've been cleaning up the boat all night. Thanks again, yeah. Grimo. We appreciate that. Um, I I don't think you noticed this, but I think when the giant boys left, they wrote boy toy on oh, Grimo's. Yeah. <laughs> Grimo didn't sleep though. Oh, they Grimo just didn't grabbed sleep. Grimo's. Take <laughs> 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 this, you freak. Grimo's kind of like touched. He's still like he's hurt, but yeah, he kind of like he's he's such a pushover. So like anytime he's like a puppy. Anytime somebody like shows him any act of kindness, mm. he just immediately forgets how they treated him. So he's like. Okay, Shadowcock. You know, I'm I'm sorry, Party Monster left. You know, I could tell you guys really loved each other. <laughs> <laughs> Are we friends again, Grimo? Yeah, we're more than friends. Nope, just friends. <laughs> this happened. This happened in season one. He's a, he's a <laughs> 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 it'll happen in. again. Uh, says to Grimo, Party Monster said he hated you specifically. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, Doug. Yeah, fuck you too. Because <laughs> they love each other. Oh, oh, Screaming, <laughs> walks away clutching his stupid little box. I'm resting my foot on a trash can and I kick it over. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I go, Grimo do scr- it again. Oh, Grimo man. scrambles and he picks all the trash goes everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Just a wave of semen flies. Yeah. Scrambles oh. and he picks up the trash. Oh, well, there's a lot of used condoms, but it's yeah. all it's all Shattercock's snake skin. Oh, oh, use, yeah. Yeah. Oh. A lot of used condoms, but even more unused condoms. Oh. <laughs> so uh, Seg. Walks up to Captain King Dirk. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Captain King Dirk, I do have sad news. Um, one of our young Morung passed away last night. <gasps> That's a good party yeah, monster's good party. gone. <laughs> Not party monster. <laughs> he is gone. But um, <laughs> the young orc Morung, I think, must have had too much trout liquor to drink and did not wake up. Everyone but goes woo. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I'm a yeah. party. Chauncey too goes up to De- Derek, and only Derek can hear him. So he goes, "Derek, that is not true. The trouts make the finest t- trout liquor this side <laughs> of the giant river. There is no way that someone could die from consumption. There has to be something more to this case." Derek, Derek turns to Chauncey too and goes, "You know the trout liquor isn't made by the trouts. We take the trouts, we kill them." We ferment the trout in a barrel until it creates a liquor that we're basically drinking their flesh. Chauncey 2 is so stupefied, he can't <laughs> respond. Is the Horse <laughs> liquor is even better. Is the, <laughs> is, the, is the trout prince prince still out on a rock? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, I think, he, I think there should be a, there's just a bird picking at his corpse oh. now. <laughs> uh, so Derek turns and he goes, he goes, I understand your concern, but I assure you we will find Party Monster. 
<laughs> it's the last thing I do. <laughs> All right. Well, so, Green, Mo- Green Mo's heard this, and he, he has such a soft spot, you know, in his heart, and he goes, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm not, I'm no king, you know, I'm just a... Or a captain. I'm just some, some, you know, BJ love and fluffer. <laughs> but, uh... Don't sell you yourself say, short, little man. Do you say that an orc child has passed away? Well, child, y- young man, teenager, yeah. What? Drank what? himself to death. I'm you guys so party too hard. There's n- there's no one being responsible. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. What can we do? Toss him over the side. Oh, oh no, no. Okay. I go, go, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me someone died on my watch during a party? What was his yes. name? Morung. Morung. We shall throw the greatest party <laughs> this moron has ever seen. In to honor, honor of that moron. To honor of some idiot who died at a fucking party. Who's ready to party? <laughs> How, what is... Uh, uh, Though I am your king captain, I am still learning your culture and improving it in some ways. Um, <laughs> how would how is the best way to honor this uh, this young creature and send him off into or Kevin, which doesn't exist by the way? Um, <laughs> Derek's the best king. <laughs> He's shitting on the uh, and and uh, in an honorable way. Well, you know. I think it would be nice. Sorry, I had to get back to my voice. I think it'd be nice if uh, the Captain King said a few words about little Morung. Um, but we can move on. No one really liked him. I will say a few words about Moron. Moron. <laughs> <laughs> His name's not Moron. Moron was a young man. <laughs> Moron! And orc. And young man and orc. He, uh, not a boy, but not quite an adult either um <coughs> moron loves to party moron and we found him oh uh, how where did we find him oh he just passed out on the deck he just we found up. him passed out on the deck <laughs> he drank too much trout uh liquor he here could, here he could pound trout with the best of them <laughs> but i think if moron were here right now moron he would be proud of himself for having partied as hard as he did last night Woo! All the orcs are cheering. Yeah. And I also think that if Moron were still with us, he Moron. would want us to find Party Monster, who has been missing since the dawn. Yeah, Party Monster! Yeah. And if party anyone, monster. and I'd like to take this opportunity, that if anyone has any information on Party Monster, our best friend, <laughs> uh, uh, that to please come forward, um, because losing him is most dire to our kingdom. Um, thank you for your time and throw that body over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was just saying, I'm, I'm, and then, and I'm then, holding. And then I take an arrow, light it, and then I just shoot it at the corpse that's floating. <laughs> <laughs> it immediately goes out. It's and now there's just a corpse. <laughs> with an arrow in it. He's so full of alcohol, yeah. a yeah. hole blows into the hull. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> no, no. I'm just I'm oh, kidding. Yeah. It's called the alcohol. Yeah. It's called the trout liquor. I'm just kidding. We set and sail to find Broga at Loose Island yet? <laughs> yeah. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. I thought throwing another party. No. Let's do that again. <laughs> we can do that while we're going. I have all sorts of things we can do. If we can get <laughs> out drawings. into international waters, yeah. oh, <laughs> all bets are off. I hope you like cockfighting. Yeah. <laughs> it's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you guys start to cut the lines. They're tying the boat. Um, really tiredly. Yeah. Does it oh, make yeah. that high whistle uh, sound yeah. that happens when before boats? Oh, darn it. I was going to say, do we leave half the orcs? Yeah. Yeah. They're running and jumping yeah. on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> get on, you morons. Hanging okay, from the okay. sides. So, um, Seg, while she's still next to Captain. King, those were uh, very, very pleasant words, Captain King. You are, um, you have a way of speaking that I, do. I think is, is I use my mouth. You're extremely talented. Mm. Is Thank what you. I was trying to say. <laughs> Thank you very much. Decker um, stalks up. Charisma <clears throat> comes in hand in hand with the King Captain, as it should. You guys looking for party monster? We are. What do you know? He said that I was the coolest one here, and that he, I was the only one he was going to talk to after he left. So, if you. If you want to tell him something, I, I can do that, because we're best friends. Strange. That doesn't sound like something Party Monster would ever say, no, nor no. anyone I no, know. yeah, he would never say that. No, no it's true. Everybody. But, but me, mo- most of all, he said I was the coolest uh, guy here. Oh, Maybe if we throw since... a party, Party Monster will come back. <laughs> he did like to flatter people there, to get drugs from them. There may <laughs> have been some sort of connection between that heart. That's when he showed up, right? Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. And you won the heart. Yeah. So I'm going to put you in charge of the investigation for Party Monster. You will be my chief investigator 
And I want you to lead the charge and lead the investigation to figure out what happened to Party Monster. A wonderful choice. Wonderful Decker choice. puts on his federal breast inspector yeah. shirt. <laughs> <Hold on>. <laughs> <Perfect thing. laughs> like goes right here. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do that, Decker? I'm gonna need money. Huh? How much money? We're on a boat. Like looks around. Miri's the money guy. Thirty gold. I'll do it for free. <laughs> Shattercock. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, <laughs> All right, Decker, give me that box. <laughs> oh, technically, so here's the thing. Technically, Decker did win that box, and if I'm just taking people that taking things that people have rightfully earned, I am no king captain. So the two of you will have to work together <laughs> as co-chief yeah. investigators. A box and a box of the official division for Party Monster missingness. You have to learn to work together <laughs> to do it. Yeah, you got it. Decker, is Party Monster in that box? No. He's my best friend, though, so I can talk to, talk to him. Uh, we're pals. He he likes me. King Derek, Party Monster's in the box. He won't give it to us. King Captain. King Ca I'm sorry. King Captain Derek, Party Monster's in the box. He won't give it to us. No, I told Party you. Monster I have a plan. Uh, Urba, fetch me a, a hen. Who are you talking to? Who's Erba? What's her uh, name? Gerba. Gerba. The zombified. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this giant well, the other zombie one? walks so up. So I turn, I turn to Seg. I turn to Seg and I go, Erba. <laughs> That's Fetch me a hen. On a boat? He into a sack and pulls out a, a chicken. Hopefully this will help you work through your differences. And then he cuts it in half. Oh. <laughs> he hands one of you one half and one the other. It's like it's a, truly, I am a wise king uh, captain. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. The wisest. Good lesson. Wrong situation. Best of luck. Okay. Decker just um. throws it out so mindedly, and then the open half lands on Grimo's face. Uh, I, I overhear, Raxan overhears the conversation and goes, King Captain. Yes, Raxan. Uh, uh, someone, someone from the woods has heard of party the, the missing uh, patron party monster. Who? Bring them forth. Heather, come tell. <laughs> <laughs> you guys looking for rocks? <laughs> Heather, before you go any further, I'd like to introduce you to Decker. Decker is the <laughs> investigator. Perhaps the two of you could discuss what you know. Just reach I like your hair. And he just he's frozen up because she's a woman. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> technically. Yeah. Oh. But she, her like for some reason all of her rags are even more tattered. Like like almost uh like barbarian type tatters. Who knows why? Because she hasn't been up to anything. So yeah, Decker's just staring at her chest and she's like she's tying his hair in knots, like really mm -hmm. tight, Ooh. painful knots. So, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of conversation going on. Speak quick, quickly, because huh? um, we're sp supposed to set sail, and every moment that goes past is I another moment that we are without Party Monster. Yeah, the, the, sure. the boat's floating away. It's going downriver now, just kind of going with the current. You want yeah. to find shoes, uh, right? Yeah. They're right there. Like, Wait, King Captain, there's one more witness. <laughs> a dog in the woods. You see Chauncey one run up all sweaty, and <laughs> <laughs> eyes bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> He jumps yeah. out of the boat. He <laughs> just barely makes it to the boat. He goes, "Have you guys ever heard of Calvin Harris?" <laughs> <laughs> I love Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> what dimension are we? In? <laughs> that's that's all he said. <laughs> Chancy it. one went the to Decker's end. world. Yeah, yeah, he did. But yes, you two should share your information right. with each other. In fact, should maybe Shattercock. Uh huh. You could team up with Chauncey one. Now that Chauncey One is returned, yeah, we were already a team, but all right. And maybe you can share what the, what you've learned well, telepathically. Learned Party Monster's like, like like in the Chauncey box. One? Party Monster's in the box, King Derek. How do you know that? Because I saw him punch in the heart, and Party Monster's getting all hurt. That hmm. doesn't line up with Heather's story. <laughs> That's very strange. And Heather, I've known her for some time, and she's never lied to me. Always, always the the best of us. You guys so, ever seen inside a skull? See, see, that's true. Oh. Checks out. Best witness we've ever <laughs> had. <laughs> she's like. Decker's trying to hit on Heather while Heather's just like digging a pinky into his ear as hard as she can. Are we going to be taking the weird woods woman with us? Well, she's on the boat, so. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I can't wait till we throw an island party. We ain't turning it, we ain't turning it around because I don't know how. Well, <laughs> as we set out, uh, Who's King, driving? King <laughs> Captain Derek. Who, um, yeah, real quick. Who normally drives this boat? <laughs> <laughs> There's a beaver. <laughs> well, uh, the beaver kingdom is. Yeah, the beaver, <laughs> <laughs> like beaver toys, you headed to the loose island? <laughs> so, uh, normally, uh, Koja or I would have. Our our hand on the 
on the tiller. Yes, I do know what so, you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone else would either uh, be at the sails or at the oars. Very good. <laughs> it sounds like things are checking out. I will proceed with our second biggest priority, which is finding party, party monster. <laughs> well, but before before you continue the investigation, yes, of course. <clears throat> I have a little present for you. Mm. Uh, the Orc clan has a great gift uh, to present to you, Captain King Derek, a priceless relic. Ooh. With your great power and unsurpassed wisdom, you shall lead us into the heart of this world. She hands you a, a large scroll. It's like a couple feet wide. It is a map created on the skin of an extinct race of flying whales. It is extremely rare and wonderfully magical. It can paint on itself the world as it is known to those who are in the map's presence. It shows you what you know of the world. You got a mini map. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he sniffs it. Whoa. 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 Oh, God damn it. Oh, wow. It's so much bigger. So, so we're over there. there. No, there's a little orange boat down there. Uh. Oh, there's oh, there. there. That's where you guys are. Oh. So you guys see Loose Island on here anywhere? <laughs> uh, I believe Loose is uh, south uh, along the southern coast of Lancos. Mm -hmm. So I believe we have quite a journey ahead of us. So uh, Lancos is actually this country over oh. here. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, what's that? Is that Booze? Is that Booze? Booze. Oh, okay. Right. This is with a B. Wait, what's water? Can we go there island? on I think accident? This is water. Yep. This is undiscovered. Oh, I see. There yeah, go. I got it a little backwards. But uh, we should be off. Yes, and, uh, we should. To the oars, men. Uh, we might need some of your group to row, considering the number of orcs that you, you know, magicked away from us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. since we see. started this trip. Yes. Um, Heather has like got Decker's mouth open and is pulling on his tongue. Mm -hmm. like, That's weird. It's connected. Fortunately, Decker and Shattercock are occupied. They have very important mission that Dream I've sent them like, on. He's kind of like the covering himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't want to be discovered. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm busy parting. Uh, I'm planning the next party. Raxan has, like has his party books. responsibilities. Yeah. Miri, I'm not sure if Miri's awake yet, so I don't want to disturb him. You know how how he Ooh. is. Oh, I'm, I'm just hanging out watching all of this. Grimo. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need you to help the uh, orcs with the rowing. Um. Cool. Whoa! There we are. D and D. <laughs> Perfect. In the twentieth century. So cool. All right. So you guys are are off at sea. Who needs an imagination? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, the wind's whipping through your hair. You, you're getting ah, sea blasts. Oh, both boats moving. Um. Uh, Derek is at the front of the boat, and he's got one leg up, and he's like looking off, and and someone looks up at him majestically. Maybe Grimo looks no. up and sees him backlit from or. <laughs> Front lit from the sun, but it's just a silhouette of majesty or whatever. But then you actually see Derek, he's pissing. <laughs> Marking the entire ocean. So um, we should start every sea journey out on a, on a proper note. Uh, does anyone have a, a song or a, a tale to tell us as we get our journey going? You bet I do. All right. Shattercock, please. I haven't thought about this. Uh, all right. You ready, Grimo? You ready, Shattercock? I'm ready to go. Let's do it. All right. Remember how it starts? Yeah. <laughs> we sail well, all the seas the as we look for adventure. And, and we must swallow the seagulls on the slow sea. sea. And we must sing along, everyone. Uh, and we sail for. <laughs> Factor in party monster. Oh man. Oh, beautiful Shadowcock. You lonely. still you still got the pipes. Always every time. And the pins. There's, <laughs> there's there one orc there that's crying because he remembers one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Um, so you've actually you got uh Scrump, who's the little guy that lost the wrestling contest to, to Decker, is is tearing up a little bit because he's got you know, he's got Infection. music in his soul. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. I remember and, that. Um, yeah. <laughs> in the eye. <laughs> Scrump, Scrump actually uh, goes and grabs his little uh, git box uh, and stands up and goes, I've got a, I've got a tale to tell everybody. Ooh. And then uh, Scrump kind of steps up uh, and is ready to sing. All right, let's hear it. S Scrump. Uh, there it is. He's been stupid Just there for an hour. So <laughs> Howdy. Hey. How's it going, Scrump? Okay, Hello. You have a you have a song to share? Sure. You get to hear the sirens. Oh, wail gotta, and no one help him. Scrump Strap was not in ready. here. This is why Scrump, not ready at all. This is why Scrump was asking me for a beard trimmer yesterday. I was very ready. <laughs> I've been lying in wait. Did you shave your face partially no, for this? He used Matt Peake's no, hair trimmer. No, he didn't. He was asking me like for it. This oh. for years. How's your tune go, Scrump? Uh, it goes like this. Oh, and uh, apologies if I'm a little rusty. Uh, I just picked up the mandolin a few days ago. I've been. <laughs> 
Manage actually band managing for a few years now, but uh, someone blew up my band a few days ago. So blue, your yeah, bands. just blue. Blue. Band. Just blue. Just blue. Blonde, yeah. blue. Yes. All right, here we go. <laughs> She rules the sea, no need for land. That's me! From Barrows Bay to Silver Strand, at sight of sail, your ass is tanned. That's also. Like that's so She's me. the queen of the crimson. Let's oh, you crimson, because yeah, the period. Oh, the red. <laughs> Menstruation. With giant hands and thighs of oak, her temper you must not provoke. Be careful, I'll get angry. She'll use your asshole as her tote, for Ooh. she's the wolf and you're the goat. Let's talk about Chauncey One. Read she's mine. the queen of the crimson coast. For many to blame for every king and country's shame. Both orc and elf revile the name, the queen of the crimson ghost. Later. Truly, I am a great and just king captain. <laughs> I, throw, I throw a gold piece at Strump. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Hey, thank you. All right. No. Good job, thank Strump. you, Strump. Grandma goes up to Raxan and he says, Can we make him the new bow tiger? Who are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you be rowing? <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> I get back to party planning. So, yeah, the, the wind is taking the sails. You guys are hauling ass. You don't have to sit on the oars. Um, yeah, you're cutting through the water, moving out in the ocean. And I think that's a good place to stop. Oh, oh we, we did it. Wow. Yeah. We made it onto the ocean. We finally. beat D&D. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> it goes forever. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, tune in again next week. Please check out the rest of the first content that they've got available on the website. The Wrestling Doc. Yeah, wrestling yeah. Doc. yeah. What's that uh, called again? Doc. House of Pain. Yeah, House April of pain. 28th. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. stoked yeah. about that. Um, Me too. Yeah. In fact, my back is flaring up right now because we have no lumbar support. You stoked. Ow. You may have already watched it by now. See you next week, guys. Bye-bye. A p party monster, I need your help. And you better help me. I'm like holding the box with a heart in it. Let's go, dude. What's up? I need you to make me popular. Decker, is party monster in that box? No. He's my best friend, though. Whoa. There we are. D&D &D <laughs> in the 20th century. Scrump actually uh, goes and grabs his little uh, git box uh, and stands up and goes, I've got a, I've got a tale to tell everybody. Ooh. Both orc and elf revile the name, the queen of the crimson ghost. Welcome back to Twits and Crits. Uh, we're hitting her in the home stretch here. What? Last what couple episode episodes. Is this? Yeah, this, this is, is episode eight. eight. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Only three more to go. Flies boop, by. Boop, boop. Um, real quick, who, uh, Grimo, what happened last time? <sighs> Who'd you blow? God, who didn't I blow? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was accused of being a small person sexual predator. Nah. Um, I offered Decker pizza as kind of a. a uh, olive branch and threw it in my face. Yeah. Threw it in my face. Wow. Shattercock and I kind of made amends. Yeah, we did. Um, and Miri spotted me 30, 40 bucks. Uh, Derek always kind of, you know, dismissing me. So that's kind of where Grimo's at. But I'm still, you know, helping to clean up the ship and. I'm excited to go to this island because I know Raxon's going to throw another Razor Island party once we get there. Was there talk of an island? Is that happening? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's going to an island. That's why we're on a boat. Oh, so okay. that's where Grimo's at. Chauncey did send a letter off uh, to oh, someone. Yeah, mystery letter. We don't know. And yeah. in terms of stuff that matters. Yeah. <laughs> possibly someone in the animal kingdom. I'm but, sure uh, it's somebody uh, in the uh, Party animal. monster is missing. Yeah. Party yeah. monster oh, yeah. came into our lives. Helped us, helped us along with Raxan. Didn't help Grimo. Have one of the greatest parties. He taught us one of the greatest night of our Grimo. lives. Taught us about love yeah. and friendship, friendship and caring. Shadowcock, Shadowcock really misses Party Monster. And, uh, and now Party Monster's missing, and uh, yeah. we don't know why. So mm -hmm. and good news, Decker people. has a new best friend, Party Monster. Uh, two new best friends, in fact. He's, he's made fast friends with Heather. 
presumably they'll be uh, they'll be dating soon. Mm, uh, but tough. Heather yeah. Heather appears to be appraising him for all the organic parts that are in his body. Uh, Heather was Raxon's boyfriend. Reasons unknown. Well, you know, Heather's a date. Girlfriend. It was a date. <laughs> okay. One can't tie Heather down. She doesn't believe in labels. Yeah. Uh, Rax, of course, for that matter. And also doesn't know what most of them mean. So uh, it's uh, it's a pretty pretty convenient union there. But yeah, the search for Party Monster continues. Uh, Decker may have some indication, but is is mostly playing ignorant. Uh, or maybe is ignorant. The Who young, can say? He's a very complicated character. The young orc moron died of alcohol poisoning. Mm. And we granted Tra- him alcohol. a brave... Mm-hmm. His name is Moron. Not more a brave uh, sea burial. Yeah, flop <laughs> through his nearly decomposing car- carcass into the ocean. Well, and Mir, you're kind of warming up to a uh, rash, right? It was going well, but yeah, he oh, ruined no, it. the limbo, limbo, faux pas. Limbo fell apart, yes, mm. but uh, slowly but surely, kind of warming up to the orcs in general. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of just observing all the madness and not really sure what to make of it. Doesn't trust Party Monster at all. What would your fellow orc, um, you know, I'm sorry, fellow orc, your fellow like dwarf kinsmen think if they saw you, you know, traveling Oof. with with all these orcs? Oh, jeez. From my specific mountain village, they'd probably all hate it. I don't know. <laughs> I lost contact we with all of them. We should stop by his mountain village. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. It's been a while since we've seen your family. Well, mountains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the rest of my kind all over, as far as I know don't really have any sort of uh, predisposed um, prejudice towards orcs that I know of. Yeah, the orc scrump also sang us an amazing sea mm-hmm. shanty. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was insane. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shattercock sang her version first. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, beautiful. And it was beautiful. Up. But then scrump's was even better. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, scrump's, scrump's tale was that of uh, the queen of the Crimson Coast. Me, Shattercock. Oh, that's you? Yeah, that's, that's Shattercock. you now. She's absolutely the queen of the Crimson Coast. Okay. She's the queen of the, basically everything, oh. yeah, everywhere we go. Dan, out of curiosity on this ex- expanded world map, where is the castle that has the like the circular um, the glowing thing on above it? Oh, the the flying castle. Well, yeah, it was described as having kind of like a an icon above it or something. Oh yeah, it had a. There was a little. There was flying banners and flags at a white circle. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. So you saw that heading uh, north from the Holdfast when you which guys which were walking way? away. Uh. <laughs> Decker knows, except he can't speak right now. Mm-hmm. There's there's three fingers down his throat, Uh-oh. And clawing oh, around geez. in there. Uh, so like, geez. but we can't see it anymore. No, it's no, it was, of, it was kind of illuminated with with all the magical lightning that was going off. Uh, you saw it just kind of floating slowly away. Okay. Uh, and you guys were headed in the opposite direction of it. So yeah, last time you guys finally got on a boat, mm-hmm. finally, and uh, so you're traveling down the Moraga River there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Let's open sea. So it's about a day's travel down the river to that point okay. uh, where you reach the ocean. All right. So um, some of the works actually warned you probably about stopping at, uh, what is that, Dalagale? Dalagale, yeah. Just because they're orcs and would probably be killed on sight. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say it's late in the afternoon. It's Dark's going to be in an hour or two, and you're getting close to... How are we on supplies? Let's go. Let me uh, check our stores. Seg wanders off and comes back. Um, It appears that uh, Raxon and uh, the rest of the party planning committee uh, used used pretty much everything we had for the Rager. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, You're welcome. (laughs) We have maybe food and water for two days, maybe, Mm. if if we starve Mm. ourselves a little bit. Do we need Um, to stop at that Orc Hick Town? That anti orc hick town or whatever. I'm just thinking, as k- King Captain, you know, I don't want to put my people at risk, but I also don't want to put my people at risk. Wise. They're not um, really people. They're as orcs. A, since Grima was working the party, you know, he saw a lot of what was happening, all of that was being consumed. He's learned a lot about the ship because he's had to go clean it. He's had to kind of just work every part of it. So he was taking people's old like plates and stuff and scraping off little uh like whatever like little crumbs and stuff were left so he has this big gelatinous mountain of like really disgusting compost, compost Ooh, almost okay. like food and he's like hey guys guys uh grimo's got some f- like food here if uh, you guys want some of grimo's like grimo's mix it's like a party mix you know isn't that just leftovers well no no it's not no it's like a new f- it's like new it's like fusion well all right hold on let me go i'll give it a taste shattercock reaches in kind of puts her finger wets her finger like that and does, does this to it Gets a little bit on her finger. Ah! What the? What is this garbage? 
Well, it's not, it's not garbage. It's sustenance. Ugh, Derek, you want to give us a... Sh is this going to be our supplies for the next couple days? God, I really don't want it to be. It smells terrible. Trust me. I know. Um, <laughs> Grimo had a feeling this would happen. Kojo walks up to Grimo. And she goes, young man, I applaud your ingenuity. And she takes a big, big bite, shoves it in her mouth. G-spot, I love your concoction. You're a clever young man. Don't let them get you down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to go clean the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Grimo goes below deck. The the There's no toilets down. Maybe if <laughs> what's, he, what's he been cleaning? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if it's not the orcs can survive off this. Mm -hmm. Perhaps yeah. they have the taste for it. But because maybe we're a little bit more refined, it, it doesn't suit us. Um, so maybe this can be our emergency supply of orc food, like dog food. Like dog but, food. But right. Will, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, which I obviously don't like it. But secretly, secretly, he liked it. Um, <laughs> but he saw how Shattercock reacted, so he was trying to say it smelled mm -hmm. bad. Um, but we may have to stop in the town and pick up supplies for the rest of us. Makes sense, because they don't like the orcs. So we have but to... But the orcs will have to stay on the boat. Are they going to hide? Are they gonna hide? We're going to have to hide the, all these orcs. How many of them are there? 20-some. 20 20-some 20 orcs. <laughs> what if we dress them as burn victims? King Captain. <laughs> might I uh, might I recommend we wait for the cover of darkness, mm -hmm. shoot past the city, and then find a small town or village along the coast in a day or so, and uh, we can acquire provisions yes. then. Yes. <laughs> I think that it would be best for us to go past the city, and then we'll find something down the coast. So we yes. got to eat this dog yes. food for the next day and a half? I'm just as upset as you are. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's not forget that we have horse meat just sitting here. There's no meat on that horse. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Tana, do we have coordinates bad. for Loose Island, or are we just sort of sailing and hoping to find it? We're on our way to Loose Island. Yeah, it's we south. But we do have coordinates. You don't for have it, coordinates. You were you were told it's an island off the southern coast. Okay. Just going towards it. So yeah, you're just. Okay. So, yeah. Huh? Coffee. Well, Coffee. Huh? Why? Why do? Why? Who said we can't go to that town because the orcs will be killed? Dan. Dan said it. Yeah, the, I know, but why? Is the, the, the orc. It's yeah. another orc town? It's an well, orc. No, no. no, no it's, it's an anti-orc anti town. Anti -orc it's like town. your mountain town. Got it. <clears throat> They're racist there. <laughs> like we, we were going by on the boat. Miri, hey! <laughs> <laughs> they all know Miri. What are you doing with all them burn victims? <laughs> yeah. So, so, so yeah, the orcs are actually at the at the benches rowing. You guys okay. don't have the the wind right now okay so yeah we'll have to figure out a way to get past this town mm -hmm. without any of them seeing the orcs but we need the orcs to row because there is no wind hmm. truly i am a great king captain <laughs> <laughs> decker do we have any spells that we can cast on them to disguise them decker like recoils for a second and starts furiously typing on his laptop uh meanwhile uh heather's like trying to pull his shoes off which is a really bad idea, but she's trying. Um, shit. All we I have, all I have, is invisibility. <laughs> I can make them invisible. Uh, Aren't the oars below the deck, though? Or no? It only only works on one at a time. Maybe mm, the six of us could row the ship. Well, what if we could just wait <laughs> for the cover of darkness and then just blast blast past the city. But then, what are we gonna do right now? We have to pull over and wait. Yeah, yeah. We just sock hop. We'll hang back. <laughs> Sockhot the Grimo sequel. looks like he's got some free time. Give him something to do. <laughs> Let's do like a happy hour. Tech, mm -hmm. you find anything? Uh, uh, well, it's almost dark, right? I can't do anything about them, but I might be able to do something about the guards we run into. Hopefully we don't see any, but... Also, just do, in case you guys remember, I'm best friends with Party Monster. Oh, yes. Yeah. Have where you found is, anything? Yeah, where's Party any Monster? Oh, well, yeah. Box. How's the search guy? a hundred times. He's in the box. He's not in the box. We're best friends. I mean, I don't know what you want me to do. I'm being yeah. told he's not in the box, so... Uh, so, he's chief investigator. <laughs> Since I've been cleaning the ship and doing work around it, I'm going to investigate in my travels and see if there's anything that I find, like in the way of cool equipment or just any stuff. Okay. You can roll for that if you want. Sure. Um, so 12 and then my investigation is, uh, so 15. What are you looking for? <laughs> uh, I guess if I haven't seen any like weapons or like... Yeah, I mean, armor, like that, like, like if there was anything left behind on the ship or any, like any cool stuff that, like. Okay. I mean, there, there's certainly uh, a store of weapons, uh, axes, swords, bows, uh, and some random ramshackle pieces of armor. 
Um, okay. Nothing special oh, or okay. anything, but kind of regular gear. Is there some a fishing used, nets. Like a used condom? <laughs> there's a few of those. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll pick up the, uh, an axe if there's one small enough that yeah, I could, there's a little hand I axe could there. wield. Maybe I'll just take some fishing net in case I ever it ever comes of use. Yeah, there's all kinds of fishing gear. For what? Fishing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Derek, should we... Should we, we will wait until the cover of darkness, and then we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to row pretty hard because we're gonna want to get through there. Okay. S- since nobody wants Grimo's food, he's gonna try to fish while we're okay. waiting. Okay. Uh, uh, Grimo's gonna do some fishing. Anybody wanna fish with Grimo? I know he's kind of like the pariah of the ship, but. <laughs> so uh, Gerba, the kind of zombified orc, walks to the back of the ship with you, and she goes, Gerba hungry. Oh, oh, a zombie work. That's my, <laughs> that's what Grimo liked to hear. So, uh. Gerba real hungry. I guess I'll, I'll cast my net, and then, uh, should I roll to see if yeah. I catch anything? Um, do you, anything you want me to add? Uh, I have, like, nature, I've got animal handling, and, I'm trying to uh. think what would make sense. Survive, <laughs> survival? survival? I have yeah. zero do, for survival, but, wisdom, but we'll do survival. I don't think, yeah, my, my, my wisdom, or my survival is zero. All right. Ooh, that one Two. Ooh. Oh, boy. So, yeah, you get an old boot, oh. um, <laughs> a crusty old crab, and then uh, one really, really tiny fish that you would basically use to put back on the hook. Chauncey, uh. He comes over Chauncey too, and he ignores Grimo, but he sees the crab, and he says, "Crablonius, <laughs> yes, <laughs> do you bring word of the crab kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <sighs> These are dire times, and what of Bertha? Really, that bad? <laughs> this is distressing to hear. All right." Oh, oh. <laughs> Still talking. Perhaps, perhaps in June. Perhaps in June. Well, okay, August. Okay, that works better for you. Okay. Are they scheduling a lunch meeting or something? <laughs> Gravelonius. Perhaps you should take this old boot to aid you in your quest. <laughs> and then, and then Chauncey too hands over Grimo. <laughs> <laughs> then we will see you and your militia on the Great Loose Island. That was go fuck yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's how crabs talk. Oh. Yeah. They're, they're tough. They're, they're salty. They're yeah. tough. I get it. Salty. I get it. We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls his weird little <laughs> Okay, and then do you like fall back in the yeah. <laughs> Into the ocean. All right, let me just write down Crablonius here. Oh, Crablonius. Love Crablonius. Crablonius bringing militia. Uh, wow. Bringing crab militia to Loose Island. Got in it. August. Yeah. <laughs> August. <laughs> yeah. That's like Loose calendar. Island in It's just August. a lunch meeting. <laughs> That's all it is. Okay. Got it. Well, I don't know if I should try fishing again or what. We need obviously need food, but... We're gonna get food every, we every get food you catch is gonna be some <laughs> prince or king of a kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Miri, I'm having a real hard time over here fishing. Do, do you guys fish in the dwarf kingdom? Uh, not well in the mountain streams here and there. Maybe he's like, hang on, I got gotcha. you. And he like, is there a crow's nest in this ship? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I climb up there. Well, not like a big one, but there's a little the bench ocean. at the top what? of the yeah. big yeah. No mast. Well, whatever there is, I climb up there Sorsal. and I clear my throat and I go. He says something like. Because he woke up that morning and he realized he didn't immediately hate all the orcs around him. Oh. So he says, I feel better about you all than I did yesterday and in past times. I don't love you all yet, but, you know, it's an improvement. And then he does dwarven ball and he, and he jumps off the side <laughs> and uh, tries to catch a fish, but realized he doesn't. Have, he still has armor on, so he's like. So he starts starts sinking. Sinking. Yeah. Sinking. Oh, oh no! He's trying to kill himself. So I don't be on the show anymore. <laughs> so we're, we're we're like pulled over to the shore. Are we like waiting. We're you guys slowly are no. Move, no? We're going we're down the river. We're slowly Uh-oh. moving Uh-oh. upstream. Though. Did you we reduce the. Oh god. We reduce right speed. I we reduced we were... speed because we're killing time. Drop the sails, man oh. overboard. Oh god, everyone, get him. I'm like walking on the bottom, trying to get. Crabonius walks by. What, what are we gonna do? We have man overboard. So who can swim? I can. And she rips off all of her clothes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that didn't take the, long. And dives straight yeah. into the water, and she kind of swims down to the bottom. But her strength is very low. So, but she'll 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 try. So, yeah, do a strength uh, check. Yeah, I'll do a strength check. So it's twelve. So yeah, you you are able to 
start getting Miri. You guys are both kind of struggling up to the. So I just she take off like a dolphin. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or a snake. They're both. They're both gone under. What are we gonna do? Oh, brain. I thought you think you're some kind of big king, but you gotta get in there and dog paddle and save them. But. Uh, <laughs> fine. And so, uh, so then Derek grabs uh, Scrum. He goes, save him. And he tosses, <laughs> oh, tosses oh, Scrum over oh, to no. the water. King. Very diplomatic. Uh, he hits the water and sinks like a stone. <laughs> they got three people on the bottom of the ocean. Well, two people on an arc. Oh, yeah. All right, fine. All right, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to ju- right. j- jump in and try and save all three of them. Okay, uh, Seg hands you a little rope as you're jumping overboard. Okay, yeah. Ties it off to the side of the boat. And then and then I t- put a knife in my mouth. And I go, <laughs> why do I need this knife? And then jump. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, do a strength check. 15 plus 3. Oh, damn. 18. Okay. So, yeah, you get um, Shattercock and Miri uh, with the rope you're attached to, kind of up attached to the boat, kind of holding on. Okay. Um... I don't know if you're worried about Scrum. I'm going deeper for Scrum, of course. <laughs> He's my most loyal denizen. All right, roll for Scrum. Roll again. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Wow. So, yeah, um, I guess you hit the bottom and launch Scrum up. He flies oh, wow. out of the water right back onto the boat. Perfect. Is Crablonius okay? <laughs> hey, can I, yeah, I stomp on Crablonius? Oh, <laughs> the Crab Kingdom, what would he do? We have a lunch appointment <laughs> three months Break off his arm and yeah. suck the meat out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so you guys climb back up on the boat, I guess, unless mm-hmm. you like hanging there. Back to zero. All right. Yeah. So uh, your crazy dwarf friend here yeah. needs to get under control. I go up to Derek. I'm like, I owe you one, buddy. Yeah. I wasn't wasn't thinking. Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> Did you at least get any fish? Uh, can I roll to see if I yeah, yeah. Ca- caught one fish? You're, like, at least. Yeah, you're dumping out your armor. Eight. Aww. Oh man. Um, do you have a modifier of any kind? Anything uh, is anything. anything. Modified? Yeah, anything. Do have, don't, I don't know. We'll say we'll, we'll say you you dump out a boot. I don't know if and, animal uh, handling. A little counts. eel kind of flops out <laughs> of your boot. Is his boot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> animal oh, handling. I have survival. I don't know if those count. What, what's your nature? Nature. For survival is good. Survival's one. plus three. Oh yeah, that's good enough. Nature's plus zero. Anyway. Yeah, but uh, some some little sea eels or whatever. Cool. Decker is the only one that that knows modern CPR. It's true. Is Scrum conscious? Let's, uh, hang on. Uh, Miri is hurting a little bit, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's got water in my lungs. Oh, somebody needs to help Miri. He can't breathe. Wow, Z2? I, mean, I, I guess I know any sort of oh. <laughs> modern form of. <laughs> Breath helping revival. Revival. Problem is, Decker just would not do anything. <laughs> I don't know Anybody. how to play that. Um, so Gerba <laughs> comes over and goes, Gerba hungry, and she stomps on uh, Miri's stomach, and a bunch nice. of water shoots out of his his mouth, and a little fish in the oh. air that she grabs, <laughs> she and grabs and throws right nice. down her throat. <gasps> yeah, Rash runs up, and she's so, she's extremely worried about oh. him. She's, Master Miri, Master Miri, are you okay? Are you you're just what did you do that for? That was so dangerous to risk yourself like that. I think that was the final riddance of my prejudice. I wasn't thinking. He baptized himself. I feel it's it's gone now. Wow. I've yeah. come up. Uh, <laughs> That's just new wonderful with to life. hear. And I don't hate you all anymore. And Aww. so Derek puts his arm around Miri and he goes, "He hated all of you until just moments ago. <laughs> now he kind of likes you." <laughs> Three cheers for Miri. She's like elbowing. Yep, yep. <laughs> Ray. 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 I pick my head up above deck and go, wedding bells, you say? Explaining <laughs> 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 a wedding. And I poke my head down and I'm already drawing, designing a wedding dress yeah. and a tuxedo, a little tuxedo. You go back to continuing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, now I have names. Now you know. Yes. I'm going to find Chansey too. Chauncey uh, Chauncey. Too. Chauncey. Chauncey. How dare you? Chauncey. Come on, well, we haven't met Chauncey too yet. Yeah. And another Chauncey. Right. What was, which one was Chauncey? Oh, the frog. The frog. The frog. frog. Chauncey the frog or something? Frogleton. Frogleton. Oh, oh, That's Sorry, go ahead. Shit. All right, Chauncey too. I'll roll up. And then meanwhile, like uh, Heather's like very aggressively trying to grab my ribs and like pull them out. <laughs> so he's putting up with it because he thinks he's got a shot. Um, <laughs> so he goes up to Chauncey too. I got it right. Okay. Chauncey. Ooh. There's gonna be a lot of that. Can you talk to Chauncey? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he's got to understand languages, comprehend oh, so languages, like, okay, horse, right. horse language. languages. Yeah. Okay, we talked before. Okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> Chauncey too. I have a new recruit in our war against Grimo. <laughs> oh yeah, we're because we were best friends at the party. Okay, exactly. I got it. <laughs> Decker, sweeter words have never been spoken. <laughs> Who is it? It's Party Monster. Oh, how did a 
terrible Grimo cross party monster. Oh, he has it yet. I just control party monster. Don't tell anyone, though. It's a secret. Well, how do you control him? Ah, oh, don't worry about that. Here's the thing. Party monster's connected. And party monster's gonna get more recruits to our side. This is how socialization works. <laughs> Perhaps party monster could be a greater aid in the animal wars to come. Well, again, let me worry about that. I'm the party monster guy. Okay, true, true. So, how can Party Monster help to rid us of the terrible Grimo? Sure, here's my plan. Party Monster makes me popular by being around me. <laughs> and... uh, um, nev- I mean, go on. <laughs> so people see us together. They assume that we're equally cool. Yeah, that's how that works. And then I'm as cool as Party Monster. Chauncey knows. <laughs> and then everyone listens to me, and then I tell them all Grimo's terrible. Well, can you need to tell them now that Grimo's terrible? Because he's clearly terrible. It doesn't work that way. You have to wait, Party Monster, to make me popular first. Shattercock's looking at Decker yeah. and the saying horse. Saying all this very out loud. They're both talking in horse language. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Well, how does one make another popular? I just told you. I hang out next to him. We party with hot babes, and then I'm the cool one. If that was how it works, then you would already be popular because I'm one of the most popular people here. <laughs> Look, so, <laughs> look around. You've got to up your stakes, and you've got to work harder than that. Oh, what man. you need to do is have Party Monster spread a really a rumor about you doing something really <laughs> badass. What's the coolest thing you can think of? If I had to think about it, maybe that you killed a man once. <gasps> what if I killed a man while getting laid? That's even cooler. That's so cool. <laughs> Okay, we'll do it. But you may actually have to kill a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine. Okay. And it may have to be one of your best friends. <laughs> Shotsy too. That's the only way it would work. Decker stands up real cool. I don't have any friends. Oh, yeah? What about Grimo? He thinks you're his best friend. No, I hate him. He stole my girlfriend. Even more reason to kill him. Oh, I was just. Like, <laughs> 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 That's alright. Sounds like you can smoke. Trying okay, to spit her hoof back. Right her. Okay, I can do this. Then, uh, meanwhile, uh, Heather's like trying to grab his eyeball, and he's like sweating her hand away. Like, Heather, let's go. Okay. And they go below deck. Cool. Power couple. Yeah. And then Chauncey too pulls out a jeweled dagger from within his uh, fur, and he passes it to Decker. Okay. Fur. You know what to do. I already have a dagger. That's okay. Chauncey gave you a dagger a couple of times. I think so. You think you did too? I think it was like a dagger. dagger. Shattercock Shattercock watched this whole thing and saw the dagger (laughs) on the hoof pass over to Derek, to Dicker. And and she knows all about this. She's Uh, totally aware. Wait, so she thinks that they're plotting, she knows they're plotting something? Well, she just saw the dagger change hooves. And heard a lot of horse talk. Yeah. Uh, yeah, But she can kind of deduce this. Yeah, she kind of figured it out. Because the last time, last time Chauncey handed a jewel dagger to somebody, I think she still wanted them to stab Grima to death. (laughs) And then and then Derek, who has also been watching, walks up to Shattercock and and goes like, "He so Chauncey Two really wants to kill Grimo, yeah, yeah. and Chauncey Two thinks that that he can get yeah he can get Decker to kill Grimo, so that's why he gave him the dagger. But it sounds like Decker uh, is trying to be cool, so he's gonna lie. He has someone lie about uh, making him look cool or whatever. So that's you know. So now we know. Yeah. Bunch of idiots. Believe me, I wish I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, can you be explaining that to the whole boat? Because we were just all watching that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody eventually in the middle of the deck and quiet. <laughs> Why do we keep the horse? Why do For we? For the jokes? Yeah, the no, jokes. No, I know, I know. I'm saying, like, on the boat. No, it just question. follows. Okay. Chauncey 2 takes oh, so we, the... we don't even know it's there. No, we. I mean, we see the boat. We see Chauncey 2. I'm just saying it's just sort of like in our blind spot, though. Like, the way you ignore... Yeah, you know, the smelly kid. Yeah, we're just like horse. out there. Yeah. Grimo's mopping the deck, and then Chauncey too just walks over and takes a big dump. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's all liquid, right? Yeah, it's like really mushy. Oh, oh well, gosh. Cool. What time? What time of day is it? Night time, right? Night. Is yeah. It, yeah. It, yeah. We'll, we're, we're so we'll say the the sun the sun is down, and you guys are real close to Delagale. All right, we are approaching Delagale. Delagale, and so we need to keep this. We need to travel as quietly as possible because we need to get through this town. Um, otherwise, they're going to come after our orc friends, my people. Okay. Um, but we need to pass through this town as quickly as possible, so that way we can make our way down south, and then we will stop somewhere and resupply at a much friendlier environment. Does everyone understand that? Yes. Tell me you understand it. I understand. Shh. Quieter. 
I don't understand. I understand. Okay. I just have one question. What's your question? Do the orcs mean resupply as in like pillage? I can't hear you. And go. <laughs> do the orcs mean Quiet. Re- <laughs> Do they mean resupply as in pillage and raid villages? Is that what they mean? I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> we will cross that I just want to clarify. We, 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 well, I guess we'll cross that stream okay. once we get to it. That's good. That's a good yeah. idea. <laughs> okay. That's smart. I'm not talking to you. So are we? Uh, so is, is the boat in a in a port now? Now we're porting. Are we, are we so now we're, we're all right. All right, we're gonna row as hard as possible. Let's get ready to row. So we're gonna need to do the row chant, but we're gonna have to make sure it's quiet row okay. chanting. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, row, 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 row your, your boat, boat gently down, down the stream. I can hear. Merrily, 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 merrily. It might be boat. easier Dang. if we do it one at a time, but. So I'll start. So you start. Row, 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 row your boat, row your boat down, down, the, down the stream. Down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Now try to find a dream. Mary. Dream. Mary. Row, 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 row your boat <laughs> gently <laughs> down the stream. Decker. Merrily, 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 the orcs are staying on the boat, right? We're being a little loud, King Captain. Oh, sorry. Louder but quieter. The the orcs are going to stay on the boat, and we're going to go ashore, right? No, no, you guys blasted past that. I thought we were going to have to roll to see if we... Oh, actually, yeah, actually, do 20s. We're going to do a strength check. Eat my ass! This is a strength check. Yeah, strength check. Because you guys are on the oars. 20. 17. Six. 12. 17. So you want to add strength to it? Too? Yeah. Um, no. Oh, shit. 20. 21. Who rolled a 6? Um, Who so fucked it up? Yeah, what did what'd you get? What do you think? <laughs> so I did, uh, so 18. Oh, shit. All right. So yeah, you guys are real, really hauling on those oars, except for Decker. Of course. Who um, <laughs> is sitting next to Shattercock, and you can tell that he's just not pulling his weight. Decker, come on. What? Come on, pick it up. I am. Is everyone All pulling sweaty. their weight? Yeah. Yeah. He's huffing and is it doing the kind of thing where it's taking him? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah it's, <laughs> him it's surprising him a so little we're, bit. So we're headed to this to this town, the small town port, right? Or does it have an actual port? We're just kind of we're 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 yeah, the uh, next town, we'll which is the, Boost, right? Put this guy out oh, out there in the ocean. Out in the, um, the ocean? Yeah, out in the ocean. Out here? There we go. Okay. Um ship can go between a hundred to two hundred miles in a day. Basically, wow. if you're if you're got the wind, <laughs> everything behind you. So uh, there's a key over here for distance. You can actually use this little rope to measure that distance. Oh, sweet! Oh, look at that. It's um, like magic. So this yeah. is so wait, you guys is this uh, 300? Uh, this is no, just you might. Uh, oh, I, I see. Okay. Is that 100 miles a day? Yeah. Between 100 and 200. So you guys rolled actually really well. Yes, we did. Um, we'll say you can make it 180 miles. Whoa. In one day. day? Yeah. Wow. I mean, then we it looks like we probably made it to Boost uh, if we're going that way. Captain King Derek, which which way do we we're, sail now well, that we've made it past the danger? Well, we need to stop. We need to stop and get supplies. So we'll stick stick near the coast and head to Is that a town, Boost? Yeah. So then we'll, we'll stop at Boost. Um, tomorrow it looks like we'll, or no, we rode really well. Yeah, we rode really well. So we'll power through to Boose, and we'll stop there and gather supplies so we don't have to eat Grimo's dog food. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, very wise. So I guess you guys, you're sailing, um, and pull up the boat near, nice. nearby. Let us um, dock. I'm going to go, uh, we, while we still at sea, to see, go below deck. Find a nice little. Is there like an enclosed cabin or anything like that? Uh, this is actually a really small boat. So Damn. when you're below deck, you're kind of cramped Just up bunks. on people. Sure, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's where you would store stuff. You All right, never you mind. You would sleep up top. There's not like a little closet or something I could hide in. Then. Um, um, I'll just have maybe to like a little smuggler's hole if you're trying to find Smuggler some privacy. Hole. All right. J- I'll crawl in that hole. His name is Jo Corner. Yeah, a little Jo Corner. Okay. Uh, I'll crawl down girl, there. You got a girlfriend with you though. Yeah, she follows me around, but she doesn't say much anymore. She stopped talking. It's very concerning. Oh. Uh, so I get down there. I'm gonna I'm gonna peek open the party monster box a little bit, just a little bit, just crack, look oh, inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you definitely hear some house music going, a bunch oh, of cheers. God, I want to um, be in that box. Awesome. Some moans. Ooh. Yeah. 
Party monster. Yo, yo. Hey, uh, we're going to have to kill somebody. Oh, that's not very party, bro. Oh, it is, though. <laughs> Imagine if you had to kill somebody to get to the best party ever. Oh, that would probably be worth it. It'd be yeah. pretty rad, yeah. Yeah. So, so we're going to have to do that. Also, I need you to tell people the, that I got laid. Like, lie to them? Well, whatever. <laughs> Decker, monster does not lie. Decker's going to have sex with party monster. <laughs> Lying, lying's not very party either, bro. <laughs> it can be. What if the best party was lying? Why do you want me to do all this stuff? It doesn't matter. It's not important. I control you, so do what I say. Mm, you're kind of right. There's a righteous party going on in here, though. Uh, so can you check back later? <laughs> Decker doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's like, whoa. Uh, Try to invite yourself to his party. Yeah, yeah. Can you can can Decker go in there? Uh, uh, is there room for one more? <laughs> oh, there's there's always room for more at the party, bro. But oh, be careful once you once you come into this magic. Box with a heart. Whatever fuck it, I know magic, it's stupid. <laughs> I, I guess I'll like rejected. open oh, no. it, try to put my foot in into the like heart. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess when the I don't know, clarify this. Well, or, the idea is when you open the box, or I the guess portal you, opens. The, there's a portal that opens, yeah. Okay. Portal, I, guess, I guess now that when you close the box, it closes the portal. Oh, okay. So you could walk through the portal, but then how do you close the box? Yeah, and the box is left there, so somebody else might find the box. Yep. Yeah. Someone might actually, like, Heather might close the box while you're inside the portal. Yeah. Why don't we do that? That's a fun story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'll just, I'll join the, the party in the or party so, dimension. So you open up the box and uh, just jump into the a, portal? A do portal door opens uh, that the party monster starts to come out of, but then kind of yeah, puts his arm, arm around you and you guys go back into the portal. Sweet. Um, I guess Heather's there. The party portal. Oh, Heather comes too? No, she, she was following Decker around, yeah, scouting him for organs. But, uh, oh, okay. She's in, yeah, she's in the hole too, so she's just standing there staring at it. Hey, is this my box? Yeah. <laughs> I think so, I found my shoe. Grabs it and shuts it. So yeah, this part of um, Partyville in Lorida, uh, it's, it's just a sea of people. It's like you showed up at Coachella or something. Oh, that awesome. um, God, that's really intimidating. Yeah. Just thousands and thousands of people all around gyrating. Oh, cool. um, oh. You know, they have shorts and... Uh, Tank tops mostly. Are they with, all like uh, crazy gelatinous, designs. like blobs and like disgusting? <laughs> yeah. Like it's just a mass of gross creatures. Stop, bro! <laughs> party monster, where you been? I feel like I've been seeing you forever. <laughs> Who's your butt? Party blob, bro. Hey, so, yeah, it's me. Party How's the party blob? going? I was gone. It's been a rage. It's been crazy, man. Crazy. <laughs> you gotta check out my bro Decker. He knows how to party. Yeah, we're, we're best friends. Decker, free. My name is Party Blob. Pleasure to meet you. And he shoots squirts like. Like a juice stream of party goo right to Decker's face. He goes, hey. Hey, party monster. Who's your friend? He's hot. Hey, who's this? <laughs> oh, what's up, party arena? <laughs> I didn't even see you there. This is this is part. Remember, party monster. He's gone for a while. This is friend Decker. Yeah, Don't even friend. talk to me, Chad. You never call. Yo, I told Rita, you never call me, Chad. With me, party is with me. Yeah, I'm with him now. But Decker, he's pretty hot too. Party, gonna stay away from party, Bob. Man, I'm so angry I can squirt. <laughs> party get, monster, who's this fucking new douche? Get off of me, Mike. What? I'm into party Rita, I thought we were together. <laughs> I'm. I only. This I is only, so gnarly. I only have eyes for Decker now. What? And then her eyes, in. her eyes fall out onto Decker. <laughs> oh whoa, she must really like you, bro. <laughs> and you squirt on him too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, it's me, old Party Bob. Whoa, it's the old man of the party scene. I've, I've been partying party for four thousand years, <laughs> and I want us all to remember that newcomers are always welcome. And he throws up. Oh, oh, man. Man. oh you're totally right. Oh man, Party <laughs> Bob, this is great. <laughs> you, <laughs> <laughs> Decker, you're just covered in so much you. party goo. That's you're that. such a hit, bro. <laughs> Thanks for coming. That's You've made me cooler. Old I can't guy see. that molested those kids. Oh my God, <laughs> Party Bob. Right. Hey. was a molester, but that's cool. <laughs> we used to party a little different back in the old days. <laughs> Some things stay the same, others change. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry. what do you think of our party world, bro? <laughs> There's so much vomit that Decker starts vomiting. Oh. Party! Oh, party! Oh, party! He's, so He's, long. Long. He's doing right. the party! Like, Let me get in on that. And party! Underneath the vomit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this guy starts raining little pills. Oh! oh. 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 o
Get <laughs> outside, kids. What's Header doing? Well, she closed the box. Oh, she yeah. did. That's what Decker oh, said. Okay, she's okay. Trying okay. To, we're in a different universe. She's trying now. to eat it right now. Which so character I thought do you she want to be? With, no, I thought no, she no, went no, with. No, no, she stayed behind. Okay. What, oh, uh, okay. what party monster thing do you want to be, Matt? I was trying to think of something. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my other best friend. Silent party monster. No, I <laughs> <forgot>. <laughs> Quiet partier, yeah. but he parties harder than the rest of us. is golden. He's he doesn't curious. say much, but when he does, it's so rager. <laughs> Stop. See Everybody Hope there's a molestation going on. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, party party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere is a beach. That's the beauty of this party planet. And I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Decker, would you like to enter one of my orifices now yes. or later? Oh, let's find some place to go. Can I see you behind the latrine? Yeah, let's do it. Decker, it's traditional in party land that we watch when you penetrate her orifices. Yeah, and I generally <laughs> film it with this stony handicap. <laughs> <laughs> so, Decker, you go right ahead anytime you want. Oh, Party man. Rena's yeah. ready to go. It's totally sweet on this 120 times digital zoom. <laughs> <laughs> young, young man. As a, as a I thought you were talking about that party back was at the beach. I am at the beach. <laughs> Everywhere's the beach. The beach. All right. right, okay. I want you to remember to be responsible <laughs> because you're on Party Planet. You don't use protection. <laughs> <laughs> you bear back that shit. Uh, party Bob is right. He's yeah. the coolest. So then, STDs are uh, the raddest. Party Arena, it's like, it's like 50 different like folds oh. open oh, and open, yeah. open oh. until there's just like a little tiny like, like, like man's head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And then his Gross. eyes, his eyes start to spin, and then uh, he just like opens his mouth, and then like fifty other folds open. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna look worriedly at Party Monster while I undo my belt. All right, Decker, <laughs> go for it, bro. Hit it. <laughs> yeah. This is what cool people do. Yeah. This, this is what party people do, right? Watch yeah, this that is the pressure. Oh, I'm gonna be cool. Uh, let me help you out a little. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you better spill that, that head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed the spot there, young man. <laughs> There it is. Decker's pants around his ankles. <laughs> yep. And he's got just the palest, the palest little white boy butt. Yeah. <laughs> and the smallest penis. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Absolutely small. But he's still got his jacket on. And uh, <laughs> he's he's going to lean in. He tenderly takes his sunglasses off. And you see these beady little eyes. Also, like I said, the, the tan, tan line, line. Of, of more pale mm-hmm. around the eyes. Oh. Tucks his glasses in. Like, scuttles forward because his pants are on his Oh, man, uh-huh. I love this part of party. <laughs> Never gets party, old. Party well, monster hands you a rope and he goes, two tugs when you want out, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's where I was gonna go. Because <laughs> he goes to do like what we think of conventional Earth human sex. Yeah, if you try to kiss then, her on the lip. Well, and party arena's right. like, are you crazy? <laughs> Climb on in. Come on, don't be shy. Get <laughs> in then, there, bro. We also see that on the giant stage that there's a camera feed. <laughs> oh, oh, your camera. <laughs> it's just like like an 800 foot screen. <laughs> Decker, Decker, oh, oh, Decker, 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 Decker. Towards her. It's mentally being projected around yeah. Party Planet, too. Oh, yeah. so. <laughs> everyone's watching. Yeah, everyone's feeds. watching across yeah. the globe. Kids uh-huh. Everyone's watching you, Decker, bro. Yeah. Do it. Oh, do it. I'm going to do it. No you can pressure. do it. Sure. I'll scoot forward. Oh, Party Rena, you're awesome. Do it, Decker. <laughs> just kind of like lean forward and just go <laughs> right on the side and start sinking Whoa. in. Oh, there he goes. How does that feel, Party Rena? Laser beams start shooting from Party Rena's <laughs> eyes and she just starts decimating oh. everybody. Oh. Oh, look out, look out. Just party blob in half. Yeah. Oh, oh, please. Eat his corpse. Uh-oh. The cops are here. And then the cops come in and they all start partying. Party cops. What's going on in the boat? What do you think? <laughs> oh, what do you think, quiet partier? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Floating in sex limbo with my pants around my ankles. This is like the end of 2001. <laughs> so, <laughs> so back on the boat. Yeah, well, be, being, a, being a human, is Decker getting anything out of this? Or is he just being absorbed by the folds? I guess we'll have to learn his experience yeah. after. It's like swimming in jello, right? Basically. And it's it's a complete... It's a complete uh, sensory deprivation, but sensory uh, like overflow. So all of his nerves are being activated all at the same time. It's horrifically painful, but also me- amazingly pleasurable. Is it like the thing in the abyss where they put the rat in the red water? And it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're just drowning in goo that you yeah. can breathe. Yeah. Okay. And I'm a uh, perfect. I am a uh, boy. Am I? Uh, I'm just spasming wildly in okay. there. Uh, 
joints are bending the way they shouldn't bend, but we should probably go to town. <laughs> okay, yeah. Is so the box is just kind of going. Yeah, yeah it's just shaking yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, who wants to, who walks up on Heather? Yeah, Heather's trying to eat yeah. it, so she's got a box in her mouth. Okay. Heather, Heather, huh? Heather, your name is. What are you doing with that box? That's oh, yeah. my monster's box. Oh, uh, I uh. And Shadowcock grabs it from <laughs> out of uh, Heather, and uh, she goes, Sh "Should I? I saw this open. I saw a portal. Should I open it again?" And then Derek walks in and he goes, "Shattercock, is that party monster's box?" Yeah, 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 that's the one. We shouldn't disturb it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever you say, King Captain Derek. When when party monster returns to us, which I'm sure he will. We'll want to make sure all of his things are just as they were when he left. Understood. Um, Heather, here's your box. Thank you. The, well, um, you can hold on to oh, it. Oh, okay, all right, I'll hold Make sure it does not you. open. Thank you. Uh, cat fight. Uh, <laughs> never it's counted your teeth. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching Grimo clean next to the compost heap, and I put my foot on it, and I kick it over, and I go, oh, no, the compost heap fell over. Someone better clean it up, and then I just walk away. Oh, nice. Right. And Grimo and goes, mops dick. over yep. there. Good conversation. Right, so Shattercock's got the, the party monster box, mm -hmm. and she's just kind of carrying it around with her. It's like her vomited on himself. <coughs> but it's in, in, like, in party land. It, it's saying. in zero-G sex space, so it just oh, disappears so it just into the... Yeah, yeah. well, it, it, like, evaporates and becomes the ambient air, so it's just swirling around his head. Oh, so nice. Grimo, he, he had been cleaning and hiding. Nobody knew that he was there. <laughs> so he saw her, Heather... Take the box, so he kind of knows what's up. But mm -hmm. he's upset at Decker right now because Decker said "fuck you," so he's probably not going to say anything. It's so so, so Shattercock's got the box, but yeah, Grimo's yeah, not going to tell anything. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you guys are at sea. You're sailing. Um, you uh, scrump up at the top of the mast, uh, spots a ship and hollers down <laughs> at you, uh, Captain King Derek. Ship off the starboard, twenty degrees. What should we Which do? Which way is that? That way. <laughs> okay, got it. Twenty degrees. Well, it's just another ship on the on the in the ocean. There's yeah. plenty of room for ships. Sure. Why should we be concerned about another ship? Uh, looks like a trading vessel. A trading vessel. Yeah, we could uh, just go and steal our supplies, or you know, buy them if you want. Um, but they might have some stuff for us. How far are we from town? About half a day. Half that, a day. That ship we can be on in about half an hour. We should mm. definitely go to the trading vessel. Well, let's check out this trading vessel. It's it's close <laughs> enough that I think I've made a decision all on my own to check out the trading vessel. <laughs> Wise decision made all on your own, Captain King. So as as you're approaching the, the one ship, uh, another larger boat comes uh, and kind of docks up next to that one. Oh. Mm. So you guys are coming upon uh, this, this scene. Two ships that are docked up next to each other. Pirates, I hope. So cool. maybe, uh, which, which ship are we, the middle? We're the, the tiny yeah, one. You're the little one. That's oh, the little one. Oh, boy. Man. We, can barely fit. we gotta get that, we gotta get that other ship. Look at this yeah. TV, it's so I mean, Party I'm Boat is it hot? 2 yeah, will probably here. be bigger than Party Boat 1. <sighs> maybe we take over Party <laughs> Boat. <laughs> Think about how many party monsters you could fit on that boat. Go. This All is actually to scale. Here. Oh, oh, there we go. To scale? A little bit more. So yeah. that can almost fit a single human being. What? Never mind. No. He means to our scale. Oh, okay. So stay in um, your box. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you see a bunch of uh, ragtag sailors, uh, whole, lots of different races, creature types, kind of varied, and they're moving a bunch of barrels and boxes from this ship to the larger one. All right. Um, as you're coming up, the uh, there are a bunch of people armed with bow and arrow pointed mm -hmm. at you guys. Oh, hi yeah. there, matey. <laughs> Shut up, yeah, yeah. She's got a little yeah. like sailor's hat and yeah. What's sailor's going outfit on over there. Ahoy, strangers! What business do you have? Uh, no business. Please move at all. on. Tell them we wish to trade. Whoa. We wish to trade. Please move on. We have nothing to trade. It's asking, me, isn't this a trading vessel? Isn't this a trading vessel? Um. No, uh, move on, please. So that's that's West White on the side of the boat, it says trading vessel. <laughs> it says on the side of the boat, trading vessel. What'd you say? Their purpose. What's your purpose? What, what, what is it? What's going on? Who are you people? What are you doing here? We're just friends of yours. Don't worry. Friendly. Never seen you before. Friendly sailors. Tell them, tell them it's the open seas and what do they expect? It's the open boats. seas. We can do whatever you want. It's, 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 it's for free boats. country. Tell them there's a lot of boats. A lot, there are a lot of boats everywhere. You're babbling nonsense, we wish man. To oh, absolutely not. Tell them we wish to trade. <laughs> we wish to trade. It's just trading vessel on the side of your boat. Oh boy. Okay. Um. What are you looking for? Food. Food. Weapons. Weapons. Um. Food. Food. Comfort. Comfort. Mm. Mm. Friendship. And friendship. Sucker. Oh boy. Party monster. Party oh, monster. Have you seen party monster. <laughs> I don't know what a party monster is. Yeah. Um. But we do have some supplies. Yeah, yeah. What What are you looking to get? Not dog food. Not dog food. Who, who's in command of this ship? Uh we're all in command of the ship. Well, that's not entirely true, but <laughs> for the sake of this, 
Derek is behind Shattercock the whole time, kind of yeah. like. Well, and Shattercock doesn't want to expose the well, captain. Yet. Also, her role is she's she's the general of communications. So. <laughs> the general. Yeah, those, those so there's a, there's a lot of merchants and yeah. and people. Okay. So and then. Uh, Lady Pirate. Whoa. Uh, jumps off. Pirate, of, you say? Jumps off of her boat onto yep. this one and kind of walks across the plank. So it's clear and, that and she's a pirate. Uh, well. Can I see if she I? She looks like a badass. Oh, Can okay. I see if I recognize her? Yeah, roll. 12 anything else investigation so you um after the shanty that was sung <laughs> by Aww. scrump in the last episode <gasps> continuity um, as well as a few you know maybe legends or tales that you'd heard in your mm -hmm. travels you believe this to be the queen of the crimson coast a oh, notorious pirate wow but and, i'm too uh, afraid to say it to shattercock because i'm worried it might offend her offend her so uh -huh. she she walks walks over to you balancing on some stuff on the ship so Ahoy, <laughs> female maybe Who's in command here? Uh, uh, beautiful tiefling yeah. in charge of this crew of orcs. Uh, yeah. Derek steps forward. Uh, actually, uh, <laughs> that's just my general of communications. Oh, your general um, is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Derek kind of like flexes like a little bit, <laughs> like puffs himself up. He goes, I am the king captain of this vessel. Uh, interesting title. Yes, it is. State your business. Uh, we are here to trade. We saw we were on our way to Boos. And saw that there was a trading vessel slightly closer, so we changed our direction and decided to head over here. Is this not a trading vessel, despite it saying so on the side of the ship? I guess it does say so on the side of the ship. Um, wasn't planning on trading today. We're actually conducting business with these people. Uh, and you kind of look over and notice uh, the merchant, what you would assume the merchantmen from this ship kind of being forced around and, mm. and watched very carefully. Whoa, what, what kind of business? My business, not yours. So what it is, what is it that you want? And maybe I can find something and you can be gone. We need some food and supplies. Food. That's true. Yeah. Food. We, have, we do have food and water um, out here on the high seas that might come at a steep price. Um, you have a budget in mind? We can throw you one of the best parties you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> we have a party monster. I would trade for a party monster. No, don't you dare. I, trade don't, for don't a party say I would trade the party monster. I just said we would trade for a party. party Sounds monster. like an intriguing trade. Party monster is not for sale. <laughs> oh boy. He is our best friend. It's a, it's <laughs> a, a good bargain. <laughs> he is our best friend. Uh, how much? How much for? Uh, a week's supply of food and water. How about for a week? How many how many people are you trying to feed for a week? Uh, Twenty something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll be three hundred gold. Three hundred gold. gold. It's actually not that bad. Oh, uh, grim old rude fellow here. Uh, perhaps maybe I I can interest you in some frog spit or sword from a skeleton. Grimo, pay the man. <laughs> so, uh, for jokes, it, Grimo. Is it a special sword of some kind? Oh, it was. It was from a giant, a giant sword. Uh, can I see it? Yeah, yeah. He offers over the sword. Yeah, and that's she fine now. Takes it. Oof. What else you got? Hey! Hey! <laughs> and then he gives her a vial of frog spit. She looks at it and just kind of drops it. It goes right between the two ships. So are you, are you going to show up with gold, an interesting trade, or... I give um, her the giant gold well, bracelet with jewels on it. Oh, wow, that what I, is I, this? I picked it up from one of our... Yeah. And then and then Derek also puts on the squirrel crown. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> squirrel crown. Uh, uh, you're about halfway there. Um, I would also like if you have any uh, armor for someone of a smaller stature like myself, something a little heavier than what you see me donning now well you know what this is this is too hard to do from different boats well let's just some of us will just come over there we'll just start looking through your stuff and then we'll just you know no, no, no that's okay that's, a, that's okay shattercock you want to go ahead and head, no, over, head no, over there Grimo, no, no, no. maybe head over there Sh shattercock no, no, no. she steps over and i don't know how many steps she makes it into the boat Okay. But as she's stepping, the boats start to like move across. Oh, yeah. yeah. So oh, she separate. starts doing the splits. splits. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A bunch of fish. <laughs> Magnificent <laughs> athletics. Yeah, well, you know, that's, that's what I've been doing for years. I've been training. So, Grimo, do you want to head over to the the boat? Come on, Grimo. It's, it's fine well, over here. Only if, what was your name? You can call me Queenie. Queenie? Only if the beautiful Queenie invites us, will Grimo cross. Okay. You guys, you can come on to Trading Vessel. Well, um, but please, let's stay here and we'll conduct our business. Um, um, she she walks over and hollers something at her ship, 
and they actually start to bring a few crates and barrels kind of over towards the side. So I'll go. Uh, give us a few minutes to, to sort things out on our end. Um, you're looking for food. Mm -hmm. uh, you made it about halfway there with the gold and the tiny crown. Um, so I probably need about 80 more gold. And um, we'll get you some food for a week for 20-ish people. As she's talking to Derek, Shattercock kind of goes over to the edge of this to look at the other boat. Mm -hmm. Hey! That's, this boat's a lot bigger! Derek! They gotta get stuff over here, too! <laughs> oh, you have more supplies over there! It looks like it! Oh, well, can we check out this other boat, see what's going on over there? No, no, you should stay on this boat. Um, that's that. no, you can, you can stay. <laughs> Um, oh, no. That's a nice please, boat. Please do not step over onto my ship. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. Some Grimo yes. throws in the gold necklace that he was going to give to his mom. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my uh, sorry no, again. Not, Grimo doesn't have to do that. Grimo, keep the necklace. I'll cover this as the king captain. I have a wealth of gold and, and all kinds of illustrious items that I've gathered in my travels. Um, how much? You said 80 more gold? Very well. Yes, sir. Um, Koja, could you fetch me my... Gold purse. <laughs> <laughs> Gold purse. Absolutely, King. And then he just dives into the ocean and starts swimming away. <laughs> You're like... on your own! <laughs> um, so yeah, the guys on this boat are hurriedly like kind of digging through crates and putting some stuff in one, kind of moving different things like around. and from here to there? Accommodating. So they're on their ship and they had a whole bunch of barrels and crates and they're kind of emptying them out and rearranging mm -hmm. things. Do we notice anything strange? Uh, yeah, because you, you'll see, like say they open a crate that's got apples in it mm -hmm. there's a lot of maybe other stuff packed in there that doesn't seem like apples mm -hmm. and they're putting uh, oh, the apples in hey, the barrel they're gonna these apples are fresh we've been traveling so long i haven't had an apple forever you mind if i get some of these apples and i start grabbing at the apple bucket or whatever okay. feeling around oh all the top ones are all bad <laughs> oh i never take the top ones you got to go down to the bottom uh, to find a good apple. so uh <laughs> sir sir please stop what you're doing right now uh go back under your ship Make another move, and I'm gonna. And she like whistles. Uh, we're gonna start firing at you. Uh, a bunch <sighs> of guys draw their bows, pointed at you. Queenie, you need to stop digging through my shit. Now. Grima jumps back onto their ship. He wants no part of this. He jumps back onto the. Oh, the. Yeah. Um. What, what do you mean, your ship? This is my ship, and you you just walked right on it and started digging through my stuff. Both these ships are yours. Oh well, I could take it if I wanted it, but uh, this is my ship. The and big one? The big one, yeah. Well, what, can, what about with this middle? Can we take the middle one? Gonna take it. Yeah. You can do whatever you want when I'm gone. Uh, I just need to finish conducting my business with these guys and you. What? And I will sail off. You can do whatever you want with these guys. What is your business exactly? You know, the, the, um, it's my business is what it is, not yours. Raxan! Mm. Get up, Marion, get over here! We need your help! Okay. Uh, ugh. Hey, I buy cocaine from these guys. <laughs> Mir, are you coming over? Yeah. Grimo comes back over, and he's got a bucket of his slop food, because he's going to see if he can trade that. Oh, uh, yeah. Too. So he comes back over uh, with his bucket of slop food, if you'll move him. I, I recognize over. the elf. Uh, Is there an elf there? Yeah, there was, there was the elf who um, oh. Grimo tried to blow. Oh, yeah. Uh, moving some of the crates. <laughs> I'm like, hey, how'd the... Grimo, you guys know each other, right? And he goes... Oh, uh, I don't think so. You you tricked me, Raxan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, they're shipping drugs. I just don't appreciate the tone that you're raising you have with a fellow royalty. Royalty. You yourself are I don't queenie. acknowledge any other qu kings or queens. Or <laughs> he's the king, he's the king of our people. I'm right. not only a king, but a captain. Two things that you should be able to relate to. So this business is taking quite a while, and we need to wrap it up. I agree. Here are your stores. And All right, they, thank you very much. They're moving some barrels over. Uh, Here's your I just 80 gold pieces. Like to be away from you. Eric, Eric, I think we should take. I think we should take the ship. Let's we'll take the ship. We're, we're not pirates. The, no, no, but look, I hate pirates. I think we should take their ship because I think they're pirates. That's, well, I don't think that's how it works, though. <laughs> well, there won't be the better, big, bigger, better pirates. But I, I hate pirates. You know, I hate pirates. Why right. would you hate a pirate? Because they always all they do is they just. Waste other people's time. They take their things. No and they waste. make a big scene. They take what they earn. You see? They're bad people. We're not bad. Wait. We're not bad. No. Pirate life's a good life. Would you like You're to pirates? join up? I yeah. thought this was a trade vessel. Well, this one's a trade vessel. That one's a pirate vessel. Derek starts getting pretty offended, by the way, Queenie's. I don't appreciate the tone you're raising with me. Yeah, if I don't I like don't, pirates... Well, I don't care about... If I don't like pirates, then that's my business. If you don't like kings, then that's your business. Sure. Why don't you uh, just fuck off there? 
take your take Tell your food. She's a bitch. She she pushes a few more barrels over. Just take the shit. Let's go. Let's Give be gone. I'm trunks. done with you. Very he, well. He's hoping that there's some like cool little armor in for him or something, but he'll find out later when he opens them. <laughs> Dirk, takes him over so Dirk takes takes a nut, takes an apple and he goes, "I'm taking this one for free." He takes a bite out of it and I'm taking back my crown. And then he takes Squ- a squirrel crown. Squirrel crown. He goes back. He goes back across the ship. Oh, I'm going with there. I guess we're all going. Yeah. Back so you, <laughs> yeah, and he also you're goes, taking back your mo- your payment for the food. No, I just taken back the crown. By the way, there's no acorns around here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me catch you in this part of the sea again. Yeah, whatever. Weird people. Queen. Don't worry, you won't. This part of the sea sucks because you're here. <laughs> uh, I look around and go, has anyone seen Decker? Yeah, can I? Oh, no, Mary. Mary, Mary. No, okay, fine. In the meantime, I cast a locate object because I was looking for Derek, and I'm sort of like doing circles around Shattercock in the box. Like, oh, Decker. that's where it led me. I was, okay. I cast it on Decker's glasses because I'd seen those. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I, I'm at this point, I'm doing circles around Shattercock. Like, my stick is pointing me. Mary, what do you want? I think Decker's in you. <laughs> <laughs> so Shattercock pulls open the box, mm-hmm. and uh, she kind of goes, "Wait, do you think Decker's inside?" Yeah, I am concentrating right. on his glasses. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Here we go. Spell. And Shattercock pops it open, and and Derek goes, mm, "Party monsters box." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so. So what happens when he opens it? The portal opens. Do we see everything? Is that? Is I was that gonna say, shouldn't just a bunch of black fluid come out? Yeah, with, with, with a bunch Decker, of shit. Decker, Decker, Decker on the deck. Decker stumbles yeah. out in gelatinous goo. Yeah, he's just covered, yeah. like no. There's no party monsters. It's just him. Go, yeah. Decker. It's, it's comatose. What happened? Yeah. There he is. What happened? <clears throat> uh, should he be in a party coma, or does he <clears throat> squirt out? Well, you. Well, you just come floating okay. out in some Decker, liquid. Decker, like where'd you go? What happened? Hold on, Grimo. He doesn't want to say it. He fights against it, but he, bros can tell with other bros, and he goes, Decker, did you just get laid? His, his hair is now white and pure. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, wow. It's like a Decker yeah. white. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was supposed to come out with, with clothes on. I already had a reveal. You guys fucked it up. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, I was just throwing a suggestion. You can redo it. Reveal. You can redo it. He was, uh, was going to come out and be the patron state of parties. Because now he's learned the true meaning of party. Oh, Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, but you're still covered in goo. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> yeah. his nose. He's got a white trench coat now. <laughs> he comes out, um, yeah, well, yeah, he's going to have, a, like, a white coat. And a cat in the hat hat. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little back, yeah. He's got a 90s party hat. Yes, um, and, awesome. like, white sunglasses, white hair. And he comes out, <clears throat> vomits a little bit, uh-huh. wipes it off. Says, thank you, my friends. Thank you for saving me. But truly, now it is my turn to save you. And he whips out his laptop. Oh, boy. Of course. Hold on a minute. Of course he does. So the, the pirate ship is, is moving off. on. Mm-hmm. See, it, the yeah, it queenie kind of looks back at you and, don't let me catch you again, motherfucker. What a bitch. <laughs> this is all he's doing? It's kind of a... You know, he's just standing there like this? His, his laptop is hovering. This is his this. lesson? Yeah, I was gonna say, there. does he have yeah. a one-liner or is it just the tune? No, he's just staring at everyone. That's it. Does he try to stab Grima or what? <laughs> no, he's beyond that now. Aw, <laughs> <Aww, laughs> damn it. Chauncey too can't get to break. So I think everyone's standing around waiting for something to you know, poignant or impressive to happen, and then just kind of turn around and go about their business on the ship. I guess he's still a virgin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think that's good for today. <sighs> Um, mm, hopefully planet. next week we can oh. make it to loose. Um, yeah. we'll see. We'll see, we we'll gotta see. get to boost first or whatever. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> alright, so yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in this week. Uh, check out some other first content, especially that wrestling doc that might be out yes. by oh, now. It should, it should, it should be uh, like old now, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, it's old, old yeah, Everybody's right been tired of yeah. watching it. Yeah, well, we will be back next week with some more Twits and Crits. Thanks yeah. for tuning in. Bye. Bye. So, Decker, <laughs> would you like to enter one of my orifices now yes. or later? Oh, uh, let's find some place to go. Can I see you behind the latrine? Yeah, let's do it. Decker, it, it's traditional in party land that we watch when you <laughs> penetrate her orifices. Yeah, and I generally <laughs> film it with this stony <laughs> handicap. <laughs> I'm going to look worriedly at Party Monster while I undo my belt. All right, Decker. <laughs> go for it, bro. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what cool people do. Decker. Did you just get laid? His, his hair is now white and pure. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. It's, it's like a grand yeah. white. Yeah. <laughs> this is all he's doing?
All right, uh, everybody, welcome back to Twits and Crits, uh, penultimate episode of season three. Mm. You guys yeah, excited? Sure. Yes, very. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Changes afoot. Yeah, who remembers what happened a couple weeks ago? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, Party World? Party yeah. World is the only thing I remember. Okay. It's the only thing I remember. You opened <laughs> okay. an event we saw a World. pirate. That's right. We met we a pirate. That's true. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. And we tried to get into a conflict oh, with said pirate, but she boats. wanted no part of it. The three boats. So That's we right. just kind you, of backed away slowly. Yeah. Did you try and get in a fight or anything? Yeah, absolutely. We kept inquiring about yeah. all the questionable stuff that she was transporting, but she seemed pretty adamant that it was not a big deal. So yeah. we backed off. So we so just backed off. We were continuing down a river because we were going to stop at a small town that we saw on the edge of the, yes. map. the bank. Or yeah, you, no, so you guys made, made it out to the ocean. We made it out the river. You made it out to the ocean. We passed the the racist town. But then there was something over here. We were gonna. That we, we were, were talking gonna, about stopping at, but we didn't know if we were exactly going to or not. Well, we were. We were gonna stop at supplies because we were gonna buy supplies from the pirate lady, but she didn't want to sell us anything really, and she didn't. She tried to take my squirrel crown, and then so, uh, so then we were gonna get actual supplies at Boos. No, uh, you ended up buying something from her. Well, what some, yeah. you guys what bought supplies from some, her. Yeah, I, I wrote down two weeks of rations yeah, for yeah. thirty people. Who spent the money? There was I think a, you fronted it. Yeah, you guys oh. kind of cobbled the, it together. I kept my squirrel crown. I know yeah, that. Yeah. But I'm <laughs> telling you, the there was another place past Boost that we were looking at. I thought we were going. What were we going like this? I thought we, or we were going out. I thought we were going to swing by Boost. Uh, we did, didn't we? Or no. did no. you were going to go there to get supplies? Yeah. Now you have supplies. So yeah, it might we got them from the pirate lady. So it's not necessary. Boost. How frustrating is this for someone watching? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Like, you because, just did that. I'm pretty sure we had to tell the orcs to lay low as we passed Boost because they can't. No, that was the. Oh, Dolly yeah. Gale. Okay. Did you change the map? No. <laughs> so wait. So what's where? Why are we going to boost you, now? But I don't. I don't we're think not, you need to. I, yeah, you you needed right. to get some some food at one point, but uh, you don't need that While we were on anymore. the river, there was debate consumed. over whether or not we had to stop in the racist town. Yeah. To get supplies, but we determined that if we can get through without incident, that we, we could pick low. up supplies at Boos. Yeah. Unfortunately, on the way, we found a pirate lady who sold us rations. And now we don't have to go to smugglers. Yeah. We do not go to Boos. They just hit the high seas. Now we're ready. On our way to loose. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so so last time we uh, everybody got 500 XP Whoa. Uh, for uh, party dimension shenanigans. Wow. I also um, uh, worth noting I changed my class. Not that well, it's a class of my own making. Is he allowed I mean, to do that? Community. What he changed his class? Yeah, he I am no longer me. a wizard. I am now a party mancer uh, because I bring parties to the world. Can he do that? I've conjured them out of the air. He wrote can, it on just the calling paper. the same wrote thing it. by a different yeah. name. See, Bruce, here, look, you can check that out if you want. I, mean, I believe that you wrote it's it written. down. Just check that out right, right there. Under yeah. class there. He right? crossed it's it out even, too. Because background you hermit. opened that box yeah, also, and went through that dimension with Party Monster. Yes. And then you yes. got molested. No. Well, no, no. I got uh, I got absorbed by a, a sex cube or a blob of some sort. I spent uh, what? What did we agree on? Ten thousand years in suspended sexual animation. In Ten thousand time years? or party time? Uh, party yes. time. Party Violated time. party time. But in real time, yeah. it, it was just only like to be fifteen real. seconds. Yeah. Ten millennia of sex having, uh, and now Decker is sex having. Also, yes. you don't age in Party World, apparently. That's also true. Right. But become be, you get you gain wisdom, and also his <laughs> his sweet leather jacket turned white. Along with his hair. Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. yeah. 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 covered in cum. Yeah. 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 That's party monster oh. cum. Yeah. Decker the white. It's a little white. crunchy now. It's, I just hear it's, like, it's like Bukaki, and they're all just squirting stuff on yeah. him. He's like, I'm getting laid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. It was in front of a whole, it was like in front of a Bonnaroo and it was style. being filmed on, yeah. I'm pretty sure, a Sony <laughs> Handycam. On the was. Jumbotron at Coachella, or the yeah. party monster version of Coachella. And just to be clear, on the, the box rules is basically every time you close and open it, 10,000 years pass. Oh. It basically like it speeds up and then it like, Wow. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a timely map where like but it speeds up and then stops. I can't keep track. Okay. What? But in party time. In party time, yeah. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't no, affect only a few anything seconds. else. No, 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 no. Yeah. So basically if you want to go oh, open close, open close, open close, you could like fuck with their whole world. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think I understand. What Speaking you know. of the party box, oh, I believe Decker's Oh, he made a card that. for yeah. it. Yeah. There's a little oh, card okay. for I have an, Chauncey 2 uh, stats. Uh, I now have an inventory I don't need stats. Chauncey 2 has stats? That means Chauncey 2 can die. What about Chauncey 1? Um, oh, Chauncey won. I forgot about that one. I know. Everybody Everyone forgets about Chauncey won. Dog, uh, yeah. no, you actually, it was the crown that the orcs gave you. Oh, um, yeah. It actually grants you an ability called Battle Cry, which allows you to give, uh, forgot what it was, oh, yeah. advantage in battle or something. I'm guessing you don't have anything in that bag for me. Battle you didn't cry. get anything. Oh. Role play harder. Next time. <laughs> the thing you invented, you gave to him. So I can do one a day. Any creature of your choice, which in thirty feet that can hear your cry, gains advantage on attack rolls until cool. your next turn. Wow. 
then I may make an attack as a bonus action. Nice. Cool. We're giving we're that down. We're giving Derek more attacks. Sounds like it. It gets like five around now. I mean, oh, that's I'm not sorry, a bad party man, sir. You can kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got laid for ten thousand yeah, years. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> All right, get on um, that boat. See, it is nighttime, and you guys are on this boat, Shit, sailing I'm, south. My bottom. And all the orcs are on it too, right? Uh, they're, mm -hmm. Well, they're rowing. Where yeah. Are they? Oh yeah, yeah. We keep them to the back. <laughs> what? Decker is uh, he's sitting cross-legged but hovering. In in one hand, he has his laptop floating in an energy party ball, and the other hand is a six pack of of PBR, and he is playing rock and party tunes from his sweet laptop, so that all the orc hordes can listen to cool party music while they're rowing. What are the tunes? Uh, it's uh, it's a lot of uh, a lot of early Metallica. A lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, party music, if it's on, uh, it's well, I mean, that's, no, that's the pump, that's the write-up song. Mm. And then he puts on Pulse oh, Volume 1. He's making one. excuses for his party music. <laughs> All mid-90s dance hits. <laughs> which, just like which, Decker would shouldn't do. Shouldn't it just be Jock Jams? Yeah, which, no, it's Which Pulse now volume music one. volume. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Pulse. <laughs> I, had, I had Pulse <laughs> Volume 1. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. Early on. Now, yeah, now that's why call music started in the 80s. Don't yeah. be absurd. Do you like Ace of Base and The Real McCoy? Do you even know the difference? Too bad. Here it is, Pulse. It's everything. So, uh, since we are now on the high seas, I'd like everyone to do a constitution check. So roll a 20 and add your con modifier. What, so you roll that back My what modifier? Your... Sorry. Constitution? You, you call it con? You've got to do the D&D &D lingo mod. so those guys okay. think I'm cool. I don't think anyone... <laughs> you won't have to worry about that. No, not a problem? Yeah. Uh, 13? 10. 8. 6. 4. Six. Okay, so 6, 6, and 4. You guys all uh, are terribly seasick. You're oh, throwing man. up all over the place. And you will have disadvantage on dexterity checks. Oh. Full album's on YouTube. Cool. Rest of the day. Oh, is it all pulse? I oh, dropped jams. <laughs> Pulse volume one. Nice. This is the psychedelic. Decker, shut that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have you appear to be sick. Yeah. Don't worry. A beer will help. <laughs> Hands your room temperature, shaking up PBR. Can, Can I have on? scurvy but like it? Can you put deer sure. on okay. the on the bow? Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just eating oh, a lot like, of oranges. Not all the way, but basically one leg up, standing oh, yeah. forward. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Koja actually, where'd she go? Uh, she walks up to uh, Derek at the front of the boat. Oh, wait, that's... Um, you've actually kind of noticed that all of the uh, dog clan orcs are kind of sullen mm. and a little unhappy. I have noticed that, Koja. Well, you know, we didn't just raid those ships, which is probably the natural thing that we should have done there. I wanted to. You probably could have forced it a little bit harder, but I understand that uh, your wisdom leads our clan now. Mm -hmm. I just want you to remember what we talked about. The curse... On our our clan and that's our a, hunger for battle. I said what now? At some <laughs> point, we, we discussed the curse on our clan and uh, how how no uh, male can live past the age of eighteen. I didn't. Mm -hmm. oh, I had boy. not heard. No, we did not discuss the curse. The curse did not. I mean, you just said no, that no one they else remembers fight. this. You just said they like to fight. You didn't make it seem like it was like I a was, witch thing. I was paying attention. Shattercock, you threw that kid overboard. Shattercock Remember when you no, I have no memory of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hear all this and I go, I took a, an improv class and they said, um, say yes to everything and stop saying no. <laughs> Both of you. I understand that we have, that's why we had the, that's why we had that sweet party. That we had, we had the oh, sock yeah. hop battle royale. That, that, that was a great I, time. As you're, as, so how often do they need to do this fighting thing? You know, to not die when they're eighteen. The shortest parties are often the sweetest. Oh, geez. I'm okay. I'm holding a seventeen and a half year old orc and I go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> your your friend here is is a little mad, isn't he? Uh, no, he's he's. Uh, this is actually him in a really good mood. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with him. Oh, uh, we've seen much worse. Yeah, yeah, I've only I'm, known him I'm for just a short giving while. him a shave. <laughs> you're not you're not worried about him. No, no. I okay. think he's 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 good. Yeah. He's good. He's a great party planner too. <laughs> I, that, I look, that I agree on. I look yeah. off to the uh, to the side of the ship. Was this this is uh, starboard? Starboard. Starboard looks starboard, and there's a giant whale. Looks at me, goes, "You're doing great, Raxon." Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> the rest of us look over, and there's nothing. There's there. nothing. <laughs> yeah. uh, but Koja, so what what is the timeline on this sort yeah, of thing? I just wanted to remind you, since we just had the opportunity to kick some ass and and satiate that hunger for battle that the young men have. And you decided not to for whatever reason. It's fine. I just wanted to let you know to keep this at the front of your mind as something Listen, that you might. I was on that ship while the rest of you guys were cowering behind. If you guys cowering. want to do some battling, give me a war cry or something like that once in a while. I need to be told as your king captain that what you need is in line with what I think you need. I need that reaffirmation sometimes. All right, I'm okay. not perfect. I'm pretty close, but not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're perfect. 
King Captain. Oh, thank you, Koja. Um, hey, and, stop. And in the future, I will remember. He's not? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, let, let us, uh, let us lighten the mood. Uh, do you enjoy drinking games, Captain King Captain? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I do, in fact. <laughs> Why is his voice lower now? <laughs> Did someone say drinking game? <laughs> <laughs> so, Allow me to conjure thee the finest drinking game the realm has ever seen. I'm just hand you a drink, or room temperature <laughs> beer. This is nothing. Is it, it sounds is like it? someone dropped so a wait, bunch no, of cans. No, this is the wrong one. <laughs> it does sound God. a bunch of cans. Wait, wait. So, no, so Gerba, Gerba walks over and slams <laughs> down a cask of ale while, I guess, Koja has a can of PBR. Good. I don't know what that stands mm -hmm. for in this world. Um, What's the name of the world? Jayan? Uh, the world is Jeeb. <laughs> he, he wants to go back to Jayan. <laughs> <laughs> Just the one little village. <laughs> so, There's going to be a spin-off series where it's a retired old Raxan uh, with uh, oh Sai oh living in a small condo. <laughs> where are we, Jayan? Put the fuck... Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Finally, Mira got right What's up? <laughs> so, Gerba slams down a cask of ale. You guys pop it open. GBR um, is what it would be called. There GBR? There you go. Because it's called Giant. So, uh, Koja starts filling up cups and drinking horns. I propose a game of Never Never. In, uh, in turn, we'll sh sh we shall go around and make a statement. Never Never have I whatever. Uh, and if you have done the stated act, you take a drink. So um, I'll get us started. Is this you guys setting up so Grima has to say that he blew six dudes? <laughs> Set up? <laughs> we already know. We saw the fan art. <laughs> God, that was foul. Uh, but awesome. What? But no, awesome. it was perfectly it was, detailed. Uh, beautiful people coming together. That was a sex, yeah. Oh, nice. They were coming together <laughs> on that little fucking elf <laughs> midget. Please. So you guys up what? for games? You bet! Yeah. All right. Life Pass is a game. Drinks. Let us enjoy. What happened to this guy? I don't know. He ascended. Sure. He's, really he's trying sure. to be Decker the White, but he's just covered in cum. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, he is a little terrible. sticky. Yeah. It smells like eucalyptus. Shit, his hair and like flakes fall out. So uh, Koja, Koja grabs a, a cup, tilts it up, and says, Never have I ever used my sexuality to take advantage of the affections of a lovelorn companion. And she takes a big old swig, staring, so, staring at Shatter. Wait, so Shatter, if yeah. you haven't done it, you drink? No, if you have. Oh, if you have done it, you drink? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Ah. Wait, if you have done it, you drink? Yeah. yeah. Oh, then Shattercock doesn't drink. No, oh, okay. Well, you, take advantage. you haven't? Uh, what was it? Say it again. Take it advantage? Never, never have advantage. I used my sexuality no. to take advantage of a companion. Take advantage? No. You've Who never, have I taken advantage of? You've never been every sharing? Just, just because my top falls off every episode doesn't mean that I've taken advantage so of it. So I guess you. willingly or knowingly? You've, you've never been that. sharing a hostel room with Grimo, at which point you've just dropped your... Uh, your coverings without even in a second thought, knowing that he's an impressionable young man. How is that taking advantage of him? Because you, then you, you know you can sculpt him into putty. What about Miri? He has an erection right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's always got an erection. Do you fault the beaver for building a dam? Do you what? fault a bird for building a nest? Well, if she's trying to just wise. a slut. Yeah. <laughs> she's just naked all the time. That doesn't mean she's a she's slut. She's trying guys. to nest her beaver. No. And her tops have a terrible, a terrible job. I'm just set before. Put them. a class. Put a second clasp on them. No. <laughs> so uh, Seg runs up and goes, "Never have I ever blown a giant boy." And she takes a big swig. Yeah, I mean, we all take drinks on that one. <laughs> they, they got around that night. Yeah. Who's next? Wait, do you drink if you haven't? Done? What did yeah, I, I was have. listening? You guys. Have you never played Never oh. Have I Ever no, before? He no. said Never Have I Ever, and then he he's blown a giant boy. That was Seg kind of fucking around. No, so Seg, you don't know how this game works. I yeah. do. You but, guys aren't oh, following. Hold on. So, but Seg drank, right? Yeah. So that means she's always drinking. Everyone's always drinking. <laughs> All right, okay. well. We need to roll more dice. <laughs> so we're drinking if you've done the thing that happens after <laughs> yes. never that, that have I ever. Says, you say never... something you have never done. Have, have Even you guys if it's never played this fucking done. game? No. If you have done it, you have to drink. If you have done it, you have to drink. Yeah. Yes. So Sega's blown a giant boy. Sure. Who right. hasn't? Got That's it. the idea. That's yeah. what I wanted to hear. That's what they're known okay. for. So I have never done that. But so it devolves so. very quickly. People so. are just like, <laughs> yeah. I haven't really done it. Grimo's never done that. He doesn't take a drink. What? Everyone looks at Grimo. I don't know about that one. I, mean, I knew the setup of this game. What this Doth was I for. detect a party Grimo's. foul? <laughs> I mean, how do you guys know? <laughs> <laughs> how do you guys know? We were all know? watching. You, nobody was watching. Nobody what? acknowledged it at the time until they were watching. Yeah, that's true. So as far as you guys know, Grimo's Well, I pull out a, a greeting card or like a thank you card that I got. You it, don't it, have a picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a picture. I, and, I, and it just it's a, it's a note from the giant boy says, thank you, Grimo, for uh, blowing us. 
Love the giant boys. Nice. That's it. Yeah. Well, and then the, there's just a big cum stain right oh. there. And then Derek holds up a Polaroid camera that still has the photo hanging <laughs> out of it. No. That has a date and time. Come on, Grimo. Oh. Come on you guys. Grimo's, he's he's pretending now. Mm -hmm. He's pretending that that didn't happen. Okay. 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 So he's not, he's Why not would taking it. That's a weird thing to say. Why would anyone mm -hmm. have blown the giant boys? Grimo kind of like does one of these towards Miri. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep throwing up. <laughs> Anybody else? Who? Someone else give it a go. Um, I've got one. All right, sure. Yeah, you do. Yeah, of course you do. Never have I ever had sex for 10,000 years straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wait, don't. so he has? <laughs> <laughs> he has, so he drinks. <laughs> I know, it doesn't make any People, sense. Never People use this game to he's, brag. He's, yeah, he's bragging, so he's... Yeah. It's really, really complicated. And then he giggles and then drinks more. The worst. Well, we know you haven't, Decker. We know you're a virgin. Oh, ho. shouldn't it be never have I ever not had sex for ten thousand years? T yes, but aren't you trying to get everyone else to drink or brag? You're, you no, burn bragging, somebody yeah. or you use it to say something so you've like, awesome. Shitty. It, when people actually play this game, shitty dudes would be like, "Never have I ever banged two chicks at once." And they'll drink for like really animatedly to prove that they have. I mean, I've played Never Have I Ever, but normally it's you say something to get other people to gotcha. drink. Yeah, He's using... that's like saying I. Ha so basically, you're saying I haven't had sex for ten thousand years, and you drink if you've done it. We're getting really hung up in the weeds. <laughs> I mean, he's trying to tell us that he had sex. I think it should be Never Have I Ever. Shouldn't Thank it be you. Never Have I Ever yeah. not had sex? But then I wouldn't for ten thousand years. No. If you're playing to the rules, yes, and then everyone else would drink, and I would be the only one it's who does. Double negatives. You can also play the game to find out what other people have done. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the, the point, idea, right? Sure. Yeah, that's. I mean, like, yeah, that's the way I played it. So throw okay. one of those at a shattercock. Okay, yeah. Um, never have I ever had sex without being in love. Bunch the works are. Taken down. Yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. Decker's yeah. drinking too. Uh, everybody's everybody's drinking, get, right? Uh, Rax might be a virgin. <laughs> he doesn't have that, <laughs> that was in character, by the. That's that's that was Rax talking in character. Well, I'm, I'm currently <laughs> having a deep conversation with a whale. Uh, <laughs> How's so that not going? Yeah, so Rax may be asexual. What well, a beautiful going, whale. How's the game going? I'm like, it's good. It's good. They're yeah, asking weird questions. Yeah, though. Yeah. I don't know where it's going. Is it's it a lady whale? Maybe. A beautiful whale. Ooh. Does it count if you start out of love, but before the ten thousand years are over, you fall in love? Decker, we get it. You had sex for ten thousand years. Ten thousand years. You got come all over you. Come all. Wait. Never have I ever <laughs> lost a fight against three warriors twice my size. <laughs> Sorry, he's bragging. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. See, yeah, but I that makes sense, so, right? I, so then that means I don't drink. That means you have lost a fight. Never have right. I just ever. Drink. I just drink. Just drink. Just say <laughs> stuff and drink. Yeah, you guys are already sick. Uh, yeah, I've been sick for the entire time. Uh, never have I um, slowly poisoned my uncle who wanted to become my new father figure <laughs> for over the course of about 15 years while also taking care of him, but secretly still poisoning him, letting him die little by little, and then therefore telling my mom that we need a new dad. Derek drinks. Stare for the What? Mm -hmm. uh, Miri. It gets quiet. We haven't heard from Miri. Oh, gosh. All right. I Yeah, I'm just... I rolled the lowest, so I'm really sick, is what I'm going to say. So I, I look, I go, never have I ever lied to Miriatus's face. And I look around at everybody. Everybody, oh. everybody drinks. Yeah, we often say we all drink like three <laughs> times. No, Derek <laughs> stares at him and goes, I won't drink. <laughs> and then I, <laughs> and then I continue retching over the side. <laughs> Unless anyone else says something. Has everyone done wonderful. one? I think we've all done. Remo hasn't done one. Oh yeah. Um, never have I ever not had a sister. I don't know. I'm not had a sister. I know. I'm so Hold confused on, on the double have, negatives. I'm gonna drink. You say something to the giant boys. Sweet <laughs> giant boys. I mean, uh, yeah. You can't tell if he drinks or not because he kind of just looks and turns and looks out to the sea. Oh, poor Grimo. Yeah. <laughs> poor Grimo. The gyre is the opposite direction. He doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. can, a, can a seagull direction. shit on you Grimo? Could ask, you could ask somebody which way north is. It does. No, <laughs> you just decided <laughs> that. Ten. Sure. Okay. Bird shits right on Grimo. Nice. That means good luck. Yeah. 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 Good luck. Mm -hmm. This seagull was dying, though. <laughs> As dysentery. <laughs> that an extra lucky? That's an extra messy seagull shit. That's this really was gross. truly a great game. And has raised the morale of all six of us. They're all rolling. You don't let them come past that. Oh. To be surrounded by such a wondrous court of fools. Uh, I have understood that the party morale has dropped, so enjoy these party beats. 
covering there. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Staring Decker at all really you. doesn't know. <laughs> I can't Georgia. believe I'm saying this, but I miss the old Decker. I know. <laughs> 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 oh. Can he hover just a little less? Yeah. <laughs> is he hovering? Is he off the ground? Yeah. He can't fly. Oh, wow. Yes, he can. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he can. There you have it. Uh, there you have it. The the best, best, check the got, sheet. The best fly. conversation with the DM ever. You can't do that. Yes, yes I, I can. can. You can't fly. Are you sure you things? can't fly? Right. I had a spell. I'm oh. the only one. That, I'm the only one who has levitate. I have what? levitate. You know what he can do? Yeah. He can do that thing where he creates words. Remember when he just oh, makes yeah. this? It just says I'm flying. Oh, yeah, that's go. above him. And then he knows where north is. He's he does not. that trick magicians do, where they just like stand on weird on one eye, like oh yeah, he's, foot. yeah. He he makes us all stand <laughs> slightly 45 degrees from him and angle. says, "Don't move, don't move," and only look at my left foot. Yeah. And then he goes this. And, oh. <laughs> Next game, Koja. I'm I'm out of games. Does anyone else have drinks? Drinking games? Oh. I have a million. No oh, boy. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't. Do yeah. just like Decker. <laughs> He's still just floating there. <laughs> uh, fuck, I'm trying to think of something. Okay. <laughs> you didn't plan this. He has a it million. It feels really yeah. planned. He's trying to think of the one best thing. parties are unplanned. Uh, he, <laughs> he he conjures something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> little little uh, little cyber buckets pop up. In a, in a triangle shape, and then he conjures up balls of light and hands them out. What is says, a cyber bucket? We shall play <laughs> ale pong. Um, oh, oh, sweet. Oh, and he divides up people. <laughs> okay, cyber got it. Bucket. Thou must throw the energy ball into the cyber bucket. <laughs> Are and you, once thou does, thou shalt shotgun the hell is this he beer. I see Blade Runner. I, I think that fucking is. <laughs> is he a fantasy wizard or a cyberpunk guy? I don't know anymore. Is, he's a party mancer. Uh, he does. Do you want me to show you the character sheet? So it's no. a bucket with neon strip. Yeah, <laughs> hidden pretty poorly underneath the rim. Basically, it's kind of got falling it. off. Okay, Are we almost to lose, sir? <laughs> no, no, we've got, we've got about eight days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eight days of bad, yeah. poorly planned games. <laughs> and we burned through half those rations. <laughs> Derek, throw thy ball into the party right. bucket. Yeah, do, do a dex <laughs> check. <laughs> it's from the New Testament. <laughs> Old Tevis. Yeah. Five plus like that two, seven. Two. Uh, I don't think seven will make it into the cyber bucket. Oh. Oh. Stupid neon strings. Good lights. try, Derek. What about me? Can I wait? Yeah. So are we just trying to throw a ball in a bucket? <laughs> yeah, I'd roll it. Do a dex. <laughs> We're not even playing beer. Do pong. a dex check. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. He hasn't gone to many parts. Twelve. Yeah, I think he sunk it. Oh. Well done, Shattercock. Oh. Enjoy thy beer. Oh, oh, yeah, you already had it, but thank GDR. you. GDR. Oh, it's a great party. Hold on. <laughs> Wonderful game, Decker. Indeed. I like your, your change in personality. It's mm. it's very amusing. Yes, everyone enjoys it now. <laughs> <laughs> that straight face of Decker the White staring at you as he plays music. Go on the other side. You can't see me floating from that angle. <laughs> Are you gonna try Grimo? I uh, yeah, he still has like a tear, single tear, because he's thinking about his family. Thinking about his family. Uh, Ooh, and then do I add anything? Dex. Fucking drained it. So it's a uh, eighteen. Yeah, I think he nailed it. Nice. Cool. Well done, small man. Enjoy your beer. Oh, sweet to drink. Drink it now and enjoy. I don't really how that game works either. <laughs> All these games are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing a ball in a bucket. There's nothing in there. I don't think yeah. Decker's ever been to a party. You get it in. He's only been to party dimension. Yeah, you drink if you get it in. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this is how we make our own fun twits and crits versions of your common party games. It's just By all the rules, rules wrong. wrong. <laughs> the best part is the bucket is yeah. probably 30, I don't know. Ten inches, like to our right. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're just boop. Yeah, <laughs> just drop it in there. Well, there's a beer. <laughs> Enjoy your room temperature, shaking up beer. All right. Um. So yeah, games games happen. The the night passes. The next day passes. You guys are at sea. Thought we bought all that beer. Yeah, that was most of our rations. But yeah, you guys are sailing south. Did buy food. For days. Ninety percent of it is light beer. It's like food. It's yeah. bread. <laughs> Put it in water form. It's liquid bread. It's easy. Oh, Doesn't go bad. <laughs> We're down here now. Did we go into the Gulf at all or no? Um, you probably followed the coast. Oh, okay. honestly, it's if we want this route, I would. You probably would have cut across the Gulf a little bit. Okay. Um, so who knows what kind of fun adventures could have gone on? But is there an Ibiza like beach anywhere? Mm. <laughs> we can stop There's at. There's a pyramid right there. You see it? Yeah, oh, well, it's like an pyramid. Aztec pyramid. Oh, oh. God, oh, that happened. They, they couldn't figure out how to do points. Lazy. 
Decker's <laughs> open for no consequence sexual liaisons, by the way. Now that he's mastered in the sexual arts, everyone knows. Yeah, we, we are aware. Letting everyone know us for days. Well, that's 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 that that he got molested. It says open for business. Yeah, are you aroused at this party? Would you like me to crawl inside you for ten thousand yeah. years? <laughs> Shall we retire to my chamber? <laughs> no, you can absorb me now. That's how sex is, right? <laughs> that's fall on them and wait to that's get what sex is. It's also yeah. It's <laughs> when do you suck me inside of you for ten millennia? Also, you have a cot, and that's a cot between two other cots. <laughs> He got molested, and now he thinks he's some sort of Casanova. <laughs> That's what happens, though. <laughs> that goo monster was thoroughly pleased with her her experience. When you're abused, so you become hypersexualized. That's true. That's what yeah. happens. It's very true. It's a very true tale. I've seen enough. Kinda, uh, I've seen enough episodes sad. of Intervention to know. I've met enough strippers now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so where, where are we? Yeah. Where are we on the map? There. I don't know. Crab Claw Point? <laughs> yes, yeah. You're, so you're, Bay? you're, you're west, west of Crab Claw there. West there of the Crab Claw. Sailing along Ooh, in the sure. ocean. All right. Let's so, some Cheddar Bay Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Mr. Raven. Call me Mr. Wrong. Yeah. Call me in. You know that song? Not, nothing Is that but, your party next? Yeah, that was it. That was, that was oh, the that beginning was it? of Mr. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Mr. Vane. From Culture Beat. I know what you I want. want. I want. I want. want. Oh, that's, that's, that's the most <laughs> sailing <laughs> <all> <laughs> The old Shanti. <laughs> Man. Be oh. my lover, will you be? <laughs> <laughs> Following night, uh, Scrump is up in the eagle's nest, you know, at the top of the mast, uh, and he spots something. Is that the fat kid? Uh, Wait, no. He's the one that you beat in the wrestling match. Yeah, uh, yeah. okay. Uh, the fat kid was Piggy. <laughs> or yam, the, yam Yam. Is he on the boat or did we kill him? <laughs> no, yeah. he's, he's, he's down below by himself. Is he 18 himself. yet? Ah. Do we get no. to bury him? Let's see. <laughs> Just toss them over. Those are my favorite parts <laughs> when we dump the 18 year olds over. <laughs> so, uh, Scrump lets you guys know he sees this bright, colorful glow off of starboard about 100 feet out in the water. 200 He's got feet out in the water. Brains. <laughs> he sees the lights. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's there and it, it's kind of gone. Um, better throw them overboard. Starboard, you say? Yeah. Well, yeah. So, the so then Derek looks to the coast. <laughs> <laughs> he sees a sandbox he wants to ah, shit in. I'd so, you guys see this. Big bright glow off starboard. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes away, but then uh, a few minutes later, the the night sky brightens around you. Uh, you see a bright glow emanating from beneath the ship. It's golden, uh, shiny. The water in front of the boat stirs as a giant shock of pink hair rises out of the water. Mm -hmm. Slowly and calmly, a huge fifty foot tall head rises out of the water ahead of the ship, moving along with you. Cool. Wow. She looks like a queen, beautiful, regal, and serene covered in jewels in a long flowing white dress that merges with the water beneath you. You each see a slightly different woman as the creature stares into your eyes. She would remind you of some important woman from your past, a mother, a teacher, something like that. She stares directly into your eyes, reading your souls. She smiles and then opens her mouth wide. As the ship sails into her mouth and then phases through the back of her head and the hair turns away as if, it, as if she was a ghost, when you look back at her, the beauty turns into a monstrous old skeleton form and it lunges right at the ship. Just before making contact with you, her beauty returns and she calms. She lowers her head and kisses you like a child's head. Each of you imagines that she kisses you directly. You feel warm and happy inside. So at first light, next day, you find yourselves off the coast of an island, which Koja tells you is pretty weird because you should still see Lankos to the east. I'm a scout man. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Does anybody else see that it's weird vision? <laughs> I got the power. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there. Everybody dance <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, at first light, you find yourself off the coast of an island. Koja tells you that's weird because you should still see the coast of Lancos. Uh, you stop. Uh, something kind of weird for you guys. You actually stop and ask for directions. I think normally you would just kind of plod along, but yeah. this time, <laughs> stop and ask for directions. I want to go down to Blas, um, you know. <laughs> you learn. I'll, I'll you, buy down there. You learn the local geography and then get a heading uh, for Loose. Should have taken a left. Some year in the back. Yeah. Which <laughs> island are we on? You're. Uh, we'll say you're on Anthier right here in this hmm. little town. So we actually landed at the at the like town. We're docked yeah. and everything. Yeah. You. You. Maybe you sent a couple people off the ship. Left most of the orcs and everybody on, but left, sent a few people off to find directions, buy anything that you would need. Those orcs are going to rape and pillage. Oh, yeah. I just want to throw <laughs> yeah, that up there, and that will reflect poorly on us. <laughs> yeah, we'll be out of here. <laughs> Derek might have ordered them to stay before the setting orcs. Up. Yeah. I will send only my best men. Miri, I trust you to lead the party. Shattercock. Let's go. Rash, Grimo. No. Please, not Rash. Please, please, please. <laughs> Rash, stay close to Miri and do <laughs> everything you, he says. Thank you, Captain King. We'll do anything he says. Anything, anything he says. Anything. And, um, and then the rest of us will stay on board. 
Oh, and Koja goes with you guys too. You bet. Yeah. Because she speaks for me. <laughs> so you're not coming with us, Derek? No. All right, so I will stay behind with the boat, as it is our most precious resource. Oh, Mary. That's for without this boat, <laughs> we would be stranded upon the... And you guys have already left. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, um, the directions to loose, the heading, cost you 100 gold. So I need oh, you guys yes, to figure you. out how to pony that up. Oh, I'm, not, I'm on the boat. What was it? 100 gold for that the party that went out looking for directions. They found the directions to loose, but with bribes and getting some 100 tips. 100 gold? <clears throat> cost 100 gold. Uh, okay, so. Uh, so it's Miri, Shattercock, Grimo, and Koja. If we split it, split it up evenly, and I Rash. think. So if Miri, well, how much is it? 100. 100. Okay, Miri, can you give up 50? 90 of that, yeah. and then we'll split the difference? Well, you not, got it. Don't worry. We're not even there. We're on the boat. Oh, okay. Hey, okay. No, you guys are not thinking. We're throwing gold coins at each other. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much money. Oh, my God. Ah. Money fight. Go, I need a shower. Koja, how, how much gold do you have? Oh, on me. Yeah, on you. Oh, uh, I have about 15 gold. 15 gold. All right, so we're going to need all that. All of it. All of it. Not. Yeah. I can't keep one for a snack? Uh, You can keep one. Okay. Yeah. So now we have 14 and gold. And Grimo gives the remainder. <laughs> what? Grimo gives oh, the really? remainder, the yeah. 86? Yeah, whatever's okay. left. All right, yeah. Cool. So you load, uh, there's no yeah. Cool. Are you sure, Grimo? I was going to pitch in. <laughs> After he's already paid. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could just pay more if you want. You know, Amiri, I see how how Derek, our king captain, abuses you with money out there. So, you know, just the next time that, like, I need some cash on the side or a piece of weapon or like somebody needs to blow some guys so I don't have to. You just help me out, okay? Cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> you got it. I think I gave you a bunch of cash for something at the party, but I can't remember. Condoms. You also just, you just committed no. to blow a bunch of dudes, too. So hopefully you heard that. I will pay to not blow dudes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> how it works. Can we get that uh, up. sound up <laughs> yeah. for the Matt Peak soundboard? Matt Peak, Matt Peak soundboard. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you pay your 100 gold, you get your tip. Um, the, the gruff old dwarf that uh, kind of gave you the location also warns you that no ship has returned from loose in years and uh, death surrounds the place. Bye! <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, we don't care. All right, anything else of note happen while you're in, in town? Mm-hmm. You got what you went there for, but mm-hmm. I don't know if you, got, if you have any fun stories of anything that you might have done. What happened with Miri and Rash? It's a good question. Well, I kind of sent her off to see if I could sell a bunch of the stuff I've been carrying around, but <laughs> oh, I only like sold like... Slave. Drug mule. Yeah. I know. It's well, like, I like you very much. Just sell your stuff. snatch. We split up. We cover more ground if we split up. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but she, she kind of followed me from a distance and didn't really check out the other half No, she's of the place. worried about you. She's kind of protecting Aww. you because you're little. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh... So I didn't end up selling anything. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I paid, Those are stories you I wanted to sell it, stuff, but didn't. Or actually, no, Grimo paid. You had control I was say, over I paid that entire for, story. I know. Really life. <laughs> and it just wound up in disappointment and failure. Right, you so picked you, a good one. I know. You guys get back to the boat, setting off for loose. Um, Koja, uh, she went with you, actually. So Seg comes up to Shattercock and asks for some fun story about what you guys did. Well... Miri sent Rash out to sell stuff, <laughs> but Rash actually followed Miri instead and didn't sell anything. So they didn't sell anything. Yeah, I was crazy. <laughs> Very fun. Uh, she lives right, up. Miri, wasn't that great? Yep, she lives up to her name. So wait, hold on. You guys just paid a hundred gold or something? Just to... for the tip. The directions. Yeah, just the directions. Just for okay. a, to go to a death, to go to a death island. To go to an island that's that. yeah, it's full of death. Gold is valuable again. When she came back and she said, "I couldn't sell anything." Do oh, the, do my- the Gosh. Do the look on his face. You know the one that he. Oh, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> he doesn't make that face. Derek runs up. He goes, Shattercock. I heard there was an amazing story that there happened is. from ashore. Can there you is. please tell me this story? I'm going to cut right to the chase. Just show you the face. Please okay, do. here's the face. Here's the face. Uh, <laughs> it's great. That's it's a great fantastic. Story. Tell Raxan. It's crazy, Mary. Raxan, you see it? All right, so there's a story that Mary Rash who cares, oh. but I'll show you the face. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. He doesn't like, get it. When, when are you doing the face? <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, like, does he have the disease where he can't see faces? You He's just, blind. You, you look like my uncle father before he passed. <laughs> your uncle father. Like, Rash, like, Mira was like, sell this stuff and put it up your snatch. And then uh, she, didn't, she didn't do it. She went to do it. And they hit her. And then, no, no, just, and then yeah. they snatched each other. Oh, but then they had sex afterwards. And they did. They did. Yeah, it was great. It was crazy. Right, Mary? Derek, sure. Derek, who's overhearing this, goes, 
Mary, did you hear that Mary hit Rash? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. It's all it's escalating. <laughs> I'm just going to start throwing up again because I'm back on the boat. Set sail. Yeah. Uh, do we'll we'll do that check again for all you guys right. that have been seasick. Uh -oh. Roll a d20 again. Oh, just, those, just, those of you that you beat okay. it, you got your sea legs. Yeah. So you're, you're good for a while. Well, Sixteen. Well, I'm hovering beat the it. whole time, so I have to. Fifteen. Okay, yeah. You guys are all. You have your sea legs now. Your right. your all ship right. people. Good your news. Sailors. Good news. Seamen. One last are. wretch, and I got it out. So yeah, you guys set out again. This sail is it. Sailing for loose. This is it, you're fellows. Getting closer. Oh, loyal word. subjects. To and destiny. Others. He keeps trying to talk over you. <laughs> I just try to hand you a beer. <laughs> Take it. Well done. Well, he'll poke it. <laughs> oh, he's shotgun. Yes. It. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing stands in our way. <laughs> The party has begun! <laughs> nope, not a party. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Nothing stands in our way. Our next stop is Lucy. <laughs> he talks over you every time. I don't think he even means to. <laughs> Sun's Coach hitting us. my white coat and it's like shining in your eyes really annoyingly. <laughs> <laughs> He's got e tablets falling it's like, out of it's his very bright. <laughs> very bright. Uh, so, does anyone need water? It's important to stay hydrated. <laughs> Every time. I just can't wait until we're trying to ambush some, somewhere at night and he's got glow sticks all over him. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants Zima? <laughs> As I was saying, Koja, please set sail for Loose. We won't stop until we reach it. And then we're going to do what we originally planned to do there, which was. Party! <laughs> we're looking for Broga. Broga, yes. Uh, all right. Yes, the more the merrier. Let's add one more to the party crew. Who's Broga? The guy. The guy we were sent you to find. <laughs> All right. Shattercock doesn't remember anything. That's no going way. On. It's been like two days. I know. It's Ten thousand years in party world. It was well. like a month ago, I think, that we did that. Shattercock is basically Dory from Finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't, she doesn't Isn't it cute how she has yeah. Alzheimer's? That's why she's like, I'm a virgin. Not. I've heard Where the wind flap through your labia. <laughs> so let us set sail for loose. How long right. is that? Uh, Off we are. That journal or journey. <laughs> 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 there's loose. There's your little key. If you want to do some math, it's basically two days. Oh. Two, days. Two, or, two or three days. So yeah, you guys are slowly going along. You're all actually learning a little bit more about sailing. You know, if you if you spend another week or so at, at on the ship, you might become proficient with sailing and know how to do this on your own. Shattercock's gotten really good at scaling up to the uh, eagle's oh, nest yeah? and then scaling back down on the rope. So she's, <laughs> she's constantly <laughs> going up and down, and everybody's staring at her because all, basically she's totally naked yeah. and very very sweaty. But she keeps. Oh. Climbing all the way up and then sliding all the way down. Does that rope go right in between every time? She kind of like reaches and grabs with her elbows. But so she has in on it. so much personal lubrication that yeah, yeah. it doesn't like right cut through. her open or oh, anything. She just keeps sliding down so that rope. And then right some orc walks up and goes, I want to try. And then he goes up, he <laughs> slides right down. <laughs> He's covered in <laughs> goo and sweat. Oh, I'm the only one that can do it. I, I bet I can climb faster than you. Uh, I don't think so. You want, you want to try? Yeah, you go first, ladies first, always. All right. And then she, uh, she roll 20. Roll 20. You got it, yeah. 20. Oh, oh. Not 20. Wow. She's really I told slick. you she was good at it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Describe the best ascent possible, um, I guess. So basically, she. She's her arms. Her arms and legs are so ripped now at this point because she's been doing it for like well, let's say eighteen hours. It's like a cartoon. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. <laughs> she basically she takes five strides with her arms. And Good she's God, up, she's up in that. How many how many yards do you think up that is? Let's say twenty. Yeah, let's say twenty yards. So she's all the way up. And she comes and then she slides all the way back down in about two seconds. But at a certain point, one of the other orcs goes like, she isn't even using her arms or legs. And she's just like this on the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, but she doesn't in like, let's say six seconds. What was the name Sweet. of the orc that was trying to... Oh, I was just He's... about to name him. What was his name? He goes, he goes, oh, that's pretty good and everything. But my name's Grogor. And I'm the fastest orc climber this whole world's ever seen. Oh, all right, so, Grogor. So well, at this point, myself... Uh, Grimo and Chauncey too is on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. She's the horse, yeah. yeah. We all come out with a birthday cake and go, Happy <laughs> 18th birthday! Happy 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 18th
I'm, well, I'm Except he was home. born no. on the other side. He, oh. was, he was born in a time zone three hours gotcha. away. So I, I hear that. <laughs> and Krimo's, he's getting all the orcs to sign yeah. the large novelty card. Oh, the card, the birthday <laughs> card. Yeah. 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 Right. All the candles on. You want me to roll for yeah. Grogar? Yeah. It'll be better than a nat she 20. She ate the top, yeah. Missy. <laughs> better than a nat 20. Oh. oh my god, it's a one. Critical one. <laughs> you can plan that. We could not have planned that. Was wow. Grogar takes one big stride, grabs it, slips on Shattercock's sweat as his heart stops oh. from the curse. Oh, no. <laughs> and then he falls, and then he just snaps his neck right on the edge of the boat. Oh. But he falls back the other way into a shark's mouth, which she was just gnaws him up, rips him around. Oh, no, and then a bigger shark. Yeah. Come eat the that, that shark. Uh, that uh, now, 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 now. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to. What? <laughs> uh, the last shark spits the first shark out, which spits out his head, which lands square on the head. Grogor's head's gotta, head. gotta yeah. land back to you. Yeah. Oh, jeez. And it goes. <laughs> <laughs> they start, we start cutting the cake and handing out little slices. Who gets the first piece? Grogar. 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 Just yeah. shove it down his gullet. Yeah. Uh, Comes out the other go. side. Just... And it dumps out the bottom. So does... let's dump his body over. Oh, the bo yeah, the body's gone. Head. It's yeah, just the head. head. I accidentally kick it over the, <laughs> over the oh. side. Who was oh, that? Whoops. Oh boy, does anyone have any awesome boat tricks like Shadowcock? Uh, Grimace no. has been, he's been working with the cooks a lot and he's been stealing peaches, so his clothes are just full of peaches. <laughs> what? Does does he chef like? walks up and goes, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I know exactly. <laughs> I'm the best chef. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, I think you've been stealing peaches, but I'm the best peach stealer on this world. <laughs> been stealing peaches for 17 oh, years. Oh, thank you for peach. <laughs> what? What's your name? <laughs> peach stealer? Rogue Rock. <laughs> Rogue Rock, when's your birthday? Boy, I'm 17 years old, going on 18. Oh, really? Uh, and my peaches work. He was caught off guard, so as he turns, a bunch of clothes fall out of his sleeves and pant legs, or sorry, a bunch of peaches yeah. followed his sleeves and pant Any legs. Clothes, <laughs> One rolls down and then gro uh, gork Rar, Road Road Rock. He, he steps on it and falls backwards onto all the knives that the chefs use, <laughs> except for some reason they're all sticking blade out and <laughs> slides onto them. Oh no. Jeez. It's like Final Destination for Orcs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, all right. All right. You're still That's the best peach stealer on the boat. Just, just, uh, <laughs> I know. Toss him over with Grogar or whatever the fuck. We gotta clean all these knives. Grogar and Krogar and Rogar. Krogar and Rogar. And Kroger. And Rogar and Kroger. Are they being a breadcrumb trail of dead orcs in the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> you find our way back. I was gonna say, I think Grimo has to drag it, cram it through a porthole. <laughs> Does Miri have any sweet ship tricks? Or what's he been up to? He hadn't said his his uh, phrase in a few days. That's true. Oh yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Hmm. Well, he seems to forget that have conveniently. To say like five or six phrases. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, we'll no, we're not up. that much time has passed. <laughs> I mean, probably, yeah, it's quite it's, a few days. It's been like passed, a week. Yeah. Well, I'll think about that, and I'll it'll be out soon. Uh, I'm uh, <laughs> drop it soon. soon. I, I've been working on the the knots, all the the, the ship knots and yes. stuff, because I'm I can't really see that well anyway, and climbing the the rigging isn't isn't my knots? specialty, so well. I've been uh, improving on the knot tying. Uh, Rash walks up and goes, uh, "Hey, Miri, you've been uh, tying the knot? Multiple knots for the safety of the ship." <laughs> I set him up, but he didn't knock him. I don't out. like rash. Remember, I'm trying to like, get rash away. Doesn't does she tie a knot through a cherry stem? Yeah. The tongue. <laughs> she puts the rope in I'm her not, mouth. Oh, I'm not rash. rash. Dan, is, Dan is rash. I was, I was letting you roll with it. That's um, fine. Yeah. So she has a she has a she has a cherry, and she goes, "I can tie a knot on my own." She eats the cherry. Hands it to him. Still just the stem. Why would you chew it up a little bit? <laughs> you know, it'd be better if you use your hands. Oh. oh. And then Grimo comes out and he's got his penis tucked between his legs like Buffalo Bill and he's got two peaches over his nipples. <laughs> oh what are you doing? What this is like funny. Grimo? This is like a funny thing. Oh. Oh, where did that come from? This is funny. It's like a guy like prank for another guy. <laughs> 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 Decker, yeah, Decker just floats up. Yeah, he hovers in. <laughs> and then Derek pops, he pops his head down straight vertically and he goes, We having a fruit party? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm on the, the poop deck. I'm talking to one of the orcs. Uh, 
What's what's the Newark's name? Uh, Road Rock. Well, he's dead. He's dead. He oh, yeah. No, there's yeah. another one. I'm Magmar. Ta- Magmar. Go. So the right side of the ship is called. It's the uh, Strawbird. Strawbird, and then so the left side is St- Forberg. Mm-hmm. Forberg. But the right side, <laughs> Strawbird. <laughs> And the left? Forward. <laughs> How old are you? Well, I'm 17 years old. I'm like 18. And I know everything there is to know about side of ships. <laughs> In fact, I'll show you the side of this one. Just look on the edge. Whoa. <laughs> What's the sharks? <laughs> they, the sharks are following the boat. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> they are. Yeah, they know. Yeah, that magmar's oh, dead. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. Dead. I that just down. wrote down magmar. Right, that down. I don't He's go. gone. <laughs> he hovers Where's back loose. In. No. How far are we from? I think he needs loose. to be on a hoverboard. The whole ship is just madness. <laughs> Decker oh, knows man. whenever morale is starting to dip, he so he floats in. Let's yeah. lift everyone up. No. He's, he's such a cool guy. Smear now. He's so cool. Right? Yeah, he's, he's a party man. Coolest dude ever. Every time anyone gets a little bummed out, he's there with his pulse volume one. So uh, the sun is setting on the second day at sail. <coughs> a wave of calm hits you. A strange kind of different sound drifts over the ocean. I got it. No, no. Different song. You don't have a plan. John's been waiting back there for... (laughs) Yeah, 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 John's got a song prepared. (laughs) He doesn't, actually. That that would have been great. Uh, A strange, different kind of sound drifts over the ocean. It seems to cause the salty air to reverberate like the inside of a ringing bell. It It echoes around you, and you can feel it in your bones. After a few moments, the undulating noise becomes more defined, and your ears are filled with an unmistakable melody. The tune is warm and familiar, but you cannot recall where you've heard it before. You can almost make out a female voice singing in the winds. So everybody roll a constitution check for me. Plus modifier? Uh, yeah. 16. 5. Yeah. 23. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Matt resists all forms of temptation. <laughs> uh, 21. 14. Uh, 17. 17 and above can ignore what I'm about to say. Oh. Um, anyone off. that had not hit puberty would be immune to this, and anyone that is a virgin actually has advantage on the roll. Yes. So anybody that got under a 17 that needs to roll again. And is a virgin. and is, Because they're a virgin. Oh, and is a virgin. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm a virgin, and I rolled over. All right, we so might need to meet, need to meet, meet the minds a little bit here. Oh, so Green was a virgin. So then 20. Okay. Outed. Decker was suspended in a sex cube. I don't know if that... How that stacks up in virginity. Well, I mean, he, he seems to think that he's. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's convinced that he is now a fully adult male. <laughs> sure. So who who was that that fell underneath? I was sixteen. And Decker. Yeah. Okay. Um, the song in the wind picks up and evokes strong emotions within you. Sounds Decker, like Decker. Um, <laughs> actually, let's start. Let's see. Shattercock. The the song sounds like the laughter and screams of children at play. The ocean is gone in your mind's eye but the mist in the air continues to hang over the dirty street that you find yourself in. You're there, hungry, looking for something to eat. In the voice of the, uh, the mysterious song, you hear the other street kids that you grew up with. They call you. They call your name. They want to play, even though you have horns and a tail and frighten most people. They probably have food. You're drawn to them. So you're, you're feeling this, this song fill your head and your emotions, and you are drawn to finding the source. Decker. Yes. In your mind's eye, the ocean around you slowly disappears, revealing the bar- barren landscape of a desert around your long-forgotten homestead. You walk out the front door, full of a desperate longing to experience the world beyond the stars. Gazing out to the horizon as the twin suns are setting, you hear the bu- beautiful music swelling and beckoning you to find its source. John Williams, isn't it? John Williams, isn't it? No, wait. He's not playing that out of his laptop, though. I can't violate like, canon in that way. <laughs> so I guess the rest of you guys got over 17, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweet. I got right. 17 in. Well, all right. So, uh, yeah, Decker and Shattercock now have this overwhelming desire to find the source of the song. You do maintain, like, a certain sense of reason. You're not, like, incoherent, <clears throat> c- uncontrollable, uh, but you want to find where that's from. Uh, several of the orcs are also overcome by the song. Um, some of them are also unaffected, but uh, Bulak Salt Dog, one of the older archer women, just starts screaming uncontrollably and dives over the side of the boat into the ocean and starts paddling. That's um, about right. Yeah. See, I don't Another know if you guys went to that. You, this, this thing kind of overpowered you. The rest of you that weren't overpowered by it still kind of heard a song, but uh, you two need to find it and would probably communicate that to whoever's steering, yeah. steering the ship. So we can still see the ship? 
Yeah, yeah, you're back on the boat. You kind of, for a moment, while the song took you over, your brain went. Oh, to are you still, kind place. of still hearing the song though? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who is steering the ship? Uh, just one of the orcs is back okay. there. <laughs> just one of the Ger orcs. Gerba, the the zombified orc. I'll float up and be like, "We need to change the direction of the boat, for I hear the ultimate party in the distance, and we must find uh, it." Gerba, hungry. <laughs> she just stands there. <laughs> I understand. I find you food, and you will direct the boat to the source of the party. Gerba. Very well, Gerba. I shall return. I go below deck to find, I don't know, a piece of orc that no one's thrown overboard yet. <laughs> Peaches. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Typically, Shattercock's pretty even keeled, but right now she's obviously broken out into a sweat, and she's kind of like, like really, you know, moving around fast and jittery. Runs up a deer. Here! What? Do you, do you hear the song? There's a song. Do you hear the song? That like whistling? There's a song. No, no, no. It's not a whistle. It's a song. I think song. it's birds. No, it's a song. Can you hear it? I can hear some birds and they're splashing. Right, Cheddarcock runs away. Uh -huh. Runs over to Grimo. Grimo! Grimo, wake up, wake up! Hey! Not now, Shattercock. You hear it? 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 You hear that? Do I hear what? You hear the song? There's a song. It's got like a fluty melody and like I, I just can't place it. Well, yeah, I mean, Potty, Potty uh, Derek's, Decker, Decker's been playing some hot beats. Yeah, of course I hear him. Oh! So it runs over to Decker. Decker! Yes. Do you hear that song? Oh, it's the most wonderful song I've ever heard. It reminds me of a, a galaxy oh, far, God. far away. All right, so you, you hear ago. it. You hear it. Where is it? It's I, everywhere, but mostly that way. Which way is that? Is that north? Oh, it's slightly off of north, but close to it, yes. <laughs> but that's okay. I've worked out a deal. We'll go to the source of the party. And okay, Experience how? the ultimate party. I'm going to take all this rotting shit to Gerba, who will then di direct the boat. The appropriate way. All right, well, let me help you. Let me help you. Yes, please help. Help me. So we're collecting rotting so like food, rotten, apparently. Stepped on peaches in your yeah. arms, and I'm I'm holding I'm holding a bunch. Yeah, and you're getting all over your chest and little bits of fruit. Of course, it's like all over. I mean, I wasn't saying. Yeah, no. uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's fine. And then uh, should we carry it up to Gerba? Yes, let's carry it to Gerba. Come on, let's go. All right. Gerba, I've returned with a bounty of food. Gerba. Excellent. Now please. Hungry. The yes. Good. I understand. Please direct the boat to the source of the party. She she just looks at you like she has no idea what's going on. So there there are a bunch of the the other orcs that have kind of gone nuts too that are are just begging and pleading to hurry the fuck up and get wherever the song's going. What's what's Koja doing? So Koja uh, kind of approaches Derek. Uh, I think we've got some sort of situation here. Why? What? What kind of? Everyone looks uh, like they're kind of upset, and someone jumped over. Yeah, uh, we should probably fish. Is uh, that, that a dude? Seventeen. Fish Bul <laughs> Bulak. No, oh. no, she was she was uh, my friend for thirty years now. Uh oh. Uh, but we should probably fish her out and uh, maybe figure out what's going on with our her clan here. Uh, sure. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Some sort of magic, for sure. Like a curse magic? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hmm. Doesn't seem much like a curse. More. How far away are we from loose? Probably uh, maybe another day at my my best guess. Well, cast the fishing nets and grab your friend out of the water. <laughs> but let's just try and keep everyone aligned. Maybe we should move people that are uh, reacting this way below deck. Yeah, tie them down. Tie them down, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Chain them up. Well, I don't know. We may not need the chains. So we'll okay. I approach, leave that up to you, Koja. As he walks I'll off. tell you this, Koji, you should thank your lucky stars that my royal court of advisors have not been affected by this Good magic. news, Derek. I've discovered the ultimate party. Oh, We're going God. towards it. It's going to be great. Going towards what? I saw lots of urchin kids, and I think they had food, so we're going to go towards them. There's some sort of power or force directing me in this way. Some sort of empire that must be fought and toppled. We're in the middle yeah. of an ocean. Uh, so what? I know that we'll sail that way and then we'll go find the kids. See, so yeah, a bunch of the, the, the other little orcs are jumping in going, yeah, 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 what she says, what yeah, she yeah, says. Let's go, go find there, it. We gotta find it. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. We're Captain King, Captain King. Loose. We're going to loose. That's the only place we can go. <laughs> we have discovered a higher calling because we like to party. <laughs> <laughs> Can the old man from the Magic Mountain commercials be there? Oh, <laughs> Dirk, I implore you, this is of the utmost import. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Let's go! Captain King, before we rip ourselves apart, I suggest uh, we set course. Follow that wind song and put ourselves to the oars so we can go faster. Capital thinking! Wait. Well, we're our, we're heading to Loose. Whichever direction Loose is, that's the direction we're gonna go. I don't care what seagull ocean noises you guys are hearing. We're gonna be heading towards Loose, and that's it. 
That's right. my command. Brilliant, Captain King. Hey, well, is that the direction that the kids are? Let's hope. And the party? Well, can't we decide? Can't we determine where they're saying? Decker, is it? Which way Cease is it? Cease that noise. That's a command. <laughs> I don't know that I can. When one finds their ultimate calling, how can they walk away from it? Kojo, which way is loose? Uh, you know, we seem to be going in the right direction. Okay, so, and yeah. where does it seem is this, this n- noise you're hearing? I think it's, it's the other way, the, the behind us. <laughs> no, no, same way, same way. All right. Oh, really? okay, the, 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 wind, the wind is in your favor. All right. By mid-afternoon the next day, oh, okay, you hear good. Scrump up in the crow's nest yelling for land. Wait, so, wait am, I still, am I still crazy, though? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. I just want to make sure. <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah. So, so Scrump... Found land. You guys, uh, you guys see an island. First things first. Shattercock dives off, and as soon as he sees it, runs straight into the. Is it like jungle or what is it? Like, um, yeah, Shattercock, go, yeah. go find the body. <laughs> uh, it's mountainous, forested uh, island. Okay, so she just disappears in the forest. All right. Yeah. So uh, um, also cha- Chauncey one follows him. Follow her. This isn't loose though, right? Some other island on Ooh, sort nice. of on the way, Dan. Is this loose? Little, Do we actually land? Have loose? we landed? We'll find loose? out. Here we go. Yes. Oh, okay, great. So, um, as you pull around uh, the southern coast of Luz, you see the ruins of the port of Tyree. Hundreds of ships and boats of all sizes are docked and beached and wrecked everywhere on the shore and on top of one another in the water. The ships are a tangled ruin. It looks like a graveyard. The fog starts to thicken as you and your ship enter the bay. You scrape past underwater wrecks and navigate a labyrinth of broken and beaten ships. Eventually, you just grind to a halt atop all the junk in the water. You hear a faint echo, or Decker, hears a faint echo of the song that you heard last night, oh. distant to the north in the mountains. It's beautiful. The most beautiful party I've ever beheld with these ears. <laughs> Let us embark post haste. Koja. Koja. Yeah, what would you wish to do, Captain Koja, King? I want you to take four trusted men and secure the ship. Done. And then I will lead a party into Luce, deep into Luce, to find Broga and accomplish our mission. So and party. Done. And party. Goja, until I return, I leave you in charge. Wise move, Captain King. How many orcs do you need? We shall take with us <laughs> no, <laughs> your no. strongest 17. The strongest of all the strongest. How many are left? I don't know. Uh, 10 of your strongest 17 okay. year old males. <laughs> no older, no younger. <laughs> they must be male. <laughs> they must. Actually, actually, Please. practically, take, give me your oldest because then maybe, we'll, maybe some fighting's going to happen. Oh, All right, the yeah, and then we can uh, get them through that whole curse thing. Wonderful, wonderful idea. Probably gonna die though. They're, they're gonna what? Uh, well, we will find the <laughs> challenge that they so hope to seek, and that will be that. Uh, good luck on your adventure. Uh, you not needed. <laughs> you and uh, some of the orcs, and I, I'm guessing are you getting the rest of the crew with you? Everyone who's here, because Shattercock ran out. She's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she disappeared. I'm running naked. My trusted before. advisors, Absolutely. indeed, and Decker. <laughs> <laughs> what is everyone's morale currently? Medium. Mm. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> One moment. That's the way the best party yeah, starts. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold it's on. loading up now. Yes, here, here it goes. There. Hiya, Bobby. <laughs> oh, Let the music wash over you and raise your spirit. <laughs> I Do feel have, it. I feel it. Do you have any uh, children? Oh, Never yeah. request a song. Yes, I do. <laughs> so uh, you guys, you and your crew, a couple it's of the orcs, you, you hop over. So, I'm sorry. This is a slow montage of all of us walking. Oh, slow motion. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Beach, yeah you, you hop over the side of the ship. land as I'm a Barbie girl yeah, yeah. plays. <laughs> yeah, you hop over. You kind of land in the water. Uh, it's it's you can still walk in it and mm-hmm. make your way onto shore. Uh, you leave your ship behind. You set foot on the solid earth of the island and spot the overgrown remnants of a paved path leading into the salty mist. Through the drifting veil, you begin to see silhouettes of trees and eventually the more defined shapes of buildings, homes, huts, and barns. As you progress through the fog, you enter the dilapidated remains of a once bustling coastal town, Tyree. A few structures are still intact as moss and vines creep through the shattered windows and torn walls. Tyree looks empty. It's a ghost town. You hear the creaking of an old door hinge blowing in the wind, but there are no obvious signs of life. This place is dead. Let's move on. <laughs> Find a party. So uh, two of the young orcs that you have with you uh, from the wild dog clan sprint past you and off into the fog and screams, I'm coming for you, sweet lullaby. Yes. Ah! And you hear a, a big commotion, some cries 
uh, kind of a weird racket, and you hear those guys that run off go, yeah, let me out, get me down, help me, help me. The same ones that just ran out? Yeah. They're not the first to fall victim to the quest for the ultimate party. <laughs> let me tell you that. <laughs> 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 Laughing about something, <laughs> no one knows. Like Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys, you guys we just got to this pursue, town. We'll follow, follow where they went into the thing. How dare they defy me? They broke formation and completely ruined the slow mo shot. Do I have the strength of character to resist the call to run off into the woods? Yes. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know how powerful the no. siren song was. Those guys rolled ones. Idiots. I'm still long gone in the forest. Too. Yeah. Uh oh. Who knows where I am? Having sex with a snake. What are you guys doing? We're just we're pursuing. They they ran off in that direction. Yeah. And as oh, they ran go off, I was them? like, halt! Your king captain commands you. And they just kept going. I assume. Oh yeah, they kept going. So then I said, yeah, get, get them back here. Let's go get those guys. Right. Safe How far off the path that we were on does that take us? Uh, it, it's kind of continuing on the path. They just okay. sprinted ahead. Perfect. So as you as you proceed down the street. And through the thick fog, you see the two teenage orcs dangling in nets suspended in the air. Are they dead? Yeah, your spiders no. <laughs> they're, they're screaming for help. Ah. Oh my, looks like someone fell into a bit of a party prank. <laughs> Should I get them down? It's, joke. it's just Santa. I know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's just 100% Santa. Santa Claus. So uh, you, you hear this... super high. Uh, you hear this <laughs> magically deep, booming voice uh, kind of coming from nowhere, but all around you at once. Yeah, it's Decker. <laughs> talking this whole time. This is our island. You must pay tribute. Gold will buy your kids freedom and safe passage through Tyree. Perhaps gold is worth it to some, but perhaps if I offered up an amazing beat. It would have to be an amazing beat, hold man. Hold on a minute. Ho hold on. Gold. It has to build for a while. And what if we give you no gold? I'll, I'll just skip talking. Ahead. He's trying skip. to emulate his <laughs> voice. Yeah, He's like trying Decker. to be like Decker. And... You will be sorry. <laughs> It takes a while to build, but once it takes off, it really takes off. So. Would you harm these children? <laughs> uh, how much gold are we talking? What's an appropriate like, tribute, what? do you think, Dwarf Man? It's your island, you tell me. One, 100 one gold. gold. 100 gold. 100 gold. gold. We'll give you 10. We will give you the the bodies of these orc children to do with what you please. You, you oh, don't want your kids is, back. There no, they are oh. not kids. They are almost men of a 17-year-old okay. age. I'll do this. The um, drop is, drop, that was the um, drop. Oh, mysterious voice. <laughs> Did you hear it? We shall strike a bargain with ye. We will give you the gold, but you will give us the children if you, can, if you can't solve our riddle. You don't have a riddle lined Rassan, up for this. Nice job. I can't wait to hear this riddle. <laughs> Rassan's the leader now. Oh, I told he's wait, he's my do, chief riddler. Do you do you accept? I would prefer the gold tribute, but uh, let me hear this riddle. And if you amuse me, maybe we'll let it fl slide. If there's one thing I know about Island Guardians is that they can't resist a riddle. <laughs> Here it comes, Mary. Yeah. Mary. Go do the riddle You're, that Raxan told me he you, told you. I, I had a dream that you knew riddles. You even said your thing you're supposed to say yet for the day. Yeah, that must, Make have, it a riddle. That must have been a lovely dream, Raxan. Um, Who are you? <laughs> what has two feet and thinks that I know riddles? That one. What's that one's name? Who's your friend? The tall, good-looking one. Can't, you, can't Derek. you can't answer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the man's name. Sounds like you can't solve the riddle. Oh, he got you. He, he got you, Island Guardians. <laughs> we now win. give us our kids back. <laughs> or keep them. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, tribute? Uh, Where's my goal? <laughs> we gave you us. the children. <laughs> we gave you those orc boys. Now, will mm. you let us through or not? I don't want the damn children. You can have them. And actually, um... You kind of see this this guy walks out. He's got a big trench coat on, but kind of falls over in two. And Wizard of Oz situation. Two Wizard of They're Oz. They're stacked on top of each other Tree doing kids. this magic boom voice. Um, the fog clears a little bit, and you see a bunch of stupid little traps around, like Rube Goldberg devices mm -hmm. and trip wires I and things. I saw those through the fog. <laughs> um, I avoided them. <laughs> sorry, guys. We were just joshing around with you. Uh, you can go on. Uh, we'll cut your friends down. Um, I would recommend going by the... The warehouse down at the corner, though, they sell maps for the island. It might help you out. Okay. All right. The Costco. Costco. Hey. Is this an amusement park? <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask them real quick, like, do you know why all the, like, ships are, like, crashed out there? Do you know anything that's going yeah, on with that? Yeah, uh, you know, we get a lot of maniacs showing up here, uh, rushing off into the woods, and they just, as soon as they can get off their boat, they do. So they just come and wreck into the bay, uh, and we haven't been able to clean them up because it's just a bunch of us kids. Got it. 
That's strange. I don't hear anything. <clears throat> yeah, me either. You must uh, be strong of constitution, dog man. Did you happen to see a half-naked dragon woman run through here? No, but I'd love to. Mm. You got one? Mm. We did. So you're missing one of your friends? Yes, we oh, are. Oh, man, I'm sorry. That's mm -hmm. tough. Like you described with the other uh, sailors and what have you, she <clears> just <throat> jumped off the ship and ran into the forest. Fear not. I think I know her destination. Follow me to party. <laughs> Sends to the wind. And like, it's like taking a half step to try to make it look like he's still hovering. Oh, right, right. Does, he know, where he, down. does he know where he's going? He's following the music. He's following the, okay. yeah. right. I guess he's in the mountains. All right, well, we'll follow Decker then. I mean, not follow him, follow him, no, but, but yeah. he will be the beacon which guides me. And they will follow me. So you're just going off into the... In, in follow, it, which way is the beacon beckoning him? It would be north from where you are. Oh, I know exactly where that is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to go north. I mean, out of character, you were instructed to get a map, but me being brainwashed, I'm not going to care about that. I'm going to try to go get the song. Mm -hmm. so, uh, that's, that's, that's me being uh, smitten with the power of John Williams. And out of character, Derek wouldn't need a map. Oh, okay. okay. All right. well, that's true. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just I'm just single-mindedly hobbling as cool as floaty as I possibly can mm -hmm. towards the source of this angelic music. So you guys make your way out of town? Yes. Um, even though you didn't buy a map, we've got a map, so I'm gonna uh -huh. fucking use it. That's very good. You should. You should. Whoa. So where did we land? So you guys Where's are, are, are down ride? here. Oh we got okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's right there. Whee! No, my men. They're all dead. Oh, they put a little Mario pipe. Oh. God damn it, Napoleon. Don't put a Mario pipe unless we ask you to put a Mario pipe. <laughs> Where are we in, in here? Um, the, you know, the map's not really to scale, but you guys are leaving town. Is the music coming out of this tower? Uh, yeah, it, it, this would be uh, north. You can feel the direction of the song that My you're keen drawn mind to. My mind knows exactly which direction north so is. So we are yeah. north of all this town stuff. Yeah. Like in here, sort of? Sure. Yeah. And where is Shattercock? That is a good question. She's long gone. So yeah, Shattercock had sprinted directly after the noise for however at a move maximum movement speed of 30 she, uh, she'd be a good hour or two ahead of you probably okay. if she's running the whole way yeah. all the slime trail I'm sort of <laughs> the snail trail i'm hobbling on as as straight of a path as i can okay. take towards towards john williams so yeah we're just going to follow him i guess as the crow flies unless obstructed by something blaring party music the whole way in case it alerts any of the residents to our, our place yeah it's not the stealthiest of moves <laughs> <laughs> Same song over and over again. This is a different song, and I haven't played this one yet. Wait, maybe I have. There we go. Oh my gosh! See, so yeah, to these these I'm sweet tunes, you guys are up over mountains mm -hmm. and through little rivers oh, wow. and swamps. And how long are they uh, marching? Uh, we'll say a day goes by. Oh okay. boy! Um, yeah, you set out. You hike north along the river's edge. <laughs> what? kind of way are you go? Are you just want you're following Decker's innate I'm, sense I'm, of which I'm way to go? I'm following exactly the same oh, no. sense. Oh, but uh, yeah, but I but I'm, I'm like like you Sorry. said like an hour or two okay. ahead of. I, I also have something whenever they come upon something will happen. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you set out uh, hike north along the river's edge. Okay. At the end of the day, uh, you actually fought a couple of snakes. Everyone gets 200 XP for killing some snakes. I remember. Oh, that. Right. Oh, that was easy. Um, Good fight. Yeah. Decker, um, let me, Decker probably tried some magic. It didn't work, and then I cut off their heads. Hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds about right. I think Miri smashed one in the nose. Nice shot, Miri. Yeah. Um, after another day of marching, I, uh, I like when we just describe the fights. Huh? Yeah, I know. It's no good. fights this season, just descriptions. Oh. So yeah, another day of marching, and you reach the giant plateau along the northern coast of Luce. The wall is solid rock, 800 feet straight up, towering atop the plateau. You see. The ancient ruined lighthouse made of black stone and covered in coral and aqua, aqua growth, marine growth. So uh, roll, you guys are kind of at the base of this waterfall. Uh, roll perception check for me. So Ooh. I have six. Seven. Fifteen. I'm sorry, six. Seventeen. What did you get, Miri? Twenty-one. Yeah, Jesus. Whoa, You're only at twenty on that one. So, so uh, Miri uh, is really kind of staring deeply into the waterfall and thinks he notices something weird about the light reflecting through the waterfall. Oh, my. Um, and thinks that he might see something back there uh, and decides to go investigate. Guys, I'm pretty sure there's something I need to look at behind that waterfall. That's the key to... <laughs> Whatever we gotta do here. You just got a feeling, Miri? Is that it? Decker's frantically like I'm trying perceiving to something. Up the wall Knowing Miri, he probably sees to. some sort of pretty young orc 
lady over there <laughs> trying to get a better look. Am I right, Mary? Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, can I have five gold? <laughs> yeah, sure. Now get behind me. You're, you're following me. Ooh. Watch my back. Look who's calling the shots now. Yeah. I gave him five gold. What uh, a man. Anyways. Rash is next to him. What a man. No, oh. Rash. No, there was only male orcs, I thought. I did oh, specify shit. male orcs. Okay. That's right. We left Rash behind. On my part. So, yeah, what do I, what do I got to do to get in there? Okay, so, yeah, you, um, you look around a little bit. Roll, do actually a, um, do a survival check for me. Uh, uh eight. Okay. Good enough. What? Um, I was just making you a, a lot of plot to get through. Um, actually, do an athletics check now. I'm going to get washed all the way down. Uh, da, 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 da. 12. Okay. Mm. Now, that's actually... Hold on, just to clarify. Sorry. It is... That's under strength, but I have my own athletics specifically. Mm -hmm. Specific yeah, modifier. you're probably proficient yeah. in athletics or okay. something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which so would make that number It's higher. 12. You make a path over some rocks and through the cascading waterfall. Uh, because you have, you know, pretty good athletics, you're able to balance. You don't go falling off or, or flying away or shooting down in some comedic fashion. You find yourself in a cavern. Uh, water rushes down from the falls into this cavern into calm pools 40 feet below you. Cool. You so you're coming from this side over there. Okay. Hmm. And these are the, so he's, he's coming from over here? Yes. And these so are the, the Yeah, the waterfall Thanks. is kind of over there where Elise is. Uh, yeah, so you find yourself in a cavern, the water rushing down from the falls into these cool... Calm pools 40 feet below you. The cavern narrows at the far end, and you see an odd green light emerging from it. Just as Mary uh, looks one way, he hears the other way. Everybody dance now. Close. And then Shattercock comes up out of a pool, like the best shampoo commercial you've nice. ever seen. Oh, wow. so Breaching the water? Yeah, she brings up her hair and it splashes back and hits her yeah. and she's she's basically washing in the pool while singing everybody dance now which is <laughs> i think i guess the song that's playing let's say it will be um and uh and she goes mary mary where you guys been <laughs> trying to find you and i guess we have right Derek? and Derek's just not he didn't follow me at all <laughs> yeah i don't think uh, anyone followed you into the waterfall you yeah even though i kind of went back there i paid Derek to cut to the rest of the group well mary's probably dead <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, Mary, what are we gonna do? Are, are we gonna go towards that song? Is that what we're doing? I don't know. I don't know what song you're talking about. Is that why you, you kind of just ran off uh, up here? Mary, what's I, the? I, uh, I need you to wash my back. I need you to wash my back. Can you can you come over and wash my back? It's you're like way down there. I don't have the <gasps> the demon spider crawling thing that you have. I don't I don't know if I can get down there. It's, I know it's really really dirty. And here, hold on. Let me let me take off my shirt. Let me take off my shirt. Thanks. <laughs> And Grimo outside, sorry, he is like he has a, si a, a, a sixth sense. <laughs> but. Mary, wait, Mary, really? Can you come over? Like, I, I got a loofah. You just, just hit it with, oh. hit it with the loofah. I'm just mesmerized. Slow zoom on. I'm just mesmerized <laughs> looking. Uh, Grimo, can, it, can it be Grimo, the Sponge uh, King from the Sponge King? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Grimo uses oh, his, his, his teleport, teleport wand. His what? Grimo uses his teleport wand. So then he's just immediately there, uh, cleaning Shattercock. Oh, he has a teleport wand. Yeah, he's got a teleport wand. Okay, wow. All right. So you yeah. just kind of pop so in right pop, behind he just him. Pops up and he's already and you're, cleaning her. You're already scrubbing. Yeah, he's oh, like got like a like a window like a like a, a squeegee that you would use, and he's like squeegeeing her her back. Mary, it gets really dirty underneath my butt cheeks. People oh. got my back. If you can if you can so, clean my butt cheeks. So shelf. all right, how do I get down there? Do I what kind of <laughs> what kind of roll do I have get to get on do? your knees? I guess. <laughs> so I guess like I'll wow. try it. <laughs> what's like the fat? Do I jump off? Let's we'll do, do I, another athletics check. Yeah, it's like twenty four or something. Yeah, when it's something he wants. Yeah, describe some sweet fucking move how you get there. down there. Okay. So yeah, that's about 40 feet below you. There's some steps, but with that I roll, you those, can do something yeah. awesome. Backflip uh, to that taint. Yeah, so I, with all the focus that I have, I run and jump, and about halfway down, I plant the tip of my sword here, Ooh. and then do like a flip, and then dive into the water Ooh. below, and then swim up perfectly right next to both of them with the rag in my hand Gosh. ready to <laughs> ready to <laughs> the rag in you my brought hand. your own rag uh no i it was just well it's kerchief yeah sure <laughs> i had it the whole time and it was just ready to go oh, that's for this occasion so good. Getting, getting that under boob scrubbed out see so, yeah, what's going on outside well decker senses the latent sexuality and party jams so it's just it's just calling to him i mean because it's also the the origin of the music but then he's like wait a party's busting out there's people in a hot tub somewhere getting frisky. 
but they don't have the party captain. <laughs> the party mans are there to weave weave the, the right thing. So they don't need you. He he hears the music and he's like he's falling into it. And he's like bobbing his head to uh to uh Shattercock's, and then like his own laptop just slips, slips into groove there. Mm-hmm. Was, hold on, there it goes. It's it's usual, it takes a second. Yes. <laughs> and he finds it. Yeah. <laughs> and then so he abandons his uh his furious investigating of the wall. Is drawn into the the uh, the waterfall. Uh, it takes him a bit. Being under the water is not good because it loosens up a lot of the layers of semen that's dried yeah, over his jacket. Get oh. washed off. Doesn't wash off because there's a lot there. Ten thousand years. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but it does definitely like crack some of the hard shell. Ugh. So it's a little gooey, uh, and definitely very aromatic. A lot of smell <laughs> going on. Um, but he arrives. So you're like, coming under the waterfall. Do an athletics check for me. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's extra wet too. All slimed up. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Ooh. 20. 20, my bro. Uh, yeah, you described the coolest descent through this cavern. All right, imagine. I know you're already being super cool, but <laughs> yeah, right? if you can get even cooler. So he uh, reverse running man through the waterfall. <laughs> and the waterfall parts like velvet curtains. And then, boom, he's like coming in. Uh, 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 uh. Twirl, lands. His jacket spins and it flicks some of the, the dis- displaced semen around the cave. Oh, I can't, can't get around that. Strikes a cool pose. Boom. I heard there was a party busting out in here. Still running, manning up. Uh, uh. Does a little crab, MC Hammer crab back and forth. <laughs> Even though it's to the wrong song. Doesn't matter. And then, uh, do it, does that roll get to carry me all the yeah, way in? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Are you the cab- cabbage patch in? Since his jacket got all lubed up. He's gonna just jump and write it down, striking a cool pose the whole way. So oh, it zips, nice. leaves wow. a bit of a slug trail. But he's boom into the water. And since it's very buoyant, captures a big bubble on it. Does a whoosh, breaches out, lands in another cool pose. <laughs> What's this cool yeah. pose? You want like? me to do it and you stand Oh, it's a three quarter like hero pose. Boom. Okay. Uh, hits. Comes up slowly, adjusts his, his sunglasses. Pushes the volume slider up on his, his sweet laptop. The song's almost over. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know it had an out. end. I thought it was a loop. We were all kind of like into it, yeah. like, grand- but then Decker shows up and we all kind of uh, just like, like stiffen up and. Grimo like puts her sh- or uh, Shadow Cup puts her shirt back on. Yeah, Grimo uh, loses his bar. Yes, let's get this party going. Uh, Someone everybody, take off their top. Everybody kind of. I'm good. Yeah, I go uh, yeah, guys. Decker. I think I'm gonna check Thanks, out Mary. the. I think it feel pretty clean. Even louder. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No Time problem. to party now. I'm gonna check out the limestone over here yeah. to see what that looks like. Yeah, so I'm gonna just check that out over here. All right, so uh, Derek and Raxon are still outside. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Raxon seems really bored. I'm falling asleep. Sorry, <laughs> my character's tired. Raxon um, hasn't slept in three um, days. Well, now yeah. we've seen enough people go through the waterfall, so we're. I'm just telling the orcs, like in there, we're gonna go through the waterfall. All right. Do you need to do us do checks yeah, sure. and stuff? Do, do your athletics check. The the ground here is so unstable and wet and Oof. rocky. Big rolls. Uh, oh 19. yeah, you guys you guys make it. But right. Derek still comes through and it still drenches him. And so then he's like like a wet dog and then he shakes shake. shakes everything <laughs> off everywhere. <laughs> shakes his shake all over Rexon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're in here. Yeah. Well, Everyone's arrived. Shattercock. Good. Let's move this party. We to- found Shad- hey! Shattercock. Where have you been? Uh, I I basically just charged towards the music. And uh, Chauncey, why don't I just run into the music are you talking? Well, we found you now, so let's get out of here. Come okay, on. Right. Let's go. Right, yeah. And then Derek starts heading back there's, there's, out the Derek, waterfall. there's music. There's music over there. Can what we go? music? It's kind, of, it's kind of like the other way. It's the other way. It's not, it's not out of the waterfall. What other way? We're closing in on the party, Derek. Please no, follow us, please. We're really close. Please. 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 So if I investigate around the caverns, do I see anything out of the ordinary? I'll roll for it. So 11... Plus, uh, She's just so 14 for investigation. Okay. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> the cavern narrows at, a, at the far <laughs> end, and that odd green glow yeah. uh, kind of comes from around the corner. Uh, you see, you, where are you? Grima walks kind of around the corner. Um, you see carved stone steps leading up to a great door that's set into the cavern wall. The door is intricately carved with an aquatic theme. Waves, fish, dolphins. coral, all kinds of underwater stuff. Yeah, some rapey Girl dolphins. dolphins. Whoa. A large mouth with giant spiked teeth is sculpted into the floor in front of the door. Cool. There are several skeletons and rotten corpses of all kinds of creatures at the bottom of the steps. It's a you guys thing. hear music down there? Yeah, don't you hear it? So, yeah, you guys that had that possession by the music feel whatever that source is 
on the other side of that door. Guys, what, what are we, are we waiting doing? for? What are you doing? We have to get out of here. We have to find Brogan. No. no, we're going to that party. <laughs> no. Well, Chauncey too thinks to himself that the aquatic theme means this can only be a gateway leading to the um the Trout Kingdom. That's the only Where's thing. Made the two horses with us. Time. Yeah, he's been following he's quietly. Been, he's, he's been, been quiet. laying low, <laughs> collecting, <laughs> laying low, collecting information. Oh, well, he's laying low. He's dropping. How many of those orcs have jeweled daggers at this point? A lot of he's got. A, he's got a lot of jeweled daggers. <laughs> uh, seating the field. Yeah, they all say. The, are the horse lords still the laughing? <laughs> Adam. Yeah, they all have a little maiden giant sticker on them. Like none of them are unique. Decker's investigating everything about it. He's like rubbing his hands all over the door. He may kiss it a little bit. Uh, so you said there was like a uh, like an open mouth. Yeah. So this little uh, circle right here is uh, a big kind of carving sculpture laid into the ground of mm. teeth. It might look like a shark's jaw or something okay. like that. With uh, um, with reckless abandon, he will investigate that as well because he is desperate to get to get <laughs> desperate to get to Star Wars. So he's just shoving his head on in there. <laughs> so yeah, um, as you pass over the carving or step on it. Uh, glowing blue letters write themselves on the stone under under your feet. Oh and dear! The, the water in the pools behind you pulse with light for a few moments. Oh my! The <laughs> the aquatic patterns and carvings on the door start to move and come to life. Yeah. Truly, this is the greatest party. Um, well, they, they did. They actually went up. Mm, yeah. They lit oh, up. Shit. The, yeah. the uh, oh. so yeah, the aquatic pa patterns and carvings on the door start to come to life and move. The door handle is a giant seahorse with sharp teeth. It shakes itself and <laughs> sneezes itself to life. God bless you. And it goes, boy, excuse me. Hello there, friend. Hello there, friend. Hello there, friend. Do you like to party? Hello. 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 Okay. Uh, can you open the door, please? I, I can't do that. Oh, damn. Why not print for thee? Uh, I don't, I don't, uh, don't remember. Um, uh, I don't know how to do it. That's a door. Just open it, please. Mm. There's a party on the other side, you see. It's very important that we get there. I have heard that party for a long time now. I have heard it mm, many years. Anyway, it looks like a good party. Sounds like a good... Let's go inside. That we, You should. Sounds, sounds fun. All right, so open the door then. I... Don't know how. Ah, but you're attached to it. I'm just the handle on the front. All right, well, mind if I give you a tug then? Sure. All right, let's do this. Tug on me. Runs up. Oh. Tug. Hmm. Tug. Ooh. I don't think it's working. <clears throat> hmm. Is there someone else in charge we can talk to here? I don't see anyone. But there could be someone around that's uh, higher ranking than me in the door handle in world. The door business? Yeah. <laughs> What's this other set of stairs? That kind of just goes back up to the the entrance. Oh. You if, if you didn't do all those sweet flip moves, mm -hmm. you might have wanted to walk down the stairs. Oh, got it. What's with your little will, cubby down there? Decker will investigate. Oh, there a little cubby? His mouth. Thing. Yeah. Oh. The lettering. Uh, so the the words are elvish. Oh. Um, okay. And you know that. Wait. I yeah, speak you should, you should do a roll uh, intelligence to find that information out. Investigation? Now you already know. It's all tagged. Do it. It's good. It's a big number. Ooh. It's Elvish. Ooh. Well, I read Elvish. Oh, you do? <laughs> well, I read Elvish, saying that to himself. Um, so it takes a few moments for you to make it out uh, because it's a it's kind of a slightly strange uh, phrase. Curious dialect. Looks around. No? no? Oh. I'll go back then. From your <laughs> investigation role, you would know that this might be an older southern version of Elvish. It's like a fine pastry in my ears. What does God. it say? It says, come on in. Well, he's oh covered in that, so. <laughs> 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 Mr. Doorhandle, your welcome mat is very polite, but not very helpful. It merely advises us to come on in, which I would love to do. But mm. you see you are locked. Yes. Hmm, do you recall being locked? I don't have the best memory. Dumb. Well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Would this jog your memory? And then Grima puts a gold piece through the, the little mouth. He goes, oh, blah, 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 blah. no, but thank you. What else can we feed this little Get mouth more thing? Gold. Yeah. <laughs> Get more, gold. Eat gold. more gold. More gold. More gold. I like the pretty one. He knows what he's talking about. Did it help jog your memory? Is since that, it, since it has a... Uh, <laughs> I, no, I can't tell if because there's an aquatic theme we should like give it fish or not give it fish. If that would be cannibalistic oh, yeah. to feed a fish. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know if we should try to catch fish kelp. and then give it to it. and Or kelp. Kelp? Yeah, fishy kelp. You got kelp, Roxanne? Yeah. I collected kelp. Uh, no, I'm just... <laughs> Can you give him some kelp? Please? Yeah, here. Here's some kelp that I have. Yeah. 
Give me my kill back, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Start choking <Yep>. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you. Put it in my bag. The kelp doesn't work. <laughs> All right, so why are you here, Mouth? Oh, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, I'm on this door. Right, yes. <sighs> what? Why? Wait, I got this. Uh-huh. If you will answer my riddle, thusly, uh, <laughs> I'm not too good you, at riddles. Then good for us. <laughs> Miri, hit Derek. this fish with a riddle. <laughs> Derek walks up and goes, Never have I ever just opened. Uh. <laughs> he pulls out a little PBR can and takes oh, a sip. Fuck yeah. I must have him. So, wait, what does he look like? A creature? Clank, or is it just a mouse? It's, it's like a seahorse. Uh, as a door handle. So imagine a big oh, door okay. handle door that's handle. carved to look like a seahorse. And it's, it, it's, it's, it's talking it's to you. It's a lot like Labyrinth, but way more annoying. Yeah, that, who else? Who else? Uh, who opened you last? You know, I know I opened for someone not too long ago. All right. How did, how did they do I, that? I just, I don't know. You don't I, know. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, pretty lady. Kind of stupid. I can tell. I well, thought I did we, it well. What if we gave you gold? Give me gold, yes. <laughs> this is a good idea. Go ahead, Max. I give it kelp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> give me my kelp, Becky. Oh, no. Sorry, my gold back. <laughs> uh, Grimo, I have no idea what to do. I don't do you know Broga? Was Broga the one that opened you? Ah, uh, you know, I don't. I, what's a Broga? He is really stupid. Yeah, really, really dumb. You're dumb, little man. You know the, the words? Oh, I, actually. Does does, she, does Shattercock know what the words say? Because I said it out loud. Okay, good. very booming I, I voice. I the yeah. doorknob felt the need to insult Grimo. <laughs> <laughs> like tells everybody else, he's like, I'm stupid. <laughs> so I, I ask him the riddle: What blows but doesn't suck? Oh, Grimo. That's very funny. No, it's the wind, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I am help? dumb. Open, I am open up now. No, it doesn't help. Why does it say "come on in"? Are those words written there? Someone has to ejaculate into this seahorse's weird little mouth. All right, I'm gonna try and hit it with my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and smash the handle. Okay, but well, you, you shouldn't smash me. Well, you should open. Don't I? Uh, you know, it's it's magic. Uh, it's not up to me. Please don't <laughs> smash me. I mean, I have skills in arcana, arcana, so I don't know if I can just roll to like get hints about stuff. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna roll arca arcana. Is this before he swings his hammer? I'm going in with my hammer. You better roll quick. Twenty-one on that one too. Weird. Mm. Wow. What are you do doing? Do I sense any magical energies afoot? And if so, yeah, what there's, kind? There is definitely magic on this door. All right. Uh, that's keeping it sealed. All right. So there's something that you must do to unlock the door. Give it sure. Gold. <laughs> maybe um, something related to feeding it gold. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, probably not. Yeah. All right. So you were about to hit it. Yep. 17. 17 plus 3, 20. You do some damage to this door so handle. You roll for damage. Yeah. 8. All right. Why did you do that to me? <laughs> Are you open yet? No, you don't need to hit me. That doesn't work. Clearly. Maybe I should try hitting it again. <laughs> I think you should hit it. So wait, what what does the door say again, Decker? You can read it. Oh, the, the door says a variety of things, but this plate on the ground reads, come on in. Again, in ancient Elvish. Okay, I'm gonna, I walk up to the door. I'm coming in, and I walk up to the door and try and just walk in. You should do it. I am doing it, oh, and I try and do it. Well, you're, does it work? doesn't seem to be working. Okay. No. You're, you're pulling heavily on the door handle. All right, well, I tried. Around quizzically. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up to the door and like put my hands on it. Can I touch it? Yeah, yeah, kind of all the carvings on it are moving around, and, mm. and we'll actually react to you, like, touching on the door. Here, look around I, awkwardly and just try to walk into it. I'm doesn't seem to do anything. Come on, fuck! Yeah. You get, here, I got the bracers uh, brace ready. Uh, yeah. You guys don't need to keep hitting <laughs> me. All right, all right. Please don't keep hitting me. Slam damage. damage. <laughs> well, you guys Did not work. Oh, that yeah, one didn't work. Slam Flash. Right, we're getting a running start. All right. <laughs> I'm going to throw you yeah, at it. <laughs> oh, fastball special. Yeah. Let's do it. Except I'm not strong enough and yeah. you're very heavy. All right. So um, you guys are hitting the door again? Yeah. I mean, comically, though, until yeah, someone figures out how yeah. this puzzle works. So a little uh, blue wad of goo about the size of a fist climbs out of the pool of water behind you and climbs onto land. It forms itself uh, some appendages and a big old eye and a smiling mouth. Hmm. And then just starts hopping forward. Little blue guy. Little blue guy. So have the orcs noticed? Because they're back there and we're up there. No. Uh, Shattercock feels, feels eyes on her butt. She turns around. She goes, "Hey, stop! Stop! What is that?" And she sees the, <laughs> she sees the blue thing. So the blue thing kind of just hops towards you. He goes, "Whip it! Whip! Whip it! Whip it!" Oh, you're so cute. It is. It is pretty cute. They're really adorable. Oh. And she like leans over to kind of 
Touch it. Okay. So when she touches it, kind of a pool of liquid comes out from under it, kind of uh, filling oh, out the ground. Throw it in the it. hole. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so it, it kind of hops up on you, walking around on your skin, uh, like licking you. Oh, it feels so good. Um, it does. It, it it does a little bite. Ah! Uh, uh, so it does one hit point of damage to you. Oh, okay. Definitely okay. in the hole. Oh, what the hell? And the, another one pops out. And so Shattercock, at this point, she tries to restrain it because she knows that she got bit by it. Mm-hmm. So she kind of like pulls it off of her. Okay. And like she runs up to, uh, I guess, Grimo's the nearest. Mm-hmm. And goes, Grimo, what is this thing? I've never seen that before in my life, Shattercock. Throw it in the hole. <laughs> what What hole? The hole of the mouth over there. Oh, Throw it okay. in the mouth. All right, all right. Uh, Seahorse handle. What is this? I know I've seen that guy before. You want to eat him? <laughs> sure. Shove him in my mouth. Put him in his mouth. All right, here you go. Shove it in. Nothing's going to happen. Um, it's okay, great. <laughs> uh huh. Well, uh, Adam's going to fall asleep. <laughs> this one's gone at least. We got rid of one. <laughs> All right, so maybe this is a good time to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this riddle's getting intense. We'll try and figure out this riddle next time, I guess. <laughs> On the final episode of the season. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. next one's the end. Breakneck. <laughs> yeah. All right, hold maybe on. we try hitting it next time. <laughs> I'm going to hit it even harder. <laughs> Just put it in the hole. <laughs> All, right. All right, thanks everybody. Uh, we'll be back next week. The scrump found land. You guys, uh, you guys see an island. First things first. Shattercock dives off, and as soon as he sees it, starts, runs straight into the. Is it like jungle or what is it? Like um, yeah, Shattercock, go, yeah. go, find the body. <laughs> you see carved stone steps leading up to a great door that's set into the cavern wall. The door is intricately carved with an aquatic theme. Waves, fish, dolphins. coral, all kinds of underwater stuff. Yeah, some rapey <laughs> dolphins, dolphins. Whatever that source is on the other side of that door. What, what are we doing? waiting for? What are you doing? We have to get out of here. We have to find Brogan. No. no. We're going to that party. <laughs> no. Well, Chauncey, too, thinks to himself that the aquatic theme means this can only be a gateway leading to the um, the Trout Kingdom. That's the only thing. Where's Chauncey, the horses with us? All right, everybody, welcome to Twits and Crits, season finale for season oh, three. Oh, man, we back. Wow. Oh, right. We are back. Um, someone want to catch us up real quick? I just want to say, first of all, this marks us being the longest running D&D show on the internet. What? Yeah, yeah. true. Longest right. run. I don't know right. about that one. Yeah. Most run time yeah. season three. Yeah. As far as we know, yeah. Cannot we tell it. a lie. That's true. You cannot tell a lie. I knew that. <laughs> we did it. Uh, we washed upon an island, found a castle, and now we're at a door trying to get in, and it's the world's most... Bitch of a <laughs> riddle I've ever. I think I actually figured lived. it out. Okay, yeah. let's do it. All right. I took some time to mull it over since oh, yeah. last episode, and yeah. I think I figured but it last out. Last week we had a whole but, yeah. to think about. Lots it. of adventures. We we are closer to Brogar, Bro, Bro, Brogo, <laughs> Broga, Broga, Broga than ever before. Um, but whilst battling the hostility of this island, loose itself, we have also lost two of our party members to madness. M- mad John music. Williams is- John, Hot well, yeah. uh, everybody dance now for uh, Shattercock. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The song. So yeah, there, there was a there was a siren song that you each kind of understood slightly differently, mm-hmm. and both uh, Shattercock and Decker are overcome with the intense desire for finding the source of the song. Indeed. Yes. So you guys landed on Loose. You made it up to the waterfall. Miri found a little cave behind the waterfall as a door, mm-hmm. and uh, you guys are there now. All right. Stuck. Something else. I feel like something funny actually did happen, but we lost a lot of orcs, orcs to the crew. Yeah. Yes, they're all the 17, curse, yeah. 17 and uh, seven eighths. Tragedies <laughs> couldn't have been prevented. Though. Trail of orc bits in the ocean in our wake. Um, orc chum. So yeah, I think I figured out the door. Okay, there's a door and there's a mat in front of it or a symbol in front of it that says "Come on in." And then there's a locked door with a handle of a seahorse. Seahorse yeah, that's, that's pretty dumb and mm. pretty dumb. And doesn't want to open, so I'm gonna hit it. But you already again. hit it. No, but I'm gonna hit it again. Okay. Is what I'm gonna uh, do. This, is, okay. this was your solution to the puzzle. I figured it out, so gotcha. I'm gonna hit it. Okay. This time, as hard as I can. So that's 14 hits. Yep. All right. So now let's roll for hit strength. Can't very well move. Imagine its dodge isn't super great. One. Mm. All right. Does well, it look. open? That was your solution? That was my solution. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I got nothing. So, <laughs> another one of these little blue wads pops out of the... Yeah, they're, they're coming out of the thing. That's okay. We already found the solution to that. Beat him to the door. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Steal. So so I this hope one... we get into a boss fight soon. <laughs> Beat him to the door. <laughs> Shoving him in. So yeah, this one pops out in uh, kind of like a little toddler. It's just spinning in a circle, screaming, and then it falls over. Hmm. That's creepy. Well, I'm going to 
try one thing and then pray for a hint from the gods. Uh, I want to do my stone cunning, which uh, intelligence checks related to the origin of stonework. Damn. I'm considered proficient in the history skill. All right. So I'm just going to look at the general yeah, stonework. So do a history check. I am genuinely but you're excited proficient to roll because this. this involves stonework. Yeah, so and I'm a dwarf. Yes. So roll 20, right? Roll 20. 19. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Boom. Plus, plus proficiency and all that is up there. <laughs> okay. Proficiency. Whatever. So you, you're, uh, you're down investigating the stonework. It's clearly uh, some sort of ancient elven uh, carved work. Yeah, Decker, yes. Um, yeah, I said that. Yep. <laughs> Decker might have figured out a lot of what there was to figure out. Um, but you, you do seem to focus on the words that are written, the phrase in mm -hmm. Elvish that's written inside of a mouth. Okay. Um, and this plinth, this ma these magic words are tied to the door in some way. Is it a hole? Guys. Is the door, is the, is the mouth a hole? We, oh, no. go ahead. No. Uh, so, no, the, the, ma there's the little plinth that had the, r the writing of the words and it is, it's surrounded by like teeth. Right. So, so it looks, it, so like, it a looks like a If you're looking top down on it, it looks like a mouth. But there's no hole. There's no hole. And I I've say to you, door, it. may we enter? Yes, you should enter. Okay. I, uh, I want to try and jump into the mouth. I have a rope that yeah, I can that's, hang that's myself The door's with. mouth. That's my next. The door? Like the seahorse? Well, isn't handle? that where stuff's been disappearing? He's, He's been got eating a little stuff. mouth. The seahorse that's the door handle has a little mouth so, that you guys have been jamming so gold and stuff into. There's a door handle to seahorse yeah. on the ground. Right. There's also a mouth. Yes. Right? Yeah, that's but that's it. not but eating no anything. Right? Okay. It's, just no it's like carved into the I say to you, door. Yes. What is this man covered in? I thought I was putting my gold into the mouth on the ground, not the seahorse mouth. Sorry. No. I, and the blue thing. There are two mouths. Yeah, what what, is this? So one doesn't open. The, the mouth on the ground is like oh. it's like door. Okay, because I, I, meant, I meant like put the gold on the. What oh. floor I mouth. say to you, door. What is this? This spectacle covered in? I have I have cans of light beer rotating around my head, and I just grab <laughs> one and pop it. A uh, smug. No, no. We have a different word for it. Uh, not what ejaculate, but come. Aha! Oh God! Are, oh my God! Are you? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh shit! And he when, just now realized. Oh, when God. something rests upon something else, it is resting on it. That's one of the words. <laughs> <laughs> and where would you stay the night if you were in a strange town? A hotel. Oh, How would you know that? It's not that. Smart. Repeat after me. Okay. Come on in. Wait, what? You Someone one more time? figure out how to trick this door to say "come on in." You know. Someone figure out that you with the mouth. On the that's, ground. That's what what did thinking. you want from me? We man. want it to say, come on in. It, we, it needs to invite us. The door needs to invite us. I'm going to smash it. <laughs> 17. <laughs> no, please 20. don't hit me. What do you want from me? Say, come on in. Come on in. And boom. Oh! Oh, oh, oh he said, don't smash it. But well, look what happens when he tried to smash it. Brute quick, force wins again. Just, just so you don't kill yourself, Dan. What did you want us to do? That was it. That was it? Make the door say it. The door needed to invite us in. Because there's well, a mouth the saying this is what the, do yeah, the door needs to say. Yeah. I just don't you, know how you, you get figured the door it out. Say. I figured it out. <laughs> Your king captain figured it out. So the door kind of slowly opens, and you see a tunnel just leading into darkness. Well done, Derek. <laughs> I play a victory anthem for you. <laughs> yeah. So this is what it feels like to solve puzzles. Jeez. Um, lead the yeah. way, Decker. All right, there's a bunch of blue stuff that came out of the, the pools. Yes, Fe onward to the greatest party right, ever. Yeah. Fe onward. Feed it to the horse. <laughs> <laughs> they won't figure it out, yeah. Okay. Wait, do we want it to shut behind us? We don't know where this goes. Who Maybe we should cares? leave. We'll leave. Decker's just in. Yeah, not We'll leave <laughs> also yeah, yeah. one of my most trusted young orcs behind, Sajmo. What if, yeah, <laughs> okay. use him to prop the door this open. This is Sajmo. Oh, Sag. Sagmo, how old is you he? keep this door open at all costs. If 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 for some reason it should close, you have to get it to say "Come on in" again to open up. Yes, you got Captain. it, Sagmo. All right, thank you, Sagmo. How old is Sagmo? Sagmo is <laughs> why? <laughs> Sagmo is very soon to be eighteen. Oh. Seventeen years old, in fact. Well, uh, happy early birthday, Sagmo. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> About twenty cock. minutes. Or yeah. so. Runs off into the darkness. Three cheers for Sagmo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hip hip and Shattercock is long gone. <laughs> Shattercock and Chauncey one have run in. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I, well, I think we're all gonna go we're in. All go, are we yeah. all going in? Yeah. Everybody's going. Yeah. Party time. So so the, the door says, "Good luck in there." I always wish I could see what all the hubbub was about. And then it kind of the the door was all animated and it 
kind of freezes and starts to close. Mm -hmm. I guess Sajmo is kind of standing in the way. Oh, nice. Oh, Sajmo, no I think for his strength. <laughs> one, more <laughs> out. one more time on the way out. <laughs> All right, do it. Hold yeah. that door, Sajmo. What was that? 15. 15. Plus your attack proficiency. That hits. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Damn. <laughs> Nine. No, damage. it's a six. <laughs> you rolled a d6. I know. <laughs> Plus three. But there's a, my damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. My damage. Which does nothing, but I just wanted to hit it. All right, it. we're inside the thing. I did that. You nice guys job. see how I we, solved we that, that riddle? That, that we well that. done, Derek. <laughs> Let's play another victory anthem oh, for it. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. I, I didn't have it queued up. Oh. <laughs> Damn, what else? What, what's you, happening you, in the you don't darkness? Want to proceed down. Well, let's, we, there, there we go. We hear this in the darkness. Does any, wait, do, does anyone have a torch or a light or something? Yeah, it's really dark. Uh, I have dark vision. That doesn't I help also me. Have dark vision. Yeah. 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 I, I can have, use prestidigitation to make some like party rave lights. Okay. Swirling around. <laughs> That's right. what happened. My beer cans are illuminated in neon and they're just spinning like crazy. I have a torch. Okay. I, uh, how do we light it? Uh, I don't have a fire spell. He does. Um, Shattercock. I do. I'm sure. Right. I'm sure Decker does. Decker can. I have a torch. Done. All right, so you cool. yes, let up. us get lit. Wait, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> that was not 90s. No, so as you proceed through the tunnel, a strange sound start to assault your ears. Bizarre atonal music drifts towards you, followed closely by what seems to be the ecstatic cries of all manner of creature. A heavy and funky bass beat gathers from the atonal noise. Oh, man, I knew and it. As you draw closer to the flickering light at the end of the tunnel, the air grows damp and heavy with the musk of a crowd. The walls appear slick, and the condensation of what you hope is merely sweat or steam. Finally, stepping out into the light, you find yourself in an immense, ornately carved cavern. But you are no, by no means alone. Piles of body, bodies writhe in the dim amber glow of nearby lamps. Their countless eyes barely register your presence before rolling back in pleasure once more. Moans turn to screams and back again as the mounds of bodies merge and break away into new and increasingly grotesque combinations. Like They're all like inside. the Matrix orgy. It's like inside. There are all manner of entertainers running amongst the bodies, fire breathers and jugglers, dancers with hoops and ribbons, strippers and magicians. A particularly ugly homunculus taps away on a small set of skin drums. In the corner stands a stupefied hill giant. One of his arms has been removed and replaced by a club, which he now dutifully strikes against a tarnished and dented gong. Now we see that Napoleon art of those strippers. <laughs> <laughs> Decker you, is... Oh, it's go still ahead. The so you slowly make your way towards the only piece slowly. of ground not currently being copu copulated upon, a raised circular platform in the middle of the chamber. You pass a large mass made of dozens of jiggling tits, rolling around in a bath of hairy, gyrating orbs. You hear long snorts, inhales and exhales, Napoleon. puff of smoke hangs and puff, uh, puffs of smoke hang in the air. And now to Napoleon's art, yeah. and the strippers and there the tits. There is no stripper tits. Damn. Oh. Oh. So the second on. Decker gets in there, she goes, mm-hmm, 10,000 years, and starts to like strip off his clothes. Oh boy. Gross. They all hit the ground with a yeah. splat. Oh. Yeah, it, they stick. Oh, uh, shit. So where's the orgy happening? <laughs> so all around you, you like walk in the room. Yeah, yeah. You guys are came in from over there. Right, Decker just on this side. Yeah, yeah. They're, Decker strips off all of his clothes and then jumps that's, in. That's yeah. what's his name? Oh, Smash oh yeah, Sajmo. 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 Oh shit. Take I out do. Sajmo. Also, I want to clarify another thing. Oh. So you know how a year on Earth is? It takes 365 days for the Earth to go around the sun. Party monster city, whatever. It's 10 minutes to go around their sun. So he was there for ten thousand years. It was really oh, but it's the same exact. Oh, it is, it was, each day is is like it wasn't very long. Oh, oh snap! That's, that's only on leap years. Oh okay. Yeah, right. it's that like sense. ten seconds. Decker's gonna around. fuck that. So are we in the are we in the circle here? <laughs> so yeah, you walked into the circle. You're just there's bodies everywhere surrounding the okay. that Decker, Decker did a chamber. stage dive in there. So <laughs> along along the walls set between cool. each lamp is a large spherical iron cage. In each of these cages sits a horrid little round creature. Its body covered in ooze, Go -go lidless dancers. eyes wantonly recording every thrust, cry, and climax <laughs> for their master's <laughs> future delight. The bass beat in the background stops, and a sharp yet oddly order. alluring and strangely familiar voice shouts from the darkness. Yeah. All right. So this, just to make sure, this is the writhi writhing orgy area. Uh, writhing orgy area is everywhere. Oh, snap. Okay, well, fan <laughs> this is everywhere. We fan got art of that one. Decker rolling around on a titty ball sack. Oh, no! Oh. My toys! Oh, my toys. A little penis man? Oh. Yeah. Everything's phallic in the oh, world of D&D. Yeah, there's, there's bodies everywhere. Cool. Oh, they are fucking like why. Oh, I want that little pixie. Oh, yeah. Bring her over here! Well, this is a man. Bring the hot little number. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Who <laughs> hasn't been laid yet? Oh. Touchy touch. Look at this guy. 
Oh, you're not entertained. Uh, <laughs> That's a titty ball sack. Yeah, someone <laughs> burned me. So yeah, the the bass beat in the background stops, and a sharp yet oddly alluring and strangely familiar noise shouts from the darkness. Welcome, fellow seekers of the holy flesh. Suddenly, the lamps erupt with a fierce, magical blue light, revealing the source of the cry and the nature of the cavern. So, a um, few paces in front of you is a staircase rising to a throne. On either side of the stairs is a sheer drop of 70 feet down into water. Holding court upon the throne and using dwarves as footstools sit three beautiful sirens. They are nude, save for their chains of gleaming shell Ooh, and coral <laughs> draped seductively over their bodies. Here we go. We, we did, we did make, here we go. didn't make an impressionable young man go. draw nude. Woo! Wait, hold on. You said nude. Uh. Pull in! <laughs> Oh, they're right. like evil mermaids. Yeah. Sirens. The sirens Man, are, are being attended. So. Fuck, those oh. won't quit. <laughs> Disney princess. Orgy monster. Ooh, yeah, get in. <laughs> Orgy monster. So the sirens are being attended by an army of servants. Elves, halfling, dwarves, dragonborn, all manner of creature grovel and mule at their shimmering scale-adorned feet. Let's see, we're going to get sued. The center one speaks as her <laughs> dwarven chair obediently laps wine from her fingers. I think that monster's from Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Be not afraid, travelers. We would never attempt to harm you. Not before we have a little taste. Uh -oh. that's this. Decker's head pokes out of like a, a fat blob and some <laughs> other monster goes, It's okay, we're fine. Sucks back in. <laughs> so th this other one steps up. Unless harming you is what you wish in case we could get started right away. And she blows a kiss right at Raxan. I go. <laughs> <laughs> and then he updates his inventory. Yeah. One, one kiss. One kiss. <laughs> As you can no doubt witness, all here merely strive towards the unattainable goal of perfect pleasure. Yeah. And from the look of you all, you may just be able to aid us in that journey. It's like Hellraiser. So the uh, the other siren steps up. Puppy, puppy, we have need of your talents. Out from behind a pile of squirming gnomes walks a haggard and sluggish form. His canine features are warped into an unsettling smile as he laughs to himself a lot to the side. His yellow eyes, though sharp and aware, seem to focus on nothing in particular. Strapped across his back is a strangely large guitar-shaped string instrument. Blood oozes from his ear as he steps before the siren's throne. A slimy blue tadpole-like creature crawls across his face out of his nose and then finds a home in the new nostril before promptly disappearing again. Whatever you wish, my queen. You got some vivid descriptions, up. Dan. Nice job. Another larger creature crawls out of the corner of, its, of the canine's mouth. As it slowly glides across his chin and around the back of his neck, the strange worm opens its three small mouths and lets out a piercing shriek. <laughs> it juts towards you violently before recoiling back and letting out another sickening wail as it scurries under the knoll's shirt towards some unknown orifice, leaving a thin trail of ooze in its wake. Now, are you guys reacting to any of this? I this am is freaking me out. <laughs> I am uh, as a person and a character. Shoulder deep in what I presume to be a very large vagina, but it could be anything really. <laughs> Shattercock sort of on the bridge because she still hears the music obviously and she's sort of like she's lured into it uh but now she's starting to kind of wonder what's like the all these visions are breaking what she had originally in her head which was just like a badass party and you know lots of like fun people dancing but now she sees like all the ooze and the bugs and all that other stuff it's it's kind of breaking the illusion for her just okay. a little bit though she's hey. still drawn to it Grima's cigarette is just all ash <laughs> Oh Locked yeah. <laughs> since I'm since I'm secreted away in the fatty folds of some some monster, you can hear music, but it's a little muffled. It's just it's there. I can't hear it. No, it's too much. We can't hear it. Sorry, it's not quite working out like I thought it would. Oh well. Maybe if I play it through That's my mouth. That's understatement. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. No. No. What's going what are you on? Doing? This is not worth it. He's gonna come through his nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Ace of Base sounds like when it's amplified through a vagina. I don't know. All right. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So the uh, one of the side sirens yeah. steps forward. We are welcoming masters, but as you can see, we have more than enough playthings to amuse us. Too if you wish to stay, you must prove yourselves worthy of our affections. You must provide us with a performance worthy of this chamber of delights. Succeed, and you may join our bacchanalia. Satisfying our most perverse desires uh -huh. for as long as your frail bodies hold out. Uh -huh. Puppy, why don't you walk them out a little beat? Something to help them think for a moment before wowing us. It's a beautiful <laughs> way. Oh, oh. <laughs> she steps up, falter and bore us, or fail to amuse us, and you will satisfy our many stomachs with your flesh. So, uh, 
what I can only describe as a triple vagina, <laughs> vomits Decker out, and he's like, he's naked and just covered in slime. He's like, <laughs> oh, where are we? <laughs> he just explained it for the last. <laughs> <I know. laughs> he was he was socketed away. Anyway, um, he just looks around confused and then dives back in. Derek steps forward and he goes, "We're looking for Broga. Have you heard of this name, sexy siren creatures? <laughs> this little dwarf man, kind of a little dwarf walks up. I know of Broga. He's playing you a tune right now, but you guys must be idiots. You jerks got to come up with a song, a dance." Something that'll moisten the ladies here and ent entertain them. Tell them a joke or something. You do real good and you get to bang each other and drink mead and feed each other grapes and shit until you die. You fuck up and you die a lot sooner without all the screw in the grape eating. You get it? I like how he became like a New Yorker halfway yeah. through that. <laughs> Grimo should identify with that dialect. Yeah. It's Grimo's yeah. dad. <laughs> Grimo? So Shattercock, uh, she My yells at sirens. What must I do to prove myself? Perform. How so? Any way you wish. Um, so is Broga the one that's got the guitar? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of doing a, a funky bass riff for you right Ooh, now. He's going to get laid. Um, What's his story? Do you like that's the, 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 the little giant punch. has a drum thing for him. Oh, okay. It's just hitting a cymbal gotcha. or a, a gong. Drummers usually get the most puss. It's true. Yeah. yeah. So Shattercock yells out to Broga. Play me something with funk. Even more funk! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he doubles up on the funk. Alright. I don't know if anyone wants to drop a funk beat. I, I, I need some funk out of your, uh, oh, sure. out of your music machine there. You got it, you got it. I know exactly what's... So this is basically Sucker Punch now. While Shattercock is distracting them with her lurid funk dance. Yeah, she's dancing. We... 100%. Are we supposed to... So you're dancing? Kill Broga? What are we supposed to do? Just get him? Does, Does anyone remember what the I mission forgot. was? I just knew we had to find him. We have to find Broga. Oh, we found him. Let's go. But he's the one playing the funk beat. Yeah, he'll be here. Mm, interesting. Uh, we'll have to funky. find a way. All right, I have a plan. We have to... We'll use Shattercock's uh, sexy, funky dance moves. There you go. She's, she's dancing to this for sure. She's like kind of swinging her hips and doing the whole... Like she was dancing at Coachella. Do a performance check for me. Oh, yeah. Oof. Oh boy, it's not very good. <laughs> What'd you it's roll? Too. Dance like uh, a lane from Seinfeld. Yeah, sick. Yeah. Little kicks. This is when we realized oh, like that Elaine? Shattercock is just a terrible dancer. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes sense. Just no beat. Yeah, she's kicking out her, uh, she's doing this thing and kicking out her legs. <laughs> Alright, so while Shattercock is distracting them with her horrific <laughs> dancing. Aren't I sexy? We have to get, oh, we have to get across to Broga and then at the exact right moment, take knock out Broga and then replace Broga's funky dance beats with Decker's dance music box. Oh yeah. Sounds like a plan. Does anyone have a spell to like blind the room or create darkness? I can only turn invisible. I have a teleport wand. <laughs> oh, that'll be perfect. You can teleport over there. Or anybody is welcome to use the wand. Maybe just start a fire. <laughs> I don't trust teleportation. <laughs> start a fire. <laughs> Decker senses that his party services are needed. So, uh, another mon another monstrous tough, but ambulatory breast is what I would say. It's a giant boob with arms and legs. The nipple opens up like a porthole and he slides out again. Just me. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm. Gets up, takes him a minute. Hold on. You always second. pop him off that base every <laughs> time. Second to get up there. <laughs> he's all slick, you know, and he's naked, so it's tough. Mm. He's hairless now too. It's weird. I mean, he's still got his, you know, whatever. Uh, I heard that someone needed a party beat. Yes. Looks around. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, yes, seriously. and please keep your voice down. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so, I am prepared. He's naked, by the way. Shattercock is going to dance on. to distract them. His naked, gooey hand. And then on. we're going to try and reach Broga. Who is that monstrosity playing the music? Shattercock, Excellent Shattercock's plan. Shattercock's doing the washing machine. You guys ever seen the washing machine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> at the precise moment, <laughs> at the precise moment that Grimo teleports over there, you're gonna have to start playing your funky beat to keep the people focused on the dancing. <laughs> I will do this for you. Because without the funk, Shattercock can't dance. That's true. How distracted are they by her dancing? How do I mean, they feel about they're it? They're distracted by the atrociousness of it, but I don't know. Distracted nonetheless. That, that, it was a pretty garbage role, so. Well, I mean, it's so bad that they can't look but, away. Yeah. Also, she doesn't have any clothes on. Yeah, neither I mean, most they. of the creatures are naked. What? Neither, neither do oh. they. Oh, neither. Yeah. That's not true. according neither to Napoleon. But still, Shattercock's pretty <laughs> fucking hot, so. Yeah, according to Napoleon, they're goddamn going to work. <laughs> <laughs> What's Grimo doing over there? I mean, he's waiting to see how this plan shakes down. 
how he needs well, to be you're involved. very important to the plan. Cremo! Or know, I can throw you. You know what a good dance needs? Uh, that dance partner. No, oh, Cremo okay. needs to use a teleport wand. Yeah, yeah, no problem. He hands, <laughs> hands uh, to your teleport wand. Uh. Yeah, no problem. Shout out, okay, here we go. Ah! All right. So, nice. oh, wow. So, Grimo's 24. Holy wow. fuck. He's a great dancer. Because he had to, like, uh, in, a, like, athletics class sure. at school, yep. um, Grimo, he wasn't athletic enough to play sports, so he had to go to the girls' class, oh. and he had to learn Which to dance. Which is dance class? He's the only boy in the girls' class. Boys can dance. Not He's in sexist. the gyre. <laughs> so, uh, Grimo's... Really, really good at swing dancing. <laughs> sure. Um, so she, he's trying to swing Shattercock along, like with do the Charleston or whatever the fuck they call it, and uh, and she sure. keeps she keeps stepping on on his toes like every <laughs> single step. She tries to get dipped and she falls over. Aww. <laughs> she's too top heavy. It's just really, really bad. Grimo's an amazing dancer. Shattercock's terrible. Oh yeah, he's great. So this is pretty spectacular dance. What do the rest of you have for us? We were really counting on you be guys being impressed by them. It is impressive. Uh, oh, keep watching. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I, uh, I took my dick between my legs and I got two peaches right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I come out to uh, that what song children. do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grimo's signature. Grimo kind of looks yeah. at it and he's like, yeah. Yeah, and I, I wink, but I, I can't see All right. anything. All right, Miri. Because I'm crying. <laughs> I'm going to need you to teleport. Use this teleport wand. <laughs> uh, I and I need you to teleport over to Broga. Okay. And then you're going to have to signal to Decker the exact moment that you're going to incapacitate Broga. Sling some sling right? Some. And then and then he'll cue the music, and then they won't even see that you'll be able to teleport back with them. And then we can interrogate Broga. But be careful. You got if it. the Twi'lek isn't dancing good enough, he's going to pull the lever, and then he's going to have to fight the <laughs> Rancor. <laughs> Does a wand work like that? I can just use it a bunch of times? Yes, never, never mind. <laughs> that was an amazing Whoops. cascade of, of, of worried looks. Using this wand, you can use an, an action and expend one charge to, to instantly transport yourself to a designated space within 100 feet of your current location. The wand has three charges and regains 1d4 yes. expended charges daily at dawn. There you go. So it's got three charges. Sweet. It's all over the place. There you right. two. Because uh, it's one. Oh. Yeah, no. oh. And you gotta say your thing that you never say. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So are we ready to execute on this plan? I'm ready. <laughs> What are the odds that he teleports and something goes wacky and he's just accidentally penetrating oh, a female orc? I, was gonna say, oh, I think I have to roll for that, dimension. right? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I, still got the, I still got the party box. Shattercock's doing the, the running man next to Grimo. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's all up to you now, Miri. By the way, can I have five gold? So I roll in with my dick between my legs and I say, you wolf man. Yeah. yeah. And I go, and I go Miri, now. And then I look. <laughs> He's on rack and it's already over there. Like and, I, and, I, and I go, yeah. <laughs> There's one on top of my head, too. And I go, I challenge ye to a dance off. In fact, I challenge all of ye to a dance off. And Grimo's like, me, guys, get the peaches. You got it. And I, uh, I pull a bunch of whatever I have in my bag out. There's like two peaches, but the rest of it's like chicken wings and stuff. I was Wait, so say, the skeleton the, of a small rodent. Mary, what happened to all the peaches? Anyway. I left you in charge with all Jeez, the peaches. When did, I'm trying, when I'm they, trying to no distract everyone and make there a dance There were like 50 circle. peaches. Okay. And the card, oh, like the dance well, I, uh, remember the whole wrestling bit? So now we can all yeah. roll to like see who wins the dance off. Uh, all right. Shadowcock's doing the MC Hammer sideways. <laughs> She so this dude, oh, the dude oh. with the bass, starts dancing with you. Okay. He's uh, he's oh doing the weird kick thing. Okay. You want want a, want a yeah, yeah. wall fight? Okay. We are dance, oh, dance fighting. fighting. Yeah. Nine. Ooh. Five. Six. Oh. No, six. Oh, no. my, <laughs> one of my balls falls. <laughs> <laughs> the illusion's destroyed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, best, best you you're right, right, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Features on again, her again. Yeah, my ball. Seventeen. Oh shit. My ball goes back in. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, sixteen. Oh god, so close. <laughs> so he he tries to do a little b boy, uh, but right. slips and falls a little oh, bit. No. Okay. What slips and falls? Okay. The uh, bro is ball? the guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Peach juice. He's still playing. He's, he he hasn't missed a beat on the base though. Okay. All right. All right. Last dance. Eleven. Seven. Mm. Oh, okay. I flick the peach off my head, catch it with my butt cheeks, and then throw it back up <laughs> Whoa. on my head. Oh, wow. And I spin. Uh-huh. And I go, your move. When you spin, he definitely sees your penis and balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just a mess of baloney back and there. It's beautiful. It's like dancing queen. <laughs> and he's doing the thing where he keeps his hand matching. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> 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 taking balls. And the urethra seems to speak. Help me. 
<laughs> and uh, when he spins the ball that had been, or the peach that had been between his butt cheeks, landed on his head. It it flies off and it lands between in Grimo's mouth like, yeah. a, like a rose. Yeah. And then I he wink. passes it to Shatter. He passes it to Shattercock, uh -huh. and then they start tangling. And then uh, Grimo says to Shattercock, he's like, Shattercock, mm -hmm. I think I know what the problem here is. Okay, what do we do? You're a powerful woman. It's true. You're a great warrior. Yeah, and a, and a great dancer. And a great. Well, I think you can be, but I think maybe you need to lead. Okay. All right. All right. I'll roll to lead. Yeah. There we go. Nineteen. Oh, yeah. Confidence. Thank God. Thank God. Confidence to perform. All right. All right. Have you ever heard of a dance move called the skank? <laughs> No, I'm not familiar with that. We don't have to one. Shattercock's last name. Uh, I know. <laughs> All right, hit me with some ska. <laughs> All right, well, hold on a minute. I mean, I had a different track loaded up. I know, so. it's going to take a while. The ram is a little slow. So, um, Derek, Derek <laughs> makes his way through here over to these. He, he just kind of like, pops up like behind the throne. He just goes like this. Yeah, like yeah he just kind of pops up behind two of the, the ladies or whatever. Like, oh. Goes, you know, these. Hello are my subjects. Yes. I am the king of these people. You're the king of this. That you so admire. Group of horrible uh, people. It shows, it shows. And them skanking together. Oh, okay. I think I got this. So, I think I got this, Shadow. Yeah. Some of the orcs can actually get in on the skanking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, oh, that was a Sorry, It's okay. Decker's just standing there, hunched, yeah. naked, pale. Those <laughs> are scary. <laughs> I'm trying so to skank with my. <laughs> my page is... the, the sirens are just clapping. They're, oh, they're, they're, they're fucking loving oh, it. Yeah. This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and they were just looking in this room. They were having a monster <laughs> orgy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what do you think of my people? Oh, it's an interesting group. Um, your performance was a little bit disjointed. Um, and all over the place, but it was just wonderful. I want you to do another one. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah we got tons of performances, right, guys? Yeah. Tons of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do it. Do it. Get on the stage. Get on the stage. Everybody look. She, everybody look. And she casts some magic that gets all of the eyes and oh hit monsters and okay. stuff to Where's look at you guys. So get, it's the big circle back there. Oh, okay. So oh. I'm kind of like, I have my arms around two of them now. And I'm like, I'm kind of like the manager of this group, so you know, like, yeah. I kind of like help them learn out of this, but they know what to do. They'll follow me and my lead. Right, guys? You guys ready? Uh, you got it. Actually, I think we're going to put on a play. Yeah. A performance. A play of our I people. I love the theater. Uh, right. This is the story of how the great Decker dwarf Miriatus. And coughs up a giant wad of cum. Oh. 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 You, uh, is that one part Derek, of your Derek group? Goes, Derek goes, oh. I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> Grima was saying. Oh. Sorry. This is the story of the play of how the great dwarf Myriadus slayed a dragon that Ooh. ultimately ended in the death of all his people. Oh. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> our, our story takes place on a distant uh, wood planet. I mean, wood world. <laughs> oh, a, a forest world uh, <laughs> where the great evil king uh, is trying to kill his small furry people. Oh no! <laughs> Playing the role of Myriadis will be Decker. Uh, just looks over his shoulder. <gasps> He's covered in slime and just vomited up cum. And no. playing the role of the beautiful Rash will be Myriadis. Princess Rash. <laughs> oh, Princess Rash. Princess Rash. I just wave. Decker, um, Decker composes at the himself. time. At the time of our story, Princess Rash and her lovable rogue uh, Myriadis have been separated. And uh, Princess Rash has met a young group of furry woodland creatures. <laughs> I, uh, what do I do with this? What kind of creatures are they? We call them Aquawks. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Yes. Decker puts yeah. his jacket back on, but nothing else. So his little uh, dick's still hanging out. Yeah. And, and he's still covered in slime. I have found Princess Rash and used their weird language. And, I'm like, oh, and <laughs> that's how they talk for the rest of this. <laughs> oh, boy. I stand the director. Yeah. I'm just, I'm the narrator. I'm just uh, narrating. He's the chorus. Yeah. <laughs> and now uh, we have been taken to their forest village where our, um, uh, our jester has been captured. And now is being about to be eaten. Our friends are about to be eaten or something. <laughs> what happened to that movie? <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Just, it's hard to follow the story. Yeah. It's written in a very avant-garde style. Yeah. And, uh, Deckers edgy, not wearing glasses. Edgy, that one that I plays like the it. princess owes me five gold, actually. <laughs> Decker's not wearing glasses, but he's still like, like winks at you. Because he knows? He knows. Decker, uh, wait, was he playing? He's playing very Yeah. Me. Hello, fellow woodland creatures. Who would like to party? Nub nub! Nub nub! Nub Yes, excellent! Nub nub! Nub nub! Nub Let's all party and save our jester. Wait, isn't he playing Miriatus though? <laughs> 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 yes. is, that, is that the way Miriatus I, I, I had a very also obsessed with parties. It's hard to come up with a one to one on this one. <laughs> Chauncey too comes in. He oh. somehow found a full dragon costume. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's costumes it's and it's musical instruments and shit yeah. everywhere. Oh, okay, oh yeah. yeah, oh no, it's the Star of Death Dragon. He comes in. <laughs> it's half finished. I will sway, sway you, Miriatus. Wait. What? Sorry, Pulling uh, yeah. up a song. And I, am, yeah. I will get kill it. your beautiful bride, Rash. No, that would harsh the party vibes way yeah. too hard. That's not Marietta. It's not good at acting, okay? <laughs> I like, yeah. I grovel in front of yeah. Chauncey. I'm like, no. No. Save me, Decker. I, Miri. Be safe. I'm blowing cum breath. Kiss me. Be, be <laughs> still, Kiss me, Rash. Miri. You're my wife now. Yeah. I mean, Rash. <laughs> I shall protect you and then. Then we will have sex. Um, be be gone, demon. Um, you have everyone to kill else me. Just standing on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are the other orcs doing? <laughs> well, introduce me to new characters. I told you guys oh, about. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Introduce the new characters. Uh, this is when it gets really good. Yeah. We we need help from our loyal friends. Uh, yes, we. Shatter Dick and I have just <laughs> motion to Grimo. <laughs> All right. Where are the bad guys in the story? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, oh I say. the world. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of people. We then. The World. We cut to a, a scene where oh. our, the bad guy. our hero, oh. Derek, meets with his father, the dragon, uh, where one of the... <laughs> the <laughs> uh, just, uh, hold on, as I was saying, uh, then, then Shattercock walks in and he goes, I am the villain, Darth Shatter! <laughs> <He's perfect. laughs> I don't know what to do. From there. <laughs> I shall vanquish the Darth Shatter. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Um, I'm playing Lord. I'm playing. Um, yeah, Derek. The last night. Uh, the last good night. Light night. He goes. I sense good in you, Dragon Father. Who's who? Are, which one are you? Wait. Talking? You. The main character I mean, changed. I mean, I'm I'm that's what you said. I'm the dragon got Wait, written out. Really 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 for me, son. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> All right. Well, come. Come meet my other new character. There's another one. <laughs> Wait, who's left? Is anybody left? Dere uh, I guess Derek's left. Chauncey won. He's over there. Can with maybe him. play the oh, emperor. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 You have all the orcs too. Yeah. yeah. There's plenty of extras. That's true. Um, Come meet my new. Uh, he's my master. Oh. I call him Dog Purrer. You. Oh, you may have tempted my father, Dog Purrer, but you will never turn <laughs> me to the evil dragon side. <laughs> Oh, the dragon's there too? <laughs> well, but yeah, he's listening. He's been listening the whole time. <laughs> oh, I think Chauncey 1 is. Jo no. Chauncey 1's the dog. Oh, wait, Chauncey 2 is just. But Chauncey 2 is there. Chauncey 2 can play interrupting the scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the guys are really disrupting the flow right the now. How's the there. audience taking all yeah. this? <laughs> They're a little confused, but very <laughs> interested. Well, we did come in on the third act. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. We got a lot of characters to drop on them. <laughs> Who's playing dog purr? I will. I'll play uh, dog Okay. Oh, I'll line. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you may have turned my father to the evil side, but I will, won't do that. You are not a Jedi. <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Strike me down, my father. <laughs> <laughs> And take, <laughs> I can't do this. Uh, Lord Break Derek, the bar, please on my side. Dork, Dork, Derek looked down at the sword and then looked back out the window and said, "No, nigh." Wait, so all of Who are, are, you, nigh? are you Luke in this story? <laughs> Derek is Luke. That's not based on me, but yeah. it's close. It's <laughs> pretty close. Okay. Excuse your name. So this who's is actually playing Derek. You are. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Reaction is playing yeah. Derek so playing Luke, Luke Skywalker. All right. so, got it. Okay. Uh, Who wants to be Leia? <laughs> Chauncey two kind of like the dragon still in there. Pulls okay. uh, like play. one of the like straps off. Of Rash's dress. Ooh. How dare you, foul, How lustful dragon, dare reveal my nakedness. The valor of my lady. <laughs> save me, Miri. I shall save thee. Yeah, okay, that's why the dragon. I know. He thinks there's one thing every 20 minutes. He's going for it every <laughs> <laughs> He talked right over it. 
eyes. <laughs> you cannot defeat the dragon. This galaxy is ours. Hold on. Uh, a galaxy is like my uh, dearest trash. Stars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's, so, what's that one? Are doing? you the bad guy? Are that you one? a bad guy or yeah. a good guy? Yeah. Yeah. Are they You're, together? She's the uh, death. It's really unclear. She's a star, star death yeah, yeah, dragon. You got it. You got it. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I guess. I guess. Hard cut to. Uh, I'm holding my dead father. Oh, we're in the uh, middle of a scene. Father, we, you you can leave now. You you can come with me. It is too late. I I have been struck down by the dog purr. And you'll have to leave me here with Chauncey too. Okay. All right. I leave. And then Darth oh, Darth Darth, Darth, Shatter, yeah. Darth Shatter dies. Uh, it sees Chauncey too. Uh, make sure you kill them before uh, we leave. No problem. <laughs> the end. Oh right. no, the dog well, purr is getting away. Well then, and then oh, the sometimes in the middle of a play they say the end, but it keeps going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dog purr is going away. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, because they have the yeah, dog purr is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> he threw him. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm still alive. <bright. laughs> <laughs> Now, now you're laying yeah, on here a, comes a real good part. Yeah, okay. they, they know their lines. This is this is a really good part coming up here. Listen okay. to this. I can't wait. It's a really um, beautiful monologue okay. from one of the characters. Oh uh, well, Derek goes. All right. There, the end. <laughs> but again, sometimes they say that, and it keeps going. It's okay. My father is now dead, and light is lit on fire behind me, and the woodland fur creatures have. Come together to sing our song. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Oh, it's their closing yeah. song. It's a musical number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, we learned boy. this. This was actually Wait. composed by the Jai Yen boys. If you've oh, ever heard of them. Oh, yeah, they're good. Can I? I want to teleport at this part. Nope. Over to <laughs> <laughs> we need you, Mary, for this part. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm a scout man. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure if he's doing the dog voice or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even the real song, by the way. You didn't play Yub Nub. What is Yub Nub? No. It's the it's the revamped version. Even have subtitles. I, oh. I know, but it's the and, other. And so, so from the water, uh, the trout prince pops his head out, and he goes, he goes, "Meow, my brother, attack!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, the trout fish start leaping, <laughs> leaping at everyone on the stage, just filling the stage. Then, but they immediately flop they down. Yeah, 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 they're attacking you guys. I guess they're Crab jumping onto this. Yeah. Oh, Crablonius no. pops up, and I'll I'll translate. Yeah. Not yet. It is in August. <laughs> And he goes back under. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, all those bear creatures eating off the truck. <laughs> <laughs> <Our> kingdom! <laughs> We've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> we should never have invaded the airline. It was a trap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The end. Uh, <laughs> and again, sometimes it just keeps going. <laughs> that, that's not the end, okay. Yeah. But that is the end. Oh, oh God. Wow. That. So what did you that think? That was amazing. That was really just wonderful. The whole cast lines up and we all start yeah. bowing. We're bowing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Derek's clapping. Are there more people? Pieces to this story that happened before or after nope. or, or somewhere. Nope, that's the only piece. <laughs> it seems that's kind it. of disconnected and all over that's the place. It. No, that's it. That's the no? whole thing. Okay. You no. don't want five more movies. <laughs> you saw it all. So, so um, what do you think? Can we have you guys the gold are wonderful. Or what are we here for? <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys are just absolutely wonderful. Weird and, and strange, and that makes you wonderful. That's about um, yourself, Sirens. But what are it, your names, by the way? Is, is um, you know, we don't really have names right now. Um, right now, <laughs> between names, I'm gonna call you Cindy. <laughs> That's close. You're, um, uh, Philippipede. Philippipede? Sure. That's a good one. Uh, and Selena. Philippipede and Selena. Selena. Jason Momoa. Mm -hmm. oh. That's a good girl name. So, um, is, is that all you got? Uh, all we got? That no, it's really it taking out of us. You see that? You see what we just did? did? Do you want some orange slices to rejuvenate yourselves? <laughs> why, sure, yeah, why not? Right. Right. Takes the orange monster slices. shows up sushi, with a bunch sushi. of slices. Oh, he takes the orange slices and he holds them over his nipples. <laughs> tucks his penis in. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, there there is the other story that's older than time itself. Oh, that's true. Oh, Ooh, wow. more stories. Please, please. Oh, I don't know if you want to tell that story. Well, I'm not going to tell it. 
Shattercock is. Jeez. Oh, oh, okay. It's your favorite story of all time. Um, all right, well. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> there once was a, 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 a good guy, or I'm sorry, a character named Green, uh, Grook. And Grook, mm -hmm. uh, he lived on a desert planet. Mm -hmm. Oh, nope. Desert. Desert. Oh, no, lived in a desert. Lived in a desert. Lived in a desert with his uh, aunt and uncle, um, uh, Uncle Derek, <laughs> and Aunt Mary. Again, not not me. That's oh, no. just, just a no. common name. Right. Coincidence. Oh, okay. Until one day, a dragon a oh, <laughs> came in <laughs> and killed uh, the aunt and uncle. Mm -hmm. And but then Derek's uncle. Who was hiding no. in the hills? No, nope. uh, it, it was Grook. 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 I'm sorry. What did I say? Uncle Derek. Oh, oh, sorry. Uncle Derek. Wait. Oh, Uncle Derek's dead. Uh, Uncle Derek and, and Aunt Grook. Mary. Grook. Grook's father's old friend came from the hills and took him far away in the distant land with um, a bear and a homosexual. His name was Obi Wan to Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We're talking about. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. Yes, of course. So the sodomite and <laughs> the bear. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, then Obi Wan to Kobe gave him they go gave to him the uh, the wisdom of knowing when and how to party. <laughs> <laughs> and also a laser it's a bit one note at this a point. Laser okay. sword is what uh, yes, also a laser sword. Uh, well, I mean, a giant glow could, stick, could if you, you will. Swords. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's just, it's just but instant at, party. But at this time, they find um, Grook's sister. That's revealed. <laughs> Early. Later. <laughs> earlier. <laughs> the end! <laughs> but now, mind you, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the end. It could, in fact, just be the beginning. But then Dekobi fought uh, Darth was, Grook. Well, I don't know. Darth Grook, yeah. Yeah, sure. He was one of the orcs. You know what? This isn't go. any fun. You guys sitting Runch. here where they're having all the fun yeah. up there. Why don't you guys get up there? Go. Okay, I don't know the story, Cindy, but you we get up there. You seem like a guy like a Get on up there, Cindy. Get on up there, Selena. There's a scene where Pan Bolo is running into a group of warriors and he cannot fight them and we need extras to play yes. those people all of you get Darth there. Cindy once yes. you taught me how to party but now I am the party master <laughs> 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 they're all moving over Cindy strike me down everyone myself. everyone get out there <laughs> pick a part <laughs> and go for it it's great strike me down and I shall party harder than everyone has ever partied Cindy oh, yeah. strike me down Lena, strike me down now Cindy like I guess Oh, and then I just sort of like whoosh out under my jacket, so my cum cum filled jacket just falls to the floor, and then I run back and dive into the orgy. <laughs> <laughs> so Cindy looks at Grook, who's Grimo. played by Grimo, yeah. standing next to their boat, and they're all running towards the boat, and he starts. Cindy starts marching slowly towards you. Grimo's he's never had this big of a role before, so he's like a deer in headlights. <laughs> he's like doesn't know what to do. That's big of a role. Grook's little gnome friend. Does some magic and shuts the door in front of Cindy. And then uh, uh, I use, fuck it, I use the the mic and speaker on my laptop to project. Run, Grook, run. <laughs> so Grook runs. Fly, you fools. <laughs> Grook runs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's called a cliffhanger. <laughs> And make yeah, sure that you want to see the next one. <laughs> <laughs> there was a wonderful tale. Okay. Um, all right. Let me confirm with my sisters for a moment. All right. Um, so all the creatures kind of disperse again. Derek stays right there. Like he stands right there. <laughs> as the sisters are trying to have a conversation. Good, good, good. Derek's if you wouldn't mind, hmm? um, Mr. Derek. Oh, uh, sorry. Go yes. Joining sorry. Your, your slave people. Steps away, but his ear is turned. Sorry, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, sorry, <laughs> pardon me, excuse me, sorry. All right, so the room falls silent as the sirens look around at each other. Uh, they're, they're... As, as he's walking back down to everyone else, he does kind of like this thing where he goes... So you can't it? really, uh, you can't really tell anything from their expression. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but Grimo, he just got the, uh, tomorrow morning's paper. <laughs> And with a re re review of his performance, and it's not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good. Oh, poor Play good. good. Grimo good. bad. Uh, sorry, Dan. Sorry. No, no, no. Keep going. That, I mean, it's just not good. What does it say? A tepid. Oh, uh, oh boy. Uh, clearly the biggest role he's ever had. Couldn't handle it. Uh, uh, didn't, it, like, ran, but to wear. Headline says, uh, mm. like, uh, like, Grimo Rudefellow's performance had us running away. 
Like mm -hmm. ellipses away. Very impressed wow. by Obi Wan to Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> Born for the stage. What can you despite say? despite expert direction from uh, Derek oh, yeah. <laughs> Bens Lord, um, Grimo could not seal yeah. the deal on stage. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, Dan. Go ahead. No, don't, don't, don't apologize. <laughs> Keep going. Um, so, um, yeah, the sirens are talking, ch chatting at each other. Mm -hmm. um, they turn back to you, and they go, "How incredibly different that was." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little ahead of its time. And we had such high hopes for your haggard crew. I sens sensed a great deal of perversion in all of you. Sadly. While your many holes may have pleased us, we require more from our court. I tire of you little creatures. Hopefully your roasted flesh will be more enticing than that pitiful attempt at entertainment. Cindy! <laughs> Dear Kurt, we, we open on a snow plane. <laughs> oh, you're gonna try again. Giant horses! Move on to no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> just pulls rocks. Stop it, stop it, no. Uh, Selena walks to the top of the steps and looks down at you. Have fun with the butchers. Run and fight if you like. Our chefs can make a delicious meal out of the toughest cut of meat. She, she has her trident and stamps it on the ground. The, the room starts to shake. Before you can react, a previously unseen crack in the platform you stand on splits wide open. Oh, Darkness below you. You feel nothing below your feet, and then you notice yourself dropping. <sighs> dang it. So all of us fall through? Yeah. Oh, wow. hmm. Did they empty the orgy in there, too? No, no. no Orgies no. everywhere. Or, that yeah. circle platform kind of opened, and you I guys... I dove in... Well, fuck it. We'll just say... Yeah, you're, oh, you're, are you off? Yeah, man. So, I, yeah, you saw, you I saw everybody else. I vacuumed out of my coat, and I d dove right back into that monster orgy. Oh boy, I thought you were on stage. Nah, sorry. All right, so yeah, you guys are plunging in darkness, uh, and that's the end of season three. Oh, oh, hey! oh geez. My God, what a cliff. Hey, okay, I'm going to change quiet. my class to barbarian slash director. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're all yeah. just making up classes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be, making uh, up. I'll be lead fighter. Uh, Jesus. Oh, what an insult. Who was the guy guarding the door back here? Oh, oh yeah. Sajmo. Sajmo. I shout Sajmo. Did you say something? Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Okay. You guys have fun this season. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. That was, uh, yeah, we did it. And, and out there. there. And real out there. And if this show gets canceled, they all died when they hit the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's over. <laughs> the last thing Grimo saw was another poor review <laughs> of uh, his performance. And yeah, do you guys really want to leave this? with Decker and uh, unspeakable pleasure for the rest of time. Again. Sure. No. That would be the worst. Yeah, he that. keeps saying the word pleasure, but everything he describes sounds like yeah, the opposite. No, the horrible and disgusting. There's just, he's just rubbing up against a hairy flesh wall at this yeah. point. It's like oh, spinning well. around. It's all getting tangled in his teeth. <laughs> oh. He's having a good time, I guess. Uh, who, right. who am I to judge? <laughs> if you enjoyed the series, please tell your friends about mm -hmm. becoming a first member because like Dan was saying, we can continue doing this if people watch it and if people become first members. So there's a ton of other great content besides Twists and Crits. Um, there's the wrestling documentary that James and Lawrence just did. House of Pain. There's House of Pain. There's uh, stuff that we don't produce. There's like a relationship goals is first Theater only. Mode. Theater mode. Uh, yeah. Theater mode. Full yeah. episodes of Funhouse Gameplays, mm -hmm. Full House. So yeah, just thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Dan, for yeah. doing like an yeah, exceptional thanks job you guys DMing. For being awesome. Thanks, thanks Dan. Dan. Thank you, Dan. Um, of course. It. I think You're this the is hero. the funniest season yet. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. And again, it got if, off the rails. But. If it gets canceled, they hit the ground, all die. <laughs> that way that's clear. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, support us as best you can. Check out first. Tell your friends about first, because clearly you are already supporting us if you're mm -hmm. watching this. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, get other people to tune in. Tell them how weird we get. Um, <laughs> maybe that'll appeal. Yeah, maybe. But yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, try and support us, and hopefully we can be back for another season. Thanks for watching. Uh-oh. What? Sajmo just turned 18. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> the door shuts on him. Just tune in next season yeah. to watch him die. Yeah, no, he's dead. All right. Those doors close real slow, too. <laughs> Bye. 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 My father is now dead, and light is lit on fire behind me. And the woodland fur creatures have come together to sing our song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if he's doing the dog voice or not. <laughs> <laughs> Burp, burp. Selena walks to the top of the steps and looks down at you. Have fun with the butchers. Run and fight if you like. Our chefs can make a delicious meal out of the toughest cut of meat. She, she has her trident and stamps it on the ground. 
the the room starts to shake. Before you can react, a previously unseen crack in the platform you stand on splits wide open. Darkness below you. You feel nothing below your feet, and then you notice yourself dropping. (sighs) Dang it. Welcome, everyone, to Twits and Crits. We are Funhouse, and we're playing Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, We are going to kind of culminate three seasons of our story today with big climactic finale. Twits and Crits series finale? (gasps) <gasps> yes, yeah, but then we're going to start again. Oh, start again. yeah, oh. we're starting again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. We get canceled mid episode. Mid season special. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 what we've been building up to the last three seasons, though, this story arc, we're kind of like bringing to a soft close, right? Mm. Sure. It's like soft the close. Infinity War. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> portals that dude on a spoon. Uh, yeah, does anyone remember, remember what, like the, what like you guys the were doing Teresa last? the Rosa arc from One Piece or the Cell Saga from Dragon well, Ball. Well, I yes. believe in the last episode we retold Star Wars. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was an orgy, right? Wasn't yeah. there an orgy that we were? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we interrupted the orgy on that island because we were looking for some person. Broga. We Broga, found Broga. And we impressed them with our dance. Yeah. Right? And, and then your epic play. We, and we the had a play, play that we Star put Wars on. Play, yeah. Star War of Wars the Stars. Play. War of the Stars. War, yeah. <laughs> Didn't War something the like cataclysmic happen at the end of it? They, dro- they or, floor or, dropped on the floor, floor yeah. and then we fell. Yeah, they were really so unimpressed like, with your... Performance. Well, they, didn't like well it? they seemed like they liked oh, it. I just on. think it was. It wasn't it that we put up some resistance to doing more. They wanted more from us. And we we're like, ah. Yeah, maybe that was it. All right. So yeah, you um, you guys were dropped in a hole after your uh, shitty play. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. So yeah, the floor beneath your feet splits down the middle and parts more quickly than you can react. You're free falling for a few seconds through the air. We're just gonna jump into it, by the way. All right, we're in it. Fall into it. Everybody roll a 20, a dex check. You got it. Shit. Is it dex? Uh, 10. Eight. 13. Holy shit, 24. Ooh, two. How high Nat 20. Shit. All right, so uh, Derek and Grimo do some sweet spins in the air and perfect dives down into uh, some water mm. that's, that's maybe 100 feet below where you drop. Oh, boy. Uh, Shattercock. You know what happens uh, when she hits the water. Yeah. Uh, belly first, and then uh, your bikini top just bursts. <laughs> that sounds like a 20, though. <laughs> <laughs> what is she wearing? Like if a I roll a 20, that would happen. What too, is she though. wearing? A bikini top? Um, I don't know if she was wearing the top, but the bottoms fall off, too. Okay, yeah. Does she clench? Uh Uh-oh. oh oh yeah yeah absolutely she clenches okay. otherwise it'll get all sucked up in there. I'm also confused as to how she hit belly first. If she was falling, oh, it would have been giant tits first. Yes, right? uh, okay, yeah. sorry, just sorry. That's okay. Well, she got the hips sorry, though. Lawrence. So if she had hips, her hips come out as far <laughs> as the boobs. Okay, I mean they'd have to hit at the same time. Definitely, Wait, she's real but curvy. Bottom line, she's naked. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. So and uh, Miri and Raxan um, hit hard, and because they're wearing armor, actually start to sink. Is this the end of Raxan? <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Adam. Let's kill me. <laughs> he wants off the show so bad. <laughs> so yeah, they're drowning. I don't know if you guys are uh, are gonna do anything about it. So who's drowning? The four uh, of them. Oh, yeah, uh, Miri and Raxan. Okay. Just, but what happened to what happened to Decker? Oh, uh, kind of a normal kind of just feet oh, first through the water. Oh, yeah. Pencil drop. But yeah, but I'm still sinking. <laughs> uh, I noticed that Raxan is drowning and also that he wants to drown. So I absolutely cast Levitate on him <laughs> to make sure that he uh, that he stays alive. He just shoots out of the water yeah. Yeah. R- real quick. Kind of dejected, I guess. All right. I don't know if he wanted to die. <laughs> Miri is uh, sinking. I mean, I already had, Derek already has the momentum, so he'll just plunge and then try and grab uh, Miri to bring him up. Roll a 20. I actually forgot you guys have a couple of orcs with you, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay. Um, At least so it wasn't my, me at stake. Right? You, you, do, you do grab onto him real hard, but then a, a tentacle kind of comes out from under the water and starts yanking you both. Uh-oh. Down. It's like, where are the stars? 3 P-3-O. P3 <laughs> I already did the levitate, so somebody else has to help. Oh, you're drowning, too. So I'm, I'm going to go for Miri. That's what you I know. just did. Oh, you did? Then now we're going down with the tentacle. Oh, sorry. I thought you were going for Raxan, too. Raxan's um, out. Yeah, I already, I already I'll, got right. I'll, I'm safe. I'll, Try I'm gonna forever. So twelve plus anything, Dan? Uh, strength. Strength. Uh, oh boy, I don't know about Grimo's strength. Uh, so eleven. <laughs> you got a negative yeah. motherfucker on your strength. <laughs> Eleven's enough. You 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 Check. managed to. So I grab Miri, but I don't know about Derek. So Derek was kind of down, like grabbing onto Miri. So it might have made more sense to you for you to like grab onto Derek's tail or something or his oh. leg. Hmm. Um, but it worked. You guys, you guys are up, up above the water. You want me for oh, this one, dog me? brain? Don't grab my tail. 
I was, so, I was reaching for Miri, just so you know. You're in some water, but the room you're in is extremely dark, save for three shafts of light that are illuminating the water from the room above, because you guys were in this throne room. Uh, you see partiers up above uh, through the holes. Uh, they're kind of watching you with bated breath. Uh, dark vision doesn't really seem to see in, into the cave. So you guys are kind of floating there. I'm going to use prestidigitation, make a little orb of light while I'm like slapping the water and gasping pathetically. Somewhere in there, I, I imagine uh, I'm able to cast a ball of a ball of sparkles. Okay, so your your little ball of sparkles hovers around, and you catch a glimpse of a kind of a rocky beach uh, mm. further off to the west of you. Did you say we saw partiers? Yeah. So uh, last season, when you were dropped through yeah. the hole, there were some. Oh, the, oh, it's the people that were at the party with us. Okay, yeah, I didn't yeah. know if it was new. Yeah, so it was like people. an orgy, and they were they're kind of looking down oh, to see the what same happens. people. Oh, okay, they're sort of it's paying like attention. We got dropped into some kind of pit. The monster in it. People watching us. Hope there's no. Rank cores. Nice. <laughs> nice job. So yeah, the, the cavern's about 200 feet wide. At the northern end of the room, uh, this is after you kind of lit up the room, you can see it. The northern end of the room, there are stairs carved into the rocks leading upward. Uh, on the west wall of the beach is covered, uh, kind of a rock wall covered in cracks and holes that kind of lead further off into the darkness. Oh, a beach party. Let's make our way to dry land. So the party can continue. Okay. Slapping at the water and then get over there. So the Shattercock swims towards Decker and we all go, to, there's a beach you said we're swimming towards the beach? Kind of like a rocky okay. beachish area. Got my little umbrella. Play some tunes again. Shattercock, uh, while she, as she pops out of the water, it's like, again, like a shampoo commercial. She whips back her hair and she does this thing. Uh, she's completely and totally naked. So uh, just lit up by, the, by the, the orb of light, you can see water droplets all over her. Extremely hard nipples. The water's very good. Oh, and starfish just cling over her nipples. Oh, oh okay. Like they well, that's know. Right. No, actually, the starfish, there's only on, on one nipple. Oh, okay. You can still see the other. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, other star <laughs> the other one didn't get the memo. <laughs> oh, no. It's all over. Yeah. Then she makes it up. So uh, you guys make your way onto the beach. Uh, kind of once you set foot onto the rocks, these braziers that are kind of set into the ceiling light a fire so the whole room is, is lit up now. Uh, uh, a giant creature shoots out of the water. Uh, this is a sea squatch. He, he jumps out of the water. Uh, he's about 10 feet tall, dark green fur, and has these long seven foot tentacles kind of coming out of his crotch area. Nice. Um, so yeah, he shoots out of the water and soars through the air and lands behind Miri and Raxon and uh, swings his big tentacle arm. Uh, and you guys go flying. You oh. take. <laughs> We're expecting that. <laughs> Where are you? Like, I'm falling. <laughs> I'm drowning. I'm okay. I'm hit. <laughs> All right, you guys take four damage, and That's you right. fly 15 feet away from the monster. Okay. Uh, roll initiative. Wait, we're right into it, huh? Oh boy. Oh, that's bad. We'll see you guys in Sorry. a few years. I got eight. I got a nine. Uh, six. Right. Seventeen, I think. Okay. And I'm five. Yes, 17. 18, baby. Mm. I want to only roll in really high numbers or really low numbers. Not nowhere in the middle. All right, Derek, um, you're, so the the Sea Squatch kind of landed behind Mary and Raxon and knocked them away. Mm -hmm. So you guys are about 15 feet. We're, we're going to do some theater of the mind battle. We haven't done that yet. Okay. But uh, relative space, you're about 15, 20 feet away from this monster. Well, I see, I see the two of them go flying over my head. And then I do what any caring friend would do, and I run away from them towards the monster <laughs> with two weapons. Um, I have my axe and my scimitar, and I'm gonna try and attack. Sweet. Ooh. One. Oh, that's, that's not gonna do it. So far your strategy's working. Oh, that was a one? That was a one. Okay. And then a seven plus, uh, so a nine, a one and a nine. Okay, so um, you see your friends fall and then turn and run towards the monster. Uh, you turn a little too quickly, uh, twist your ankle a little bit, and fall into the rocks. Uh, your yeah, this out cold. <laughs> <laughs> your, your scimitar uh, slices your little pinky finger. Oh, uh, and you take um, pinky damage. Is this the end of Derek? <laughs> <laughs> you take uh, his heart stopped. <laughs> You take He's four dead. pinky damage. It's like a paper cut, which danger, like painful, very yeah. painful, oh, but it's not going to kill you. Um, Miri. Okay. 
He was doing a lot of research. No, uh, for this. justice. I shouldn't get my bearings again. <laughs> I'm not are we trying to trips. kill? Are we trying to kill this thing? What would Miri do? Derek was trying to kill uh, it. I think. All right, I'm just gonna do my turn the faithless, which is my channel divinity. Make I'm gonna away. shine my shield at it, yeah, and try and get it away so we can either like back it into a corner or figure out what to do with it. Um, Stomps him. Which is uh, <laughs> he twists his ankle and then falls shield first onto Derek. Knocks himself out. <laughs> right as he's getting up. Yeah. Elephant uh, falls from a blank. Page, lands page, on. <laughs> page eighty-seven. Blah blah blah. Utter words to. Why does it say page eighty-seven? Yeah, you don't. We're not gonna look it up. No, people are following people along at home. Do you have in their books? Yeah. Person. Person is following yeah, along at home. You, you got a book. You you play your own game of D and D. All right. What do I need to roll, Matt? I don't know. It's an action. Uh, a saving throw. Hang on. What is your spell save DC, Matt? Should be on the second or third page at the top. Yeah, is this the end of Mariatus? <laughs> <laughs> I got it here. Spell save DC. It's ten. I imagine it's all ten. this ten. Is, is happening as he's soaring through the air. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Yeah. Sorry, it misses. After all that. No. no! He didn't utter the words. Though. To be expected. It just kind of laughs at you. So maybe Sorry, maybe guys. whatever light is yeah, emanating from your shield kind of it doesn't like a little bit, but nice. it's, it's not really. Like it's not bothered like enough this. to run away. Yeah. Well, it's dark in the cave, so yeah. there may not be enough light to reflect to be effective. Oh, the yeah. power of mild inconvenience. Yeah, it's, it's the monster's turn. Yeah. 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 So, uh, see. I tied your shoelaces together. After being slightly annoyed at the light that you're emanating, trying to turn it away, um, it swings at you twice with its giant tentacles. Oh, no. wow. He hasn't even hit the ground yet. What's yeah. your AC, Matt? Eighteen. All right. So one of those hits. and a shield. All right. Nine damage. Jeez, you should have cut yourself. Yeah, no. Huh? Shattercock. All right, so uh, Shattercock's going to cast uh, Agonazar's Scorcher. Agonazar's Scorcher, I don't know how to say it. It doesn't work. You got hit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, she's, so what she needs to do is she needs, she needs to jockey for position because it's a five-foot long or five-foot wide stream of fire that comes out of her. Okay, so yeah, you take a few steps off to the right to kind of get the right angle. So sort of get the right angle, so I make sure I don't hit Derek uh, and Miri. Um, oh, he's on the ground. And then, uh, so it's 30-foot long, five feet wide, 3d8 fire damage. Um, do I? Or do you need to? Uh, do you have a spell save or no? I can't I don't see. think it does. It's got to. I, th okay. My eyes I, mean, don't like, work. I don't. I'm not sure that it does. You don't just auto hit. We'll make it up here. Yeah. Um, Nebuchadnezzar's fire. It's, it's not in there. Nebuchadnezzar's. Oh, you just found it. You made this, it up. No, this is from. No, an, it's, it's from an bonus. Stuff. Yeah, it's from uh, yeah, It hits. It hits. Okay. So I need three d eight. If anybody can give me a three d eight. I think that's the eight, right? I didn't give you an eight. That's not an eight. Well, Perfect. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh wait, there's four of them. Hold on. Roll Get those. rid of the bottom one. Hold on, hold on. Roll those I'll bones. Roll I'll roll again. Oh my god. There we go. That's, That's solid roll. 11, 15. So your your flame bursts out and uh, the the sea squatch kind of catches fire a little bit and a bunch of his hair burns off. Aww. So he's got all this scorched, it roast smells skin. terrible in there. It oh, it's terrible. it's rank. Yeah. It was already bad, like dead fish smell, but now it's. De dead fish and is that dead fish, dead fish was, was that coming from Shattercock? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Right. So, someone do an investigation check. <laughs> All right, uh, Grimo. Okay, so Grimo's gonna uh, fire his short uh, bow at it. Um, see if I hit. So thirteen plus five is eighteen. Hits. And then ooh, uh, nine. That's my damage. Nice. And I'm gonna do a cunning action and disengage. Uh, after, and I'm gonna jump into Shattercock's sack. Oh yeah, I have Shagway's sack, the big sack. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I'm just jump jumping in there. into it? Yeah, I'm just jumping there and hide. Um, Raxon. Uh, are we, we're near a body of water? Yeah. Okay, so I think I suffered a little bit of brain damage after, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's me, Mr. Water! <laughs> <laughs> after Shattercock levitated me, I think some of that water went to my brain. So, <laughs> I, I take my javelin, break it in half and I take the sharp end and put it in my teeth and I dive in the water because now I'm looking for dry land. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Sure. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. And I think I have gills. Okay. So uh, I dive into the water and I want to stab it underneath. Uh, I'll roll the creature. The creature's on the beach. Underneath. Creature's on land. Oh, it's it on land. Yeah, it over it onto the land. All right, I'm trying to swim away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, everything you said could still work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're insane, and you're trying to stab <laughs> it underneath. You're trying okay. to like die for and pearls. And you have brain damage, definitely. Well, no, I'm trying to show 
Gene Triplehorn, the bottom of like New York. Or I'm whatever. not going to tell you how to do your job, Dan. But if he rolls low, it, he should make him not be allowed to do that. And he accidentally I was goes and fights the monster. I was going to go try to stab <laughs> it underwater. I thought also the more that you do this, the, the longer this fight takes. No, no, I know. I, I literally thought it was in the water. I can I can undo that. You can roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Just, if what if you put it in just, your teeth and then you do this, but you're walking? Sure. Around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. I think I'm underwater. There you go. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. Gene style. got he got water. Brain. I got yeah. this gene. Yeah. Okay. His perception of water. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nice. So it hits. You, you hit. Roll, roll, for, hits. roll for damage with whatever you were swinging at it. Uh, which one's the other? <laughs> <Roll> <laughs> it is. What are you, you swinging at? What you're using? What? Yeah. Oh, uh, there's a javelin on my mouth, so that's uh, a six. Oh, he had his javelin. <laughs> it's a broken javelin, but yeah. Uh, uh, Ooh. Six plus three. Mm. For piercing damage. All right, yeah. So this thing's starting to to bleed pretty heavily. Mm. Uh, it is the orcs' turn. Um, oh yeah, the orcs. Yeah, one of them drowns. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <Good time. Aww. laughs> that happens. We'll sing tales of you, whoever your name is. He was almost eighteen. Uh, yeah, I, was say, say. I hope it was one of the young men. Two of them shoot bows. Those are my men. <laughs> There's no arrows. That's what you though, say right? to me. One of them hits. For me. <laughs> Remember for... your king captain. <laughs> Four damage. Who was that? Um, <laughs> so this guy would step <laughs> back, and this guy would step back, and they cast mage armor on themselves. Oh, cool. And themselves. Another Losers. one throws a spear. They're having a great game. And, yeah, I know. Good and for them. it sails right over the guy. All right, Decker. <laughs> it's your other pit. It's your <laughs> <laughs> um, and they, they, they kind of stay at a distance from this thing. Good thing Decker's here to show everyone what true heroism is. I would agree. He, uh, he whips out his laptop. Brushes some of the water off of it. It still works. Don't question it. Uh, hits a lot of buttons. Levitates a little bit. And casts Scorching Ray, which looks really cool, I promise. Um, so that's... Uh, there's three rays of fire. Uh, range spell attack for each ray. Uh, and let's see here. My spell... Spell casting ability or spell attack bonus? Which one do I use for that? Is that, that Scorching Ray? It's an attack. Spell so, attack bonus? Yeah. Then? Okay, I think it's plus so, six. I would roll and add six. You got it. Ha! Huh. So that's Ooh. 24 for one oh, ray. Hits. 12 for Ooh. one ray. And nine for a ray. One of those hits. Dang. All right. Uh, and then it's. Actually, no, wait. You said you rolled a 12? Yeah. Okay, so two of those hits. Great. And it's 2d6 fire for each. I'm going to borrow a d6 from somebody. Oh, yeah. Ah, thank you. All right. Okay. So that's five damage for one of the rays and six damage for the other. All right, Derek, it's your turn. You're laying on the ground. I'm kind of like woozy from hitting my head on that rock and cutting my finger open, um, but I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, at, I'm gonna go for it. So then I rage out. I'm gonna do my rage. Um, more frustrated with myself than anything. Um, so I'm just gonna do another dual wield swing at him. So that's ten plus two, twelve. Twelve hits. All right. Do you want me to roll for each hand? Sure. I think that's more fun. Each finger. All oh. right. Well, that's the one with the broken six. Pinky. That's the other thing. Ow! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so, um, you rage out. Your blood pressure goes up. So you're like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just follow. Over. So I'm I'm using the scimitar sword. So that was one d six. Plus, I have to remember that I get to do. Oh wait, I have advantage on strength checks. It's not a strength check. Wow, we've been using it the whole time. I <laughs> <laughs> change now. Wrong. Um, all right, so I get bonus damage to this. Uh, one plus two for the rage. All right, so yeah, your, your scimitar kind of glances off its hip, takes a little chunk out of it. Uh, you know, it's bleeding a little bit. Um, and suddenly a voice starts speaking, uh, into your mind with no kind of discernible source. Uh, make this look good. Keep fighting and I won't hurt you too much. We need to keep going and make this fight look good for those watching above. My name is Buffina. I'm trapped in a crystal at the center of this castle, in its very heart, and I have taken possession of this monster to beg your assistance. I need your help to wrest this castle and its immense power from the demons that have infected it. Finish this beast and follow the caves across the beach deeper into the mountain. Keep right, and I will find you there. So the, uh, the sea squatch uh, kind of swings at Miri a little bit, but overextends himself 
kind of purposely and exposes his, his back through like a, a big giant swing. So I need it's all Mary's the, turn and you're staring right at the back. I need of the all the help I can back. get. Yeah. <laughs> this big glowing yeah. orb. So my eyes kind of get bug eyed with this opportunity. <laughs> And uh, chance, all I need yeah. to do is not screw this yeah. up. I'm going like, to try, ah! try and stab it with my sword, a one handed. One handed, yeah. Ah! <laughs> one handed? One handed attack. All right, so that uh, would be. It's a nine, right? Nine plus, I forget. What do I have? You have a proficiency? Strength. Okay. And proficiency. And proficiency? Yeah, there you go. You did it. Hit. 14. Yeah, you all got him. Right. I hit it, and then, all right. Sorry, it's been a while. It's been a while. All right, him. all right. Uh, He's dead. I haven't one, rolled for damage yet. He's dead. D, <laughs> you D won D and D. All hail the Lord of hey, seven. seven. Look That's at a that good roll. Oh, that was exactly what you needed. So, <laughs> oh. so you want to describe how you take out the sea squatch? What about my bonuses for? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> already, yes. Right. So, oh, am I interpreting this? So it's kind of like the the like. Under armpit area of what? Well, it's be like its tentacles kind of come out of its crotch. Yeah. So it swings, but it's like momentum kind of spun it, itself around just to expose its All back right. completely to you. Whatever broad area. It's about ten feet tall. Okay. Whatever broad area of its sort of backside that I can reach, so probably about three feet above the ground. Uh, Step its butt. I'm yes. Just gonna, well, it's one-handed because I got my shield. Step its butt with my butt. Plunge. <laughs> Plunge milk tooth right in there as deep as I can go. Milk, milk tooth, tooth the name of my sword. sword. Yeah. Name of his sword. Uh, I forgot my little card. I don't have don't it pay here. Attention to the and show. I'm gonna wrench it. Oh, oh you're gonna no. get poop right in the butt. <laughs> Wherever I can get. Whatever oh, I can no. get. It's a poop sword. Uh, tooth and, in the butt. Uh, yeah, most most things. And shit hope it's gonna die because so. I'm. It's like stuck in there. It reactively shits. All over me. Wait, can you do the thrusting motion with your hand like that? Yeah, one more time, please. Yeah. And then in and, then and out again. Twist. Yep. And then back out. I can't. Like now do the whole thing. Stuck. The sword yeah. Is stuck. yeah. So you jam your sword in there, and you're kind of digging no. it around. Yeah. No. Yeah, maybe Blood like and shit. And <laughs> all, all, yeah. Since you're kind of stabbing up at it too, all okay. of this stuff is just flowing down onto you. <laughs> you're, you're still holding onto it. <laughs> um, and, and, and it flops forward with your sword kind of sticking Does up. Does it out like of its ass. wink when it falls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Here's Mary's, my number. Mary's eyes are open, right? And, and his, his mouth, mouth was open? Yes. Oh, Good. No. Okay. Oh, I would have had time to react. No, but they them. were open, though. The you DM said so. Or you're like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> and there's like a lingering <laughs> shot where you can see it. Oh, yeah, it's dripping. It's dripping because it pooled. Yeah. So, so yeah, there, so there's brown and green and red yeah. and all kinds Gross. of nasty stuff all over you. Cool. And in you, by the way. And, and the sea squatch is on the ground dead. Inside your, of you. Your sheet says oath spells. I thought it said oat. Spells. <laughs> we should change I mean, that. And I, yeah. You probably also close. Some. It's quite <laughs> close. Oat paladin. Like, mm, I want to know these spells. You eat the poop and you like the poop. <laughs> <laughs> this DM doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> Should I at least roll to see if I like it? No. <laughs> you like it. You say. <laughs> you love it. You have to eat poop once a day. <laughs> Very well. So uh, that voice comes back. Goes into the caves quickly. Can so, we see the caves? So we should. Yeah, yeah. So uh, kind of past Ooh. the beach, there's all kinds of rocks and cracks and stuff in, in the giant cave wall off to that direction. So is there a hole that we can walk through? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm swimming. Yeah. I'm coming, princess. Says and starts floating. With a giant boner. You can see it. He loves princesses. Is Can't there, wait. Are there a bunch of different caves or just one? <laughs> there's a bunch of them. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. And he, he uh, or the, the voice told you to just kind of go right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, to the right. Wait, stage right or? Uh, no, that's left. So we'll go right. Technically, so the left. monster was facing us, which means that if the the monster, if the thing, if the princess is controlling the I monster, I fucking hate all of you. I'm going right. Right, <laughs> left. It is. I will. I Shadowcock starts walking right. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna left Miri. <laughs> no, no, <that> <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to yank my sword out. Oh yeah, it's I, I, I go, I walk over to Miri, and he's covered it, and he's like a statue of shit and blood and everything. And I go, that was a nice job, but it probably wouldn't have turned around if I hadn't gotten its hip a little bit. Uh, but you did good. You did really good. And I go to like pat him on the back, but then I don't, <laughs> and I walk away. All right, roll, roll a strength check real quick. All right. To get your sword back out of the sea squatch's ass. Eight plus three is eleven. Yeah. All right. All right. You get your sword back. But when he pulls it out, does another squirt, <laughs> like he said. Absolutely. I, all right. Uh, I head for those caves. There were caves on the right. All right. So, okay. Yeah. You're all going into the fucking cave. Mm -hmm. Um. So you run into the caves. <laughs> yeah. Still swimming. So uh, you go down a few tight corridors, leaning to the right, and you come into a room with four other paths leading out of it. 
two rotting halfling corpses lean across uh, the wall on your right. Uh, an unlit torch on the wall next to Grimo sparks to life. The flames animate and speak. You recognize Wafina's voice from the fight. Thank you, brave souls, for attempting this. I will leave you, lead you through this labyrinth, but we must move quickly. Stay sharp. There are many traps and other odd dangers in our path. Now this away. Are you naked? <laughs> in the crystal, are you naked? <laughs> Absolutely. Excellent. <laughs> Let's go, adventurers. Uh, so I'm, I'll investigate around the room and okay. see if there's anything I can glean. Uh, shouldn't, you, shouldn't you be sad? My, my investigation only brings me to nine. Okay. Um, so you see those corpses. They're, they're all dead. And then you see that talking flame uh, on a torch on the wall. You said this away. But there are four paths, right? So it's a riddle. Uh oh. This away. <laughs> Three. So uh. the, the flames kind of flickering in 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 uh, one in the, the direction, direction uh -huh. pointing at one uh, of those paths. Derek's gonna try and observe to see yeah. or investigate to see which way the flames are flickering. I'm gonna roll Arcana to see if it's a magic flame. Is it magic? Yes. That's magic, everybody. That's it? <laughs> <clears throat> you know what? North is that way. Oh jeez. I'm gonna investigate the halfling bodies. Okay. Do I do I find do I recognize them? Do I find anything on them? I mean, they're they're no. You, they're like skin and, or like bone. Yeah, yeah they're just yeah. rotting yeah. rotting flesh. There's nothing on their bodies. Okay. It's not your dad's. All right, I'm going towards the flames. All right, someone want to pick the torch up off the wall? Yeah. Uh, yes. All right. <laughs> I will grab the torch. And then what she does is she puts it up to her body, huh. so you can make sure because she needs to dry see off the a little glistening? bit. Yeah, yeah. But as as she does that, then you get to see every single open pore. I already have all <laughs> three the seasons. Yeah. We've seen every. And hole. you see all it like the certain like there are certain hairs. You know how like uh, sometimes they'll be coated in like blonde hair, like not pubic hair. They but will. Very. <laughs> are you talking about dragonborns? I don't know. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they will do that. They Those will people, do that. But you can see everything. Does she ever use her tail to pick stuff up? Um, sh uh, no, but she should. I'll Just start thought. doing that. This, uh, <laughs> she hasn't learned the prehensile nature of her tail yet, but she might this season. Are, are the, are the season halflings decomposed to the point <laughs> where they have like any bones exposed? Yeah. I'm going to try and rip a bone out. Okay. You got it. Nice. I, I, I rip one of the bones out and I, I sniff it a little bit and then I put it in my pocket. And then I look over and Grimo's watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Shattercock grabs that torch, uh, Good and, thing. and the, the flame is kind of uh, moving right towards the path that would have been the rightmost. Um, and you follow it. Yes, we do. Yeah. And we do that thing. So, the Master Sword is this way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you follow the flames' directions for about 20 minutes. That's uh, a long it, time. It points out trip wires and pit traps. It's kind of like warning you of all, all well, the I've got danger that, sense. I mean, I've got that, yeah, I've got that feat too. So <laughs> I'm a dungeon delver. I probably didn't need it. Are you trying to compete with the, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, magical yeah. fire yes. for coolness? <laughs> yes. De Decker's the cool, can there, coolest dude. Can in the there be a moment where, where Decker's like, "Look out for that! It, it's dangerous!" And then yeah. we just like walk over it. Yeah, because everything's the flame perfectly did it, like, fine. Um, everybody roll 20 for me. Beware, trap! Decker's just this a rock. initiative? I know! No, no. Dan? Oh, okay. I detected it. I got four. So this would be, sorry, this would be a perception check. Oh, okay. Oh. So, uh, add, five. Add five for me. Seven for me. Ugh. When 14. do you add proficiency bonus? Uh, so, yeah, cer certain skills you are proficient in. You, and you, well, I mean, you, you, you should have the dot filled in. Yeah. For saving throws, right? And yeah. skills? Yeah, but that's only, that should already be added in. Mm. The ones okay. that are dotted already have that proficiency bonus. What'd you get, Braxton? Uh, 15. I win. Decker? Eight. Miri? Nine. So, Derek, Braxton, uh, both seem to make it through all of these traps without getting hurt. Mm -hmm. um, Grimo falls in a pit and uh, gets stabbed through the leg uh, with a little spike Ow. and takes. Oh, wait. I have a 48 damage. One damage. <laughs> oh. It says I have advantage on perception to find secret doors. I guess that's none of this stuff. Advantage on saving throws to avoid resistant traps. He's already determined what happened. Yeah, to you. never mind. <laughs> well, roll, roll again. It sounds like you have advantage. Resistance on to trap damage, whatever that means. Search for traps at a normal pace. That's lower. It got worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got um, this. <laughs> <laughs> so Shattercock uh, kicks over a little tripwire. Flamethrowers uh, kind of come out of the wall and blast uh, both you and Miri actually mm. with the fire. You realize but that she, it, she'd put on uh, a top and bottom, but those got burned right off. Well, it also like it also like <laughs> they were perms. starting to regrow. It feels like it should perm her hair oh, like yeah. beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> um, you each take three damage. Three damage okay. Does she have hair? Um, and Decker. Yes. Um, I have resistance to trap damage. Well, that just means you roll twice and you roll oh. worse. <laughs> oh. So am okay. I like stuck in this pit? 
No, no, no. You oh, okay. climbed out. <clears throat> the, everybody helped you okay. out. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, come up with a crazy pit, and you take, or what's some kind of trap? You take two damage from it. Uh, it's, it's an it's a crude uh, device that's used to till soil. Um, it's laying in the dirt, slightly covered on it. I step on it, and it's fashioned in such a way that <laughs> it's a spring lever type of thing, to, like nice. stepping on a rake. Yep. I was gonna say, oh, it's well, a, if you want to call it that, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's exactly. it's more. It's an it's an ancient earth tiller. It's a rake. Okay. <laughs> he steps on a hoe. Might be. A, yeah. <laughs> it flies up and hits me in the crotch. Okay. And it goes boing, and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> and I turn to the camera, and my eyes cross, and I fall over. So, um, one of one of the orcs that's uh, with you guys steps on the wrong tile in a long hallway. Oh, right. Then. And, and these two giant stones yeah. coming out of the wall oh, and just damn it. He's, he's just, 17 years old. Just squash him. Uh, 17 years and 364 days. <laughs> I go, I'll save you. We don't have time to bury his remains. Yeah. Well, I put it in a cup. It's just a muddle. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I put it in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's actually the stones were were low enough so that it kind of crushed his body, but his head okay. popped out, if, if that helps Does you. Does he ask us if, he, if we think he's going to be okay? Do you think I'm looking all right? Give There's it, like signs. Give, yeah. <laughs> we have to say Give, it, give it to me straight. <laughs> Is it bad? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna live a long time. Yeah. I don't think I can feel my legs. <laughs> All right. So yeah, those those pillars come across, and he he slops down yeah, on the dead. ground. Um. So the flame leads you down a long corridor that dead ends into a small chamber. Uh, it has an altar in the middle of it. A three foot tall plinth has carvings of wind and waves on it. The waves are depicted as ripping apart creatures and kind of exploding them. Cool. Uh, and flooding the land. A long phrase is ca expertly carved into the runes. Very, very uh, well written, nice penmanship. Uh, Miri actually recognizes the letters A and the number five from uh, an ancient dwarvish language that he seems to know. Um, the, though the A and the five are kind of scratched in with a knife or something, they don't look kind of Expertly carved <laughs> like the rest. Of Those are the orcs behind <laughs> us. It's off, Mike. <laughs> yeah, he did away from Mike. So uh, you hear the voice of Guafina uh, come to your heads again. Now it's kind of emanating from that flame. Um, you get that the whatever Guafina is is kind of controlling the the magical fire. She's hot. Um, I know this is a bit strange, but bear with Sorry. me. All will be explained in due time. Will one of you please step towards the altar and say the word words? Charcoal after a long night's fire. Charcoal after it's a long night's riddle. fire. Oh, was Chauncey with us? Grimo, Grimo did it right away. Immediately, there's a new woman present. Grimo is immediately doing what she says. <laughs> was, that sounded like, a little bit like Chauncey. Yeah, they spend too much time together. They're best friends. Oh, yeah, they start to talk wait, like wait, each other. Chauncey with us? Where is you Chauncey? You have to, right? And, and I have my. Uh, but may, we may see Chauncey later at some time. <laughs> Chauncey, right. maybe. I'm not saying this season will, or like maybe not in this episode, but I have a feeling Chauncey is not gone forever. Right. But that's fine. Well, wherever Chauncey is, that's where my wolf is. Okay, they will be with you or not, depending whether we <laughs> want it to happen later in the Chauncey episode. Chauncey just stomped out a giant pile of its own shit, like into a bed, and then curls up in it. Aww. <laughs> so Grimo spits it out because there's a new woman. There's potential of meeting a okay. new woman. So, so the altar shakes. A blue light shines from the center of the ceiling down into the middle of the altar. A large white block, about four feet long and one foot wide, materializes on the altar. Master Myriadis, would you please carry this along with us for a moment? Uh, you got asking it. you to carry the stone. Yeah? <laughs> you got it. He refuses. Right <laughs> Still covered in poop, though, right? Just move. Okay. It's yeah. Fine. It's, it's, kind, of, off it's, a it's kind of dried. It's oh. Grimo's offended okay. well, that she asked I was going to say the fire one. hit you, didn't it? You got flamethrower, oh, yeah, yeah. so now yeah. you're basically well, a clay man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the stone, as you're carrying it, uh, emits a little bit of kind of ocean sound. It sounds kind of musical, lyrical, but it, it's very, very soft. Hmm. So you guys keep going uh, further into these caves. The the flames going left, right. Take the middle path. You know, there's a tripwire or whatever. Um, and he goes, okay, hold on. Let's stop over here real quick. Uh, as a good faith gesture from me, let's just take the next left. I'll show you a little something. I think you'll like it. Oh. Followed the flame down a path that ends at a metal door with runes carved into it in an old dwarven dialect. Say the words aloud. The stars of the night sky. Someone would, would you please? The stars it's of the a night real. Sky. Uh, All right, so you hear, you hear a bunch of <laughs> kind of clockwork clicks, yep. and uh, the door kind of cracks open just a little bit. Enough to fit through? Uh, it, it's a door on a hinge, so it kind of unlocked and just went. Pfft. Oh, so Shattercock tries to push on it. So the, the door opens out. Oh, uh, so you push on it and then you pull it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, sorry. 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 Um, the room glows a faint green, uh, illuminated by mushrooms glowing on the walls and ceiling. Here, over here in the corner. Pull this up. 
The flame leads you uh, over to the corner. You see a small ring covered in mud kind of floating in the air. And Decker sees mushrooms. Says, oh, hell yes. <laughs> and <just> starts <laughs> eating them. Oh, oh you're just going to eat them? He's just going for it. Oh, man. Uh, how many? Uh, two or three. Okay. Probably gets it down before any effects start to hit. Yeah, it usually takes a little while for those yeah. to kick in. Uh, you actually do immediately start glowing a little bit of green. Oh, yes. Cool. Um, so you you would glow and light up the darkness and Excellent. stuff. Uh, other stuff could happen to you later. Who knows? So you said there's a ring. See, so yeah, there's there's a ring the kind of in the corner. It's a little muddy, but it, it's kind of hidden. Oh, okay. And but the flame leads you right to it, and he's like, "Lift this up." Um, all right. So then Shattercock definitely goes and lifts it up, pulls it out of the mud. Cool. So yeah, you 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 pull the ring upward. Mm -hmm. uh, How it's, big is it? It's a human sized okay. ring. Gotcha. Um, is there any Elvish script? Uh, engraved on it that we can see. Um, not not yet. It's, oh, okay, it's covered okay. in mud. Okay, I see. Um, so yeah, as, as you lift lift the ring up, as you would assume, uh, a, a skeleton is there. Uh, Mr. Skittles. You you all of a sudden see this this uh, skeleton clad in amazing armor uh, and cool weapons, but it is a skeleton. And once you pulled the ring up, it kind of became visible for you. So wait, so where I pulled the ring up? Where is the skeleton up here? Uh, just kind of right in front of you. So like it, it was a dead guy with his hand in the air. You pulled, oh. pulled the ring off, and now he he is visible. Got it. So this was Colair Nagaun, the thirteenth Redfoot warrior, the Thorn Prince, long lost and driven mad in this maze. Now dead, his tre treasures are yours. So, uh, let's see. He, he's got a bunch of cool shit. Okay, cool. Because now you're, you guys. Um, Grimo, this magic ring allows you to turn invisible for one minute. When you put it on, you can cast deflect magic as a bonus action. Only one who is pure can use the ring's magic power. So Shattercock tosses that to Grimo. Well, uh, well, hang on, I'm it. not as pure as you might think. I don't know if I can use this ring, okay? And uh, when Cheddarcock throws the ring at yeah. Grima, it falls right onto her finger and she disappears. Your <laughs> <laughs> ring toss game. Uh, I mean, uh, well, thanks for the ring, but I think it's broken. <laughs> uh, Ma Master Grima, there is also a beautiful plus one short bow that fits you perfectly. <laughs> oh, called the plus one short bow. Oh, I've never had a plus one before. <laughs> <laughs> they were an ancient race. <laughs> so this Lost attack ones. bonus is only plus one? Yeah. My attack bonus now is plus five. No, no, it's plus one in addition. On top, oh, on top, oh, oh, attack so and damage. On top, oh, okay, attack okay. and damage. It's like, okay. fine, I'll take it back. Jeez. <laughs> I know the magic. Oh, so, be so it'd be like magic. attack bonus six and then damage four instead. Or, yeah, in, if, or, if it was five and three. Yeah, so okay, cool. So awesome. Shattercock, his golden necklace is yours. It allows you to cast mage armor as a bonus action twice a day. Did you call it a pearl necklace? It is made of pearls and gold. Oh, yes. Thank golden you. pearls. Thank you very much. The rare golden pearl. What does it do? Uh, it allows you to cast mage armor uh, as oh. a bonus action twice a day. Cool. Sure. Um, he also has a wand called Secret Kiss. Looks a lot like a flower, and it casts poison spray. Uh, has three charges. Looks like a flashlight. I'll, I'll give you guys this stuff later. You that's, don't have to... that's awesome. Um, oh, sh should we not write it down? You can write it down, but there, there's more details. I'll kind of give you guys. That I look later. at you and I go, I bet there's nothing in that bag for me. <laughs> <laughs> Raxan. His beautiful, immaculately carved and crafted plus one plate mail would fit you perfectly. All right, let's we'll see how that works. And a comb for your beard. <laughs> Two hundred letters, all of us to set to So that raises your AC one. Yeah, Raxan takes his skeleton hand and starts combing his beard. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I love this um, comb. The, the, the armor is also uh, created to be ultra light, so you actually don't have disadvantage while sneaking. And it's got a big cod piece. Yeah. <laughs> like one of the weird ones that you see. <laughs> like a like, horn. Like a huge dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a giant cock. No, it's in there. <laughs> it's huge. Full. It's totally full. You're going to protect You're it. You're put this on. <laughs> Decker, uh, his myth mithril bracelet uh, is fit for you. This allows you to cast bark skin on yourself two times a day as a bonus action. Bark, bark skin? Bark, bark skin. Like cool. a tree. Or a dog. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was going, Rrr, and there's like mushroom bits hanging out of my mouth. <laughs> Oh, you had that tree in. girlfriend or that weird. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah. Heather. I think I had sex with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he hey, Heather. I can't remember what he had sex with. Yeah. <laughs> you that also get cool this uh, sweet little magic ring that has a blue stone mounted in it. It's called a dowsing ring and it points you to the closest source of water. Oh, boy. North and water. Now I know where everything <laughs> is. <laughs> Jeez. There's water this way. Lost. North. <laughs> <laughs> Noble Myriadis. You oh, shall boy. take his magic great sword, Thornbite. This is a silvered plus one great sword. Uh, Colaire's boots also seem to be dwarven sized. 
They would fit you perfectly, and it doubles your jumping height. Whoa! Double jump boost. Goes from a half Wait, a double foot jump? Hold on. Can you change direction in mid jump? Yeah. Ooh, oh, it's you double sweet. jump. Can Wait. double jump. Derek, you shall take his magic belt of gains. This belt increases your strength modifier by one. <laughs> what? Only one. I mean, that's, huge. that's pretty good. That's actually really good. More plates. Put on more plates. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bro. Yeah, the, the belt can tell all of the the minor, tiny things you do to improve yourself and kind of maximize oh, and coalesces nice. those. Nice. Well, that's true. More this is than the plus one. <laughs> The weirdest shaped human that you're describing. <laughs> it was an elf. Oh. Um, but yeah. We've got dwarf yeah, tiny feet, little feet. Human body, human sized hands. The belt of gains. Yeah, belt of gains. Right. Everybody got belt. magic shit, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Right. We're yeah. moving on. So you follow the flame's directions deeper into the cave. You get the sense that you're moving upward. You know, you're constantly moving to the right, moving up. Um, so, Guafina, the, the voice in your head so it goes, you know, right, left, middle. Oh, shit, shit. I meant. I meant left. Uh, Get your shit together. Uh, she has <laughs> shooting balls now. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah I don't know so if it's, it's probably it's probably been about fifteen minutes. Um, your eyes are starting to water. Uh, things are kind of coming out of focus, and okay. you feel a weird pressure in the back of your head. No problem. Um, yeah, your brain. You know, it's not working exactly. Like you're not too stupid, but your brain's moved sideways a little bit. Oh, that's you're, fine. That just means it's kicking. <laughs> Getting ready to party. <laughs> Gotta let yourself go. Uh, Guafina asks you to to get on your bellies and roll down a, a, a hill. Crawl under this tripwire, whatever. Sure. Um, you win. Drink my own piss, you got it. So you reach another dead end <clears throat> with an altar resembling the one before. More runes are carved atop of it, and depictions of waves, vaporizing people, are carved around its base. Vape. Please, would one of you say the <laughs> words... I could go for a vape right now. Sorry. <laughs> one of you say the words, only halfway... Then the princess is running off of the dance floor. It's a riddle. We can figure this Only out. Only halfway! Then the princess will run up above the top way! Mm. Was it? Only halfway, then the princess is running off of the dance floor. Okay, so the altar starts to shake. Blue light <laughs> wow. shines from the wow, sky and the ceiling above. I wouldn't be surprised if there was Level like up. a line behind us of other people going on this ride. <laughs> 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 they keep like poking their heads in the room. They're like, oh, you're not. Sorry, welcome back. <laughs> We so, have fast uh, passes. <laughs> uh, another large block, about four feet long, one foot wide, materializes on the altar before you, except this one is black. Give it to Miri! Mm. <laughs> Master Miri, would you be able to carry another one? I Have think I can favorite. manage oh, one yeah. or three, three more. Uh, this one's 20 pounds. Oh. <laughs> well, I did just get that belt uh, of gain, so Miri, you should carry it. Yeah. <laughs> Aguafina, uh, I hate to say it, but he's really stinking up these blocks. Stinking them up? Because yeah. he's covered in I have poop. entrails on he's me. <laughs> They'll be fine. Uh, Miri, I was going to put it a little bit more delicately than that. <laughs> Do you want to carry one, Grimo? I mean, Miri is brave and true. Uh. <laughs> Why did you even talk? <laughs> oh. uh, you know, us halflings, we are a verbose people, as you may know. So two dead <laughs> ones earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so you guys I just start the, touching uh, racks in. Just hands off and then mm. hands on. Oh, oh, yeah. Because you're tripping balls. It's fine. I can't really feel it because I'm underwater. What stroke are you using this time? A backstroke. How do you do that one standing up? You'll see. Have you drowned you it at all yet? No, I can breathe underwater. Oh. <laughs> uh, but I do I do notice that Deer or um Decker is drowning. Or I'm drowning. So I go, I'll breathe for the both of us, and then I kiss him. Oh. <laughs> That's really nice. Um so you end up kind of doing the same thing a few more times. You come to a dead end, there's an altar, you say some dumb answer to a riddle, and uh, another stone appears <laughs> in front of I just the realized I just realized that the four orcs were like what do we get from this guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then a boulder smashes the boulder. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, why, why aren't I making the orcs carry these things? <laughs> the voice I in the sky this asked after, you to do it. Yeah, the you voice decided keeps, to do yeah. it. Me. Miri, I'm their king captain and yeah. they can't be trusted. <laughs> the orcs need their rest. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> we, we probably stepped on one coming through here and didn't even notice. So uh, now you have six stones. Two of them are oh, black geez. and four of them are white. <laughs> um, Mary's carrying all but one of them, um, which Derek is carrying. Uh, You're carrying the smallest one. That's two oh, pounds. Okay. Yeah. Right, you like you immediately gave it to one of the orcs. <laughs> oh, you gave it to one of the orcs to carry this for me. And then a rock fell on him. Yeah. <laughs> Got to pick it up off his dead hand. Um, you notice that uh, once all kind of more than one stone is together, that that melody, that song that you oh, heard, uh, is kind of getting louder and stronger. It's um, uh, more margarita musically and complex. Or what a cheeseburger in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> How does that go? Uh, cheeseburger in paradise, and the other one goes paradise. <laughs> so the the flame now uh, leads you into a, a large room. 
uh, with a tiled floor. The flame tosses part of itself on a sconce on the wall next to it, and then it kind of ripples around the room in a, in a big old circle, lighting up all of these sconces that are on the wall. A giant organ shaped like a dragon skull sits on the raised platform in the center of the room. The organ's pipes rise into the ceiling and were carved to resemble the dragon's flames. Where the organ's keys should be are little notches that line up with the giant bone keys that you've been lugging around. Uh, you guys didn't do a perception check or anything on the those stones, but there's a little notch on the end of them. Well, so that we know where they fit? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Guafina says, place those keys here, and here, and here, and then play this melody. So basically the, the flame leads you through inserting these, these stones into a giant organ, and then what kind of progression you played. So Guafina leads you into playing what sounds kind of like a, actually a metal chord progression on the giant organ. As you hit the last and note, like and not some medicine, and I'm drinking my margaritas, <laughs> and I'm going down. Wait, is it metal core? Yeah, it, no, no, kind of like a power chord. Oh, um, oh. transferred over to the piano. Some, it's like Indigata de Vida. I thought it was like da, Dragon da, da, Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, as you hit the last note, the room starts to vibrate. Uh, a gust of wind erupts from nowhere, circling around the room. The circular platform you're standing on rises slowly into the ceiling like an elevator. How does Shattercock react to the vibrations? <laughs> she says, oh, she goes over to the organ and she kind of sits on oh, yeah. the, the very edge Lean of it. Lean in a little bit. <laughs> Shadowcock, get, it's not a broken washing machine. Get the hell off of it. <laughs> Decker freaks out. Oh, as soon as it starts, like, and he like flops down on the ground and like grabs the dirt like he's holding on. Yeah, you're, um, roll a twing. You got it. 18. Oh, shit. Okay, so, um. A normal man consuming that many mushrooms would really be freaking out. At Ten thousand years. You spent so much time in the party realm that you, <laughs> you hold your shit together better than any person nice. ever has on, on this many glowing Very green brave. mushrooms. You think I'm a party mancer for no reason? He gave himself that title. I told I you, Dan. <laughs> That's not an official title. I told you. I wrote it on my character sheet and everything. Self-proclaimed. Jeez. After a couple hundred feet, the platform slows and stops in a huge room. You are near the top of the lighthouse complex now. The tower is 200 feet from you to the top, and a staircase lines the wall all the way up. You can straight up, see straight up into the night sky. He's so you can put all you guys in the middle there. Don't forget our friends. <laughs> the orcs made it. <laughs> There's still three left. What? Oh, dang. Oh. Put this in the middle. Did any of the orcs die in the, the middle of the vibration? Board or the middle of us? Uh, Shit. Yeah, just in, it's kind of in the in the whose footing just fall off. I'm a great dragon. The top part of that <laughs> staircase. Well, I don't know if that's top part of the staircase. Okay. So uh, a dragon hangs above your heads, frozen and floating in space. Its body seems to have been crystallized while diving down for an attack. Wow. The dragon's great wings span from wall to wall, and the grimace on its face is terrifying. The sheer size of the beast gives you pause. It's like over you as you rise into this. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, it's, it's, it's like face down on the ground, though. Yeah, it, it's, it's it, it was crystallized, so it, oh, so it's not moving. It's not moving. It is frozen in the air, kind of in a dive bomb. He flops over. He feels the platform stop. And he's like right under the dragon mouth. Ah! Uh, he just sits there, stock still, and screams in terror. Ah! Uh, That's your scream. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, yep, over and over. It's really annoying. So Guafina speaks again to you. This was once my physical form, long, long ago in the time when Jeeb was young, oh. before my being extended to this whole castle. Cool. So um, she starts to tell you her story. Uh, I was gravely wounded in battle and transported myself into this realm, realm centuries ago to rest and recharge my power. I landed here on this island of Luce and burrowed into the ground. A dozen generations of dwarves mined beneath the castle complex and created a home. As dwarves do, they dug too deep. They stumbled upon a dark, long-buried object of immense power. This stone was from the beginning of times, and it desired only to bring pain into the world. This ancient evil was awoken and took hold of my power while I was in a weakened state. Once again, I hear the call of my sisters. They are gathering again in this world. We must help, you must help me reach them. They will be able to heal me, dispel the ancient magics laid on me, and restore me to my glory. You must take a piece of my light to the lantern at the top of this castle, set it alight, and point the mirror straight up into the sky. This is really convenient that this is where we ended up. We were just looking for that dude. <laughs> All right, so then Shattercock does it. She, <laughs> she, uh, she, you said she needs we to We need the piece of the light. But she's still holding the torch. Uh, I need you to uh, use a, ma a weapon uh, infused with magics and chip a scale from my body. 
take that scale to the lantern at the top of these stairs and use it to light the flame. Uh, so she uses that wand, actually. That, that was magical before, right? Could she use the wand? I also have a magic stick. Use the stick. You got it. Instead of shooting poison at it? The, the, well, the, the stick extends. So if Shattercock hits it, and then you have to say in stiffen. Oh, yeah, that's right. In stiffen! Boom, then I hit it. Scale pops off. Okay. What do I do with the scale? Uh, you need to take it to the top of the tower and uh, throw it in the lantern. Um, so I, I'm just going to go up on my own. I don't think, it, unless someone's going to follow me, but I'll, I'll go up to the well, very Grima's still in that bag. He's only been poking That's his head right. out of the bag this whole time. That's right, because I'm I'm usually carrying that bag, yeah. sort of like a purse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so Shattercock and Grimo go up to the top, and I uh, I pop that scale <laughs> right into the little. Is it like a like a torch or a lantern or what did you say? Oh uh, well, hang on, hang on, sorry. Decker has almost come to his senses. Ah, uh, wait, you said you were naked. He's very upset. <laughs> I mean, right. technically, the dragon is naked. It's true. So uh, Shattercock, you make circle. it maybe like halfway up that first. No, go back. So this would be level one, level two, level three. So where am I? Level you kind of get how it spins around to the top. So, I'm, I'm so you're, you're so you're halfway up that one. Okay. Uh, and Guafina goes. I believe our plot has been discovered. Uh, so the the three sirens fly in above from the top of the tower. Oh, the hot ones. Yeah, the super yeah, hot the, ones. The hot, super hot sirens. Oh hell yeah! Remember the sirens. Super hot. So the the sirens fly in from the top of the tower. They are super fucking pissed, and each one is carrying one of the creatures that was in their brainwashed sex harem. I didn't do anything. <laughs> The best phrase I've ever heard. He's walking. One siren, oh, let's see, I've got some, uh, flies in and drops a uh, knoll on Muriatus's head. <laughs> it's always Hold on, on let me see if I can get this. Let me see um, if I can. The thing is so afraid from the fall that it starts pooping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Muriatus, you take uh, eight damage from that. Oh, oh, um, no. What about all of the stones I'm carrying? You also lose all the cool stuff. Yeah, you, fall, put, you put them all in, all, in, in the yeah. organ. Oh, I did? Do you eat more um, shit? I don't remember doing that. <laughs> fall directly into a, a dragon pile. Yeah. You eat your shit because you like it. Ah. Shit ah. Eat your shit. You eat poop because you like it because <laughs> you love shit. poop. Roll to see if you don't get shit in your mouth. Uh, one, one of those sirens drops a knoll on Miri and then lands at the foot of the stairs. If you can put this over there. Where does that hit Mary? The foot of the stairs will be there. Another uh, drops a boar named Plunk. On Miri? Or No, drops on yeah, Plunk. Yeah, so one I was of waiting for us. Uh, it smashes the orc oh, into the ground. Damn it's, it. It's got it's one. It's my birthday. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's got one. Five, um, four, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> so once it drops, it then flies and actually perches itself on top of the crystal dragon. Cool. Up here? Um, Whoa. I don't know if you can get it to stay or whatever. Yeah, maybe Wedge it in there. The lead siren flies in, lands on the stairs above Shattercock and Grimo with Broga. That's who we were looking for. The uh, knoll that you were sent here to find. He plays bass? Play, he plays bass. <laughs> Good Good job. in the bag. Good job, Napa. You didn't want none of this. <laughs> so uh, Broga is right in Shattercock's face and goes, oh no, no you don't, you little shit suckers. You are going down. Yeah. Oh, he yeah, marries a shit sucker. Yeah, we only got one. <laughs> he loves shit. Give him shit. You got shit? It's entrails. Poop in his mouth. The, the lead siren says, Whatever you were playing at, it is now done, children. Another siren says, drop your weapons now, and I promise you a quick death. Uh, roll for initiative. Yeah. Oh. James, I got, nine right, I got 19. It's my, it's my initiative modifier. I got 12. Uh, 17. 17. Oh, 17. Should we have a roll off? Yeah, you you guys both? 7. 17. Mm. Oh, Seven uh, 16. One. All right, uh, Grimo. You're up first. Hey, we gave you a beautiful play, okay, with War of the Stars, and now you come spitting on us. All right, this isn't a fair. We, we, I don't know why you're trying to pick a fight with us. Shut up, you little shit man. Let's fight. Okay, here's my short no, bow. That's scary. At you. <laughs> oh no, Grimo tried to fire his short bow. Uh, he peeped over the side of the bag. And he, but he only got 11. Uh, that misses. Oh, dang oh, it. Oh boy. Back in the bag. Uh. That was it my turn? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What did I get? A new cod piece? You got armor. <laughs> oh, okay. You raised your AC by one. Are any of our orcs around? There's yeah. two. Can I ramp off of one of them like a jet ski? <laughs> that can go into the heart of Dennis Hopper? Sure. You okay. Have, you realize you're not actually underwater. I don't. Yeah, well, no. no, you don't, but. It's called role playing, James. Okay. You should try it sometime. <laughs> so you look at me. <laughs> yeah, what are you <laughs> talking to? to? Uh, let's see. I, I try to go for uh, Bebop. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess he. But he's on the steps. You know what? Just to make this actually a little bit easier, can I take Grimo, Shattercock, and the two little orange guys, move them over here. 
just they oh, made it. They made it further floor. up the staircase. Got gotcha. For, okay. Just to spread it out a little bit. So okay, yeah. I guess I'm I'm too far. So I try to throw a javelin at a uh, pig man over there. You can move closer to him. I move over to him and I try to hit him with my great axe. Okay. <laughs> this one right here. Yeah. Okay. So I, I guess I go for his clockwise. hooves. His hooves. Oh, oh. Uh, it hits. It does. Four, yeah. Did you roll? <laughs> <laughs> did you see him look around for confirmation. Too? I was damn busy. So. What did he roll? He didn't uh, roll. Uh, do, do, do. That's um. What's it? Plus. What is it? The initiative. Your strength. 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 Your plus your strength. Yeah. Yeah. yeah plus so my plus strength. two plus uh, four. Is what I wrote. Okay. What? So. <laughs> what was that? In hell? That was ten. What? I had a ten. Where it's it's been ten. like four you months. Had a 10. Since you rolled a ten. It. Yeah. Where'd it go? It's right there. There it is. I rolled a 10. So, was that 16? That hits. Okay, cool. And then damage. That's my 12. Uh, 8 plus 4 slashing. Full, I win. Full damage. I swing for the ankles. The so ankle? He'll, so he'll never dance again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So you slice down right at his ankles, uh, okay. slice him up a little bit. Uh, he takes a bunch of damage and I guess won't be moving around as fast anymore. Yay. Monster 1. Who is Monster 1? That's the sirens. All right. Uh -uh. Um, All of them? Yeah. Mm. So uh, this one floats over here. So she floats in the air and uses her stupefying touch on Grimo. So the si siren touches you, and you must succeed on a DC 13 intelligence saving throw. If it works, there will see no change in Grimo whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 20. I got a 20. So you are not at all phased by her stupefying touch. Stupefy is a stupefied does. Grimo's still in my uh, she's in my sack, right? Yeah. Are you still in the sack? I'm popping in and out. So maybe I was popped and then she like She touched. But that but, because, but let's say let's say side effect though, I have it has caused me to tumble out of the sack. Oh, okay. okay. You roll down a few of the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> you take one damage. <laughs> oh, you take how much one, damage? We're rolling one a 20. Damage. Wow. The siren up here. Um, shoots a, uh, a little metal, uh, arrow down at Miri. Uh, it critted, so... Oh, oh no, of course it did. Went straight he pierces his helm and kills him yeah. instantly. I was gonna say, it goes into his butthole. Well, was, and cool. poops shoots out. He poops on himself. himself. <laughs> yeah, her, her aim was so perfect, the, the little arrow goes right, uh, God. between a chink, you know, a oh, space man. in your armor what and... Did Matt do to you? You take 13 damage. Oh, jeez. Oh, How dead? are you doing over there? I got one... Wow. HP left. Really? Oh boy. Holy shit. Um, Does anybody have health potions they can give? Oh, I can cure. I can heal myself. The other siren down there uh, moves around to the other side of Rax and, and swings at it with its little fucked up sword. Nice try. Misses. <laughs> <laughs> 17 hit? No, it doesn't. Uh, oh, it does? I don't know. Oh. Where's your character sheet? I was just trying to save room. Uh, oh, I got you. My armor. Oh, <laughs> it's cards. Armor God. class is 17. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right. Plus one, because you're wearing your yeah. one plus armor with That's the card right. piece. That's right. The extra card piece. Don't, don't touch those. It's fine. <laughs> I just didn't want to step on it. The, the thing swings at you with its little sword and just kind of dents, dinks off your armor. Uh, Decker. All right. Decker's enjoying the view, because from where he is, he can see right up. Uh, one of these siren skirts. Are they wearing skirts? Who cares? No, they had like snake. They're bodies. like they're almost naked. You can see them. All of everything's You're high, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, that's why he's so transfixed. In his vision, he sees his laptop float like a butterfly and start to speak to him. Decker, get up, you have to help. I'm like, why? There is no party here, my laptop says. But you have to help your friends. And I look around, and it's like flashing in between the clamor of battle and just like seeing geometric shapes flying at me as though I'm hurtling through space. But somehow in the... In the din of my uh, mushroom field haze, I'm able to pick out a target. Uh, I guess that siren or whatever. So still laying on my back, I say, Laptop, you're right. We have to band together for this, good friend. <laughs> and then Laptop says, I agree. And then it goes, Bleh. And then I reach into its mouth and type, top out my sweet spell. Uh, you reach I, into your laptops? Is this something you're hallucinating? He's hallucinating. Yeah, yeah, he's, okay. great, hallucinating yeah. Yeah. he's uh, actually just typing on a laptop. Yeah, I'm just I'm slapping off. it with a rim, limp hand. I'm gonna use my wand of boost on Scorching Ray, which gives me another ray, so that's four rays, and then I have to do a, a ranged attack for each of them. So let's see here, modifiers plus six. Let's see if I can hit, ha! That's 18, 11, eight, and 26. The two last of, one was a nat 20. Two of those hit. 
Awesome. Oh, nat 20, don't forget to double your damage. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take take your die there. So let's see here. It was 2d6, I think? Yeah, 2d6 fire. All right. So the first one is 10, and this will be the double one. Uh, it's 16. Sweet. Uh, yeah, you fucked you that. You eviscerated the spider that you were aiming at instead of the siren. <laughs> <laughs> Just flies into the sky. <laughs> Got him. So uh, the, the force of your attack actually makes that siren tumble from her perch. And takes some more damage. And uh, she is kind of crumpled on the ground in a lot of pain and just whimpering. Nice. You just disabled her, put in her wheelchair. <laughs> Your hero. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so it's the harem's turn. And um, Broga actually goes first. Uh, this guy right here. So he gets up in Shattercock's face. He's kind of <laughs> breathing heavy. Uh, he, he raises his shield and his axe, starts beating them together. Um, he leaps in the air towards Shattercock, but then changes his direction slightly and lands behind that siren nice. and yanks the trident out of its hand. Um, spins and tosses it down uh, to the ground where you guys are kind of all it, it hovered hit, there. Does it hit Miri in the toe or something? <laughs> <laughs> he only has one HP. <laughs> Just drop that on the ground somewhere. That's the trident? That's the trident. So uh, as soon as the trident kind of came out of that lead siren's grasp um, the, to the boar and that knoll that are next to Deer, uh, Raxon and Miri just kind of collapse onto the ground. Mm. So uh, Broga shouts down at you, we must break the stone that holds their powers at bay. Um, and then Dude, you had the crystal dragon. She she has the scale. Scale. Yes. Hurry, you must make it to the top. Okay. It is absolutely critical that you light this baby up. All right. <laughs> so then she just charges up the stairs. It's not your oh, turn, so bro. On our, it will be. Broga's on our side. Yeah. So it, he, uh, something happened it? that that broke his brainwash. I'm like, damn it. You're surprised. Over Seriously. here, Derek. It's your turn, buddy. Overhearing that, I'm gonna shout bat. I'm gonna shout my battle cry at Shattercock. Which gives Shattercock uh, advantage on attack rolls until your next turn or my next turn. So I go get up the stairs. Uh, I'm gonna toss Shattercock my teleport wand. What? Whoa! Isn't this one I go. That was cool. <laughs> I go catch this. Don't miss it. <laughs> I throw it <laughs> nice. at her. Wow, hero. <laughs> Roll twenty. Okay. Me or hit? Bruce. Or, okay. <gasps> What Does anybody have fun, inspiration? I do. I think I do. I, do. I have What's one every day. So three. I'll reuse it. Ah! <laughs> Any else? Can you have Any, one? Anyone uh, else with inspiration? I have. Well, it's, it's, I have one. Sure, have it. All right, oh here we boy. go. There. Better. Thirteen. Woo. There we go. <laughs> Got it. All right. So you do one of those numbers where it hits this hand, and then you. Oh you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're juggling it for a minute, and it's about to go over the edge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> or right between your butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, and then it twirls. Your tail and it, catches it, it. It sinks. Oh, oh that's what it is. Boop, boop. And, then, and finally, my tail reaches up and grabs it, and everybody cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Okay, good. You didn't fuck it up. I thought you were going to fuck it up. Time. But you didn't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't forget, you can also walk on walls and stuff. Oh, yeah, no, I don't. All right. I, you, it's, Bruce, not, it's, it's not my turn. It's not my turn. Yeah. No, it's, it's still Derek's turn. Yeah, um, and I get a bonus. I can attack as a bonus action as well. Um, so let's see, that trident fell down right next to me. Um, so, all right, I'm going to go over to the trident and pick it up and then hand it to one of the other orcs. Say, take, how old are you? 17 uh, years and 364 and a half days. Take this. <laughs> and I hand it to him, and then I pick him up to throw him fastball special style at this siren right here. Okay. I thought you were gonna throw it at him, eight. and it, he misses catching it, and uh, it goes to right. his heart. Yeah. Eight plus four, um, twelve. What, what are you? You're I'm trying throwing to... the orc With that's the holding the trident, okay. like a, um, like a spear. Yeah, do a, do a strength check for that, which is essentially what you did. I guess. Yeah. Eight you want me plus. To roll again? No, that's fine. Okay. No, I don't know if this is gonna work. The thing is, it doesn't matter if it does it. If he hits the wall and <laughs> rumples to the ground. <laughs> yeah. So he's he's got his spear. Your fastball special is perfect, and the trident it spears right through uh, the siren, 
you know, jams it up on the wall. Oh, wow. Um, and then the orc kind of lets go of the trident and starts tumbling down the st all oh, the way no. down the stairs. Breaks its neck on every... Yeah. It breaks his neck, and it goes back in. Breaks his fixes, breaks his fixes. Unfortunately, it's an odd number. And then, yeah, and so it's... you're counting, but you lose count by the time it hits the bottom, and no one... And as the as the thing is tumbling back in the background, Derek's in the foreground going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hero. Could have just thrown the trident, by the way. All right, Shattercock. Okay, so Shattercock's going to use the teleport wand that... Uh, she caught on the first try. That she caught on the first try, and everybody chewed about with her tail. Um... It says it can transport within a hundred feet of my current location. Uh -huh. I don't know how many feet it is from the from there um, to the top. Let's say that puts you close enough. Great. Okay. Um, so that was teleport wand. You haven't used your movement. yet. I haven't used my movement yet. So um, she's gonna. I, I think my movement will probably take me to right about the actual altar itself or whatever this is. Do I have another action? or should I just wait until the next time. Uh, let's let's wait. Okay. Uh -huh. You got it. Well, I fucking I battle cry you. Well, didn't do anything. Well, the battle cry is only for attacks. Yeah, sure. I didn't have to attack anything. Just push someone over. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the monsters three that I think is the orcs. Are there any orcs left? There's one. There's one. one yeah. yeah. All right. How um, can we kill him? <laughs> so, uh, where is this weapon right With now? This one. It's in this. Yeah. So that orc runs over to the. Um, actually, there was one important orc in there. Switch those two out. Okay. Um, that is Seg. I don't know if you guys remember yeah, Seg. Yeah, of course. Sure. The, Good kind of old the, seg. the blood witch. Ah, yes, the blood um, witch. Totally so she, a woman. she runs up and grabs the the trident, pulls it out of the, the siren's belly, and then goes right up at its face. Oh, wow. Whoa. Jeez. Sick. Angry. Okay, so yeah, the um the, the trident kind of goes right up Ugh. through its head, and uh, the siren's head pops. Cool. Ooh. Nice. Way to steal all the experience, ass. <laughs> Miri. Well, I'm pretty busted up, so I'm going to use my lay on hands... Ability to heal myself, <laughs> which is on, it's on <laughs> yeah, uh, it's on page eighty four. That is eighty four for you following at home. Yes, I can restore a total number of hit points equal to my paladin level times five. I'm level four, so I'm just kind of gonna put my hands on myself, and <laughs> make myself feel real good. And <laughs> healing. <laughs> I'm healing. Lick, lick my fingers when you get yeah. it in there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna die. How much no, life no, did you get back? Uh, <laughs> five <laughs> times four is yeah. twenty. I'll die if I don't do it. <laughs> do I have to roll for that? No, I'll die no, if you don't watch me do it. <laughs> so yeah, everybody watch. Just gonna try and shake off the cobwebs as I heal up. I'm paladin. I'm critting. <laughs> so, Shattercock is kind of been so caught up in in her moment of running up the tower, she is magically boosted to the top. Front of Grimo. You bet. Uh, you bet I am. Did the battle cry do that? It was it was the battle cry combining with tail. with, with uh, her awesome tail catch yep. that uh, just Seems gave like her eleven energy from nowhere. And the support of a friend. And the support of a friend, Miriatus. I was gonna say, up, you like the, the blood witch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying on the ground, fingering his asshole right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I feel so much better. <laughs> so at, at the top of the stairs, you reach the lantern room. It. In the center of the, uh, this little small room, yeah, do I love it? Uh, sits a basin sits atop a four foot pillar. What did I miss? He said, is that, is that, he the Mary's poop off his finger and he said, I have to, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Roll a d20. Oh, you love it so much. <laughs> Doesn't matter what number he hits, still Roll loves it. <laughs> I know how much you love poop. You either love it or you really Aww. love it. Aww. Did you fall over? <laughs> He's your out. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at the top of the stairs, you reach the lantern room. In the center of the small room is a basin uh, sitting atop a four-foot pillar. Uh, the walls of the room are mirrored and anchored on a swivel so that they spin. That sounds really right, cool. Spinning. Right. Yeah, yeah, spinning. Really spinning. So do I, have I found the place that I need to put the dragon scale in? That would probably be, there's kind of a pillar in the middle of the room with a little shallow basin. Okay. Um, is it she so is she able to walk across or no? yeah? Yeah, it's, it's a little tiny room. Okay, great like, All right, so I, then she does that she immediately goes and puts the dragon okay. scale directly in uh, when you drop the crystallized dragon scale into the basin It liquefies and changes color turning red purple orange and yellow The tower starts to rumble and then the liquid ignite ignites into flames growing larger and brighter to the point of being blinding and burning your skin you take doesn't she have fire resistance? She, she does have it. fire resistance. So it would be nine damage. So you take four. Four. Okay, great. Am. 
Whoa! Whoa cool. Does it blow her top off when the light? <laughs> like, uh, yes, it absolutely mm -hmm. does. The, the, the shockwave. Can we see that from below? Like the light coming? Well, yeah. all you can see is basically you're seeing straight up into her legs. So okay. You're, you're just seeing her vagina lit up like a sun. Gotcha. <laughs> While Mary's off in the ring. corner on all fours, fingering his ass. You can see the silhouette on the floor. <laughs> Need more health. Okay, so you you tossed that uh, scale in there. The you know the thing explodes. Lit up. The yeah. the whole tower is shaking violently. Um, and you remember that Guafina told you to turn the mirrors upward. Right, I remember into that. the sky. I do remember that, actually. So then I, that's Shattercock does that. She okay. immediately goes over and uh, puts the mirror and shines it straight up into the sky. So yeah, the, the lighthouse starts shaking. It tears itself out of the ground, ripping giant chunks of the earth with it. The lighthouse tower rises into the night sky, and uh, Broga starts to run up into the room. Grimo has also put his ring on and been invisible. And then he appears on Shattercock's back and he's trying to fight her for it. And he, he gets her finger. <laughs> what the what? What are you doing? Get off me. And he gets her finger and, what the fuck and is he, your bites, problem? he bites down on the oh, finger. No. <laughs> Why is Grima doing all of that? He's trying to do Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yeah. Already uh, the ring yeah. Ringful yeah. Ring yeah. of Lords is one of his favorite plays. Uh, <laughs> Mary takes the finger and attaches it to a wall so I can back into it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, none of that happened. None of that happened. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's all in your mind's eye. So yeah, Broga runs into the room with you. Um, you know what? Uh, seeing that everyone else is dead, this siren flies up past you guys and out into the night sky, and she's gone. Later, bitch. I don't think the other um, siren was dead. Um, she fell just down. Got her ray of, she got ray blasted yeah. real hard. She so got, yeah, the the crystal. Can't my legs. <laughs> You're just a tail. <laughs> so yeah, if she's sitting there crumpled on the ground, the crystallized dragon after this whole tower is shaking. It kind of loses the thing, uh, the whatever magic like kept wow. it in the sky, and it just like smashes hook. into the ground right on top of it. Oh what no, Decker! No, the special it kills the siren, right? I'm yeah, fine, yeah. probably. Yeah, the way it lands, it it perfectly kind of keeps Decker uh, nice and safe. Like, He's still horrified. Yeah, yeah. According to plan. So uh, Broga runs into the lighthouse uh, lantern room. I'm gonna drop this lighthouse on his fucking head. We gotta go north to the capital. We're gonna stop General Down's evil magic shit right now. So he sticks his, his head out the little lantern room and yells down, does anybody know which way north is? Does anybody know which way does north is? Does anybody know which way north is? Decker is flying through space right now. Waves, cones, cubes flying past his face as he's approaching what he perceives truth to be, this impossible speck of light in the distance, but he's flying towards it, navigating all of the complexities of modern life and the labyrinthine nature of his own mind. But then somewhere off in the distance, he hears muffled. Does anyone know where North is? What is that? Decker says. And then his laptop appears. Decker, they need you. But I'm almost there, he says to his laptop. I've almost found it, the truth of the real party. Laptop's like, but you're needed here. I'm like, okay, laptop, take me away. So I grab the laptop and it flies me away out of this space tube. He rolls over on his stomach. Yeah. Vomits. Vomits. Yeah. It's gross. There's like chunks of mushroom and stuff. Uh, but he gets up. Wipes a little barf off his chin. North is that way! And then he passes out again. Oh, that is pointing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so Broga finally, after that long-winded thing, finally figures out which way north is, turns the mirrors in that direction, mm. and uh, the flying castle starts floating that away. Cool. Oh, wow. No one knows exactly how fast this castle is going. Um, Decker, roll an uh, investigation check. Uh, 22. Oh shit, okay. So, um, using some stars and some things you were flying over, you're able to tell the castle moves about 20 miles an hour, so it's gonna take you around three days to get back to the capital city of Periel, which is where Down told you to bring Broga. Um, three yeah. days later. <laughs> Essentially. Well, we, we rest um, and get all of our yeah, spells you, back. Yeah, you rest and get shit. spells back. Um, Health back too, is that what happens? Yep, yep. Right. Uh, Broga tells you... Blah, blah, blah. Get your finger out of your butt, Mary. <laughs> I, I, <no. laughs> uh, he I don't like it, though. Has, <laughs> he, his plan is to drop the lighthouse right on Down's head. He wants to kill him. Um, they've got a long history. Um, yeah, actually, one night, uh, Broga approaches Grimo. G-Spot, my man Grimo. <laughs> but 
Well, yeah. What? <laughs> oh, oh, Grimo was crying. <laughs> Why he cry? Yeah, he was what, in the late at night. He was he thought he was alone. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. What is it? What is it? Uh, I'm trying to masturbate over here. <laughs> nice. Uh, you know, he he's Broga smoking a cigar and offers you one. My man, are you? Thanks. Grimo throws the <laughs> cigar in the dirt. And he likes <laughs> a cigar. <laughs> Are you ready for war, my friend? Even though he's a rat bastard, Down did educate me on strategy. Plan needs to have layers, backups, redundancies. I need me a trump card. I need you and your invisible ring to be my Omega protocol. I'm gonna gun it right for that fucker, and I need you to sneak up behind him while I have his attention and slide this blade into him. Uh, Broga pulls out a dagger and hands it to Grimo. This is calamity, and she packs quite a punch. So Calamity is a plus two silver dagger, and it crits once a day if it touches elven or dwarven blood. Um, tell me you got my back, G-Spot. Tell me you have it in you to help me slay this great beast of a man. So you're asking me to kill for you? Indeed. I'll do it. Good man. All right. <laughs> Moving on. But what if I, like I slip? Nope, that's he, good. He's, he's, he's gone. gone. Oh. <laughs> what, are you, what were you saying, though? <laughs> For say, everybody else. But what if I slip on the fecal matter that constantly surrounds Myriadis <laughs> and I plunge a dagger into his dwarven body? Well, you need a. You would blow you his head. You need some blood, blood, blood to yeah. help it crit. Oh. If, if he fingers his ass without uh, any lubricant, <laughs> there, you might get some blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does the sword know the difference between dwarven blood and dwarven shit? <laughs> If there's if a little bit of blood shit. in that shit. I mean, there is so wait, blood in your shit. Broga, we don't have any elves in this crew. So no. you're asking me to get dwarven blood for this thing? No, no. So, so uh, down is a half elf. Yeah. If you so, if you stab him, yeah. it'll it'll. Oh, crit. that's what I, that's what I meant. And you guys said no, it needs dwarven blood. I thought you needed to dip it in dwarven oh, no, blood no, no. first. I, they, they just want to ask things. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Forgot. What I meant was if I, I slip. Who General Down? If I slip was. and I accidentally <laughs> stab Miri with it. You guys are approaching uh, Periel. The next afternoon, Broga is atop the lighthouse and starts jumping up in excitement. I know this land. We are near, nearly to the capital. Turn your motherfuckers to 100, my brothers. <laughs> Ready yourselves are, for blood. Awesome. Broga tosses several crystallized dragon chunks in the fire. It explodes and erupts into flames, and the lighthouse just starts ramming speed. Are we the bad guys? <laughs> we might be. <laughs> We've been this whole time. Yeah. We didn't know. We're about to drop a tower on a village full of innocent people. Yeah. That's Not cool. Kind of suicide. Uh, Everyone's party. done something wrong. As the, as the capital city of Perel comes into view, you see a dark object floating in the skies above oh, the city. Yeah. As you get closer, you recognize the ink black walls and white circle banners of the battle castle that you witnessed floating above the Gillings Plains a few weeks ago. Now it loom looms over Perel, hanging above the clouds. Broga adjusts the mirrors and aims it directly at the battle castle. You're about a thousand, two thousand feet away when, uh, from the battle castle, kind of going at it full speed, when you suddenly burst through a bubble. The vision of a dark demon lord's castle vanishes, and what you now see is a ruin. The walls of the castle are broken and covered in vines. With the illusion gone, all you see is rubble on a floating chunk of earth. Your flying castle turns downward, diving uh, towards its sister. A gargantuan ghostly chain shoots out from the ruined rock and spears itself through the lighthouse. Your castle immediately stops into place and slowly pulls towards the uh, other castle. You're all thrown 40 feet from the momentum and take... Eight damage. Oh. oh boy. So your your uh, lighthouse castle is kind of slowly being drawn uh, via this, you know, phantasmal giant chain towards uh, this battle castle. We're coming up fast on this castle, everybody. Get your weapons ready. Could uh, Shattercock race across the chain as a uh... As it's attached to the two castles. Absolutely, yeah. So you, if you you go up to the chain, you immediately notice that it is like permeable, like you could stand on it, walk on. It. It's like five feet wide. Like this is a huge chain, like so. Sonic CD. <laughs> it's like Sonic CD. You did teleport one still too. Molten core. Do you understand now? Everyone knows these. You things. want it back? No, I mean you can use it if you want. Okay. Um, so yeah, the, say the chain's kind of coming in this direction. Your and uh, how long is it? How many feet? Uh, you are getting closer and closer and closer. So it's you know kind of coming together. Okay. Um, the Shattercock's going to use the teleport one because I think, it, yeah, I can, I've gotten the charges back at this point. So she'll use the teleport one to teleport herself across the chain. That way she doesn't have to run across. Cool. Yeah, and you guys can run down the chain if you want. Can I throw Grimo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he might fight you on it, but. You going to fight it? It's just going to make the odds worse. You know what? Any other day, dog brain, but today, 
Young Grimo's gonna be I'm a hero. Oh! <laughs> nice. Nice throw. Plus four strength. Can I roll for my landing? Yep. Ten plus. Dex. Yeah, I got a great acrobat. I got uh, thirteen. That's not bad. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's pretty. Uh, maybe not the smoothest like land with a roll, but you kind of grind to a halt. You don't take any any damage or anything. Shadowcock standing there, and what you do is you skid to a halt, and your face just goes directly into her crotch, like that. Uh, There's a lot of hair and sweat. Uh, Grimace says, "Are we on the water?" Grab that siren down there. <laughs> Oh, did we anyone pick up that, that trident, by the yeah, way? Yeah, the witch did. Blood witch. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. I turned to my laptop, so, which I can still hear it speaking. That's like, a, I guess, a side effect of the mushrooms that never really burned off. I say, laptop, thank you for being there for me. Thanks for being my friend. Laptop turns this. You're so cool. I'm like, I know. Let's go, laptop. And then we march down the chain together. Except it's just me, like, <laughs> mumbling into my computer. What about Broga? He's running down that chain. But let's say you guys kind of get over here. Oh, is this the? Over there. So this is the this is the, this is the floating ruined here. castle. Oh, there's, okay, gotcha. This there's is the a spectral castle. chain right there. So we gotta move over here. Um, are the rest of you guys gonna go? I'm uh, just gonna assume you are, unless well, you've got yeah. something else planned. Yes. Yes. So as you set foot on the ruined grounds, the skies darken and thunder awakens in the skies around you. At a distance, through that doorway, you see Banos. Mm. That one's Banos. There, oh, there, yeah, there we go. Banos. There we go. So you know what's interesting is that Broga plays bass. Banos plays drums. So I wonder if there are two more. Uh, so your yeah, is sitting in the courtyard, uh, surrounded by drums, banging on a uh, banging a slow beat. Uh, it starts to crescendo oh, on yeah, uh, a big uh, five foot bass drum. Well, we're hey, gonna, Banos! Can't we follow Broga's lead? He's been kind of leading this charge. That's true. Is Broga, is Broga like ahead of us? What's or? his What's um, his motivation and initiative? Because we're just kind so, of. So I'm uh, basically I'm gonna run in there and I'm gonna fuck him up. That's my plan. Uh, I have a little little side card with Grimo. He and I have a little thing. Um, you, got, you had sex with Grimo? <laughs> sure, a man. All right. What do you guys want to do? Um, well, then I, I'm like, all right, Broga, let's go. I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. So he starts. Let's do it. We all scream. We might be the villains as we charge <laughs> in. So as you cross into the room, uh, you hear a voice. We've gotten a better handle on the tools since we last met. I think you'll be impressed. And you see General Down standing on the wall up here. I don't know if you guys remember General mm -hmm. Down from forever ago mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. General Iman Down stands atop a ruined castle wall behind Banos. The wind starts to swirl around the courtyard, and flashes of light pop in the clouds below you. Broga picks up his beat, and Down says, I honestly didn't expect much from you lot, but I've got to hand it to you though, extremely impressive work. You brought me Broga, just as I asked, and you delivered him at atop Guafina, my very own instruments of flying death. I'm getting quite a collection now. Broga kind of runs over. To be clear, Broga kind of brought himself. Um, <laughs> we just followed him. We, in fact, <laughs> didn't really do much. We d I didn't even realize the castle was moving. Take the credit. I did this. <laughs> Good man. So uh, Broga shouts at him, you always had that silver tongue down. I look forward to cutting it from your skull and eating it whole. Broga charges. Just Banos? watch him go. Oh, Broga charges. Broga's charging it down. Down, okay. The general says some words uh, kind of too softly for you to really be able to pick up what he's saying, and he mo moves his hands around okay. in some sort of magical movement. Um, a pink circular burst of energy pops around Broga's broke his head, and he falls to his knees. Our hero. <laughs> <laughs> or villain. So down, kind of, he hops down off the wall and approaches Broga. Grimo, uh, he like kind of hides behind some of the stone walls and he like takes off his clothes because he thinks that you have to be naked <laughs> for the invisibility to work or they'll see your clothes. How cold is it? Uh, it you know, you're like thousands of feet in the air, so nice. it's, and it's then, uh, freezing. He puts on the ring. And then uh, taking calamity, he starts heading oh. behind behind uh, what's Downs. his face down. It really is splendid to see you, old friend. I know we've had a few little bumps before, but that was a long time ago. Let's remember the good times. Why don't you pick something up, and we can just jam out like the good old days. Uh, Broga walks, kind of stands up off of his knees. Grimo's still back over here. <laughs> Grimo's only got a minute. Yeah, he might have. It's, been, it's been like four seconds. Might have jumped it. Yeah, it's fine. Well, he's waiting. Oh, well, okay. Maybe he hasn't put it on yet. He's waiting for the cue just from naked. Uh, he's from just, yeah, a naked shimmer. little man. They, yeah. they, uh, <laughs> yeah. they established a code word on the ships. Oh, okay. Get naked. Uh, 
It was uh, jelly beans. Jelly beans. Mm. Okay. So he's wa- he's waiting for. <laughs> he's, for... He's, so Broga uh, at this point seems to uh, be kind of brainwashed or being mind controlled. Oh. Uh, once again, uh, by General Down. He uh, walks to some oversized string instruments a few feet away, and it's then that you notice the, the whole courtyard is kind of strewn with musical instruments. There's you know trumpets, guitars, violins, all sorts of percussion. Um, he picks up a big uh, bass, a uh, big standing bass, and starts to hit a little bass line. Uh, Down walks past him and over to your group. <laughs> Broke is a real wild man, wouldn't you say? Seems in his time with you, he may have turned you against me. Um, we've been through the shit, he and I, and you know how Knowles uh, can hold a grudge, but I don't want him to come between us. We're not sure why you did what you did, or if you're bad or good. But we forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Raxon says. <laughs> you know, I was telling you, uh, Banos and I uh, have learned a lot since we last saw each other, and I think you're going to dig it. These, uh, so their kind of musical medley, whatever they're doing starts to, to kind of pick up uh, and, and it's, it's kind of a driving beat. These lightning blasts arc out from uh, kind of below the castle, up around, and uh, connect on the ground right around General Down. And just like last time, uh, the kind of the lightning hits the ground and these blob monsters uh, kind of form out of the ground, come out of the ground, and form themselves, uh, shape themselves into grotesque creatures. So, um, roll initiative. Ooh. Uh, seven. Eighteen. Zero. We <laughs> rolled a one. Zero? My, my initiative Fuck. is negative one, and I rolled a one. Did you get? Oh boy. So, or my initiative <laughs> modifier. At this point, release. can you get a fist in there? <laughs> 14, I think. <laughs> yeah, really. All right, Derek. Who's first again somehow when he's in charge of the initiative cards? Raxan was first last time. Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so I guess we're going to fight. Um, I will say that it is kind of vague who is bad and who is good, but I will know, I, I will make note of the fact that down, Downs referred to, referred to the castle he's on as the flying death machine, <laughs> <laughs> which sounds pretty bad to me. So I'm going to charge at him. Um, I'm going to rage out like Super Saiyan. It's kind of like that. And I'm going to charge at him with uh, a war hammer and the scimitar. Nice. Uh, so 22 hits. So four. For the scimitar, Four. plus two, six, and then this is eight, and then another two for the warhammer. So two, so that was eight total. Mm-hmm. Sweet, Decker. So what are the three goo monsters that got summoned? Mm-hmm. Are they all the same thing? Um, no, they all kind of they're different kind of grotesque combinations of random monster and animal bits. Cool. Um, I mean, they all look like gross blobs that have arms and teeth and shit. Would you say they're humanoid? Why not? What are you going for? C- uh, charm person. Yeah, try and charm Great. the monster. I want to pick the, yeah, <laughs> the, 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 angriest, <laughs> the angriest looking one. I'm going to hike up my, my cool jacket, expose my, my pasty, underdeveloped bony those leg. adjectives, but yeah. I think yeah. they're wrong. Wiry black hair. It looks gross. Ah, but cool. So it says, uh, attempt to make a humanoid to see within range. It must make a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage if you and your companies are fighting it. If it fails the saving throw, it is charmed by me until the spell ends or you or your companions do anything harmful to it. What is your spell save DC? 15. All right, so yeah, the spell worked. And I'm, let's call it that guy. I think you charmed him. Great. What does that mean? Uh, I think it, it just means that they regard me as friendly and will do stuff for me. Cool. Uh, charm Wash creature. my car. Yeah. <laughs> the charm creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance. So I'm like, hail hideous abomination. Uh, <laughs> what, what say let's uh, let's help each other out uh, and uh, how, attack your friends there. Uh, I mean our enemies, our enemies. <laughs> He's already fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> You're not charmed. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spits up. That's Decker. Green stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I guess on his next turn he's gonna go and attack. Whoever's closest to him. You guys are lucky I'm here. And now it's the monsters. So yeah, uh, Monsters 1 is going to be down. Hmm. Um, I guess since uh, Derek is right in front of him, he uh, pulls out 
some beautiful, amazing uh, sword that kind of arcs lightning through it when he when he rips uh -huh. it out of his uh, his sheath, uh, and then in kind of a quick movement uh, swings uh, right at your throat, and then again we'll actually pull it back around and uh, go for your gut. His cock piece gets bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your AC. Oh yeah. Uh, sixteen. The first swing where he's going after your neck kind of misses it. May, you know, maybe an inch. Dodge it. Um, you can call it a dodge if you want. Yep. I'm, I'm going to say he missed. Um, and then he he kind of spins around for the gut gut check and slices you right across the belly. That's where your fur Four, is the strongest. Yeah. 11 damage. Oh, boy. Um, I and then half because I'm raging. Oh, really? And I have resistance to slashing. So And then a uh, arc of lightning oh. comes out of the sky and uh, hits you straight on the top of the head. Raging. It's 11 rounded down. It's 5. <laughs> so. That's true. need to do a dex saving throw and beat 14. 15. Okay, so you're nice. going to take half damage. Take nine more lightning damage. Jesus. Goodness gracious. It is Grimo's turn. Come on, Grimo. I do guess it. I'm going to go try to stab. Do it. We, we can, can get the secret code. Oh, that's right. I have to wait for the code. Yeah, even though he's brainwashed, it's probably uh, fine. Shit. Uh. So do I keep hiding like Grimo? Or do I, do I do something heroic? Naked Grimo, don't forget. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll. We, we are in battle now, too. So yeah. if you put on the ring, you can be invisible for a while. I won't be invisible just yet, but I will shoot a. A bow and arrow. I will shoot, shoot an arrow at one of those little, little guys. Right, the hideous um, creatures. Probably yeah. the one that's not charmed. Hopefully. Arg. What is that? <laughs> one. So I thought you. Oh wait, had some yeah, special... I do. I'm lucky, like a halfling. So I, ro I when I roll a one, I uh, re-roll. So ten plus my attack bonus, fifteen. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, hits. sixteen for my new Your short new bow. New short bow that hits. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Just to step back, all of those magic things, you're supposed to attune to a magic item. It takes like a night of thinking about it. So we're just going to say you guys did that and any of your magic stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. All the stuff that we got. Yeah. Okay. So then it's six damage. Six damage? Yeah. All right. We'll say you're shooting this guy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, you, you, whatever thing it is, your arrow goes like right into his head and actually just kind of sticks there. Um, some of the little black goo, goo kind of squirts out um, towards Mary's direction. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Um, right on. Anything else, Screamo? I'll just kind of like hide behind the wall. <laughs> so should, should you? Do you need to move or anything? Well, I, I in part of my cunning action, I can I can hide. So well, yeah. but do you want to move closer to down? Yeah, I'll now? move a little I, bit. I'll hide behind. You got it. That's cool. Um, Braxton. I guess I move over. That creature to the right of Shattercock is not charmed, right? That's the one that is charmed. Oh, okay. So I move to the other. Sorry, that blob creature. Uh, and I do a great axe swing. Weak. Uh, that's f <laughs> what is it? Plus strength. Yeah. Plus your proficiency. Uh, I think you add five. Stop yeah. lying about your rolls. Uh, nine. <laughs> it's time. It's time. It's, it so, is time. Um, I don't know. Does that hit? Sure. Why not? Yay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. And damage twelve. Wait. Am I supposed to throw? No. Oh wait. Great axe is uh. And add three. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Sorry. That's I got to mix up a javelin. Uh, fifteen. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, 15 with the axe. So. Oh, you... I'm sorry. Uh, four. What? What great axe is I rolled a twelve plus four. Oh, okay, so yeah, your 16. great axe uh, you swing at the blob creature and just take it right in two. Yeah, the yeah. thing oh. falls, falls in half, dead. And I give it a letter that I was delivering it to it and go, "This is from the postman." Nice, the Kevin Costner reference. Burn. What? I've never seen it. So, um, these guys are they're jamming out. Two more arcs of lightning streak out from the underneath side of the castle, arc around and land uh, on the other side of you guys. What? We gotta kill those guys. These two? Mm. But we don't. Broga's our buddy. Well, Not that's Broga, bigger. but they're oh. casting. They're oh no, they're I remember the all these little baddies. Oh my gosh! So that was their turn. Was kind of summoning these guys, and they're just they're going to town. Mm. On their instruments, charmed guy um, walks up to down, swings at him. Is, is this what you want me to do, sir? <laughs> you got a little guy. All right, so he swings it down. You're not the only one who can mind control. I mean, um, you're my friend. So he do, he does like a big old swing right into uh, his chest with a punch, and it hits hard and he, he sits, sits him like that. Does nothing to the general. Oh, God, you um, lame piece of shit. <laughs> I'm your friend. Yeah. This little, little squiddy guy on the same uh, team. actually launches itself in the air mm -hmm. and tries to land on Raxon's head. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and uh, Raxon 
you, you have some sort of sweet, sweet, cool dodge move that you can do. Do this motion where I get down and I put my hands up. <laughs> nice, that is yeah. really cool. <laughs> and, I go, <laughs> and I go, no, don't touch me. Like Jerry Lewis? I don't know. I'm out of, I'm out of characters. <laughs> I'm out of characters. We just started the season. <laughs> yeah, it's all out. <laughs> So does it land on his head? Uh, no, it, it missed entirely. But oh, since man. it's balancing there, there I'm gonna it's I'm pretty, gonna say it's it kind of got one of its tentacles around and kind of just landed there. Doesn't doesn't do an attack or anything. A shattercock. So shattercock noticed that when these guys are jamming out, they're, they're casting and they're bringing on those creatures. So shattercock's gonna cast levitate, but on Banos because she's she's still kind of cool with Broga. Um, and it uh, looks like spell saves sixteen. For this, for levitate. Oh, I rolled a five. So, yes. yeah, you're trying to raise him up in the air. I'm just trying to. So it's twenty feet in the air. Okay. Um, and so I just kind of like I'm trying to stop whatever he's doing, basically. All right. So. So yeah, you you raise him uh, past all of his drum equipment, yep. and I, I guess yep. he's kind of flailing around because yep. he, he can't. Uh, it's not his turn, so he's not going to do any mm -hmm. sort of reaction. Great. Um, but the beat stops. And these monsters that might have been kind of charging towards you start to slow. Hmm. Um, they they lose a lot of speed and ability. So is Broga just playing the guitar over here? Yeah, he's, he's, he's jamming down on Remember the bass. Last oh, time, mind. last time when he was mind controlled, I think an attack broke him out of it. Was that it? Something like that. Yeah. I think it was. I right? He broke himself out. Maybe oh. it, was it was his the turn. He banged on his dragon. shield, and then he yeah just came out of it. Oh. A lot of magic spells require concentration. And through attacking the monster or someone attacking you, it can break your concentration on the spell. Well, either way, Banos is levitated in the air above the drums. Sweet. Are you just going to stay stay where you are there? Um, yeah, I'm good there. All right. Uh, Miri. Just turn around and try and attack this dude here. Okay. I'm going to... Try. That's the keyword. Keyword try. Yeah. <laughs> and as I do that, I'm going to cast my thunderous smite. Sweet. Um, <laughs> Every that time he does... shuts in the air and misses. Yeah. Which that does thunder damage if I hit it, I think. First time you hit with a melee weapon. So I'm going to use that whatever sword, thorn bite. Anyway. What, what page are you on? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the reader's 282. 282. I can read it. This spell. No, that's not it. <laughs> First time you hit with the melee attack weapon during the spell's duration, your weapon rings with thunder that is audible within 300 feet of you, and the attack deals an extra 2d6 thunder damage to the target. If the target is a creature, it must succeed on a strength saving throw or be pushed 10 feet away from you and knocked prone. So you need to hit the attack first. Yeah. You're using your new big Ooh, Ooh. Nat 20, nat 20. Oh shit. Blah, blah. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. I might actually succeed this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, so, and you're using your plus one great sword, so it's actually, I guess, 24 or something like that. Well, anyway. Oh, right. Plus the attack, the strength um, and proficiency, yeah. So yeah, do your damage and then roll two extra d6. Okay. Two. Well, just two total, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So wait, I do my. Do I roll a d. Whatever the normal one would be, yeah, a d8 the, and then a d6? What is the. Are you one handing that great sword? Yeah, I think so. What is the damage on one hand? Is it eight? It is, yeah, it's 1d8. Slashing. It's 1d6, sorry. Oh, for that sword or something? Yeah, it's 1d8. It's a magic sword. You're right. So I roll that and then the extra 2d6s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So you roll all of those and wow, then don't forget okay. to add your strength mod to oh boy. the attack as well. So that's a 6. Um, strength is 3. So that's 9. And then I roll these 6s. Mm -hmm. 7. So 16. 16. And what's your uh, spell save DC? 10. He goes flying back 10 feet. Cool. Um, but it's actually his body that goes flying back 10 feet because uh, your great sword attack uh, critted and killed him because we got to double that damage. Jeez. That's right. So if you have, you want to describe which way you eliminate this guy and send his body flying. Yeah. You know, I'm really feeling it. And I hit this guy. And of course, there's a big old thunder strike. I don't think there's lightning, it's just thunder smite. So everyone hears this. And it's quite powerful, and uh, he sort of starts maybe to come apart, but we don't really see it. He just falls over the edge. And he sniffs his fingers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sweet Georgia Brown. I love it. <laughs> Saving that for later. So there's um, there's a little pool of water over here. Crablonius, the crab king, oh, no. uh, emerges from the Crablonius. water 
uh, clicking. How did he get up here? I don't know. <laughs> How did he get up here? <laughs> the great August is upon us. Charge! Oh yeah, so, it's August. Oh, the crabs are here. Uh, Crablonius charges uh, sideways, of course, right? Crabs run sideways. Yeah, they all run sideways. So they can't see where they're going. <laughs> 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 And do dozens of crabs, sea stars, octopi, and other ocean creatures flood out of the little pool, on, flop How onto the ground, and immediately here? die. <laughs> all the fish, all the fish die. Fish <laughs> then they just flop, flop, flop. That's, that's the that's trout awesome. prince is dead, right? Yeah, the trout prince died. No, <laughs> no? That, no that kingdom did die. So, okay, yeah. <laughs> just then, uh, the remnants of the hawk kingdom arrive. Mm -hmm. Chancy. Uh, Wait, Chancy? With, with the eagle and pigeon kingdoms. Is it Chansey? Eagles are coming. Oh. Eagles Chauncey. are coming. Oh, is it Chauncey? Wait. Which one's Chansey? Fuck, Chan Chansey's the wolf? Well, Chansey. Chansey 2, right? No, it's Chauncey 2. Chauncey. <laughs> Chansey was the hawk. I like him. Chauncey, Chauncey was the wolf right. and the horse. Yes, yeah. Ch I like yeah. him. Uh, Chansey's the hawk. In Lord yeah. of the Rings, they get giant eagles. We just get dumb, we like, disease ridden birds. Yeah. Just rah! <laughs> oh, look, he's got figures for him now. There were some breadcrumbs up here. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Wow, those look like pigeons. Wait, that one's a griffin. <laughs> Whatever, that's what I've got. Oh, okay. Um, lopsided. We so use yeah, our imagination. The remnants of the hawk, uh, hawk kingdom arrive with the eagles and the pigeon kingdoms. They fly over the walls <laughs> of the castle and start dropping trout and squirrels and wolves and raccoons. They're trying to feed them? All, all sorts of woodland <laughs> squirrels, creatures. Squirrels, I have my crown. <laughs> one flies over Mary and shits right in his mouth. Yay, all tut! Yeah. Huh? Oh, how, how did Chauncey the hawk talk? How did Chauncey talk? I don't remember. I don't, I don't know if Chauncey ever had a voice. So all these little tiny <laughs> woodland creatures are, are falling onto the ground. Um, He's but killing the, all of them. The, the monsters start <laughs> just Brains stepping are being on dashed them. Out. Nice. <laughs> Raining dead crap. Yeah. Yeah. Attack them, fellow trout. <laughs> yeah, so the fish are just flopping, but you know. Birds just start eating the fish and then they fly away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of the animals start turning on each other and consuming yes, one another. Yes. <laughs> they take a shit nap. Everybody just stops fighting. It's, just, it's disturbing. But yeah, so uh, the, the monsters start stepping and crushing on you know the, the crabs and the squirrels. Thank you. Oh. A wolf is ripped in two and thrown over the edge of the castle. <laughs> oh, no! That wasn't Chauncey, was it? What ripped it in two? Oh, yeah. The eagles. Uh, <laughs> the eagles go after the internals. It's, it's a civil war they got going on. A, um, just brought it just in. A, a squirrel with a tiny little crown gets swallowed hole oh. and the badger prince uh Chernsky gets spun around by his tail and uh <laughs> and gets hurled at Myriadis knocking him oh, over. No, no. Can there be he a, shits all over me. Can, <laughs> can there be like Plus a slow a motion first. sequence? Hits him in the mouth and he compresses like an accordion. <laughs> slow motion <laughs> sequence of like stuff exploding or whatever and then one of the crabs goes by and it's holding its other arm <laughs> like, claw, like saving Private Ryan. <laughs> it's like lost and confused. <laughs> this girl, the, the fish going, Mama! Yeah. <laughs> trying to hold guts. its guts. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, the the your animal saviors are totally getting wrecked. I was say, does this have any monster. effect on what's happening no. at all? <laughs> no, 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 no effect at all. Um, and so yeah, the the animal kingdoms are getting wrecked, and just then the cloud the clouds part, the and horses, the sun emerges, yeah, horse lords. <laughs> shining brightly. Um, you I hear harpists strum, and six giant glowing <laughs> beasts so gallop from the sky. As the light glow dims, you see giant horses approaching you, clad in brightly colored monochromatic armor. <laughs> <laughs> There's Chauncey in a wheelchair. The, uh, <laughs> behind him. The the pink uh, ho horse lord of the hinterlands steps forward. Chauncey too. The horse lords of the hinterlands have arrived for the battle of the great August. Who is ready to get their shit pushed in? <laughs> wait, so, wait. Was Chauncey too already Chauncey there? Chauncey 2's not there, is he? Sure, he is there now. Oh, he's right. there the whole time. And, and uh, Ch uh, Chauncey's riding on top of Chauncey too. The wolf is right. <laughs> they the arrived horse. with everybody else. Did someone say Chauncey? Two? <laughs> no. But <laughs> <laughs> one? Everyone's here! <laughs> wow! And then a uh, portal opens to the party, party room. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, bros! <laughs> Just check it in! Are you guys in. having a war? <laughs> I'll film it, bro! Nice! Not, not cool! I just found another hole we can have sex with. Oh, this bro smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> For a moment, the, the horses of the hinterlands are just owning shit on the battlefield. Oh, nice. They're, oh, they're destroying these monsters. So Chauncey 2 runs up to uh, this creature, <laughs> and he, he uh, hooves them. 
with his melee <laughs> attack. All right. He's got stats. Uh, yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, damn it. So yeah, these, these will be the horses of the Hinderlands. Sure. So yeah. it says attack plus four to hit. You've wanted to do this the entire show. So uh, 13. Who are you attacking? The, the caterpillar. Hoping, sure, hoping it, that. it hits. So, yeah. And then uh, my damage is 2d4 plus two. So four. Ooh, four. four. <gasps> wow. So Chauncey just did 10 points of damage. Man. Chauncey two. Also, you're gonna get an infection from whatever's on yeah, the yeah, bottom yeah. of that hoof. <laughs> it really doesn't just anything. As long as that horse is Shut it around, my brothers. All right. Uh, Derek, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of pauses. <laughs> he just looks around at all the animals raining looks down. Looks around. <laughs> um, Chauncey too has a trident in his teeth and he's running <laughs> I'm through just the gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep going after downs. Still floating, right? I'm gonna focus oh, wait, my no. attack. I love focus my attack on his sword Arnock. and uh, and his hand holding his sword. Eight plus four plus two. Fourteen. Mm, this is the uh, scimitar. Mm. Is six. And then this is the warhammer. Seven. All right, so yeah, you uh, managed to knock his grip on his sword, uh, and it kind of just drops to the ground right in front of him. Nice. Uh, Decker. Shocking me again. Shock I will you. Take advantage of the mayhem and cast on uh, cast on down. Same old cast thing. on down, cast on down the road. I've only got one spell that does damage, so I'm going to cast it. Scorching Ray. Whoa. I know, weird. Um, one to boost again, so I get four, four ray beams. Uh, range spell attack. Is yeah, twenty plus six, ha, eight, ha, uh, twenty-four. Good God, eight again. Oh wait, yeah, and then ooh, twenty-six. How did you do that? I don't know. So I imagine two missed, yeah, one hit, one crit. Mm -hmm. Nice. What would you attack? Uh, down. Oh. So yeah, uh, he anything that was on him like uh, would be completely erupted in flames. Any sort of cloth is completely burned. Ooh. You know, his his armor is starting to look scorched, and he's he's starting to sweat and bleed pretty pretty heavily. You got to do damage, don't you? Oh, I thought you. I that thought was that was twenty six damage. No, 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 no. Oh that, shit! That yeah, roll your hit. damage. Man. Okay. Sorry, I thought. I thought I we were at that point in the fight where it's like, oh, we just gotta no, go. No, I misheard. Oh, that's right. Uh, so each one does two d six fire damage. But, yeah, that's eight. And then what was the rule for the crit? It does double. double damage? Okay, so that would be uh, Nine. 18. Oh, wait, one. So 18 plus 8, 26. Oh, there you go. It was 26. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. So weird. what happened to him, Dan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, how, are, how is the status of his cloth? Uh, it's all burnt. Yes. Um, he's not, he's not doing so cloth. hot. I turned to my laptop. Down turn. Laptop, I think we can make it through this. Laptop's like, we can make it through anything together. And then I lean, kiss it a little bit. So it's Down's turn? <laughs> All of this is taking place. Yeah. Everybody's been waiting for it. So um, this, it's Down's turn. He uh, reaches down, picks up his sword, and raises it to the sky. Uh, arc of lightning shoots up, and then two more come down. Two more Downs come down? <laughs> two more lightning bolts oh. come from the sky. Oh, shit. And, oh, all right. oh, boy. <laughs> Look at those calves. Uh, the, these just... Thirty-foot tall, monstrous, horrible creatures uh, Ooh, start plan. start to form. I have a plan. Um, I, I heard you. I can't wait now. <laughs> I'm excited. The, the horses of the hinterlands charge the giants. The red and grease, uh, the red and green horse lords stab their hor horns through the chest and back of one of the giants, dropping him to his knees. Oh, good. That was easy. Oh, shit. What about your plan? Oh well. <laughs> yeah, the pink the whole armored horse charges down. at the other uh, giant. Uh, hold on. Where did I go? Yeah, turns out the other giant, uh, and, but the giant sidesteps and swings its axe down on the pink horse lord's head, severing it from its body. Oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, uh, so the blue horse lord uh, goes, oh shit, we're out of our depth here, my dudes. <laughs> oh fuck! It's <laughs> real! She got real! Fuck off. <laughs> Sucks! Uh, <laughs> nothing of this realm seems to harm this creature at all or in any way. I'm out of here. The blue armored horse just starts running off into the sky. What a bitch. Uh, followed by his friends. Oh, they all um, leave? Yes, they all leave. All right, well, thanks for the help. Where are you guys going? So, <laughs> I, um, I can't fly. Uh, where is Ch Chauncey to? Oh, he's 
fucking around. All right, so, Chauncey 2 is attacking so the, this thing. The pink, the pink horse lord's head rolls over to Chauncey 2. Oh, I went really far. Chauncey 2, your courage and attitude are beyond compare. Only you have the heart to take on the mantle of the pink horse lord of the hinterlands. The I pass my powers to you. The horse lord's head is saying that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and these lasers come out of his eyes what and start, and start frying <laughs> Chauncey 2. Cool. Um, and Grimo, you know Chauncey 2 better than I do. I don't know what kind of transformation he might undertake. Well, he starts he starts shaking and steam's coming out of his ears, and he's like, I don't want this, you just died! <laughs> <laughs> really cool. And he's yeah. very practical. Could have been like a fire, fire main or and something he, like that. He, uh, you see all his whole body glow, and then it's almost like he sheds a skin. So like all the decrepit, like caked fur he had, and, and it's his, worse underneath. His, yeah. his, 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 his decrepit hooves—they all sh just, just kind of shed like a snake skin. But then he's got the same thing underneath. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, he's now he has flame decals. But now he has Chauncey too. Bullet hole stickers. He was yeah. Chauncey too before. 2.5. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, 2.4. <laughs> uh, through magics of inspiration, it's Decker's turn. Decker uh, heard the words shoot through him like a knife. Nothing of this realm can hurt them. Also, I'll roll our counter or whatever. Oh, he figured out that uh, that you need something from another realm to harm these terrible monsters. And then he realizes, oh my god, I'm the only one here who has something from another plane of reality. He looks at his poor laptop. His laptop turns to him. Do what you need to do, Decker. It's like, but still no. on the shrooms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's coming off. Uh, uh, <laughs> screw it. It's freaking out. Uh, no, uh. He grabs his laptop with both hands. But we've been through so much, he says to his laptop. How will I live on without you? The laptop says, the party was in you all along. He's like, you're right, laptop. I, I should have known that. And then he closes his laptop. Maybe for the last time. <laughs> Uh, we don't care. No one's no, crying. Then no, no. <laughs> 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 uh, he <laughs> so is, he's gonna he's gonna jump at the beast and cast thunder wave weave wave thunder wave wave on the laptop, short circuiting the battery and creating an electrical explosion like this realm has never felt before. Uh, resolutely in slow motion, with his hair like coolly rippling back mm -mm. as he runs. <laughs> He jumps, uh, uh, and then the laptop short circuits, bang, uh, shreds all of his clothes off. Deckers? Yeah, totally. So he's <laughs> naked. Gross. Great. So yeah, the the explosion just evaporates that j the giant monster's head. Yeah, we oh, did it. Frost giant. <laughs> well, let's go home. <laughs> yeah, no, he had a plan, but I now, guess not. so this is important because Decker's about to get even cooler. Mm. The the blast that blew off all of his clothes also singed his hair. So now he's got slightly shorter hair. Ew. Oh, it didn't take it all out? No. Oh, yeah, just slightly like, shorter. Like uh, Raiden in yeah. the second Mortal Kombat movie. Just like that, yeah. Just like Raiden. Okay. You can all call right, him Raiden. Grimo. Go ahead, Grimo. <laughs> so Grimo's know. been waiting for the, the code word, Jelly Bean, from, uh, what's his face? Brogan. Broga. Broga. It's not coming, and Grimo's like, what, what am I going to do? And all of a sudden he hears Chauncey 2 is like fighting, he's huffing, and he hears Chauncey 2 say, Grimo, go do something, you fucking Jelly Bean idiot! And Grimo goes, that's a sign. That's a sign. So then Grimo he puts on the ring and he runs around behind the uh, down. Down. <laughs> Tripping a lot. Yeah. He trips, the whole he trips way. along the way. A lot of fish. He's got some naked. Don't yeah, he scratches forget. up his yeah. penis. Yeah, he's naked. Somehow gets it caught under a rock. Yeah, it's stuck. Behind down. It's stuck on a rock. Help. And he said he says things to himself. This is this is for my best friends. And he thinks of all, all of you guys, oh. his best friends. And he pulls Calamity out, and he he stabs him in the back. Only it's the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> he stabs Broga in the yeah. back. Roll for attack. So he stabs Derek. Ooh, it's not bad. 16, unless you want me to add anything that hits. to it. Uh, roll for damage. I can do the stats. Uh, roll all D6? of them. D6? Uh, yeah. A D10. A uh, 5. Plus your dex. My dex is three. Don't you have some cool sneak attack oh, ability yeah, I, too? Oh yeah, uh, where you can add can add a two d six damage to my target. Oh wow! With my oh. so uh, that's five. In addition to the first bit, in addition to the six, mm -hmm. and then you critted oh, because yeah, that's a, that's a crit. of calamity. Right. Yep. So uh, you stab through the little weak part in the the back of Down's armor, and he immediately just all of the moisture in his body goes to another plane of existence. His body turns to ash, 
a little bit of wind uh, flickers in the air and scatters his ashes. Uh, all of the monsters just immediately uh, disappear. And I think that's the end of this episode of Twits and Crits. Wow. Oh. Oh. Also, Decker has bleach tips now. Just. This <laughs> <laughs> is a perfect way to end it. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody, for uh, watching Twits and Crits. Keep, come back next week. For two, two weeks. Two weeks, sorry. Oh, yeah, it's every yeah. other week now. We're doing every other week yeah. now. Uh, come back for something slightly different next time. And thanks for supporting our show. Yeah, thank you. Uh, was there anything else? Anybody? I just want to say, you didn't think we could do it, but we did it, all right? We won. We beat d and And the hawks were there, and the trouts, and the crabs. And Tootsie. <laughs> and Tootsie. all came back together. Yeah. <laughs> what a journey. Um, all right, thanks, everybody. Bye. Night. Night.